can you believe it? She Hulk once again asking us to comment upon it. Mm. Though I say that, our I'm... little She Hulk uh, epidemic that spread onto EFAB, they both the episodes you missed, ranks, both the Shulks. So... Yeah, I have. I found a way to just be <laughs> a fluke of scheduling. <laughs> I was not around for two EFAPs, essentially almost back to back. Oh my. And they were both She Hulk episodes, and I still haven't met Nutsa yet because she was on both oh, of them. Oh, really? Fuck. That's. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. We have we have never met. We'll try and at least get her and Jay Longbone back for whenever we cover the finale for Shulk at least. Oh, every episode feels like a finale. I, I'm Wish. definitely I'm definitely finished every, every time I watch that show. Mm -hmm. true. Which is crazy as well because they're pretty not short. finished in a good way. But they um, are, thank God, mercifully. They're <laughs> only is, about half an hour. It is merciful, that is true. Oh my god. Can you imagine if these were an hour long? Yeah. Can you imagine? I don't want to imagine it. It makes me feel bad. Painful. Which, we have a different show that's an hour per episode, though, so... <laughs> oh, joy! Yeah, but at least it doesn't make me angry. Like, She-Hulk mm. makes me just, like, angry. It makes you sleepy. <laughs> yeah, well, I got yeah. It. <laughs> at least... There are, um... There are, there, are, there are EFAP fans out there who get infuriated by Rings of Power, but yeah, I find She-Hulk annoys me more. Yeah, absolutely. The I think Rings of Power is it's certainly inoffensive to me. It's just bad, right? It's like it's like good mm -hmm. old classic bad where it's just written poorly and the characters are shit. Um, but She Hulk is like fuck me. I hate all of you. I hate you. I want you to be. I want you to have never been alive. I want you to disintegrate. Those Do you know people... what Corium is? Oh yeah, it's like a it's a, it's a form of metal. Yes. Kind of, yeah. It's this. It's when when you have a nuclear meltdown, it mixes in with the control rods and all the fission byproducts and nuclear fu fuel and just the structural material from the like the Ooh. factory and the containment stuff around it. Oh. And it looks. It's kind of like natural. Like like it looks like lava, you know. And it's just this disgusting, horrific, radioactive, Budgy. nasty. Mm. Yeah. It's it's just so unpleasant. So very unpleasant and she hulk is what is like corium oh yeah right whenever whenever anything is involved with it it's just <laughs> worse it gets it gets tainted by this this radioactive kind of this sickness any character that's a part of it and all the discussion around it, it's just it's corium the show <laughs> um well that's a good intro there you go. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Rags has officially shared his feelings on She-Hulk. Uh, I love yeah. it. I think it's great. Uh, thought it was pretty good. Really enjoying myself watching it. And I agree. What could be worse than dating in your 30s? Because I can think of nothing that could be worse than that. Am I right, ladies? I, I wish to address mm. everyone is like, <laughs> EFAP Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. It is indeed a Wednesday. Because the fact that we're having EFAP Wednesday. live... I wouldn't it's want people Wednesday. to think it is actually a Saturday. That's like, no, 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 no. Some people schedule, <laughs> they, they structure their lives based around uh, EFAP I don't even blame on them. Saturday. I just want to reassure them we, you have not been tricked. Like, some people are there like, oh, fuck, it's Friday, Saturday, what's well, happening? You're like, no, so no, no, Oh, no, God. No. <laughs> no, no, it is not. You are safe. Um, and then you guys, you, you got yourselves your an things. extra EFAP episode because... Uh, <laughs> We're, yeah, we're, in, we're in the we're in the the, the TV show the end game now. This is of EFAP where it's pretty much just Ooh, back to yeah, back episodes are. about TV shows coming out. YouTube's yeah. not receiving oh, enough video art. to remain maintain smooth streaming. Oh no! Oh, oh thank God! Know, looks looks fine on my end, I think. The interwebs dying. I mean, because well, luckily, I whatever this is, means, it'll be fine on the reupload because that's local. But. Uh, Something seems to be going on, unless YouTube is lying to me. Let me YouTube reload the boy. <clears throat> YouTube. I mean, it looks fine on my end at the moment. So hmm. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll have a have an eye out and see if if everything explodes. I like the thumbnail. It is yeah <laughs> very appropriate. Oh, I mean, it is yet. extremely Let's see. appropriate. Also, yeah, I see. Uh, you know, Gary's, okay. <laughs> Gary's also streaming. I'm sorry. This is this is our secondary slot for EFAP, I'm afraid. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's difficult to get everybody available. 
we take it has what opportunity been since uh, and get. time immemorial. I never apologize when I stream when you he guys are streaming. He always does. Every I, time. I, he comes into our DMs afterwards, and he. No, tells I said us. I never. I never apologize when I'm streaming when you guys are streaming. Yeah, I'm saying you do always, and you give me a bouquet of flowers. No. No, I'm trying like, to be cool. Shut oh, up, shut up. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm taking away one viewer from you. <laughs> very rude. It was very rude. And I'm I'm not I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm lying every time I do it. But yes, we got as as you guys know, we're just, you know, updates as we go through. She Hulk is like halfway through kind of right now. Um we are on the edge of the precipice of halfway through, wouldn't you say, Frank? Yeah. Man, that's a line of dialogue. It is indeed. Sure. Um, we got loads of those, as well as loads of like sort of offshoot topics. I'm already looking forward to talking about because this show. I'm ready. Um, Let's do it. It kind of reminds me of Falcon the Winter Soldier show in that it's um it nibbles at Ooh. a wider world building problem without it wants oh, a little yeah. bit of it, but it doesn't want all of it. And you're like, you have to take all of it. You can't just take a little you, bit. You, you, yeah, that is definitely a huge issue. Episode four, I mean, all of them, but four was just making me go. The world building is just absolutely fucked. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is yes. absolutely fucked. So. This is, I, I actually watched the um, episode four right before we started. I was watching it with a couple friends in another uh, chat, and um, no we, all hated, <laughs> we all hated it. We all hated it. We all hated it. Unanimous. Um,. Yeah, so, so, so you know, you're getting your Shulk coverage. This mm -hmm. is the manner in which your Shulk coverage will happen. This is two, three, four. So next, you know, four. Just three. Wow, five, what six, a value. All right, Why so there's five episodes left, which means we'll probably split Shulk. that into three and two, probably. Okay. I don't know if it'll be two, then three, or three, then two, but hey, we'll figure it out. Um, mm. This Saturday will be two more Rings of Power, which keeps us fully yeah. up to date then, except for one Shulk episode. And so the following week, I think we'll have an EFAB that's not about the TV shows. And then we'll have to do loads of catching up on the TV shows again. And then Andor will be like, hey, guys, remember me? And we're like, oh, no. No, no. no. Go back Actually, to your I, little like, go back no, to your cave. I, I don't remember you. <laughs> go back to your cave. And by the way, in between all that, I'll be reviewing House of the Dragon every Sunday with Gary. <laughs> hey, that's all four of them. And then as soon as all four shows end, it's the end of the TV show arc. Because I That's doubt exciting. this will happen again, right? That they release four at the same time that I'm interested in I seeing. I think they, they they all says, we're like, we're going to stop, like, forever. Yeah, they said they'd enough TV. Me. That's nice of them, actually. There's so much we're, TV we don't need anymore. We're kind of like a TV show ourselves. Yes. Mm. We have episodes and yes, an ox. a cinematic universe. And um, we're, yeah, yeah. We're kind of like that. Um, Is there anything worth mentioning in terms of... Because I saw some people saying, the God of War trailer. Yes, it was a cool trailer. I look yeah, forward I forgot to watch it. To playing the video game when it comes out. Hopefully, I mean, already I'm already right. playing it, so I mean, there you go. Legend of Zelda, hey, that's swell. It's coming out yeah. soon. Well, yeah. like eight months, but it's got a date. That's nice. Fringy, what, what's and the name of the new Legend of Zelda game going to be? Uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Kingdom. So I, I think we know why they decided to postpone the announcement of the Legend of Zelda, <laughs> oh, Tears of the uh, Kingdom. That's what everybody is wondering, yeah. yeah. That, is, that, is, that is, that's unfortunate. And also um, Pikmin 4, which, uh, oh, that's neat. I haven't played Pikmin, but I hear that it's a really neat little series. I played Pikmin 2, I liked it. I played Pikmin 1 on stream, to completion, also, I think. That, that's the thing that happened. Did you? I yeah, never did. Well, yeah, uh, yeah did. well, we're doing catch-up, yeah. Well, that's not real streams. That doesn't count. Oh my god! <laughs> Outrageous, rude, unfair. All right then. Um, if have a season twenty-five episodes or fifty episodes. If have seasons of twenty-five or fifty episodes. Yeah, that, that's about right. Yeah, fifty episodes. Or like fifty hours per season. Someone might think that's the case. You know, I would blame them. Right? That's a common misunderstanding for seasons of television. Anyway. You guys want to talk mm. about Shulk episode one? No, no uh, I already no. did. So I, not really. Episode one. <laughs> episode one. I, yeah, that's why I, I asked episode. the question. It was a trick question. I was going to see if anyone put caught up on it. Uh, uh, Rags well, answered I'm correctly. I did, but yeah, but that's the answer for all the episodes. <laughs> I was going to say. I figured that was the meme, and I was like, nah. You ought to talk no, about we we did two. discuss episode one. Now it you're not going to believe me. But the time code is indeed 0001, because I hit the file and then hit pause, ready for us to cover it. This is the image 
Okay? This was not me that chose this, okay? It was Disney. Um, I didn't do this. All right. I was I was just Oh no. <laughs> Did she not Does she not blink? Like at this cuz I feel like my eyelids Well, only on one side winking. apparently. Maybe she's winking and looking up. Put that here for for us in a Discord to look at as we please. Um oh, right. That's nice. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll. So for those who have been following along on this wonderful adventure, episode one we we did cover the events of, quite painful. But for those who didn't, that for whatever reason, it basically just says she's got Hulk powers now because Bruce's blood got in her blood. That's about yeah. all you literally need to know for episodes two, three, and four. Well, she's uh, better than Hulk, and Hulk sucks. And I mean, kind of men really. Uh, they kind of suck if, especially if they're interested in women. Cringe. There's uh, actually something that happened. I think it's episode three or four that found really interesting in that in that in sort of category of criticism. Of the show, or the, rather, the the indication of what this show seems to think on subjects like um, dating, for example. I think you alluded to part of it earlier, but I was thinking mm. of a different element of it. Fascinating. Oh, this is um, like uh, this is like Batwoman adjacent show. It's yeah, this is as close as the MCU's Batwoman. gotten to Batwoman, if not. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it could fit right in. Um, because I was about to say, I, I think yeah. the, the like the CGI, ex excluding She-Hulk herself. It's about Batwoman. Because <sighs> I was about to say, it's the animations on She-Hulk that I mean, the, the fucking worst bad. part. Her suit, mm. like when she's in the, her, when she's in decently lit areas, wearing her outfit, it looks really bad. It's just very evident that she's not there. Um, yes. Like, it, in a way that really calls a lot of attention to that, whereas I don't know that anybody really felt that way when watching, like, Thanos walk around hmm. or Rocket, yeah. and people can point out, like, oh, well, they're less human-like, so it's easy to buy into. It's like, sure, all you've done is explain uh, why there's a, a response that's not positive, though. It doesn't change Thanos anything. Is... It's still... Thanos just had a great... He just had a, a ball chin. That was it. But he was he was pretty human. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure he has a ball chin, but there's yeah. some guys out there that have like you know. Yeah, my well, yeah, my, I, I my owner he has a he has an intense cleft chin. It is magnificent. Um, Handsome Squidward. Uh, <clears throat> Don't forget him. Point being, as as we were as I was watching this fourth episode uh, a moment ago with friends, one of them had said uh, they should have just painted someone i'm like yeah they should have they should have just gotten a really big lady and given her the green makeup a bit maybe maybe a wig or whatever if, if, if you need her to have that and that would have been more convincing to me that well, that would have a big lady of... she's in the she's in the vr suit thingy or motion track um, suit <laughs> oh really i was gonna ask about that okay why are the movements so like shit when i thought it was based on someone in a vr thing um, Maybe you well, get the rotoscope I imagine, effect. I think I think the problem is always going to be that like your actress is not like she's just not the same proportions as the character, so like it's not going to map exactly one. No, no, to no. One. They have someone. They have someone else for the motion track suit, as far as I know. Um, no, it's Tatiana Maslany. She plays in like the she does the uh, motion capture as well. They had yes, someone at, for re they had someone for reference. Oh, um, okay, that's what I was thinking of. Okay, I got you. Yeah, and they have her on like a the stage character. as well, right? To address the height issues? Uh, sometimes, I imagine. But I, I don't know how they accounted for it all the time. I can imagine that it wasn't accounted for well in certain scenarios. Because, yeah, the, it's just the animation. It always seems to be the animation that betrays the visual effects. Like, floaty, just... You don't seem to be in the place that you're in. You're just not moving naturally. Mm -hmm. so yeah, like you're, you're not part of this world. There's a little bit of a video gamey thing where they, they're moving at a speed that doesn't seem right with the motion of their legs. Well... I guess the thing is, though, is, um... I feel like... Like, a lot of video games just, like... I think... Video games are obviously, like, not approaching the level of photorealism that can be achieved with visual effects in films, like, pretty obviously, yet at the same time, you can present somebody, like, a PlayStation 5 game, and it looks really good, um, and the reason why it looks really good is because it's, like, cohesive, I think. Everything yeah. is, is digital, so nothing Everything stands like out as particularly... Yeah, exactly. So we can look at, you know, God of War Ragnarok, and it's like, well, does the fidelity match, like, a, a film or a television show? No, of course not. And yet, it looks better um, than what we see here, because it's a cohesive visual. And plus, like, 
if it's all a video game, you can get away more so with like uh, I guess less realistic animations that are like more bouncy or um or uh exaggerated. Whereas when it's real life, it's like yeah, you're gonna be struggling to like to to move past that. Um, it was probably like just conceptually a bad idea. You didn't have the money or the time to achieve what you needed to achieve for a television show. It was probably yeah, probably doomed from the start in terms of. Uh, being a good fact. So, um, as the show is aware of, the cameos are helping it out. Um, Absolutely. Well, I love seeing thing. all these characters, yeah. The, the cameos are helping out, but at the same time, you need to be reminded who... Sh uh, man, Wait, are like, you talking that about Twitter Shield? Um, uh, uh, that's episode four. Combo that yeah. with, uh, yeah, with the other comments. Like, the show is aware that having it cameos in it will make it so that it can distract people from the shittiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, they're kind of insecure about the recognition that a lot of people are, are in it to see who's going to show up. So then they had to say, remember whose show it is. It's like, I don't know if that's, I've seen people say that's funny or like cool, but to me, it just comes across as very like defensive. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of oh, it's super, know, super uh, like, um, the word like embarrassing, I guess is the one. Just it's almost, it's, it's lampshade adjacent. Um, it's almost you know like what? meta lamp shading. I'm pretty sure it's in this episode that there's the, the biggest example of it out of the three actually in terms of uh, defensive writing. Um, oh, like, no. are you talking uh, about the A B story thing? Because that was that was really no, that, that, that's that's just like uh, self-aggrandizing, I guess. I'm, I'm talking about like writing you put in there because you are worried about what th people will think. Like you're that you're the, you're right. very uh, insecure about it. Um. But yeah, we'll you know we'll get to all these things. I guess we'll we'll start out. You know, it it says um, we we finally got a little bit more information on uh, Titania, the the person who attacked the jury in the first episode. It says uh, she caused panic while fleeing traffic court. So, so uh, she did. She certainly did that. Yeah, um, she did cause panic. That is true. We're going to get a bit more of her in episode 5 from what we're seeing, and possibly more yeah. goes on, but for now, all we know in totality is she left traffic court, burst through a wall, and then threw a desk at a bunch of jurors for no reason at all. Yes, because, which is the typical like, reaction to <laughs> getting a trap. Well, <laughs> yes. I guess something changed. Obviously, because that fight was so poorly edited, there was definitely more footage that they didn't use, mm. and maybe there was a whole explanation for that fight. Yeah, maybe there was a like dialogue, you know? Just... Maybe. What? Yeah. Maybe we were. Maybe we were just like that's. We should just accept this blessing that they removed a dialogue from this show. <laughs> Could be a blessing, yeah. Um, she's also apparently a super influencer. Apparently. Yeah, she's referred a to as a super-powered uh, influencer, which is like... And is there, and, uh, yeah, like, what, that's not what are we... She's, <laughs> she's super-duper strong for reasons unknown, and that is known to the public. Yeah. Where, are we, we going to get World building fringy. We, we, uh, no. it, it, it seems now we don't have to earn our special individuals in terms of, like, origins or whatever. Even a broad right. statement is just sure. like, there's just, there's just people around who are just... It's just like super, super soldiers. You yeah, just add them, we... it's fine. And now we need a new law division Someone, for that because there's so many of them. I want to give some credit because uh, I think it was on a real BBC episode that that was said. Like, yeah, super soldiers everywhere. The Falcon and soldiers. Like, even in Falcon and Soldier, they gave you an origin. Just, uh, yeah, I guess they made something up. Yeah. So like that guy, he th this guy you've never heard well, of. Well, actually, made more. Uh, which is which is what I'm referring to when I say like at least a broad sort of like this is why. But in this show, they're just like, no, oh, they're just popping up. Yeah. yeah, just around. Titania, she's she's a super... She wasn't even hidden the whole time. She's a super influencer. So there. You don't hate women, do you? And as soon as we get Black Panther 2, we're going to get uh, Atlantis, and a whole... N another civilization on Earth on top of everything. Yeah. That's right. not going to make things even more complicated and terrible. Mm -mm, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> it, see, honestly, that... in terms of repairs, the show that I might want to avoid the most would be the law one, thinking about it. Cause, like, there's no <laughs> way. <laughs> How am I supposed to make sense of all of this? Well, they they won't, so... Well, they already matter. said they don't even know how normal law works, so... <laughs> We're it's luck very apparent. Oh, As yeah. someone who does not know how the law works, I can tell. Episode 4 is the worst one for that, I think, out of all of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shocking. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, 
they, they're just announcing this like, yeah, the the jury are calling the green woman a hero who saved lives. And it's just, I thought her line was funny because it's like, well, she is. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, yeah. that's what they're calling her. And it's like, well, she is. Well, she, well, she, that's what she did. But uh, yeah, it's yeah, good yeah. to provide her that, I guess. Um, and yeah, so she's, uh, you know, after all that, she went to the bar and everyone's chanting She Hulk before she walks in. And her friend, who, I, if I was to like make a video breakdown of this, I'd be like theorizing that her friend is literally fucking Mephesto at this point. Every single thing that comes out of her <laughs> friend has nothing to do with the well-being of her. It's all to do with like cheap thrills or uh, superficial yeah. wants and desires. And it's just, wow. she's always a bad influence. She's like, oh no, I don't want to go in there. I don't want to have to be She-Hulk. And she's just like, give them what they want. Some guy will like, give us free drinks. Like, oh. Ha ha ha. And that happens. She says, she says like, because you're a superhero, I got free drinks. This is great. That's mm -hmm. funny, though. Well, we, we're going to be bumping into this a lot during the show. That It's kind of like Thor Love and Thunder, where comedy comes first and damn everything else. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, it's going to be interesting if they want to have more serious moments in the show. Cause, oh, know. God, can you imagine? That would be great. No. Um... So oh, yeah, uh, she t she has a drink and she's listening to more people say She-Hulk and she's like, ugh, I can't even exist without being a derivative of Hulk. So what you're saying is that she does not like the name She-Hulk. Which, um, I mean, fine. <laughs> like, yeah, I, yeah, that's that's totally fine. Well, like, I totally understand. I get I, it. You know, the beginning of a persistent running gag, which is, isn't She-Hulk a stupid name? Like, this is the beginning of many, many, many jokes well, about it. It's become more than a pattern at this point. Um, what is with the MCU and making fun of uh, the names? Their names, yeah. They do I it a lot. At this point. Instead of embracing it, they're just like, well, ha, it's hard, pretty hard, funny. Yeah. They'll, they'll happily make money off of them while making fun of them. It's, uh, yeah. it's, it's it, very yeah, strange. Yeah. If they wanted well, to they go keep, the angle they... of like, well, imagine these these names in real life, you wouldn't take them seriously. It's like, well, look how absurd your fucking world is. What do you mean? I would take it seriously if you did. Yeah, you don't take anything Maybe, else yeah. seriously. Yeah. Because okay, right after that, Nikki, Nikki just straight up says, well, Hunk is a... D Hunk? <laughs> Hulk is, Hulk is a... Is a oh, is we a got Hunks name. later in this show, but... Yeah, yeah. But yeah, she just goes like, well, Hulk is a dumb name anyway, or as well, or something. Yeah, that's what I mean. So we have now got it so that they've said uh, Dr. Octopus is dumb, Hulk is dumb, mm -hmm. She-Hulk is dumb. <clears throat> what was the what uh, was the one from... Black and Bolt again is, I think that's pretty dumb. Yeah, uh, I think Carl they made Mordo fun of as well. Flag Smashers as well. I think Flag Smashers got made fun of too. Yeah, it's... Um... It's it's not it's not just the pattern of like why are you making fun of all these names uh, when they're the ones you're adapting, but also just is that really the best you got for comedy? You just go lol, yeah, that's like, a funny really... name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that like, is it's hilarious though. Level. It's like barely a joke, like in terms of just structure or anything. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I just. I just thought it was lame and the whole like being a derivative of hulk it's like i mean does that not technically is that not technically the, the literal truth you 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 got his blood and yeah exactly you <laughs> like, so owe your existence as a superhero these people, too. these people only know one other person that can turn into a green big monster thingy and he's and been like, around for 15 years 15 years hulk's like oh female hulk she hulk it's like oh yeah i see well yeah you can't blame him for Doing that name, and she doesn't make any effort to push her own preferred name. She just no, goes, "Yeah, okay, I hate the name, but I'll use it." It's like, okay, then. <laughs> um, it's like Marvel. But so then things suck in, suck in a little weird because uh, every time they bring in the sexist character, you always like sort of facepalm because you're like, "Oh god." <laughs> Which one? Like, well, <laughs> the the main one, the the guy who's so oh, overt. It's it's Dennis. Like, they didn't even try. Um, so he's like, why, why, like, what you did was fucking assholey, bringing out the Hulk for publicity in that thing. And she's like, oh, so he's that dense as a character that he'll, like, accuse yeah. her of having done it for publicity when she, like, saved people's lives. Like, yeah, great, cool. Um, and then she says, only you would think that. And then he's like, how did you get these powers? Like, I don't want to talk about it. And she says, nepotism. Which I was like, oh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't yeah. have happened if you weren't family. But, uh. I mean, the thing is, obviously, anybody would take uh, the exchange on this planet that she got. Like, uh, 
mm -hmm. we went over the last yeah. time we covered this. It's got, she's got a gift. Pretty much a strict gift. She, she's got a gift. In the same way yeah. that syphilis is a gift. What do you mean? <laughs> she's... No, what are, you, what are you talking about? Like, it's a categorical upgrade. There's nothing wrong with it. No, <laughs> I, I meant like in other aspects of who she is. I see. No, I don't Show think you it. did. I think you, I think you made an error. <laughs> no, I, no, obviously, no. I. What's interesting is that literally, I in episode four with my friends as I was watching this, we're we're gonna get there. I was saying, why does she not want to be Hulk? Because Hulk is just a complete and total upgrade in every way to being her. Why does she seem to have so much? Like, why does she not want to be that? Like all the time, you know. I don't think they really explore that much. That, that's I, the arc. That's that's what they want to do as the arc for this show. It's become yeah. pretty evident that He's the decided, arc is going to be her embracing the She Hulk identity. You decided early on that there's like a a barrier between Jen Walters and She Hulk, and that she doesn't want to. Yes, which is weird because there isn't a barrier between them, and that's something that like Bannon struggled. Banner, sorry, struggled with so much. It. Isn't it just so weird? Like I, I don't even know how to categorize how weird it is that they're trying to create a wall between them when I felt like the whole point was there wasn't. Um, well, maybe that's the point that they're going for, right? When I she realizes, that yeah, that might be. But the barrier I'm referring to, sort of, is is her being like, I, I don't know if they're going to go this way directly, but just like you know, I want to do things on my terms, Jen Walters' terms, not She Hulk's, but then. We've already seen several instances over these next few episodes where she's using She-Hulk to her advantage. Mm -hmm. Unclear of if yeah. the, the show is going to call out her hypocrisy on that. Um, we'll see. I don't think the show recognizes... I think the show considers that as her more and more starting to embrace it rather than, like, a character flaw. Well, I think the whole fourth wall breaking when she says, I'm not proud of this, is probably all they're going to do. I wouldn't be surprised if that's all we get. I would just go as far as saying... I mean. When we go over a couple of things she says over these episodes, it's just gonna be it feels like the show trying to make a point about certain things, but then Jen does it herself. It frustrates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um like uh, isn't it terrible that people swipe left or right? And like, yeah, you you both do that. <laughs> both of you in this conversation do that. <laughs> but uh yeah, so the last thing he says to her is, Oh, there's a hot chick over there, I'm gonna go talk to it. And, what like uh, what yeah. is this? Yeah, it's, it's always That's... been this hilarious thing of just like you have no idea like sexists don't talk like that <laughs> like come on you must have met one like, every man is a sexist though even still i i've yeah. i've known plenty of womanizers i and plenty of wonderful men okay but none of them have ever referred to, to woman it. as it like you just go oh woman <laughs> object <laughs> like i i've seen people i've referred to as it but they're very special I... when you see them you know there there's some it people out there they're uh oh boy often in prison this is the thing um i i know someone who found that line really funny and i, I asked them why and they said because it's so absurd that anyone would ever do that <laughs> And they, they yeah. thought that there's a chance the show was going for that, and I was like, I really don't think so. I think they're trying to go for he's a sexist. Big old raging you, sexist. You mentioned it earlier. People don't know how to write bigotry anymore. I think so. I, I think that he's a, he's a clown character. He's not actually, like, yeah. interesting in any way. Um, but, and and he's, he's the punching bag in the season. Comes up a couple times just to be like... Yeah, that's his job. But then a friend is like... Oh my god, be a superhero. And then she's like, I've not racked up student debt while nailing my degrees just uh, become a vigilante. That is for billionaires and narcissists. Adult and orphans. Adult, and adult orphans. Yeah, <laughs> for some you reason. It's show... weird that what? she's shitting on people when in-universe they've saved, like, near countless lives. About as close to countless yeah. as you can get after Endgame. I mean, I suppose after Multiverse of Madness, an infinite amount of lives. Um, well, I, maybe she doesn't know about that. But maybe she does. Well, up, though, that in episode four, that's yeah, I come suppose. Up. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, yeah. Yeah, you could show a, just a mod. You could you could not be a bitch for two seconds and show a modicum of tiny, tiny little itty, itty bitty little amount of reverence to the people who. Lost a great deal. I know they probably aren't, weren't catcalled once by a construction site, but they they did maybe have some things that they had to deal with. You it was know, always sacrifices were made. 
felt, mm -hmm. felt especially weird since she's directly related to the guy who brought back trillions of lives. Personally, yeah, yeah. yeah. who personally yep. brought back trillions of people. It's um, feels weird. They do weird suck. Though. They do suck a great deal. Um, she also then... doesn't want to be in the Avengers because she doesn't know if they have health care or pension. Well, we'll, 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 we'll get well. So before we get into that, I was gonna say oh, I these lines. Right after, okay. These, yeah, I'm not done with what we just said. So these oh, lines sorry. that she says, including the one in episode one where she mentioned the whole government secret government squad thing, like uh, we were, we talked about it then. Talk about it now. I don't know why she doesn't know more about this. Why doesn't she? Why wouldn't she have looked into this? She's a lawyer. Like, wouldn't she want to be really up on the up and up to how this all works when her brother is one of the most famous superheroes ever? So it's the world building problems in this where it's just it's so it's it's ridiculously and absurdly com compartmentalized where you can just it's like it, you can just chew like you're at a buffet, a world building buffet and you just go to the buffet, go down the line. I want this. Oh, oh no, we're not going to do Sokovia Accords. I do want this, though, Ruspan. We want him and we, we want this. But oh, we want the Book of Ashanti. We got to reference that. Yep. Yep. Uh, and everything else just stays. I think it's the world building buffet. It, it would have been a like cool shit. way to um, introduce her as like one of uh, Bruce gets in some form of trouble or he's, he's told about some legal trouble he may end up in, and then she's that's how she we first meet her is that he's you know she's the talented lawyer in the in the family and she's very hyper aware of all the ways that you know and you you get through a confidently executed case all of the context for how a lot of these things yeah. go. Um, Bruce, instead, uh, he's, he's a mighty hero, but there's something he needs help with, and that's what I can help him with. Yeah, because he's you a. Know. Scientist, he ain't a lawyer, everything. you know. Um, and it sucks because, like, instead we have her randomly sort of alluding to how she has no clue how any of this, the thing... Because like we said before, she refers to them as a government squad, which wasn't the case uh, at least up until... When he was part of it. Yeah, so it doesn't make sense to refer to him that way. Um, but we never really got comfort... Like, sure, after you get the, the Accords, and then it's like, so they split half and half. So it's weird for her to refer to the Avengers as the government squad, unless she's that's what it was until so Infinity War. Secret. And they weren't secret, yeah. Um, but then, like, you have, you know, Falcon does contract work, question mark, I think. Falcon went to Soldier, had him doing that, but he wasn't paid for it or something. <laughs> Remember, like, it's the... The, because it's the world building buffet. Yeah, I, 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 it's hard for me to figure out what the hell is going on with any of it. I don't know. Um, I no, I I I I, I, I turned Factorio off like hard, ten minutes ago. Don't worry about it. Okay. They they played it so much themselves. They, they they're further they're behind in the stream when the Factorio music was playing, which was nice okay, music. Okay. But when you comment on it, the music goes away. So there you go, chat. <laughs> that's what you get. That's I, like, but that's a lot of hallucinations, though. Once you start you know, commenting on it, it goes away. True. Uh, so. Yeah, this is all very frustrating to hear. Um, um, but then saying specifically that it's for narcissists, and it, I don't even know why. Why mention adult orphans? I guess because it's funny. I don't know. Because it's so like it's meta funny humor. comedy. So funny. The orphans. Uh, That's kind of a jerk thing to. It is a jerk yeah, thing uh, to say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Especially but the reason why this just... is because it's meta humor. I don't know. If that's that's okay, the only think reason about... I didn't really think about what it says about her. She very likely is like like referring to a lot of them, including like I was just thinking the Peter Parker of the MCU universe. He would have lost his mum, his dad, and then his surrogate father in uncle. in yeah. uh, Uncle Ben and and mother, and then again his father figure in Tony. Like he's lost five technically parents and guardians. Like now Tony, mm -hmm. I mean, jeez, yeah. like uh, and some of them were lost get to that. directly related to his superhero endeavors. Yeah. So. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I don't know. She's, yeah, but all right, fine, fine, Jen, you keep it up. Wonderful. But yeah, uh, what she hilarious. then says is, um, do they even get healthcare, maternity leave, or a pension? Do they even get paid? Which, which, as we now learn in uh, in Falcon and Winter Soldier, the answer is no. There was no pension for the Avengers set up by Tony Stark. I wonder if they're even <laughs> okay. aware of that as a reference, because yeah, doesn't he ask straight up, and then he says, no, it's not, it doesn't work that way, or something like that. That was Falcon. The people who saved the world. The story that we want to tell, we didn't, so we can't have it. You could go to the McDonald's and flip burgers for minimum wage, but saving the universe, I mean, that's not like paying work. You know, it's not. It's not like a productive. You end up with the. You end up with the boys. The, if you don't pay them via like government stipends or through Tony's stuff, you just get the boys where they go for promotional shit, even birthday yeah. parties. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I heard there was a party. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it imagine Scarlet Witch at a birthday party. When Tony saves the entire universe and and Hulk, and then you're just one of the guys like Ant Man, Falcon, or um, even Rocket Raccoon. You you were fighting alongside. People would want to interview the fuck out of you for the fact Absolutely. that you worked with them alone, not even for what you did. Just just to be like, tell me about oh, Tony yeah. Stark. What did he say? What did he do? What, you know, everything. You'd be like, oh man, he was so great to it. You can, they do it in The Boys. Like, the, this is what I mean. Just, it's just no, no attempt to try and be realistic. And I don't even think The Boys does a good job. So, you know, eh. <laughs> Tony did pay for Hulk's facility, though. That's true. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> <Never> However... <laughs> You 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 cannot even get a loan if you're in the Avengers. No, no, he, because clearly he, favoritism. No, because he got blipped, right? Even though the hyper, uh, I don't even want to get into it. That fucking show is with. <laughs> oh, uh, she gets some bad news. Oh no! Very unfortunate. Oh my goodness! The DA's office going well. It lets her know the case Why? has been uh, thrown out due to a mistrial. Uh, yep, uh, which I guess she didn't know about because I guess she wasn't there when that happened. Right, yeah, yeah. so we'll have to take this in super slow motion, okay? So, oh, yeah. before <laughs> he even talks to her about anything, if we had talked about what would happen as a result of what Titania did, probably mistrial, yeah, because probably yeah. everything's been compromised, like, in terms of the court case. So it's just like, that makes some sense, yes. Okay, so that's not going to be a shock, and Jen should know that as a lawyer. She should probably have clued into well, the facts. Well, I'm not saying like, it for that, that reason. I'm saying that in concept alone, she should be like, so there's probably oh, going to be a mistrial. Um, right, she's course. convinced yeah, the case is one, that. not a mistrial. So um, yeah, these things are very important because uh, someone should just make a video about how much of an awful lawyer she is. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, even episode four, it is remarkable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of incredible. It's insane. There's so many references for how poorly she understands the situation or, and how poorly she argues cases and prepares her witnesses and well, as well as her information. Oh, yeah. We'll get to all the examples, but just flagging them up as mm -hmm. we go. So yeah, uh, so he comes in to, to say that there's a mistrial and she's like, what? And it's just like, yeah, you should probably have figured that out. But again, as, as Ring just mentioned, that's something that gets like officially done with all of the participants of the actual case involved. When it's mm -hmm. like determined. Yeah, people argue for it and people will argue against it, you know? Like, yeah. if you want to keep it, you're meant to be there. Like, why would you not be there? Well, that was bizarre. Um, yeah. And then he says, it's your fault that we got the mistrial, which is weird. It's like, what? That's, it's that's, like, that's it's one like, way to phrase it, it. not um, how I would it, phrase it. Yeah. It's um, like, because, of course, if she wasn't there, Tabor would have been thrown at the whole jury and killed them. So I think that would have ended the case. Um, the thing, I, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that the, would have... jumping in to save lives was... I think that was the correct decision. Well, this is why we got to yeah. zoom in and go because... so slow, because there's so many problems all at once, several between each line. Like, it's a mistrial re regardless of her actions. So I don't even know why. Yeah, like, the fact that she... and like. To, to blame her, because I think the argument that was later presented by the other lawyer guy was, well, you saved them, so that made them prejudiced in favor of you. Yeah. It's like, I guess that's one of, of many factors. Yeah, I uh, suppose that is a byproduct of being saved in trial. Lives, yeah. But, like, that's not her fault. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that's well, yeah, so yeah. Not, to be fair, the show has to be fair to they clarify like, that. She down. said, are you suggesting I shouldn't have saved them? And he's like, no, 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 no. You did the right thing, but you're fired. Like you're going to suffer several negative consequences. <laughs> to me, it, it really does feel like the writers are like, see, she didn't make a mistake, and she still gets shafted by the system. Oh, like it's so like, hard oh. being now, a woman and lawyer. Again, again like, we gotta, we got to back it up a bit. So she is at the district attorney's office. She's publicly saved many lives, and now she's being fired. And you fired How her. Yeah, a good massive, job. Like... That's the end of your career. Like that. It's yeah. Like your office is tainted the, forever. The, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. exactly. Like you are. This is did not she, happening. Can she sue like, him for that? A PR disaster. Probably. What? Um, yeah. And she'd get a probably, shit ton of public yeah. support. Probably. Absolutely. The, the worst thing that you could do is fire her. The worst well, so, thing you could possibly do. It's a, it's a double whammy, right? Because on one hand, it's, it's just bad for you in terms of what the response is going to be. She could sue you. You'll get a public outcry. You'll probably lose votes in you your next election. Outcry. 
the the yeah. double whammy though the aspect is like you don't understand you're letting go of a huge asset she's going to be like the world's most famous lawyer she is a superhero oh, yeah. hulk lawyer you literally but saved your that, jury in the middle of a case the subsequent scene basically says that because she's she hulk she's actually like going to very much struggle to get a job which is absurd yeah that is absurd this doesn't it's make like, any sense you, this is hard to follow yeah like, it's like you can't get you're you're the in the Avengers, but you don't have money and you can't get a loan. Lawyers it's, it's um, like that. Lawyers can really rack up like a cult of personality. You, you, there's plenty of famous lawyers people are aware of, um, and they get hired yeah. there. Well, and, and also high profile that's cases. Worth, in universe, Jennifer Walters is considered a good lawyer. Now, of course, everything yeah. <laughs> that she does would indicate otherwise. But otherwise. in universe, <laughs> is recognized as a good lawyer because later on in the episode, when she gets hired by the new law firm. Uh, who were opposite her in the case that got destroyed, uh, he says that she put up a winning case, which is hard to do against this firm. So, mm -hmm. like, in-universe, she's recognized as being talented, which, um, that matters a lot. Uh, being huh. good at your job, like, especially yeah. as a lawyer, is, is important. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, like, the fact that she wouldn't be able to get work when she's not only apparently a pretty competent lawyer, according to the show, oh. and... She's got this this other aspect to her, and she's got a good public uh, like reception because she saved lives. She's getting hide straight she's away. She's getting swarmed with right. telephone calls. Absolutely, she's getting swarmed. Well, she's she's fired. Fired. Even if she um, would be a f shitty lawyer in universe, they would still hire her just for the before image alone. She, yeah, before she was even fired, she'd be getting offers. Absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, wouldn't have been fired. Some people are highlighting like already. It's like. That that loss doesn't count for anything. She gets a way better job like immediately, and it's just like, oh yeah. So yeah. to clarify, like this sort of comes across as a very truncated like, how awful the repercussions of living the life as a superhero. Oh no. Dot. Yeah. Oh, dot. Anyway, everything before worked out fine. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Yeah. yeah before, before the episodes end, she gets a better, higher paying job. Well, and so yeah. the, the it's theory... like Ray when she's on the Millennium Falcon and she makes that little mistake with the uh, with the uh, when she's fiddling with the like the wires or whatever, and it just so happens to like you close the friend? door at the right. Oh you... no! The, yeah, the, it's where she technically messes up with. She was like fiddling with wires or something on the Millennium Falcon, and it like closes or opens a door that allows Han Solo to. You know what I'm talking about? No, oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, it's. I think it was when you had the Blargle monsters. Yeah. Um, and in the Force Awakens, and she inadvertently through a mistake, either like opens or closes a door that, that helps Finn? to save. Yeah, so, something like that. No, she does that on purpose. She gets to a terminal and accesses it, and then times closing a door to cut the legs off the. Uh, God damn it! Raftars. <laughs> Sorry, I know that it was almost, back to back for was, reasons. Okay, it was almost like that. But I know what you're quite. talking about in terms of concept, but yeah, she... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, no, she was so talented, she knew exactly how to use the, con the, the console. I was like, oh no, actually... I suppose that's better than accidentally doing it all perfectly? I don't even know, whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's incredibly annoying to watch, and it kind of makes you start to theorize. You're like, ooh, was... Because they moved episode 8 to episode 1, at least the Hulk's portion of it... Gotta wonder, was it like, it was that opening with another couple scenes on top for just setting up the, uh, in episode one, I was setting up her as a lawyer, then the Titania scene, then aftermath of that, and then her losing the job, and maybe the episode ended originally, episode one, with like, a job offer, and it was like, <gasps> I think, um, I, well, so I get the impression that episode two, along with parts of episode one, was meant to be episode one, mm. um, that this was meant to be the pilot, uh, or at least a huge part of it. But then, because they changed their mind, like it just messed every. Because this is the episode that like establishes really the plot, I guess, like the actual you know formula that the show is going to use. But yeah, who knows? Yeah, really, that's what I mean about the theorizing. Uh, that's what I meant about removing the Hulk portions of episode one, keeping everything that's not that. So uh, is it? Uh, she. Ray tries to close the doors on the gangs and releases the rat wrath tars. Oh, you're talking about that. I thought you meant when she saved Finn. Um, that are you? Are you talking about how she? So yeah, she intends to help. Her uh, supposed I think by turning failure. The lights, yeah, and then she fails. The and universe the turns tars, into a success, which does then yeah result in good stuff yeah, for the team. Task failed successfully. 
<laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, correct, correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant when, when uh, the Rathdoll's legs got cut off. You see, chat, it wasn't a Brandon moment. Yeah. I'm very sharp in my agedness. Listen, I know what it's like to date in your 30s. Is there anything worse than that? Uh-uh. <laughs> no, I say. I say no. Nay. Nay, nay I say. Nay, what nay. are you, a horse so, now? Did anyone notice what was on her little ipad -y thing when she was looking at... Uh, she was looking at a Swedish village mascot, I guess because they thought that was hilarious as a potential job. Uh, was it like uh, jobs for re... for failed something? I, f I forgot... I know what you mean, I think. Oh, jobs for a fresh start. Different. The more interesting part, yeah. I got it on the screen, is oh. related articles. Man fights with metal claws in bar Oh, brawl. oh that one. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. is that seriously a reference to Wolverine in fucking She-Hulk? God save. And then, I mean, that, that's, that's not a... That's, that's something. That's a gosh, reference. Stop I, it. I, Sit down. Look, oh. it says, it says find Ant-Man at the top. Oh, that's a QR code. I'm gonna scan that and see what. Oh happens. yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, I'm scan the QR code, Metal. We do can it, get Mel. the. It, um, it takes you straight to the Amazon page for Bad Feminist. I don't oh, want. No. I don't want Wolverine coming up in the show. Okay, nor do I want him in the MCU. That's my. That's my scared with that. Okay, but secondly, it says, "Why is there a giant statue of a man sticking out of the ocean?" That, uh, um, is that like that's... the first? story other than Eternals to acknowledge that there was a giant celestial just like, like yeah. stepping out of the planet. That, As alongside... someone who has not seen Eternals, seeing that scene was like, wait, 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 we need to clarify. This oh. is just in the ocean? Oh, man doesn't want to scan. Real big, too. Real big. Well, he's the size of a planet. He should, well, he was a lot smaller um, than he's supposed to be as well, right? Definitely, if we're talking scaling, yeah, he should, the, his head should be like the size of China. Yeah, like, the point in which he like, has managed to breach the fucking crust, it's, it's over for Earth. That should be the, the way that it, they show uh, us working. Of course it. it is. Yeah, whole planets. In, like, there's a giant being in the planet. Like, it's like, moving like, around <laughs> and like causing massive global cataclysmic earthquakes. Shit. Yeah. yeah uh, that's like, gotta uh, fuck around with like the like, atmosphere how, how and the... the how large was the comet that, uh, uh, not the comet, the asteroid that, uh, the dinosaurs, how big was that, like six or seven kilometers long? Or am I, it's something look. like that, right? Uh, like, the asteroid is of... 7. Mm -hmm. uh, 12 kilometers in diameter, about okay. seven and a half so, miles. Yeah. So, like, man, think about how much damage that did when it hit the planet. Now imagine a much, 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 much larger object coming from within mm -hmm. Like emerging from the planet, it no, does things. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It, does, it just does things. Well, and, and so I think this, alongside with a bunch of other references, show the writers of this one more so than any of the others are so hyper aware of what's talked about in terms of these films. Absolutely, and, um, yeah. And I think they think it's cruise control for clever. If you have references to meta things. Like that. Well, yeah, because there's nothing clever about it. It's just a reference. Yeah, because if you took this to, uh, was it Chloe Zhao made Eternals? Yes. You'd be like, that's not the point of my movie. You'd be like, right. Oh, but it's in your movie. <laughs> no, I know. That's kind of what I'm getting at. Like those kinds yeah. of criticisms don't matter to the directors that make them because they're just like, that's not what movie making's for. And you're like, okie dokie. All right. But then you have the other movies like acknowledge that as a thing, and it's like, oh, that's awkward. Yeah, and in a sense, make fun of it. Uh, What's being done yeah. about it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, That's all the movie's about. I finally uh -huh. was able to scan that QR code. Yeah. Uh, What'd you get, Metal? I'm so excited. I, I, I it sent me to Marvel.com to okay. to a She-Hulk thingy. Oh. Read a free She-Hulk comic book that inspired the series, streaming exclusively on Disney Plus. Check oh, back as we provide more exclusive She-Hulk comic books presented by Marvel Unlimited. And very I, cool. Now I can start a free trial and I get to read Avengers West Coast, apparently. West Coast Avengers. There you go. Alrighty. Do you want that? Scan that. Wait, no, that's more. This is just... I don't know. It's dumb. Uh, anyway, continue. <laughs> well, we got, a, we got a screensaver there of... Captain America's ass. Captain Amer uh, uh, that's obli great. Obligatory. Yeah. We ain't allowed to do that both ways, are we? I can't believe. Oh, no. 
This well, it's, it ain't the, the only first, time in the uh, show. The first few instances of objectification. Yeah. Um, like I said, I have to clarify just in case some people, because the, the, one of the first responses I get is just like, oh, so you're, you, you know, you can't objectify anybody? But like, I just want it to be fair both ways, okay? That's all. Just want it to be fair. That's all I'm, I just mm. want us all to be on the same playing field. That's all I want. No problem with a guy getting his butt out if he really wants to. They do that in Rings Absolutely. of Power, not Rings of Power, House of the Dragon, a whole bunch. Uh, so yeah, she's got to go. She was looking for a job. It's not working out right now. So she goes to her family for some dinner. And my God, this uh, this dinner scene was absolutely cut down. Like it, it would have been if it were like five minutes long originally. It's down to thirty seconds. Like it's oh yeah. God, it's horrible. The way that the got a problem that a lot of our recent Marvel stuff has, where like the com the every conversation it feels like it was sort of maybe ends. thirty forty percent longer. Yeah. Well, they definitely do the just sort of ends, but like, there's a lot of the connective tissue of a conversation is not present. Like, everybody jumps to the part that the writers need them at, but they don't build to it or like get them there organically. Well, if if I was like just randomly talking about a fast way to solve a math problem and the way I do it, and then it's complete, and then one of you goes, "That kind of reminds me actually of my my math teacher when I was a kid," and you used to do this thing on the board, and you just cut that down to I complete the math problem, then you immediately start talking about the story as, as you don't set it up. They cut shit like that out. They they they're so rushing, and so like to give you an idea, he walks in. And the, uh, I guess we'll, we'll skip over to just when he's like, uh, I told everybody you're fired, so no one will talk about it, woohoo. And it's like, oh, that's all good. Then you have uh, Ched, I think his name is, Ched? Yeah. That's Ched. Ched. Yeah, Ched? C -H -E -D. Ched? that's what it is in the subtitles. I was like, Ched? Ched? I've never heard that name before in my life. But whatever, fine. Ched, he Get says, you're fired, lol. It's like, uh, okay. Then he goes, we stop it. We said to it. not bring it yeah, up. I said don't oh, do it. And then I thought you like, said... You, I should bring it up. It's like, geez, what are we doing? It's so, uh oh. And then it and then it cuts to like a different shot, and it clearly to a point of like everybody's further along in the middle. And it's just like, big news. I got manager at Best Buy. And it's like, oh, oh. and it, it doesn't feel natural at all. It's just like you know, haha, you got fired. When it's like they must have they must have cut out the 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 way you get to there, right? Like you got Ooh. fired. You're failing at your job or whatever. Me on the other hand, big news. I got man but instead it just cuts straight to. Uh, like from oh she already feels terrible big news i got manager big best buy is like okay and then yeah. it's like the other people are like, good employed and promoted as if to compare uh, and then you yeah. get um the mum i guess she's like oh jen i gave some random person your number and and, and it's like wait what now? what's happening now are, are we do okay and then and then she's like uh oh he's too old for uh, too young for you but maybe you could give him advice on being a superhero and then her dad is like, Jen, does Hawkeye pick up all the arrows after firing them? <laughs> yeah, it's ha! like, what is, what is happening? And I legit was just like, I'm getting so lost. And I don't know if that's, like, part of the intention was to it's be like, like oh, isn't it annoying when you go just to, like, like, your family and they, they just all want to talk about different things or something? But his dad was just like, do any of them listen to each other? Is anyone talking to each other? It's like, I don't know what's happening. Well, they all seem to be just really stupid as well. They all know this just recently happened to her. And then they start asking stupid questions like, do you know these things about the Avengers? It's like, no, of course not. Yeah, um, after the Hawkeye comment, someone's like, you need to work on your hair, Jen. And, and it's like, <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, and then they all, yeah, like, all right. overbearingly just start talking while the camera's just zooming in on her. And again, I was just like, is that really what you were going for? Just the family just talk. They just talk about shit. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just everyone's just talking. And then in the middle of all of it, her dad is like, I need you to help me with something before you go. And it just hard cuts to them in the garage. It's like, oh. Yeah. Okay. Right, because now we're going to have, like, a real <laughs> conversation. I just think it was a really piss-poor way at implying, like, she's unhappy with her family, I guess. Because it, it just makes me assume awkward things about her. It's just like... Or, or, or the it was just cut in such a way to make these people look worse than they actually are. Because I just don't believe people talk this way, but... Okay, in and amongst all the comments, though, when I noticed, I don't know if you guys did, it was thanks to the subtitles that we got this, uh, someone says, you know, Bruce is the one that actually saved billions of people with a snap of his fingers. Mm-hmm. What a strange thing to say. What does that have to do with anything? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and then I was like, why would that line be in there? Unless they're trying to... Is it the writers are trying... To show how Jen 
is being compared with Bruce, and that's unfair. I agree. And 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 like that's that's it. It's like because having the word actually in there, as if to imply she had implied that because she saved people at the jury, that she's like a good superhero. When someone else is just going like, "Well, you didn't save billions of people." You know what I mean? Uh, it, that's not something would anyone would say. No, it's not. It's it's a really fucking yeah. weird comment. And I was just like, this, what, what's bizarre. Going on? What is going on? Why? Who write this? Why? And then it's well, like, that's a lot uh, of the conversations and just all the dialogue in this is just that's just not something people would say. People would not say that. And and yeah, that the, exists the only, only for a show. Any conclusion I could grasp was just like, oh man, doesn't don't family suck? It's just like okay, if that's what you wanted yeah, to I write, guess. I guess. That's if family's saying this to it. If family say a bunch of stuff, if family, the first thing your mum says is like, oh, you gotta watch your waistline. And it's just like, do any of them say anything nice to her this whole time? No. Except her really. dad. Gotta, her dad says her one down. or two nice things. Yeah, we, get, we gotta put her down a bit. She's only uh, a, a successful, attractive, insanely powerful superhero in a world that loves her now. We gotta, we gotta, you know, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Hey, It's tough. The one thing I'll give the show entirely was he suggests in front of her dad that maybe she should have let all the people die, and instead of saying maybe, he says, no, no, you should <laughs> no, have no, saved no. them. He passed the test, list. everyone. He passed he the test. He did not direct it by Zack yeah. Snyder. <laughs> Zack Snyder is She-Hulk attorney at law. Maybe. Oh, God. <laughs> Kill them all. Um, I love how much that gets memed these days. Great. Yeah, and, uh, so be. this line didn't 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 hit very well for me. He said, and they laugh or smile, whatever. This isn't even the first time we've had to deal with a Hulk in the family, and you didn't destroy a city, man. So <laughs> why doesn't that sit well with me? Well, either he's referring to Harlem or he's referring to Johannesburg. Harlem, the Hulk was unleashed to save the world from a raging abomination after the government was trying to kill him a whole bunch. And if you remember, he says, I kind of broke Harlem as a reference to Harlem in, in uh, Avengers. Yeah, I remember So I don't that. know if he's referring to that. If it's Johannesburg, I would seriously caution him to ever fucking reference Johannesburg in reference to what the Hulk did, if he knows the context. That's, that's, that would be one of the most yeah. sensitive subjects in Bruce's he, life. He might know. Because, I mean, he's as much like, I mean, this would be his uncle, right? You'd think. I mean, that should, the world mm -hmm. should know. Oh, yeah, there they, they would have to have been some level of a statement about that. And that's actually something of a whole, I would argue. Uh, you can't get away with that. Um, and it's, no, so, so it would be like, the Hulk's gotta go away or something, and it's like, no, actually the Scarlet Witch forced him to do it, or tricked him into doing it, and it's like, so, so what's gonna happen to her then? Right. Uh, but like, of course, no matter what, right, there's gotta be consequences. I think, does Johannesburg show up on the Civil War, um, the, the it dots? It does, I think. I think that would be... I think it does. That would probably be as close to an explanation as we'll get. They were gonna um, address that. Yeah. Uh so yeah, um I don't like it. I don't like treating that event as like, oh, you didn't even destroy a city. It's like, hmm. Mm. Yeah, th that's good because that's a terrible thing. <laughs> that's a really <laughs> bad thing to happen. So she goes, you did not just do that. She's sad and she goes to a bar and has some drinks. Sad, sad, sad. Worst, worst ever life ever. This is the and, worst day ever, really. And I, I thought it was really funny that in the bar on the TV, an episode of Ally McBeal is playing. Right, it's like, yes. They, I, obviously I, for the I reference, it. but it's just like, what <laughs> the fuck? What bar is playing Ally McBeal? Like, <clears throat> no. That's not happening. The Marvel bar. What are the you bar, doing? The like, it's not even... Bar. That, that's some shit you'd have to, like, personally request and bring your own old-ass DVDs <laughs> like, to get them to <laughs> play. There's no way that's on TV right now. Or at least, like... There's what... no sports <laughs> playing, so we play Ally McBeal. It's I just... just... That's what you do, um, I, I just don't know how many bars are playing Ally McBeal. That's just maybe I'm prejudiced. Huh? It's a regional thing. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so the the guy who was actually in the courtroom when T T Titania attacked, like the boss of uh, what was the firm called? Fringe, do you remember something? Something in K or L? I don't, else, I mean, a bunch of letters. Something like that. Just call it the the super law firm or something. <laughs> But um, yeah, the, this just want. adds more to the bizarre. So he's like, Miss Walters, you laid out a winning case, which is very difficult to do against us. Come work for us. And just sort of like, huh. And then she, she says to I'm... him, you got me fired and now you want to hire me? Like, he, he, didn't he did. Get he got her fired. Yep, yeah, that was him. 
fired you. Um, Such a frustrating he line. Was, he was just working in the interest of his client. Like, he's doing his job. Yeah, yeah she well, should not only respect the fact that if if the mistrial is valid, then it's valid. There's nothing more to it. It's, no, it's not like it's done for revenge. And then, on top of that, just the fact... She's a lawyer saying all this. If it was just an average person saying it, you could you could have some leeway. She's a fucking lawyer. How does she she's not know about this she stuff? She understands how it all works. And then she's like, you got me fired, and now you want to hire me. When he just said, you beat us, I want you to work for us. And then she's like, you got me fired. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, oh god, woman, <laughs> take the win when it is presented in front of you. But being a superhero is so hard, mutually. Um... So yeah, uh, and then she's, and then again, just, by the way, this is all stuff on top of the fact she's a bad lawyer. Uh, he's like, you know, do you want to take the job? And then she's like, only if I can hire my own paralegal. Of all the things you could do for leverage, of all the things you could find out about your job, of all the, just before agreeing, you know what I mean? She, but she disagrees. Well, yeah, because as, as we later find out, like, she didn't fully understand what she was agreeing to. Exactly. Uh, in terms of the job. Now, once again, a lot of people may do this, but a lawyer? They're like hyper aware of how this shit works. But no, nope, she's just an idiot. Yeah. She's like, yeah, fine, go. And then she's like, oh, what? This isn't what I wanted. Yeah, man, that's annoying. And for those who don't, don't even know... know how much she's being paid. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. And, 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 and that's the, what I mean about like privileges or, or benefits. The only thing she requests is hiring her own paralegal. And he says, like, I literally don't care. It's just like, oh, yeah. you didn't even get anything, really. Like, there's nothing you requested. And she just accepts anyway. She's very, very not not her own best friend. Let's just put it that way. Also, um, I guess they just got, got a hold of Nikki uh, over the weekend. No problem. She was just able to quit Yeah, it's the whatever. Job. So when... Because oh, okay. that's the best friend you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, that's Nikki, yeah. So... He Little wasn't Nikki. fired, theoretically, but she's just going to transfer over to a different law firm yeah. now. Contracts do not exist well, in this I universe. guess she might be getting paid more money, I guess. And That's also still pretty serious, though. Together, but... you know? Well, yeah, right. Like, did you quit your job without... I'm sure you had to give them notice, right? Like... Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> yeah. They just grab her. She's just in the office when, when Jen gets there. It's like, oh, you... how, did you... how did that happen? Yeah, you're right. That's really stupid. Um, but who cares? Nikki's not a character. More of a... Oh no, no she's not a character. She basically, yeah, essentially, she yeah. like that's the only reason she exists. She doesn't really have much to say about herself or in her life, or like it's she's just there to affirm Jen. Yeah, it's kind of unreal how much they wanted to write like a fun show about this, that, the other. Just like how much law we've had to go over already. By the way, I'm not a lawyer, and it, it's unacceptable that this level of like ineptitude has been done with the law for. You can accept that you can you can you can expect that they would get like very nitty gritty specifics wrong, um, with with maybe jurisdictions or even um. Well, they're getting precedent. they're getting the basics like they just don't. If you do a law law show and someone like me watches this that has no idea of law and it's like this doesn't seem right. I have no idea what's going on, but I I don't feel this is right. And then you do well, two I... Google Googles and it's like oh that wasn't right. <laughs> have they covered the twerking yet? No. Ugh. So, uh, yeah, she finds out when she gets there that the thing she didn't want to be true is this, that he's like, you gotta look like She-Hulk whenever you're working here. You gotta, you gotta be She-Hulk mode. And she's like, wow. And he's like, yep, that's yeah. the reason I'm hiring you pretty much. Because she is now going to be the head of the superhuman law division. And then begins another fourth wall break where she's like talking about how much she hates that this is why she's totally qualified for the job, but they're only going to think she got it because of this. It's unfair. It's like, so that doesn't so like you're if if you if you do your job here and you do it well, like people aren't gonna think that anymore. He already like you're, hired you're, her because he she made a winning case. Well, well, yeah, that's but true. But she is saying, correct like, in that people, people will assume she was hired for the oh, okay, she yeah, yeah. However, they will, that is true. But once she shows that she's good at that, is true. That exactly. So there there is that. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's he, kind of on a few levels, it seems like a weird sort of observation. It feels like so much is not being addressed, or that the writers are unaware. It's like you wrote it so that he only wanted to hire her for the way she looks, right? That's the, the, the specific. He wants to have the like the publicity of She-Hulk is leading the superhero division for his company, slash law firm, whatever. Yeah. And then 
Um, she's just like, oh, that's fuck bullshit. People will think that's why you hired me. I don't understand. I'm listening to that as an audience member. Like, but you just said it is. I don't. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. And then Fring is correct. She all she has to do like, is be a good lawyer. Well, yeah, right. Like, if she's losing cases and screwing everything up, like she's like, what good is it going to be to them? Like, whatever personality, like public facing personality she has, if she can't do her job. At the end of the day, she's got to be competent at what she does. And if she is, which the show says she is. Then it shouldn't be a problem. So, I, agree. I mean, I don't know. Like, just take what you can get. You, for some reason, the world decided that you can't get a job. For some reason, yeah. <laughs> for some <laughs> reason, like, exactly. Take right. what you can get. This is, and then you can prove yourself when you're there. You've got your in now. You can yeah. now prove yourself. Also, this weird moment on top of everything we just said about how bad this line is, or bad this thought is. She's just such a stupid character on top of being an asshole. He says, explicitly, essentially, that they only hired me for being She-Hulk. People will think I'm not qualified. It's so unfair. These dodos never had to deal with this on their first day. And she's, uh, she's looking over at a room filled with men, laughing. And it's like, you know what you just said? You said those guys never had to deal with people thinking they were hired for something superficial. So they had to, be, people had to believe they were hired for this skill. So, that sounds like a really good opportunity to prove your value. I just, I just don't understand why does that make them lesser, that they would have been seen as hired for their skill rather than the way they look. Is it, it's I specifically all white men in that room, are... right? Yes. Are there any? Okay, well. I find I, I I don't understand what the fuck she thinks she's saying. That they never had to worry about people thinking that they they weren't hired for their skill, while I have to. And it's just like you weren't hired they for your probably, skill. They likely were. Yeah, they probably worked really hard and spent years and years and years and years of their lives and a lot of blood, sweat, and tears at lawyering in order to be That's able to be I, in that room. Well, just, you don't know who they are. You she never absolutely know who they are. <laughs> They're white men. Mm -hmm. I, I, and, and, and it's such mean? a poorly written moment, because as far as what I can tell the show is saying is, fuck those guys for working harder than me. <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> like, okay. Why I, can't... It's almost like you wonder if she's thinking, why can't I be given free stuff? It's almost like the, the weird read on it. It's like, how come it, I, I have to... That, I think that it's botched. What The point that they were getting at is that she... It's like, damn, man, like, to me, this could have just been, like, an unequivocally good opportunity, but, like, now I recognize that the reason why I got this job, even though I think I'm good enough that I could have earned this job through merit, I got it because of this She-Hulk thing. Yeah. That's lame, and I'm going to have to deal with that at work. I think that's what they were trying to get at. Yeah, they're saying um, that they had, they never had to deal with that, but she does. People are going to look at her and think, yeah. you weren't hired for your skill, were you? When they never had to deal with that. But if you accept that as true, then it also has to be true that they actually were hired for their skill then. If there was never any concern about them being hired for any other reason, that's likely why they were hired. Is that, it, like, and, and, and again, she says, she says it like derogatorily toward them, and she knows nothing about them. Yeah, but they're white men. It's, it's causing issue in terms of just me being able to like her. Like, wow, you're kind of an ass. Keep getting references piling on, which is not well, good. She's so busy breaking the fourth wall that she wasn't listening to what uh, yeah. the, the guy who hired her had to say. Yeah, which was weird, because then he says, like, what do you think? And she says, I'm agnostic. Um, which, uh, he yeah. just kind of a bit confused by that. Yeah, he answer. says, interesting, unprecedented. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, that would shuffle. probably be an unprecedented response to that question. He well, probably yeah. is true there. But then if, if it were me, because she just says, I'm going to worry for the rest of my year about what that was. And I was just, why don't you just do what a normal person would do and be like, oh, wait, sorry, what did you say? I might have heard you wrong. Sorry, I was just I was just overwhelmed. I was looking was, at all of the things around me in the talking. office. Sorry, I was talking to them. You think a lawyer might be good at mm -hmm. something like that? No. You well, think a lot of things about this show and how it should be but oh. right so here's a second reference to a demon friend uh like she walks in the office and she's like guess what they only want me for the she hulk part of me how fucked up is that but then if friend is like yeah but look at what we have look at this look at this we got a fridge we got a really nice office it's just like wow you didn't listen okay. to her at all did you <laughs> like, it's, this is what i mean about like 
uh, again, I just see this as poor writer because I'm pretty sure the writers of the show are like, wouldn't you love a friend like this? She's like a she's like a vibe increaser. She's gonna keep you going. She's always gonna be there for you, having fun. But it's like, no, she's a horrible friend. She doesn't listen to anything Jed says, and she always looks to see what she could benefit out of all of this. She's talking about herself having fun, by the way, with those drinks, that office as well. Like, you gotta get a better friend. I'm just saying. Kind of, yeah. And then we meet Guy. I forget his name. Pug. His name is Pug. 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 This is this yeah. is the Pug? this is the law team. For this for the this show. is one of the people on the law division. Yeah, uh, the superhuman law division. Yeah, we got. He's gonna be with Jen, who's gonna be with the paralegal. This is our like little little dream team who sometimes work together, sometimes don't. And then we'll have cameos. Seems to be what they're going for? Yeah. Question mark. Seems to be. Um. And then he says, like, here's where you need to go for the the, po the toilet that's best for pooping in. Um, yeah. I've heard mixed reactions to this. I don't know what to make of it. I find that really fucking weird myself, but, uh... I, I don't yeah, it, make, it. it implies yeah. that there is a very clear and distinct, like, hierarchy of toilet quality in this establishment. Like, some of them don't it's work, or they're broken. Fancy more office. I don't even, yeah, like, I'd be um... like, wait, do some of them not work? Well, but how do you wait, 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 wait? How do you how do you know? Wouldn't that be the way that you'd want to introduce that information, though? Wouldn't you want to be like, hey, uh, pro tip: there are three toilets on this floor. Two of them. Uh, let's want to avoid them. Just trust me on that, okay? That would be the kind yeah, of way you do. Guess. You don't I'm hand them a thing and you say, "This is the poop toilet." Yeah, well, there's a little map on it, so it's really cute. But like the look they give him, the... my impression was that it was supposed to be maybe. <laughs> The character thinks, like, this is helpful, but the show is like, yeah, but that was weird. Mm -hmm. So he tells her this, but, um, how does he, what, how informed, how informed is he on the state of the women's bathroom? That's a good question. I guess the unisex, yeah, I don't fucking exactly. know. It's Not all very the, strange. I, it's a strange moment. I don't know if the show I'm wanted us lover. to find him endearing from this, or if it, it was supposed to be either. funny. I don't know. It was just weird. I, yeah. Wherever I go to work, I was never given a poop guide, but maybe that's, this maybe is that's my loss. He's loving you. First strategy, he needs to figure out the optimal toilets. <laughs> so No one wants to poo in a subpar toilet. That's just a given. Oh yeah, by the way, mm. she gets like, she acknowledges the huge pay increase, and then she's like, I'm gonna need like a whole other wardrobe. He's like, well yeah, I'm gonna go <laughs> buy one. Gosh, I hope you can make I it. I kind of feel like it would be low on the list of things to talk about. <laughs> like, it's uh, yeah. it's almost it's almost like the like um I if I gave you a bag of gold, you'd complain it was heavy. Hey, you could probably actually put that in your things you wanted to get the job. Well, because if she would have known that she has to be sheer gold, I was like, oh well, then you got to buy me all this wardrobe because I'm gonna pay for that myself. That could have been something. It would have made some sense. Like that she could see have done. if she was intelligent, and they had said before hiring her that that was going to be a requirement it's in the contract. Whatever, yeah. she can be like, if you're going to force me to do that, it's going to cost me loads of money to do this, that, and the other, and get that in the contract. But no, from what we can tell, she just went, "I agree." Woo! Oh, Woo. I didn't... You know what? I think uh, Holloway. I think is his name. By uh, the way, he probably actually... would have been like, "Yeah, I don't care. Just do it." Um, had she refused to do that, he wouldn't have hired her. By the way, so. That's still a choice she made. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you you could yeah. argue that you know, oh well, but she had no other choice, and I'd just be like, well, that's not necessarily true, is it? Um, especially if this law firm is willing to hire her for a she hulkiness, maybe another law firm would. Um, but they don't require getting a that job you stay is hulk form. I mean, I guess if the show's <clears throat> trying to pass off the concept that she totally can't just go get a million other jobs right this very second, so that then was actually she something they discuss. That... Uh, her friend suggests um, like a fast food restaurant or something, but it's dismissed, and it's like, I mean, that is still an option, obviously. It's an option. It's silly that you have to even entertain that, but it is an option. And I, I would just go as far as saying that um, there's an awkwardness there for the character to be like, isn't it fucked up that they're hiring me just for my she hulkiness? Like, agreed. You didn't have to. You could leave it yeah, any time. Yeah, you could have said no, or let me think about it. So it's it, it's oh, what's what's the reference I'm thinking of where it's just like I'll take your money but you're evil <laughs> sort of thing and it's uh, just like is that, like, hmm. is that Futurama or something? I, I was thinking of Fry and I was like, is that am I yeah, on? It sounds like a Fry thing. Yeah, help us out. Is there any re or it is it Homer? Yeah. 
Bell said Simpson. Well, if you can help out. What? Sounds like it would. Maybe it was Bender. Yeah, it might be Bender. Bender could do it as well. Yeah, they'd all they're all characters that I could see doing this. Yeah, or Homer. <laughs> um, just not quite shut up and take my money. I was more so thinking about like a, a moment where the character recognizes taking the money. Uh, would be like accepting that your criticism of them is kind of weak if you're going to take their money, and they do anyway. Because I know that Homer becomes like a. Um, uh, Mr. Burns is like a little clown for a whole episode where he'll just do anything he, he wants him to do for oh, money. Oh, yeah, right? like, he th and then he throws pudding at Lenny's eye. <laughs> oh, my eye, I'm not supposed to get pudding in it. And then he throws it at Carl. It's like, what are you doing? That's Carl. That's Carl. He takes him to the, the eye wash machine and then glares at him. <laughs> oh, that sounds familiar. I'll take your money, but I'm not going to plow your driveway. Yeah, that's the Mr. Plow ship, right? Because he's pissed off that um, uh, yeah, the Plow King has plowed Flanders' uh, yard, that he's just like, okay, I'll pay you to do it too. And he's like, I'll take your money, but I'm not going to plow your drive. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, might be the go. reference. It's not quite what I was looking for, but it's still funny as fuck. Anyway, yeah. we get... Um, we get So, like, her boss is, is not an interesting character, unfortunately. He's just evil. Um... We catch but, it, and, yeah. and, and they let us know this by having this line where he says, let Carrington go, and tell Bob he's going to Minneapolis because he hates the cold. Yeah, okay. He's just an whatever. asshole. He's, he's the, 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 yeah. There's no other purpose for that You're probably the best person for the... Nope. You know. Doing it because he's an asshole. Yeah, isn't that funny? Very funny. Um, that is very funny, in their defense. So then he's like, you gotta go for the Emil Blonsky case. And she's yeah, like, so I guess uh, I run through it first, sure. Yeah, she's like, I can't do that. Conflict, interest. He tried to kill my cousin, and then he goes, he's waived it. Take the case, or you're fired. <laughs> so I guess um, the the first thing that's worth addressing, Emil Blonsky up for parole? No way. Bull no way. Shit. No, absolutely Look, we, not. No way. I think we might want to catch everyone up. Like yeah, again, I guess that, on I this that is, dude, that is downright more at this point, isn't it? Because it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it has, it, been, it has a been a while. So Emil Blonsky is the abomination. Um, he uh, he he caused a lot of uh, havoc when he went to Harlem. He uh, he destroyed he destroyed that place and he killed a lot of people. Um, and the reason why he had the super serum, why did he, why did he use it again? Like, what was the, what was the context that brought that about? So in the film, like, he was contractually agrees it. with Ross to be experimented on and given these, these abilities. Yeah. And he even says, like, if this goes too far, you have to be pulled out. You agree? And he said, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, he wants to be as powerful as the Hulk. He wants to be a super duper duper soldier. That's, that's the movie. And, and Emil yeah. Blonsky, he's kind of a smart guy. He's ruthless. And uh, he eventually goes kind of nuts and just wants more and more of anything he can get. Yeah. He eventually injects the Hulk's blood, right? Isn't that what he does? Something like that? Uh, some Something like that. Yeah, sounds about right. And then it, and then he turns the concoction of chemicals and stuff, it turns him into an abomination. It's like, oh, oh. He destroys Harlem. Um, and he kills a lot of people. Uh, I mean, he's a villain. Um... Now, that he would be up for parole after, like, 15 years? No way. Nope. He's not, he's not eligible for parole in his lifetime. There's no way. No. Like, the, the <laughs> sentences he would have gotten would have precluded him from, from, like, that within his lifetime. It was, it's insane. So, so he's the, not up for parole. The Blonsky well, parole is it. presumably set up by Valentina slash Thunderbolt Ross for the Thunderbolts. The, the thing, he's not in the Thunderbolts yet, right? The, the, the announced and cast, he's not, he's not in it. Now. I know that he's not in that, yeah. yeah and so... what does that mean? He set it up. It's like, well, what was his sentence? Even... What was the sentence that he received? And I would say that even if that were the case, that needs that context would need to be in this. You you need to have that moment where they're like, how could his parole be uh, be put through? And then it's like, um, you know, it's higher ups of blah blah blah, or even mention Ross as being pushed through or something. But there's nowhere near enough context for that. This this the way they portray it no. is that he's got he's on good behavior, and so it's being considered. Yeah. Uh -huh. Been considered, even though like it would have been a part of his sentence, like the possibility of parole and when. Well, depending it, on what he was charged, convicted of. Yeah, because one of the things he brings up as part of like entertaining parole is that this was not, none of it was his fault. Like, why wasn't this brought up Wait, before? Yeah, yeah, like 
Wait, you mean the that everything that happened, like with yeah, the, like uh, uh, with she, if you remember, she has like a lawyer moment where she's like, "Wait a minute, are you suggesting that you know you were under the influence of the the chemicals and it was not your like, uh, you know, choice to do these things?" Which, by the way, doesn't really come up in in the uh, in the rest of it. It's much more about Wong. Yeah, it's because yeah, I, really I think we I think the end of episode two we're supposed to just accept. We're like meant to accept the conclusions that have been drawn by the show, which is he he is up for it and he has a real chance at getting it because he's reformed and just ignore every other question that you would have about him and how he'd be eligible for it and how you would argue it. Yeah, she says um, the serum caused the subsequent actions. As 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 though it has it's going to be relevant, but that never comes up again. That's true. No, it, I, I think they believe it's resolved and settled. Um, like well, we have um, to. Maybe remember, he's not all that evil after all. That's our first. Didn't they say that. the initial plan with Blonsky was like a three-episode case? Uh, th yeah, but they didn't know how to write compelling legal drama and courtroom drama. Yeah, so. I wonder well, if that's compelling a, um, anything. I wonder if that's like a remnant of when they were going to be trying to use that as part of getting him a reduced sentence or something. Yeah, because I imagine that once the idea of abomination was floated, Kevin Feige was like, yeah, we'll get him in, that'll be, the people will like that. Yeah. And so it's like, yeah, but I have a story to tell with him, which mm -hmm. I you wonder know what, I what they... Yeah. Realize now, I jumped a little bit too far, because something stupid happens before that. When she's on her way to the prison... Yeah, but, oh, sorry, I've jumped ahead of that. Right, so, she's, well, yeah, uh, yeah. So, so, like, she's like, nah, I, I can't, and he's like, you can, because Blonsky waived the, um, the, the bias. It it's makes you wonder why um why does he want her so much? I guess we're probably gonna f Well no, we probably should have found out in episode three why he wanted her We never did, yeah. Um and maybe we will in future, uh, but if the reason really is well. that he thought that she was the best lawyer to get him off, that's gonna be so fucking annoying considering how she actually did it. Well, I mean, considering that this is your whole life, you probably wouldn't want to take that risk, right? <laughs> like, no, but um you know. uh the Carrington guy says, or, or sorry, not Carrington. What, what, what's the name of? Do you remember the name of your boss? I, I think old dude. Holloway. 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 Sorry, yeah. Uh, he he says like Blonsky wanted you specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's weird, True. right? I like guess the, that would be more relevant, presumably. They could have had She-Hulk on the team. They didn't need to have, uh, you know, her directly representing him. But apparently, Blonsky. Like, like, wouldn't refuse uh, any well, other thing. Well, if she was, if she was part of the team that was working on it, still would be the same problem of like conflict of interest. No, sorry. I, what I mean still... is like Blonsky is asking for her to just be number one. Like, she could be in the office, is what I'm yeah. suggesting. Um, while someone else does all of the. Um, as long as there's enough compartmentalization within the office to prevent her from being involved, sure. Unless he wanted her specifically, which he did. And then, no, yeah. I'm not saying it gets rid of the conflict. I'm saying that Blonsky was asking that she be, like, the number one and just doing everything, which is weird. Why? Why does he want that so much? I Maybe it's got to be for the plot, right, surely? Or, yeah. or did they just <laughs> want the two pads together and they didn't care how we got there? Yeah, but maybe he'll come back. Like, he's definitely coming back. He's coming so back, yeah, but I don't know if they're going to talk about that anymore, are they? Well, I mean, we know that the plot beat has to do with her blood, right? Like, after episode three, so maybe mm -hmm. he's involved well, in that. Maybe him. What I'm saying that. is, I don't know if they'll have anything more on why did you choose me as your lawyer. I feel like we're done with that. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's all we get. Right. I'm pretty sure that's all we got. In which case, I guess, yeah, that's. I guess I, I could see it being as simple as they just wanted those two. They wanted her to interact with him, and yeah. that was just a barrier they had to get past. And this is probably something that's worth highlighting right now. One of the things that should be on Jennifer's mind at the moment in terms of resolving this conflict of interest is. You know, your job is essentially to act in the best interest of your client and, like, advance their interests uh, as best as possible. Um, the whole point of, like, conflict of interest as a thing is to ensure that that's what you're doing and that there aren't things that are going to get in the way of you acting in the best interest of your client and doing your job diligently for them. So, like, from her perspective, the important part of resolving this conflict of interest should be essentially resolving that um that issue so that she can best do her job and not be encumbered by any biases that she has against him um as we progress through the episode it will be pretty clear that that is not like her priority um i mean we've already shown from the previous work. scene we, we we saw her showing bias against people 
in a, in a boardroom. Like, that's not a very lawyer thing to walk in. Oh, and for sure. But I mean, I guess you can be biased sense. personally as long as it doesn't affect you in your job, right? Yeah, but that I, is I get true. What I get what you mean. It's not a good indication of a character if she lets biases fuck her up on the average what? day to day basis. Not a good indication but, of her yeah. character, Mahler. Well, for me, I, I probably made it clear I'm not a big fan of Jen Walters so far. But, what? Uh, I'm sure it'll go. No, me neither. No. Y yes, definitely. Yes, she will. Uh, yeah, so th that's why they s they send her to the prison. He's like, go and meet Emil, and then decide if you want to take the case. She's like, okay. So yeah, um, that's that's why she ends up talking to him, and he talks about her, how, uh... Wait, no, don't skip past the fact that when she goes to the prison, they're like, no powers, and then she transforms into a human. It's like, oh, but she still has power. She could transform yeah. no. any time. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's she's unpowered herself. It's fine. It, it's yeah, it's just like uh... it. It's just like when they say no firearms, and so you turn in your gun before you go into the saloon. It's just like in this that. case. It's just you you disable you just I don't know you uncock it and then just walk. I was, yeah. I was gonna say you you could argue it's like oh it's like putting the safety on. It's like it's not really anything close. It's not anything. It's, she can turn Nothing's that on and off. Exactly yeah, like it's nothing. Like. Table. Yeah. So yeah, it's just it's super awkward to me that it's just like can't have superpowers while you're in here. It's like she still has it, whatever. Well, but now they don't have to CGI it, so it's not as expensive. Very true. Seems very arbitrary, but yes, I I agree. Yeah. Well, the other huge issue with that part that I almost forgot, Josh Don, is that they have to make her sign a thing about how if she dies here, they're not at fault. And then yeah. she doesn't read it. She doesn't read it. She's a fucking lawyer. You just, yeah. you don't even know what you just signed away. <laughs> <laughs> also, that should have been presented to her, like, well before she was right at the door. She should yeah, that probably oh, should absolutely. have been sent to her with a package before she even... Should have been sent to her by email at the yeah. very least, so that she could look at it before she went there, rather than right when she arrived. And um, I actually enjoy, this. There's, there's one thing here where she, she makes a reference to Hannibal Lecter, because I guess she's just such a fun-loving gal, and the guard just says, ma'am, this is a prison. And I was just like, hey, yeah, hey so. that's nice. Like, the, the, the appropriately taking this seriously but for that guy, but of course, he's probably seen as a wet blanket by the show. Um, mm. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's when she starts talking to Emil, and um, they do a, a very easy, it's like, dun 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 and then he goes, you know, namaste. Like, ah, ah hey. see, he's chill now. He's chill. Ooh. That's just become the the stereotypical. I am chilling at peace. Well, and namaste. She immediately breaks the rule, the one rule they gave her. By the way, she steps over the line. Which is step over the line. That was the one thing they told her not to do, and she did it. Yeah, but isn't it funny? <laughs> I don't even. But it makes you wonder sometimes. Like, know. what is the point of doing that? What What does it help? That doesn't set anything up. It doesn't tell. It just, she just fucked that up for a moment there. It's like, okay. Good job. I think yeah, you're an idiot right, now. Then, fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, he just starts talking about, he's like, um, I was under direct orders for the government. Uh, I was given a bunch of chemicals and serums. I was, I was hoping I'd become the next Captain America. I was decorated. I was sent out there to take out a threat, and now look at me. Like, he's doing, like, a sob story, and it's so bizarre to me, because it's like, bro, we, the government would have noted everything about you. Because you worked for them, and they would have had yeah. it all. Ross isn't retarded. He wouldn't have just like. Wow. <laughs> He's only, he could be a little bit retarded, but it depends. <laughs> but like, it, 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 this universe now. It's, it's just frustrating because like the he would have had everything in place to make sure that this would never be possible. That he could just argue like the government screwed me over, and then they release him as a result. It's like that's never gonna happen. That's um, funny because I I didn't see. Uh, the movie, so I had to do a little bit of research. So, oh, what what actually happened? Because for a moment, like, oh, that could be an interesting thing they could do. You know what? I'm I'm kind of on board. And then I did minimal research. I was like, oh, that's horse shit. What are you saying? So, good job. <laughs> well, part of this that's confusing is I guess we'll know by the end of the season is how much of this we're supposed to be like. Ah, he's lying about lying. everything. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, like, how is he getting away I with it? Like and well, how yeah, can you tell what the writer's is... intention are if it's all bad? True. This would be a well-documented case, Emil Blonsky. There'd be a lot of information about him, a lot of evidence. Mm -hmm. And again, just I, I, what was he? What was he convicted of? That he's up for parole in like fifteen years? 
<laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Like, know. simultaneously, he's there for 15, but he's not there forever. So what was, like... The... Well, yeah, it's like, cause did he not get, like, seven life sentences or something? Like, <laughs> what is his sentence that he's up for... Pro was he going to be released 10 years later anyway? Like, was he just going to exactly, be released yeah, at bizarre. some point? Um... <clears throat> well, yeah, the amount of time he has served is literally only connected to the fact that they had to look at the dates for when the movies came out. That's it. Pretty much. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that's that's totally a part I mean, of the sentence. In a, sense, in a sense, you could say, what a coincidence it is that, that like, like a week after She-Hulk, as, like, identity has been revealed and she gets into a new law firm, Emil Blonsky, the man who fought in Bruce, just so happens to be up for parole. Yeah. Pretty, I didn't even think of that. That's that is quite interesting, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, is a good point. The show, the show continues to break and crumble, like as you think about it. I um, noticed that, yeah. So, you know, as well, it would have been cool to have like had a had a universe like that that is is something as significant as this character is going away for ten years. Like, whoa! Yeah, and knowing that you know you will eventually get to the point where ten years have passed, and so we'll have to deal with that again once it happens. It's like, all right, yeah, yeah. that is true. That would be a really neat sort of long-term storytelling sort of thing. It's just like, uh-oh, that guy's yeah. back out. But, uh, yeah. yeah, this That was... kind of planning, yeah. Bullshit. Anyway, um, so, yeah, uh, the implication is like, so are you going to take on a meal or not? And so she feels she needs to ring Bruce first, and she says, like... I can't take on a meal without knowing uh, whether or not you hold a grudge. Everyone deserves a second chance, and you made good arguments, and he was so compelling, I just, I want to believe he's reformed. Which I thought was really interesting. She doesn't bring up at all the, um, the most important part of all of this, which is that, well, he's entitled to a defense, right? Like, yeah. um, and the, the, whether or not you believe uh, he's reformed made good arguments as to whether or not he's innocent. I mean, that's not going to trump whether or not you want to keep your job, presumably. Like, like what I mean is, like, it feels like a weird discussion that we're, she's only going to take the job if she believes he's innocent. And if that's true, there's no fucking way she should believe he's innocent. Oh, yeah. unless she's incredibly naive. And so now I'm getting a bit lost. And the thing is, the whole, like... said namaste. The whole representing him properly because it's the law and it's important in the country and stuff, that actually gets brought up in the next episode. In a very, it very does quick get line. Up. Yeah. But it's like, is but she... like in this episode, it's just not even a thing that she's considering. Is like, yeah, she's talking about how to a robust counsel, and I believe that I can do that, and I believe that I've resolved the problems that are going to interfere with my ability to dispense and and do my job properly. But that's not part of anything that she says. Um, yeah, it's not just the things she says; it's the things she doesn't say. All of that is character. So oh, it's 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 or. really annoying uh, to me because it's like, and and then of course ringing Bruce to ask if there's a, there's a grudge and she says like because you've never talked about it, and I got really annoyed hearing that because I was like you apparently have no fucking clue about anything to do with his life so why would you even try that? <laughs> like, yeah, you don't yeah. talk about whether or not you had a yeah. grudge with him. I mean, at the very least, Bruce calls her out and just says, you already wanted to take this job. Like, you were going to do it anyway. Yeah, You're but really it's treated as a it. fun thing, not an actual criticism. It's, it shouldn't be treated yeah. as... It's, it's kind of a big deal, honestly. It's just one of them pig-headed <laughs> moments. Yeah, basically, she's not calling him to ask his opinion. She's calling him to tell him she's doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but he, fortunately, yeah. Bruce is, is cool with abomination. He sent him a haiku, and it was yeah. all good. Man. Yeah, no, he, it, namaste. Namaste. Yeah, I don't know what to think of that myself. Like, Blonsky wrote me a heartfelt letter. It's like... Okay. okay. Mm. He says, we put everything behind us. It's like, I don't even... I, if there are fans of the Incredible Hulk movie out there, they're probably annoyed, but... I'm sure they are. It's an abomination like his arch enemy. I think so. And now we got, like, Goofy, Soy Hulk, and Namaste Abomination. <laughs> like, have fun <laughs> with those guys. That's a smart Hulk. I swear, mm -hmm. she's smart. Hulk. Smart. Um, and then she says, like, oh, you when you visit in next, and he says, well, it won't be for a while, and he's he's off to space. Yeah. He's going probably to Takara to to set up the World War Hulk, and that's gonna happen maybe. Uh -huh. And the episode ends yeah. with the realization that yes, she will take the case. However, oh, a video job. has leaked of Abomination Shit. having broken out of prison and fought in some kind of underground crazy thing from Shang-Chi. 
Whoa. Yeah. I'm sure this is all going to make me, sense. I want to I want to know if is this going to this the fact that this leaked now is that going to be a plot thing later like it, and it was I got the all along thing um, where we discover um, somebody I, I actually don't know if it will be I like, think they're going to forget about it. Why would that be no, that just like, why? who would do that? I, I guess Yeah, that's what I'm would. saying. Like I don't think they're ever going to revisit this. It's just for I the story. Oh, it just so happens that right now this video that's been out has been Absolutely. leaked. And, no, I don't know no, how it hasn't been leaked. It's not leaked. It's just like that's that's well, just what happens there at this place, I suppose. Someone had this on his phone for for years or something. Like, oh, <laughs> right. They're waiting now. for the official word that his parole was coming up. Yeah, <laughs> He's like, crazy. do I have We're something in store for you? Because I think She Hulk, because uh, because he uh, Hulk appears, Bruce appears in the post credit scene with his arm in a sling. Um, Shang Chi, yeah. And I mean, now we. Or like how so i don't know timeline wise like surely it would have been not leaked it would have just happened like it would have been afraid, a long I'm time afraid ago. they really they say it's leaked <laughs> yeah yeah they did say it's leaked which i don't even what does it mean to be leaked it was at, at like a place like where a lot of people were attending and obviously yeah, and phones everywhere I, I don't know dude i got nothing um I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna find out a lot about yeah. that and it's gonna be disastrous oh gosh yeah characters. uh Three and four are particularly bad. Two, this was like yes. this was like uh, only mid bad for She Hulk. Um, because three and four is when the the actual show begins, essentially, like the formula, which is She Hulk taking on these crazy cases. Whoa. Oh, oh. Whoa. don't want to miss so this really... episode. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, just a, the my theory on why this worked this way is because it creates what uh, the drama. writers in the writing room probably would call drama. Yeah, they're like. Wouldn't it be if someone probably brought up like, oh, remember that fight scene he's in in Shang Chi? We got to incorporate that, and it's like, oh well, what if the video of that leaks right when she takes the case and believes he's innocent? Yeah, that's oh no! And then yeah. nobody in the writers' room oh, said, wait, why? <laughs> <laughs> no one in the writers' room said why. That is an accurate, just that, that's just an accurate landscape of the writing room. Oh, yeah. Why didn't anyone ask why? <laughs> Which, um, that completes episode two. Sure does. Another... Hard to believe that it gets <laughs> way better from here on out. Those are the good ones, guys. Well, yeah, from, <laughs> from what I'm gathering, I actually have, like, hope that episode five will be the only okay-ish one if they handled it ever properly, but it could simultaneously be the most horrible garbage uh, if they do. Well, we, they already said the that, that, that people already got serious Daredevil, so no... It's gonna be a different that, one or something. Like, why do why do we think the next one's Daredevil? Wouldn't the next one be like her with her Titania, the like the trademark stuff? I thought they were doing that at the same time. I I, I don't know about that. I feel like I saw something that said that Daredevil was gonna get like a dedicated episode that it was gonna be like focused on Daredevil and that it's not here yet. Oh well, like, whenever they do the, the Daredevil end. episode, then. Well, that's the one that's man. I'm nervous. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you should be fucking terrified. Yeah, you should run. <laughs> you should run. No, so, episode three. Yeah. Woohoo! Dun, 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 three dun, is a magic dun, number, dun. they say. Dun, 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 dun. Um, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so the first thought you might have, because we're going to take right on from episode two, is just like, wow, Emil didn't tell anybody about this. I guess he was just hoping it would remain a secret. Yeah. Um, and then even like, how is it even possible yeah. that it's a secret? He was in a heavily guarded yeah. high security prison. Oh. How do you how pull, yeah, get pulling out him out of that little thing? thing? Like that's it. it, it would and detect they're not cameras that, right? on him at all times. And they're not just motion sensors of some kind. Surely, yeah. Well, he's also and people. He's that's true. He's probably gone for an hour or two, and no one sees that. Nobody. I don't knows. believe you. Yeah, unless I don't know. Did Wong put up an illusion or something that like? <laughs> it's not his name. It's Wongers. It's Wongers. Uh, no, that's Wongers. episode four. We'll get to that. No, no, his um, name was Wongers all along. Yeah. So, uh, she goes to speak to him, because of course she would. He, he says, I was forced to fight after I was kidnapped from prison. Who, and you know, the who second would do he, such a dastardly deed? Genuinely, the second he brought that up, I was like, that fucking better not be true. Because that doesn't make any sense. Because I guess this is just now coming up. 
Well, when we no, saw it... Wong and Abomination in Thingy, and then we get all the context of this, I'm just waiting for them to explain that to me. I was like, because obviously Wong wouldn't kidnap him. That would be un incredibly unethical. That would make that no would sense be, at all. Yes, that would be extremely out of character. What, what, whatever that is for him. <laughs> whatever that point, concept I, is. Whatever that point. it is. I guess, I guess that's the, the, the grace that the show has, is I don't even know what his character is now to break. Yeah, for, for those who haven't gotten the, the, the update, Wong has been damaged several times at this point in the MCU, but there's always room for more. Practically, they're Yeah, out. we can do Absolutely. More. There's always room for more on the... the I don't even know. The sludge pile. Yeah. There's no mm. upper limit to how Emil, stack. Emil doesn't have the full context for this. He just says, yeah, he did that. That's the thing that he did. So now the next thing is like, well, time to contact Wong. And um, how, we do that? how do we do that, mutually? Uh, oh well, why you know why? It seems like you're you you know maybe what app they're using because I, I don't. Asking. Well, they yeah. check his apparently his LinkedIn account. <laughs> That's relatable and funny, but it causes problems. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Yay! Hey. So, what's what's interesting as well is the wait line. wait meeting sorcerers on LinkedIn is a relatable experience. <laughs> exactly. Do you have you live LinkedIn, in magic? But um, That's some Harry Potter shit. He says, like, he's either the Sorcerer Supreme or a librarian in Kamataj, when it's like, uh, I think you pointed this out, Fringy, but it actually says on her screen that he was target sales for, for nine years, librarian for 11, and then currently Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah. So, so like, if you can so, like, read... How did you make that <laughs> like, yeah, you can't make that mistake if you can read. Mm -hmm. Or, but I guess she read the line from the script... Like yeah, they changed their mind yeah. when they made the actual graphic. Whoops. It's one of those things where you could... A scene like this, where it's like a close-up of a phone, surely you can just, like, show an actual image on the phone. It's it's focused on it and everything. You don't have to... Yeah, you can just put a little picture on See, there. See, the benefit, Rag, is that they can change it right up until the end, but then they literally oh, changed it to be wrong. I guess. But also, isn't isn't like glare like a real thing that would potentially screw them? Yeah, like how how do phones? I mean, look potentially, when but you can. Sometimes? I mean, if you I if you angle it right, it looks just fine. I, I guess I don't. So what you think? Like I'm sure to it. I, I guess. I, hey, well, I'll, sure, but I, I'll go as far as saying this could. What, how do you know this isn't for real? Hmm? How do you know this isn't I, like an actual phone, an actual? Screen? I thought. When, like, in terms of, would I be able to look at this and know? I mean, I don't know. Oh, I thought you said that they had changed it. How would I know that? I don't know. No, what I'm saying is that the screen information doesn't match what she said. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Which, that could be because uh, but, uh, of a lot of reasons, obviously. It's they've replaced that... it, though. It's very obviously not, like, yeah, that's, that was a green thing on it's... there, and they changed it. Well, you so, it's definitely super I was going to say, looking at the edges... Doesn't seem like it's yeah. quite right. That's mm -hmm. how you tell exactly. That something but something's if, gone wrong. I can understand why you do it in a lot of scenes, but in a scene like this, where it's just like a close up of the screen, it would have had it would have it would have alleviated some of the disconnect I have with the reality of this show as it presents itself to me, namely with our main character. It, it's just one of those little things I wish we'd see more, especially in a in a situation like this where you could. Like essentially, make I'll it have you know, busy. rags. You didn't call out a yeah. CGI piece of paper in Final Destination Four. Yes, I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. You said it was yeah, fine. It'll be on the recording. It'll be on the recording. And I was. I. I, I even that. say like rags. I'm surprised Which, that you're okay with that. I, it's probably because by the time we were on Final Destination Four, my <laughs> brain was already just like that. Was the least of that movie's problems. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, everybody. Final Destination 4 is a funny fucking movie. Look, yeah. <laughs> I, the, there are, I notice many things, and not everything gets, to, gets the privilege of coming out of my mouth. There are, some, some thoughts just stay nestled up in there, and they say, hey, what's up? And I'm like, no, no, no. We have no, to talk no, about no. the rest of the things in Final Destination 4 first. Whoa, spoilers for Halloween. I'm going to give you, oh not, my a, not a spoiler, Christ. a hype generator, okay? So you got the ox on the way, and... Uh, and Let's just say there is a character in Final Destination 4 that is listed on IMDb. The character name is racist. 
That is it. <laughs> yeah. He has a very particular role in the story. <laughs> it's, uh, this is good movies. On the way. Get ready for fun, though. Uh, anyway. Yeah, it says that he was a Target sales associate in Kamataj, Nepal. Um, is, it, is Target in Nepal? Here we go, Zach. Like I'm not sure. Because I, 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 for a second there, I was just like, I don't know how how far Target's reach is. <laughs> how do you search for something like that? Target's uh, chain or Target Target uh, buildings in in the world? Or I guess I can just Google Target store in Nepal, and it looks like. Let's see. I'm zooming in. Uh, Lalitpur in Kathmandu. We have a Target. Let me let me take a look because we might actually have it. Wow! It, now it it's called Target, but it's not that Target. Unless maybe that is the Target he worked at. Yeah, I, th I think like I think he's in Kathmandu. I, I think so. So there's places like one Target, a few, a few places called Target, Target Fashion, things like that. But I don't think it's like our Target. What we what we think of. It could have been, maybe he worked at one of those, and that's what it's referencing. Maybe it's a cover story. You know what? That could also be true. He'll need a cover story when he, well. <laughs> we can get there. So, yes, carrying on. Uh, they're like, oh, we'll contact him by sending him a thing on LinkedIn, like a picture or something. It's just like, don't they have, like, isn't there a whole legal method of contacting him? Isn't that how this yeah, is supposed to work? You, surely, like, the... Well, there's an uh, like a receptionist. There's got to be a receptionist there. You'd think. You would. At Kamataj. I mean, Kamataj. Like, uh, not Kamataj. He he lives at the um. He lives at the Sanctum Sanctorum. Like, he sources New Supreme in New York. You know where that is. There's an address for that. Like, <laughs> like I mean, that, but, but, really, but to be honest that with you, place really has a like a receptionist. That's a. But you probably have like security guards at the door to make sure people don't just walk in. That's a really important place, and it's very prominent in this universe. I actually would go a step in another direction. The second you acknowledge that Kamataj slash the sorcerers have any kind of way of interacting casually with, I don't know, law or any kind of institution, it opens up a bazillion questions. Yeah, well, that becomes very apparent in episode four when we get there. It, yeah, I guess we should probably save it for then, but still, I we think it's a problem already. Introducing the idea that we can just bring in Wong to talk about his involvement with Abomination is like, Wait, so a sorcerer is being brought in to discuss how he portaled a man out of... You understand that there's a... <laughs> I don't know. It's like... It's like one of those things where someone tells you something, and the point they want to make isn't the interesting part of what they say. You know what I mean? The parts that explain the context for what point they're trying to make, you're like, wait, you... What about that other... You... Like, yes, I did get him out of the prison with my portal magic. Like, portal magic? What the fuck? It's like, yep, yeah, yeah, what? Well, that sounds more cool to me, what? So, I mean, yeah. at this point in the universe, portal magic should be just a known phenomenon that's quite well documented. And if we want to accept that, then it should have been made illegal already, I presume. Oh, definitely. But we ain't going to talk about it, are we? You know what? Well, we'll talk about it when we get to episode four. That's going to be the time to talk about it. All in one clump. Don't worry, the it'll right all make sense. Point. Yeah, there. Uh, uh, yeah, nothing will make sense. Nothing. Well, that's okay. Yeah, that's kind of the point. But anyway, Not to me. um, she tells her like, "Yeah, I'm gonna try and contact Wong," and she's in the car when she says this, and then and then she Hulk looks at the screen and she's like, "This is not a cameo per week show. This is my show." Uh, and then she goes, "Except, except Hulk or Bruce, and Abomination, and Wong." And then I was in my head thinking like, "And Daredevil." Uh. And that's pretty much is per week. And then it's just like, can't lampshade the cringe, all right? You practically just admitted. <laughs> lampshade the cringe. <laughs> that, like, you're this corpse and you keep like grabbing little IVs of cameos and sticking them into your arm to try and stay alive. Like, that's what your show is. That's when it, we need to rename our show Lampshade the Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. You can't do it. Screw up. <sighs> so, anyway. We get we get the part. I'm not a fan of this part. Okay, I think it's, I think it's talking about cringe. Uh, yeah, it was pretty. They do it was a montage good. of people reacting Dude. to the existence of She-Hulk in the MCU, in universe. 
And this you have, is. You know, people saying stuff like, I hate female heroes. They took the Hulk's manhood and they gave it to a woman. Ugh. Yeah, man, there's so many fucking things in here that doesn't make a lick of sense. Oh, like a machine gun. It's the fucking stupidest meta commentary I've ever seen. Because they have like shit in there that says like, yeah, as I already said, they took the Hulk's manhood and gave it to a woman. Or something like, but the uh, Hulk's still around. <laughs> like, why are you turning? Why are you turning every superhero into girls? I did pause on those frames and write, written most of them down. Yeah. Um. No more female superheroes, please. Why are you turning every superhero into a girl? Someone find a way to cancel hashtag she Hulk. I have no problem with female heroes. Just saying, make your own. <laughs> so none of this can make any sense in universe. Exactly. Because the context here, first of all, I want to really want to talk about the manhood one. The latest thing, a big event that a superhero did, I guess you'd say is Iron Man in terms of, well, no, because Mysterio did those things. There's a lot of things, but I don't think any, any event is really compared to Iron Man's snap. And by extension, really, the Hulk snap. The Hulk snap is probably the most heroic thing that has happened in the history yeah. of the universe. So someone saying... They took the Hulk's manhood away and gave it to a woman? It's like, what do you mean? The Hulk is currently I'm alive and shit. well, and he just recently did the most heroic thing in the history of the universe. Meanwhile, she's just here. She also exists. Mm -hmm. I don't even yeah. know why someone would say this. Like, in, in universe, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. Because I don't actually know what the arguments people make are. They're, they're totally disconnected from what people really say. No, also no one is going around taking the superpowers of of men. male superheroes and put them into women. It's like, what the, what the fuck are you talking about? Why would it's anybody like... say that in-universe? It doesn't have any context that can line up at all. Exactly. We've already had female mm. heroes that have existed in this world. Are you <laughs> yes. suggesting that this is what happens every time? Why? Yeah. What do you mean? I don't understand. It's very strange. It's, it's, it's hard to... And so it's just cringy and like, as I was saying before, super in, uh, insecure uh, from the writers. It's dumb as shit. We gotta have affirmative action with superheroes? Like, what do you mean? Do you think the government made him because they want more female... Like, is that the, the, the idea of what's happening here in-universe? No more yeah. female superheroes, please. It's got 5.6k yep. likes. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little prey symbol. So, uh, I heard this. I don't know if that's true, but I, I heard that they actually took, like, real comments from when they... Announced the show. Yeah, but the thing is, put them in there. Our world is different than their world. No, I know. I just, I just wanted to mention it because it just, ma just makes no sense. I don't know why you would do this. It's fucking stupid as shit. Um, <laughs> we have a hashtag Me Too movement, and now all the male superheroes are gone. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I don't know. Man. So um, fucking stupid. I hated this. I hated this with a, with a passion. It's so fucking hot short shit. Please no more pray. So, uh, <laughs> we got this moment. This was famously clipped. Everybody's been making fun of how awful the animation is here. But this is kind of, if anybody oh, was wondering. Yeah. Was bad. It just does a little tank, a tank to the side. It's like... Oh. <laughs> yeah, so... Also, that makes great. To get this, like, understood. She doesn't look like she's there. Uh, is the main thing. Clearly. Oh, it looks bad. Your eyes won't believe it. They'll just be like, no, there's something wrong. Uh, I would even go as far as saying the lighting on her isn't quite right either. The lighting on her is not right. Her mo the, the way that the suit moves is... It's just... Uh, it, that is not real, and it did not look good. This is not up to James Cameron standards. No, no, not at all. I, would, I think you're right. Uh, I, I think I he'd be upset with this. He would not allow this. He would not stand for this. I mean, people would go as far as saying the T-1000 was more believable. Uh, to be fair, the T-1000 oh, yeah. fucking rocks. But everything rocks in T-1000. Okay. Cool movie. I give it a thumbs up. Maybe even two. I don't see PS4 graphics. It's like, dude, PS4? Uh, I don't know about <laughs> like, that. You leave the PS4 alone, goddammit. Yeah, PS4 is just like, hey. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, uh, man. Maybe... But it would certainly have better animations than that. You'd think, yeah, you'd think. Um, 
GameCube cutscene. I don't know. Like, <sighs> I, 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 whatever it is, there's a combination of things going wrong here. Is all everybody can look at this and be like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> "What happened here?" It's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Did you just break her leg? What's happening?" <laughs> yeah, we'll have, we'll have a few more of them as time goes on. I'll probably point them out if I can. There's a little swoosh to the side. So. Um, yeah, so on the on the iPad, there's like an interview with some guy, uh, and the guy says it's appalling that anyone would try to free that monster, and uh, apparently the quote is coming from the prosecutor of the case originally. So mm. that to me is a huge opportunity for something interesting. We don't get to see that. We don't get to hear any more of that. That no. guy, that is literally the first and last thing we hear from the guy who prosecuted, <laughs> prosecuted, prosecuted Emil's case, and is on being interviewed right now saying it's appalling that anyone would even try to free him, which... I'd love to know what he thinks about all this. I'd love to know what, it, but never mind. We don't even know, you know, what Emil like got in terms of years or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Yeah. Um. Nothing interesting here. Go away. And she says like, you know, you see what they're saying about the case and you and stuff. And then She Hulk says, um, I can't think about that. Everyone in this country is entitled to a fair hearing. And it's like, where was this last episode? That's like, cause she's right. <laughs> it's just that I didn't realize she yeah. cared about that, but they're making it clear she does now. It's like, okay. That's good, I guess. Uh, good, good. It, it, sometimes it can cause a backlash. Uh, not a backlash, a whiplash to me. Mm. Um, so anyway, yeah, she's, uh, she's pulled into her boss's office. And, um, oh yeah, on the way, she's getting annoyed about the attention, but she says, people only care about me because I'm representing Emil Blonsky, but once this is done, it'll die down. She thinks the attention given to her is She-Hulk, will stop as soon as she's not representing the abomination anymore. It's like, um... Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, okay. That's Absolutely. definitely what'll happen. <laughs> definitely gonna happen, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Things on the internet just go away. It's no problem. Mm -hmm. That's true. You, you will just... that That's why... That's the only reason people really care about her, is that she's representing abomination. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. I can't remember how she got into that position, but it's probably... No, no. Problem. Apes me. Um, but she walks in and she sees the, her, the, the guy... The, Stupid sexist man, he's he's here, and he's trying to get help representing a case that he's he's making against a person with superpowers. So he needs this team. He's like, oh no, not Jen Walters, boo. Mm -hmm. um, and Jen, when she walks in, says, I'd love to know what this is about and not work on it. Which is just like... Okay. Shit lawyer. Just like, <laughs> I, want, I want to know about it, but not help, because I, I like gossip. It's like, yeah, alright. Anyway, um... As as the pro it's about to move on, some lady like walks in as a potential. Mallory Book is her name. Yeah, as a potential I don't, to work I don't on know the what case. She... Yeah, um, she's just here. No, she, she so she's a potential to to because he's looking for someone to represent the case, and he's like, no, it's not going to be Jen. I hate her. And then she walks in. Oh yeah, yeah. And he's like, I can't talk to a ten about embarrassing man stuff. She could be my next fiance. Mm hmm. Cringe. Yeah. But no, what I meant, this is the only time we've seen her so far, and she doesn't appear up until now anymore. So, I just say, uh, yeah, this is character, what's the name? Joke. She might be back later, maybe, I don't know. I just found it weird that she's in there for like five seconds, like, Depends okay, how funny happy not to be a part of this. Like maybe she meant the, the the show, I don't know, maybe she's with the show, like, I'm sure she's not literally to be a part like, of this. disappeared into a dark void the second that a... Uh... He was done being used by the writers just to have him go, I can't talk to a 10 about embarrassing me and things. Mm. Isn't it so funny how he's such an idiot? He's, yeah, he's very idi idiot. That is pretty funny, though. I mean, if we're being fair. It's so really... they, they let yeah. us know that he is in trouble because he dated a shape-shifting elf and she pretended to be someone called Megan the Stallion. And... yeah. Everyone's like laughing at the idea that he fell for it. Like, like it, it, it's so funny that he would have fallen for that when they just said she's a shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know anything about Megan the Stallion. Nope. Nor I was about to say why a woman would call herself the Stallion I, when that's I about felt, the most virile creature you could imagine. That's one of those things where I feel like a boomer. It's like, oh wait, that's a real person. I thought it was just like a like an in-universe person, but no, it's like a real. Yeah, that's what I hear. She's like a. a, a on is it, things with F female does, ra rapper yeah. or something <clears throat> i got nothing i got nothing with that one i was like oh that's oh okay oh 
Good to, good to know. So, good, yeah, good for her will... that she got this gig, I, I guess. <laughs> I have to address the so that what the trouble that the the, the asshole DA guys come in with is that he believes he's been defrauded because he yeah. spent a bunch of money in the relationship, but it wasn't who uh, like shape shifting elf, not the person that he thought he was dating. And um, yeah, it's it's like constantly like a punchline that he was stupid enough to fall for it. When of course, to shape shifting elf, like. <laughs> We'll get what into was he shape shift? Once we get to the um a bit more into his story, we'll talk about how that's absolutely fucking bullshit. Yeah. But for now, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily clear as to how easy or not easy it'll be to win this case for him. Okay, we'd think like, oh, that's gonna be easy as fuck. We'll find out soon enough. But the figure, didn't you point out that it's kind of out of character for him that nobody knew he was thinking yeah, that he was he dating Megan the Stallion? He was. Yeah, why did nobody hear about it? He would have talked about that all the time, right? That's true. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah, I remember you out. pointing that out to me when fact, we were uh, talking about it. <laughs> yeah, that'll be very relevant because uh, she says as part of his defense when she testifies that he tells everyone everything. Like, that's what he does. It's used mm -hmm. in, in a way to exonerate him, but we didn't hear about any of it, and none of them have, so... Because, mm -hmm. yeah, Jen is surprised to find out that he thought he was dating... And wouldn't that be on social media? Everywhere? Well, is he a famous least... singer or whatever? Yeah, you would yeah, think probably. So. Yeah, you know, you might be pictures. like, "Well, yeah, but that wasn't the real one." It's like, "Well, yes, but he's gonna post about it, and people will see those pictures and be like, "Whoa, are they photoshopped?" And then the real Megan the Stallion will be like, "That is photoshopped." Yeah, that's not me. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. All of that falls apart, but oh well. Um, oh well. Oh well is all you can say to all of this shit. So yeah, Wong I says. I guess that's how this universe works. Uh. Wong, when he turns up, says literally the worst possible thing. Um, basically, it, it, but, ugh, fuck, this annoyed me so much, by the way. He just uh, portals into the office. I, w I was about to say, he just portals in and nobody gives a shit. No, like, it's like he does it oh, all okay. the time. Or it's something. like a normal thing that happens. I don't understand. As you do. This would be major. You can't just barge into places. This is a private meeting. We're private, talking about yeah, cases. Private, this, you're yeah. not talking yeah. about confidential cases. Like, yeah. Well, like confidential living in fear that right, exactly. Wong will just like, show up at any moment, it's, it's like a, a creature yeah. from another planet. I, I like, yeah, Wong's in the house. What's up? I imagine that you need a key card to get into this. To yeah, this, yeah. Uh, absolutely, dude. What he just did—if this were in any way realistic—he would be. I, I'm not sure. You'd be a fine at the very least. You'd be a big one. Yeah, you trust. Also, just don't believe Wong would do that. <laughs> Just he's not that thing stupid. He would be. He's not supposed oh. to be that stupid, but he's man, yeah. do they oh. knock him down intelligence-wise in this one. And with stuff that is almost intentional, like, they, they really fuck with his intelligence uh, in this and the next episode. Yeah. Who started all that bullshit that he's now that stupid-ass character, even though he never was before? Uh, multiverse Where, where did that Madness? Start? Or did it start before that? Um, You could argue it started, there's a little bit of No Way Home where he just says, yeah, you guys yeah. promise you won't fuck oh, up with yeah. the thing. Oh, well, okay, just don't don't involve me. Don't involve yeah. me with the mind altering. Yeah, the trailer line was that, better. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, but uh, you know, yeah, because he was pretty good in in Doctor Strange. He's a very serious and intelligent man. Um, mm -hmm. but oh well. Bye, Wong. Yeah. Whoever you're, the Skinwalker version of you, we don't like him nearly as much. No, no. Well, because he, yeah, he goes on to confirm. Which, yeah, by the way, just the, the portals, the, the the amount of repercussions. We'll we'll talk about it more in episode four. Oh, it's so painful every time I <laughs> see it. So yeah, he just says, everything Emil Blonsky told you is true. I kidnapped him and forced him to fight me because I needed to become Sorcerer Supreme and that's part of, like, proving that I can I have to defeat, like, a worthy enemy. And then, yeah, um, he went back of his own volition. So, and where, where do we begin? Where do we begin um, is a great question. <laughs> so, so, I mean, I guess maybe we'll start with the, the smallest thing first. Uh, I thought timeline-wise that Wong became Sorcerer Supreme like, pretty quickly after Doctor Strange. He became Sorcerer yeah. Supreme in Doctor Strange's absence. But yeah. Shang-Chi takes place after Doctor Strange was back. So, timeline-wise, <clears throat> doesn't make much sense. Uh, Wong, mm -hmm. what the hell, dude? Like, <laughs> what? what? So dude, this is like, not this is not cool. That's really bad, Wong. Mm -hmm. You forced somebody against their own will to participate in a cage fight with you, broke them out <laughs> of a super high security prison just for your training. You should be wanted. Wait. Well, 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 we're not there yet. You're jumping ahead, Rags. We're not we're not quite up to that part. 
We'll um, definitely get to well, that. if we're I, referencing yeah. things that. So this is so. Well, I guess I guess to make it clear though, he's just told Jennifer Walters like basically that he's committed several crimes, and she's like, "Oh yeah, if you could just explain that in the parole hearing, that'd be great." <laughs> So <laughs> I, I will I will not I will not explain those in the parole healing. No, say that. He, he says he will. Happy to. So oh, neither yeah, he, of them. The I lawyer like doesn't know that what he's just admitted to is serious crimes to the point of like this isn't. I don't even know where to begin in terms of how this works. How any of this would work. So because like you need to exonerate Emil. He didn't break out. It was someone broke him out. It's like okay, how do yeah, you know that? It's like oh, got a witness. Just... Um, like, all you've got to shift the illegality from one person to another. Like, you haven't, the, you this is the thing. The first it. thing, first of all, we've got to get his story down very, very straight and collect evidence. And then oh, you've got to present that to the other side, right? Or at least the, the, hearer, the hearing people. We've got to get, like, we've got to get this all verified. Who the fuck is Wong? Right, you know? like, and yeah, then, exactly. Who is Wong and who can corroborate his story? Or is it just we're going to take his word for it? Yeah, and then, again, of course, we have to temporarily ignore the whole portals problem, like, because that's just going to open up so many more things to have everyone yeah, think about. Yeah, because they're portals, yeah. right? Yes. Um, and, yeah, and so then you have to get him, like, you have to tell Wong. It's like your duty as a fucking lawyer to be like, Wong, you're throwing your life away, by the way, when yeah. you admit all this. If you're yeah. afraid to do this, yeah. Like, yeah. This, this will probably help a meal, but it's not going to do didn't you any stay, favor, right? Yeah, you didn't want to stay in New York, right? Out of a cell, or in any other country that extradites to the United States, <laughs> so, like, yeah, it's uh, the fact that like Jennifer Walters doesn't realize that getting Wong to admit to this is gonna destroy his life, like it's it's, it's pretty pretty insane. He's become uh, very nihilistic very... after Multiverse of Madness. He's like, yeah, oh, he just he doesn't care anymore whether you know he doesn't he doesn't care. So why do you? Happens. Let's let's just let's just assume that is true that he forced abomination to fight to become sorcerer supreme or part of his supreme training whatever that was. Why does he get to pick his own opponent for that? Yeah, because well, because the logic <laughs> is that he needed. Well, I guess we are jumping ahead, but he later says he like needed a worthy opponent essentially as part of his training. Um, yeah, but, but like, why does he? Worthy opponent is somebody you ask. Well, not ask. Again, he forced him, so he forced him under presumably threat, I guess? Because what, what does it mean to force somebody if there wasn't, like, a threat involved? So what did Wong threaten to do to Abomination if he didn't come? Because if he didn't threaten him, then it means that it would have meant that Abomination chose to leave. So, like, the only way that this works is if Wong threatened him into coming with him. Yeah, but if, um, you, if, if you look at the scene from Shang-Chi, it doesn't look like they were, like, he was threatening to well, them. So it was like the, they were buddies, it's being right? Highlighted, right? You, how do you prove this beyond Wong just claiming it's true? Yeah. And Abomination also saying, yeah, it's true. It's like, well, is that Would enough? he have not said anything earlier it's... also? Would he have not said well, that well, Wong... So, so here... Oh, sorry, go for it. Um, surely he would have said that, hey, Wong, this guy who the newspapers say is like the support Sorcerer Supreme now and everything, he actually cast a spell and like took me out of here against my will. I feel like that should be a thing that's known to you guys. Yeah, uh, that's actually fair. That um, Emil never brought this up to anybody. That should be a sign of some level of guilt. Well, yeah. yeah, like why didn't he tell them as soon as he got back? Why didn't when when Wong was going to break him out? Why didn't he call for help? Mm -hmm. um, and why Man, did nobody? Just put I mean, do no, like a law thing about this. The most important one is why didn't he tell anybody afterward? That's like the critical one that's going to yeah. cause um, some problems. It was actually just brought up in chat. Uh, fuck me, I'm not going to remember the dialogue from Shang-Chi, but apparently he says a part of the lines in Shang-Chi are like, we've been practicing your your punches or something. The implication being they've done this uh, more than once. Okay, oh, so yeah, that's that. Shang-Chi. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. They didn't watch Shang-Chi, yeah, that's probably that. not. I didn't even know about that. That's that's terrible. That just yeah. that just that's catastrophizes terrible. this. <laughs> like, yeah, even yeah more. apparently multiple times. It's insane. This is what happens when you just make shit up. Yeah. And that's actually like piss. Yeah. <laughs> e. Big pee pee. Piss, pissy pee pee. He's in there. Mm. I don't know why. But... Mushy piece? That happens when you. Oh, and also, I guess something that's worth talking about. This heavily impugns Wong's character. We've been talking mainly right. about the plot stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. What the hell? He threatened, he forced somebody into a cage fight for his own benefit. 
what the hell? As long as it's fine. Apparently, with no even no not even any reward, he's not like, well, if you do this for me, I'll uh, do this for you. No, no it's just going it back. Potentially jeopardize him being released into society again. That's yeah, that's actually day. worse. That's worse than doing nothing. <laughs> it's literally it's worse than doing, doing nothing. Yeah. God damn it, Wong. But yeah, I was pretty uh, annoyed that, that that's just, it turns out to be true. Yeah, he just kidnapped him uh, for his own benefits. Yeah. Doesn't seem to notice or care as to, no other character seems to notice or care that that's an unethical thing. They're just trying to manipulate it legally. And and we've just been through how legally it just, this is an absolute farce. I don't even, it would be like if you, you know, you murder everybody and then you just go, oh, nah, I was mind controlled into it by Bob over there. And then Bob comes in and goes, yeah, I forced him to do it. Okay, bye. <laughs> and they go, well, yeah, I guess you're innocent. <laughs> that's it. Like, what? Uh, no. Yeah, that out. Yeah. There I are so many things shot. we have to go through for this to be considered even remotely valid. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, we're going to be talking about it for days. This, uh, this, is, this is a matter yeah. of serious discussion in this parole hearing. But oh, well. Well, well I guess we'll get to the oh well soon. Well, apparently Wong thinks he's above the law anyways. Because he just demands that he won't well, be punished well, in the next sentence. Well. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, sorry. So, <laughs> yeah, he... Yeah. Yeah. A There's... sorcerer supreme, I demand he won't be punished, and stands up and is about to leave. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, he, you're right. He says, a sorcerer supreme, I insist he not be punished, which is insane. Like, yeah. Like, that's the... Oh, a sorcerer supreme, is that elected office in the United States? Like, what, what is that? I mean, they, yeah. they, they try to make it kind of tell like me why I care? Tongue in cheek fun, but what he's saying when he says that is, my authority is higher than anything in your country. Yeah, yeah. it's higher Even than the court of. Uh, just other laws, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, the courts of the you most know, powerful nation on the planet. Eh, is whatever. Portals, like if you're in prison, whether or not you're allowed to escape to go to cage matches in other countries. Yeah, yeah. Wong is just I can do whatever I want. Well, and as we see afterward, right? Because Jennifer's like, oh, you got to explain that to the pro hearing. And what is the next thing that he says? Like, doesn't he say, oh, we could send him to the you you no, got no. the I, I have uh, I have I I have it here in front of me. I've written it down. Because he no, goes, no, no, I've got I know it what you literally on screen. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, he says, I'm not the one that's going to be punishing him. The good. parole board will not release him after seeing that video. And then he goes, Ah, I know what you're thinking, Miss Walters. And then, well, we're not going to erase everyone's memory. And then she goes, Whoa, whoa, whoa not again. Like, oh, Wong. Fuck? He's like, that's, that's, that's not what I was thinking. That's highly unethical. And it's like, J Jen, good, good, Jen, good, Jen. Yeah, good. You did yeah. a thing. You good managed job. to fuck up and say something a human should say. Yeah, I was, I was like, this is the one <laughs> time she actually points the thing out as unethical. Excellent. But you managed to not ask him why the fuck he would kidnap somebody for his own benefits and then just drop them back in while also Dude. releasing a, a presumed horrifying murderer person. Like, there's so many questions asked, but all she picks up on is, well, erasing someone's memory is, is unethical. And it's like, good. Wait, wait, but... that, affe that affects me. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, and he goes, it's also very messy, believe very... me. Which, mm -hmm. the implication of him saying that is like if I said, like, um, you know, to me, me and Rags being chased by somebody, and I just go, so, somebody wants our autograph or something, and I just go, we could axe murder them. And you're like, that's wrong. And I go, uh, messy. Um... But yeah, we're, 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 you know, the implication being I don't care about the wrong part, which is what Wong seems to not give a shit that this is a No Way Home problem. When too, Wong, but... <laughs> Wong, like, specifically in Doctor Strange was very duty bound and, like, not about fucking around exactly. and doing stupid things. Why mm -hmm. don't they care? This Wong is, yeah, because this Wong is fun. Well, this is the Wong that they, yeah, like, he's their puppet now to, well, to, to do with as they wish. Someone in chat said, like, I enjoy Wong because he's chaotic neutral. It's like, he wasn't chaotic he neutral. Wasn't. <laughs> they made him just absolute nonsense, which is another he way for chaos, waffles. I guess. Just decided that's his character now. Without, well, you know. Frustrating. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so he says, oh, okay, 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 we'll send him to the mirror dimension. It's like, so, what? What? what do you I mean? Thought, I thought the whole point. I thought we weren't trying to punish. Exactly. It what? goes from don't punish him. I demand it to fine. We put him in the mirror dimension. And I think, not, what does he you say? don't want what to be in, in there the, without uh, a sling ring. Dimension as well. What yeah, was he, said, he says shadow yeah, dimension. Shadow, shadow dimension. Yeah. It's like what, Jesus. What do we? What he didn't? I thought he didn't do anything wrong. In so, your words, like this is what I'm I mean, glad like, Wong punish. isn't a judge. This might be one of the most blatant examples of, like, comedy is annihilating his character right now. It's just... Absolutely. Good it's, God, mm. it's completely fucked. Well, Wong, where's Doctor Strange? <laughs> Bring him back. That nonsense character might be more coherent. I guess he's I dealing with an incursion, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Just, like... 
I just want to be in the scene and be like, whoa, are you talking about the dark dimension? You want to put Abomination <laughs> in the fucking dark dimension to help him? what you did. Yeah. Yeah. You're like an evil tyrant. He really is. He's going you should be. Insane. You, you're awful. Well, yeah, and, and uh, as we say, right, we're, we're going to continue to further destroy Wong. Yeah, she says, time goes um, I'm going to do this with you just explaining the situation. And then he says, okay, sorcery is plan B. It's just like, it shouldn't be. You shouldn't say that. Please stop. This but will like, be relevant for episode four. There's but, just but something to how, keep in mind. Like the ideas, the, the, the writers really are up their own asses. They're like, ain't it cool? He's like, I'm going to solve the problem with sorcery. But our lawyer show is like, no, we'll do it with law. And yeah. you're just like, you're not doing Stop. that. <laughs> you're just no, making you're him not. look crazy. That's all you've done. Stop, Stop lying to yourself. You need to, you need to well, because all that we've established with that scene is one will just, if he, he, he will participate in the legal system only so long as it benefits him. The second that it doesn't, well, uh, yeah. who cares Bye. about that shit? I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here, Sorcery. bitches. Wow. No, would you, no you're spoiling it. <laughs> What? Spoiling. No, not at all. I don't know what you he mean. He was speculating on okay. funnies that could happen, right, Rags? Right? Absolutely. Okay. I just speculate. That's what I'm here for. Uh. Oh, God. So, anyway, he leaves, and we go back to um, Pug talking oh, to uh, our our sexist man. Dennis. He's called Dennis. Dennis the sexist when... man. He's uh, just the about... Dennis the sexist man. How yeah. much he paid, uh, how much he spent on the thing, and this whole scene is treated like he's an absolute idiot for spending money on it. Um, mm -hmm. I find all this so interesting. And yeah. he is the victim of fraud. Yes. Like, she... Mm -hmm. I don't even... He talks about how he, like, paid off her car debts, he bought her jewelry, and the guy's just like... like okay, it's man. doubly weird considering that in later episodes, potentially, there might be a negative, like, oh, he didn't pay, you didn't pay for the woman? Well, oh, that's bad. Here's, but also, here's something that's also here. worth, I just realized, because, like, he spends, I think, $175,000. Yes. Um, I don't know how much, like, district attorneys in the United States make, but, like, Jennifer Walters is talking about how she can't pay down her debts. He also was a DA, worked in the same office, presumably got comparable salary, How's he just got like hundred seventy five thousand dollars just sitting around to spend? To spend is on he, like, a incredibly... recent, recent girlfriend. Did he, he just... did he make a lot of good investments or something? Like what? What is? So, like, like, yeah, yeah what I'm suggesting is money? he didn't he didn't do that over a series of years. This is like a girlfriend he's had very recently. Yes. So he just mm -hmm. had that money lying around. I he guess had he, maybe it's inheritance. Five thousand dollars sitting around. Yeah, maybe. God, pain, 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 pain. Um, and then of course, so he leaves the room, but then he immediately comes back in and says, I've decided I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> that's like, and like, what? everybody who watches this episode is like, so that's, that's the imposter yeah, girl then. Yeah. Take much oh, to figure now, that out. That's a crime. Uh, well, before you say that, actually, <laughs> so I just had like a, one of them brain blasts, you know, you just go like, oh, fuck. Shapeshifters are a thing. The whole yep. world has yeah, to change right. again. Yay! Yeah, Everything has to alter like... to account for this. You have to actually have ways of verifying people now because everybody people could be bad enough to just yeah. portal into our offices. We got scrolls, we got Asgardian elves, we, we probably got other critters as well. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, just just people being able to steal your voice and face and body entirely. It's just like that's just common now. It's like you actually need to have things set up for this. You can't just let it be casually possible. Ruining everything. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, okay, yeah. so you throw that out, another just huge bop to the world building, but oh well. This is like, wait, she's done. She's just impersonated yeah, him. Yeah, it's over. She's yeah. impersonated him to try and get the case, like, to, to get his case dropped by his lawyers. Mm. Yeah. My God. She, this is, Man. This is a like, very that is a, that's a That's a big crime right and there. Maybe, like, maybe you think, like, oh, you know what? There were no cameras in the room. It's his word against her. It's fine. Well, she walks outside and impersonates the lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. In front of everybody, um, and they can easily tell it's an impersonation because she turns back into sorry. herself in front of all of them. Several witnesses. You're he done. Calls, you, he even you calls for security, but it's, nobody, it's nobody over. comes. Well, it's Stop. over. You've trespassed on private property using a false identity to get into a private area, and then you use that to try and interfere with. Yeah. Yeah. Interfere with the case. You're done. How could you it's possibly? Over. Like, yeah, there's, there's no case anymore. It's clear. Well, yeah. 
I, I guess you'd still well, want to I mean, there is a case. There's money. no After way of escaping. Yeah, yeah, There's there no is a prison. case, I guess is what I mean. <laughs> That's happening. Yeah. There is only a case. Um, but hey, funny, funny. Isn't that a little funny so thing? So funny. Well, yeah, because he walk, doesn't he walk around saying, like, I love objectifying women or something like that? Yeah. Because that's... Yeah. You like how they're yeah. parodies of sexists are the same as they're sexists? <laughs> like, they don't know how to yeah. do anything else. Right, there's no difference between the elf just doing, like, a yeah. caricature and the actual caricature character. <laughs> Terrible really is bad. what this is. Really pretty, badly written. Pretty painful, pretty yeah. Bad. Um... So oh, yeah, uh, we're 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 starting up Belonsky's case. Uh, yep, but Wong is like light. <laughs> He's yeah, just not so here. that and that means they need to roll out their other witnesses, which I thought was bizarre. It's like these witnesses are meant to just be like Blonsky's nice, um, yeah. which is like that's fine and dandy and everything, but we've got to sort out the whole he broke out of prison thing. Oh. It's it's totally fine to have all of these other character related things, established character, he's reformed, like he's remorseful. That's all relevant, but yes, the most important part is my dude, you committed a crime while you were in prison. <laughs> yeah, there's that, that little elephant in the room, you might yeah. call it. Little, yeah, that's this sort of is like looming the over big the problem that we have to resolve. Yeah. And it's oh, and also something that doesn't seem to be addressed in any of these conversations is what is the nature of his powers? Because a huge consideration for whether mm -hmm. he's gonna be released is um what like what is his of? capacity to cause harm yeah uh, especially given that he is capable of transforming as we later find out on a whim into an incredibly powerful monster by the way what do you there's a danger that comes with transforming into a hulk creature when you're angry and there's a different type of danger that comes along with i could transform regardless of the state of mind i'm in calculating yeah. In control, emotionally. Yeah. Do you still stable. have an Was that an alternate personality or was that you? Mm -hmm. You know, like that's just not part of the conversation at this point. It comes up unprompted, like an unexpectedly, but we'll get to that. He says about Wong, I don't understand how a guy with zero commute time is late. Supposed to be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he can teleport oh, into where you, you are. Good. Right so, now. <laughs> Wong I, is. I, I legit with him would just be like, yeah, it could be. That you're stuck in traffic is why you're late. Do you know any reason other do you than have that? Phone number? Do you have like contact information. Do, do Do you know why humans are late for things outside of commute times, Jen? And she'd be like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> I'm like, "Well, for one, they could have just forgot. Two, they could be tied up with something else. He's literally a superhero." Uh, three. Well, three. He might have realized that you didn't tell him that he was going to admit to a crime in front of a parole board, and he changed <laughs> his mind and is now. He, he had a moment. Him. A rare moment of clarity, and decided this was a terrible idea, and fucked off. Like, does she not have a number to ring? Because he did give her, like, a card or whatever, right? Oh, well, that's next episode. That's next oh. episode, because... Well, she probably should have asked for that. Yeah. Get his email address, you know, just before he shows up at this really important Wait, role here. Are you saying that Wong's business card would have, like, contact information? Not just who he is and what he is? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have any contact information on it. It did on the back, shut up. And... She didn't even didn't even give it to him. Like it, she didn't even uh, get it. Yeah, she gets it next episode. I, I guess having learned a lesson that it might be a good idea to get that kind of information. You know something ahead that of time. fucking annoyed the piss out of me. Even though I think it it may be a nitpick. It'll be up to you guys. I think, but we only ever see this from Jen's desk in terms of her notes. It looks like Microsoft Word, and this is all we ever does, see. This page. Yeah, like, I feel just... like you'd have. Binders full of notes. Not only, like, to lay out my issue, not only is it just a list of witnesses and their role, it doesn't have any notes on what, like, is valuable about what they're going to say or questions to ask them to coax that information out in case, you know, something isn't addressed, like the bullet points of what you want them to say. But she's also just crossing their names out as they go up, as if that's like, what are you, uh -huh. what are you doing? This means that she just, like, she doesn't have any notes about anything. She just was like, this is the witness's name. She's got I have a few issues as well. Hundreds of pages of documents. Like, possibly thousands. No, in fact, almost certainly thousands for this case. She is, uh, she's got a lot to uh, account for for this case. Well, you were it's saying similar that. Similar to Mahler, I it's... also have problems with this. You go, you go ahead, though, uh, Metal. Oh, just apparently this only took her like 20 minutes to put together because that's all we see in the episode. It is all we see. It's as far if you would ask me, it was like, yeah, this probably all happened in like 
three days and now we're done. The way they show us time in this uh, like the in best show. gen could do. Yeah. Uh, I I don't appreciate how they have. Why is Wong in quotes? For witness? the name he claims the to have, but for some reason that's hard to believe. I guess I don't know. But he has a LinkedIn and everything, and people know who he yeah. is. Yeah, they calls himself that's Wong. Weird. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. <laughs> also they do yeah. the thing of like it's Wong, just Wong, like as if that's you know not having a second name means the first name is hard to believe or something. I also don't appreciate how for role all of the roles are in parentheses. Why are they? Yeah, in it seems unnecessary. Yeah, I don't know if why. You've got yeah. a little if you, <laughs> you yeah, category. Right. If you've got a category for that. You don't need parentheses. Just yeah, I don't know why they. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, why did they do that? Strange. I, I just I, like I said I I can't really get over annoyed. the fact that this is all she has to look at throughout all of these like witness testimony yeah. things. I just can't. Do you have, have any questions written down that she wants to ask? She's just pulling them all like. And there's no cross either. There's no like digging into the. There's there's no attempt to wonder if they're even lying about anything. Mm. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But oh well. Uh, obviously, she's panicking because she's like, "Oh no, we're running out of witnesses to talk to, and Wong isn't here yet." Oh no! no oh balls. no! And like, I could totally picture someone listening to a subscribers and being like, "Well, what's Wong? Wong's going to turn up and just admit to a bunch of crimes? Is that seriously what's going to happen?" Yes. Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. That's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> so she's like, "Oh God, uh, Wong's not here yet," and then he, he turns up. He's like, whoa, I'm here, my apologies. Portal just opens a portal into a high security prison. No clearance yeah. at all. No one no gives idea a what you know what? into this facility. At least he's proven that's how he would have gotten the Blonsky out. There exactly. You go. <laughs> at least he's you know, like, consistent. Yeah. yeah, like, so how did you I'm get like, it? Oh. Oh, yeah. that's okay. That's I like how there's too. just no concern that you might have tracked, you just brought in, like, contraband or weapons, like, any sort yeah. of. No, None of them cares. cares. Again, like the jury doesn't, the, the the security doesn't care. Nobody does. Like, hey, hello, Even I'm here. Jennifer Walters went through security, and this is this is yeah. Wong, Sorcerer Supreme. No powers unless you teleport in. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, moving back to the elf lady. Oh, this yeah. line is said. They're going. They're trying to dismiss the trial. And she says, Runa is the daughter of an elven diplomat on Asgard and now in New Asgard. So that provides okay. her diplomatic immunity. Like, because that, her father has it. Um, so what's, what's weird is the, uh, the response to this, as well as just establishing this at all. It's just like new information to me. It's just like, does that mean anybody from New Asgard can do anything they want all over Earth? Is that the implication of that? Because I doubt that's how that fucking works. Secondly, he says, the judge, she may have diplomatic immunity in New Asgard, but we're not in New Asgard. Yeah, so like the whole point of diplomatic immunity is that it gives you immunity in other countries. That's the whole point of diplomatic yeah. immunity. Yeah, it I means have, that you are immune in all the countries that you go to, not the country that you're in. Well, now you have to establish if they, if, if yeah. this, this earth accounts New Asgard as an actual city. Is it a sovereign have, state? In that, yeah. Who yeah. ceded their territory to New Asgard? Because as far as we know, they just kind of crashed there, and now they have like their infinity cones. Diplomat. Yeah. Fuck me. But yeah, <laughs> as I've come to understand it, it's like when super high-ranking political member people go on like different places. Like, and lethal weapon too. Yeah. When you, <laughs> you and then you just say diplomatic immunity after shooting fucking Mel Gibson in front of his partner. <laughs> we should watch Lethal Weapon. That could be an eight fat movie. Oh, yeah. Um, so, stuff. I yeah, I was just fucking blown away by this because I was like, my limited understanding of the point of diplomatic immunity makes this sentence so hilariously pointless in general. Just she could do whatever she wants in the place that he's from. That's what diplomatic well, immunity like, means. Like, what? <laughs> is she a diplomat? Like, she said, didn't they say that she's the daughter of a diplomat? It's like, okay, <laughs> like, sure, all right. Yeah, I guess well, it would, because it does, it, oftentimes it does okay. extend through family members, right? But like, if especially if they visit with them, but... Uh, well, does she have it or does she not have it? Like, that's, that's kind of all there is to the... I guess she does, but does his counter is that she it doesn't apply here. But it's like, it well, that was a pretty apply, big fucking she, miss from her if lawyer, if that's here, true. She doesn't have diplomatic immunity. Yeah, that's just, what I'm she, saying. Like, why would her lawyer happen. try that if it's not valid here? What's the point of even bringing it up? Mm-hmm. Because yeah, like, uh, you know, it's like... That, 
you ca it's not an interesting like you know back and forth if your lawyer goes this is true and then the judge goes it isn't actually uh, <laughs> this is like oh, idiot God. this is ridiculous yeah um i guess it's supposed to just make it seem like things are happening and they heard the the words yeah. diplomatic immunity on tv so they wrote that into the script ooh I heard the word immunity. I know what that means. <sighs> I, I'm basically I think a I know what that means. And then she says, "Fuck me, I hate this so much." She says, "My, your, 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 your honor, Asgard is not a place; it's a people." Referencing Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. And then he, the judge says, "Thor's inspirational speeches are not admissible in court." Comedy. Uh, also, what? how does he know about this speech? That was a really nice moment. It was a oh, nice well. moment in Ragnarok. It was. Uh, oh well. Not, just, oh, how does he? How does he even it. know about this? How does? How does I he guess, know about I this? I guess. I guess someone wrote it down and told everybody about it. Okay. I don't want that to be a thing, though. <laughs> but yeah, he says my client was defrauded for one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. He deserves compensation. And then the the counter argument is he was enjoying the role play with the elf. He knew about this, and it was only once he got bored he decided that he wanted to sue her and try and get money out of it. Um, because uh, he wanted to pretend like he was dating Megan Thee Stallion, and nobody would be stupid enough to believe that you know, they were actually doing it. The relationship, it's just a relationship gone bad. It was not a scam. That's, that's the counter-argument. And already when, when I was first listening to this, I was just like, so this will just be proven by like text history. Any communications exactly. they both had, you'll be able to tell whether or not yeah. he believed it was real. It would be easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty Plus, much it. I didn't even know this was a real person until I watched this show, so. Um, but the judge says, I must say, I find it hard to believe that Mr. Bukowski could be fooled so easily. So easily like, by a perfect shape-shifting creature. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? People have been fooled. No. Digitally, by like just just anybody pretending to be anything, and you're like yeah. a literal shapeshifter. You find that hard to believe? Yeah, like come on, phenomenal, honestly. Um, yeah, the, the judge <sighs> says so, it. Yeah, now, now, like basically, it's it's incumbent. They had to like establish essentially that he believed earnestly, like he yeah. believed. Yeah, he said uh, reasonably um, that he was as if. Because I feel like what you would need to be proving is that this was all role play. That that claim seems to be more fantastical to me than oh yeah, he the shapeshifter tricked him. I just can't believe it. Uh, the the but at least right, what you can take from this is that this was an attempt to dismiss the trial, uh, and he said it's going it's going to trial. Like it's it, mm -hmm. you have that there is a trial. There is something to be sorted out here. It's like oh thank fuck. If it was diplomatic immunity, that would have been like known and resolved before the hearing. Like that wouldn't have come no, up just okay. now. That would have been a thing before that. Dude, yeah, I, I like, was there surprised was a if or you go to hearings and, and preliminary hearings and like trial. There there's like paperwork and shit. Like you know what I mean? Like it's like you would know about these things ahead of time if that was actually valid. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point in some like high level case, Jen realizes the judge was actually one of the the people is 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 a scroll or something, and then it like zooms in on her face and she goes double jeopardy, and we're all like, that's not what that is, <laughs> <laughs> and the writers are like, why do I mean? But that it's it's I've heard it. It's a law thing. I know I know it's a law thing. Like I don't know. It's fine. Just, just get it. It's it's fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, the cringe doesn't end. The elf. Pretends to the be cringe the judge. never ends, Mahler. <laughs> it's never in, front of a, in, front of a, in front of a courtroom filled with people. Now her lawyer aptly points out that's illegal. It's that's like, illegal. Yeah, it's too, late. It's too late. You've done it. This, <laughs> um, they they do the thing. Like how funny is this? It's like no, you you, you don't understand. No. And it, it's crazy because the prosecution says, "Oh come on, Ruda, this is getting a little old." We know like, it's you. Or broad, no, like, whatever. What? Um, this is getting old implies that you have a long history of doing this, and it is what was it, while it was once amusing, it is no longer so. Yeah. You're but yeah, that's it. in front of a full room. Yeah, what but that's it. It's just a joke. You you see her even wow. like comically running away from one one of those policemen. It's like <laughs> yeah, running away from the bailiff. Like yeah, yeah. But, but but I guess to jump the gun, it is acknowledged later on that this is something that she did. No, and we'll, and we'll get to how stupid that is too. That's but just. Bad. Yeah, the second you see this happen, it's like, it's all over already. The judge doesn't need yeah. anything else now. Like, the, it's, 
Dunzo, but Person all right. Person a judge, fraud, trespass, it's a sp you all kinds of things. It's like, you you're done. And both, <laughs> you're both done. lawyers are like, please stop doing that. <laughs> stop it. But she just can't else is cringe. Stop committing uh... crimes in the courtroom, please. You're making my job very difficult. Another thing, I, let me say a thing about dialogue. All right, you can tell with just a subtitle what I'm probably going to say about this. The, the lawyer for the good team just goes, this is very good for us. Yeah, yeah like he yeah. catch up with Mobius. <laughs> in yeah. case you couldn't pick that up, I, I guess. He, <laughs> yeah, that is true. I'm, I'm glad he was, you know, he was because there. Because, like, cause, well, you know, well like, how, you, some of us can... aren't like, we're not like me, for instance. I'm not a legal expert like some people are, right? I don't think any of us are really like you. You are to a degree, right? But like Mahler and Metal and myself, we don't know. We don't even know what laws are. Not really. So it's very, no, I... it's very important that we have someone explain that it's good for the opposing side if one of the the clients Car impersonates a judge in the courtroom <laughs> in, in front yeah. of everybody. Not only impersonates a judge, but displays very clearly how convincing the uh, the um. The illusion is, and shows an intention yeah. to end the trial, like, you, and in conjunction with the fact that she already impersonated your client to, like, to try and get you to dis just, you know, close their case and like not be involved. And impersonated anymore. you, and then impersonated you after trespassing on private property under a false identity. Like, yeah, um, the elf is going to jail for really? like, possibly <laughs> decades. Um, <laughs> It's, yeah, and all of the laws need to be rewritten to account for this shit. This needs to be stomped yeah. ahead of time. Yep. I guess this is something that hasn't been, uh, like, I guess we don't know the nature of their relationship either, but depending on how long it went and, like, how intimate it was as well, you've got that as an element too. It's not acknowledged, so I guess we don't know for sure, but, like, once you factor that in as well, Jesus. Yeah, they're not going to want to talk about that because the yeah, immaturity cause... levels of this show no way near enough well, to talk about that. Making fun of it if you were to acknowledge that, because that would be just gross. But so yeah, um, I guess we are past that. Wong says, in regard to Blonsky uh, getting out of his cell, I gave him no choice. Yeah, like, again, just, no, no, choice. Yeah, yeah. no choice. No, I mean, that's Threat good for him. Uh, uh, pretty bad you know. for you. Really <laughs> yeah, <bad>. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I mean, you, you, we, we're joking about this, but it, the dialogue is as blunt as that. Um, once he yeah. says all the shit that we've been saying, he says one of the one of the guys on like the little counselly thing there says, um, "You realize you just admitted to a prisoner escape, and that's a crime." Well, so what's and weird then, is he he says he, he says I took him out by force, but then also says says that he told him they can stay in Kamartash afterwards. It's like what? So the problem is that the show doesn't want to. So forced, forced means something. Yeah. Um, it means something, and when we're talking about like the law, we got to be like very precise with our language. Forced. So you threatened him. Yeah. If he didn't do what you said, you threatened him. Um, like, but but the show doesn't want to because of course threatened him. It's like, oh, that wouldn't be good for Wong. Like, if he threatened yeah, somebody to participate in an underground fight club. Yeah. Well, that would be very unethical if if he yeah. Was yeah. This, by the way, is the missing, like, actually things you could make something interesting happen, even with how shit they are. If you had a cross, some guy could be like, So, Mr. Wong, you describe the action as forced to a, to a creature that, at will, yeah, four exactly. times the size of you. Like, how exactly yeah. did you force did Mr. Blonsky to... Wong is very <laughs> strong. Wong so made this very is... compelling arguments based on facts. This is something that, um... It'll become clearer as we go forward, but so one of the really fun aspects of pretty much any law show is the uh, adversarial component of it, right? The back and forth, the arguments mm -hmm. being put forth by one side and getting battered down by the, the other. It is called the adversarial system for a reason. Like that is the major component of it. You've got two sides that are going to try and strongly argue for their position. And ideally, if they're arguing well enough and back, the back and forth will lead us to some sort of conclusion. The really fun part of watching like a law show is seeing the back and forth when things go well for, you know, your protagonists and then their setbacks and then they got to come up with creative solutions or like dive into the statutes or case law to try and develop a solution to the problem. That's like the fun part of law shows. Um, this show doesn't really have any like back and forth at all. Like no. it's feeble. There's for barely any of it all. It's not no like funny. it's not 
Because watching two people argue skillfully is entertainment of a different kind than this show is trying to be entertainment. Like it's it's a much more highbrow form of entertainment to watch like a debate and a discussion unfold between two yeah competent I mean, people. If you want to, because because I guess we'll jump ahead a bit. Jennifer Walters takes the stand to basically later on to say that Bukowski is um like he's he's such an idiot that he would believe that he was dating Megan The Stallion. It's meant to be like played off as funny, but there's no cross examination. We don't get to see that. Well, like why the. Wh why would we forego the opportunity to see like the cross examination of that statement? Louder. That'll be interesting. Exactly. Oh, did I? Well, well it's cause, um, yeah, because like, like, he's facing the microphone now. <laughs> oh. yeah, I mean, I've, been, I've been playing my video game, um, but yeah. Very, so yeah. I, I um, it, so of course we have, and you know that's one aspect that you can explore in a legal show. The other one as well is to just address interesting, meaningful questions about the law. And especially when you've got She-Hulk where it's superhuman people, it's what was mentioned before, like in the cross-examination. Imagine a lawyer. It's like, what does it mean to coerce somebody who can turn into like a giant, um, like incredibly powerful monster? What does it mean to coerce that person into doing something for you? Is that a threshold that can be reached? Because a lot of aspects of law is like, is it reasonable to believe that this happened based on all of the information we have? Like, what was the person's state of mind? And was it reasonable to believe that that was their state of mind given, you know, these circumstances? um that they were in like you can you can explore that in a very interesting way when you've got people who just have innately different attributes to like the average person because of superhuman abilities but like there's no interest in exploring any of that they don't care like there's no passion there but they actually what a don't waste care of yeah. what a Their waste focus of a is entirely on different things there's no reason that this needed to have any law component to it it almost feels obligatory that there is a law component to this show man when in daredevil it's 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 a great scene. Um, I think it's in episode three. Um, Matt is defending um, a guy who was involved, like in the Wilson Fist, like Kingpin stuff, um, and he's defending him because he he killed a guy in a bowling alley. Uh, but there was nobody who actually saw directly what happened, and so the argument that the guy wants to put forth is that the thing that nobody saw was that um, he got attacked and he fought in self defense. I I I can't remember. I'm I'm pretty sure that was definitely not what happened, but like. You know, like, there was no information to the contrary. And Matt goes on um, a lengthy, awesome speech just talking about, essentially distilling his perspective on, um, on, uh, on like, the, the law and, like, questions of law and, like, what are the questions and matters of facts that are discussed in a courtroom versus the personal judgments and, um, like, moral judgments that society would make of an individual. Um, and that's, like, his, you know, his closing statement is essentially, like, you know, this is a courtroom. What matters is the facts beyond these walls. Um, you know, my client may face a jury of his own. It's, it's, it's the potent shit, man. Like, god damn it. Like that's, uh, yeah, I'm you, sure that and they're missing out yeah. on the stuff yeah, that they, they are, are cheating to get yeah. to. They they don't even want to grab the opportunities. We've talked about this before. When you aren't paying attention, you do indeed miss out on all the contradictions of you just rushing to get your payoffs, but you're also missing out on opportunities. You don't even realize what you, you don't get to take advantage of. You don't know what's mm. there. Because, I mean, there's, there's so many... Op I, I've said it a few times because I think that it's such a clear example of, like, a meaningful one. Um, what if you had a guy who was, like, a Captain America type, had Captain America attributes, who, like, killed somebody uh, who was, like, attacking him? What does it mean for escalation of force for somebody who's that powerful? What does it mean for, like, real apprehension of, like, fear of loss of life for that yeah. person, depending on, you know, what weapons the other person had or, like... This is the, the Captain Marvel deleted story. scene. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, yeah. That, could certainly be a, uh, that could certainly be a case that's interesting. Like, this is, um, this is really cool stuff to explore because it's something that a lot of other lore shows are just not going to be able to touch on because, um... They don't have superhuman characters like in that, you know, they're, they're set in the contemporary normal world. What was um, the... You've got an opportunity, you've squandered it. <clears throat> what was the regular scene now? Because I'm like, because the deleted scene was where she outright attacks him, right? Yeah, I think the regular scene was just he drives in, gets off his bike, goes inside, and she just takes it. Oh, okay. <laughs> because they recognized they'd be fucking insane to keep it canon that she electrocuted this guy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... Let's move on. We're about to get to that fucking cringe ass line. Fine. Um, Which one? 
I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, doing the whole, like, you realize you just admitted to a prisoner escape, but that's a crime. And then um, Wong is just like, oh, uh, bye, and exits with a portal. Yeah, he just leaves. He so leaves. it's over for Wong. Uh, Wong, Marvel Studios Wong, will be about Wong's life on the run from... Uh, from <laughs> from, the, from justice. From, yeah, from international... From justice. <laughs> yeah, international justice, absolutely. For, like, yeah. So the show has done it twice, right? It's done the thing where it acknowledges... The uh, it it acknowledges the law, but doesn't want to deal with the consequences of it because we had it with the with the elf in court impersonating the judge. Now we've had it with Wong. This one's much more cataclysmic, though. Uh, Wong lives in America. He lives in New York. Mm -hmm. He's gonna show up in episode four, and I guess we'll we'll get to that. Yeah, like it's over for Wong. It's uh, his life should be. Well, yeah. All we need to tell yeah. the the precious EFAP audience is that it, it is official. Wong is now an American fugitive. Uh. <laughs> it's a fugitive. Yes. Kind of, kind of nuts. Um, but obviously, you'd think they didn't even verify anything, and he's just ran off. So can this really help Blonsky? The answer is yes. Uh, it, it, it actually works. Um, it, is. it gets him his parole, which he never should have been eligible for. But yeah. wait, did, <laughs> sure. did we mention that he actually turns into abomination he, and oh, yeah, everybody he else? He turns into abomination. Uh, and Jennifer's argument is, ah, he could have broken out, but he didn't. It's like, so what is the point of this cell? Like, yeah. it doesn't do <laughs> To be honest with you, dude, I, I just don't think it really... None, none of it, like, I think it's just a, a false way of getting some, like, constructive drama, right? Because I think they wanted trailer footage of that. Yeah, reasonably over, speaking, like... from what we know, Emil, right, he might, might be that he's lying about all of this, and so he's calculating yeah. it all. No yeah. way he turns into abomination without requesting getting it approved. No way. Why would he risk no. uh, that ruining everything? Secondly, him turning into Abomination freaks them all the fuck out. They all think he's about to kill them. Like, yeah, just like isn't he in his little cell? Is, is the point of the cell? I guess the cell doesn't have that point. The cell is not that useful at all. Well, yeah, because we get that confirmed, uh, as you just mentioned. Part of Jen's argument is he could have escaped at any time. It's like, well, no, you've got him trapped in an abomination-proof cage, haven't you? And it's like, no, they don't. Yeah. So what and the fuck? This whole time, you was just, you was just like hoping he wouldn't run away. No. Yeah, like, uh, had no why would of... Jed even need to prove that? Shouldn't they know that? Yeah, and also, I mean, by the way, shouldn't he be in the raft? Like, shouldn't wouldn't Absolutely. Shouldn't put him in the raft, really? Like, rather than here. Like, I guess we've given up on the raft. We're giving up on everything. It's, it's absolutely baffling, this whole scene. She's like, guys, this proves that he could have escaped at any point. It's like, they would know that. <laughs> like the, 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 otherwise, you're telling them that this was the moment they realized the cage couldn't hold him, and they realized that because he turned into Abomination. Even though he was brought to prison as Abomination, this is right? I, mean. I don't understand any of this. It's yeah. fucking weird. Oh, God. But yeah. it's... <laughs> Framed and it, filmed it, and presented it, as like a dramatic moment that actually works out for our protagonist. I think like, this what? is meant to show how quick she is on her feet that she could come up with this argument, even though it's like it doesn't work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I, I honestly didn't even get that impression at all as well, because I know what you're talking about, and I think you're absolutely right. Because the way she holds herself, and I don't blame the actress. Yeah. This is something that they would have had to do, I guess. But she she literally goes. So I've got it written down as a note. She goes. I, uh, I beg you to, I, uh, Mr. Blonsky, uh, he, he didn't, uh, he didn't mean to, wait, in fact, this, this means he could have yeah, escaped I, when it, and I was just like, it took her way too long to make use of this. It did. Yeah. This show is really bad, guys. Um. No. Yeah, so I don't believe that Blonsky would have decided to do it. I don't believe that, uh, it would have taken that long to spin it positively. I think that it makes no sense, so that's the... Like, plot-wise, that's the way anything would be built this way. It's all fucking weird. And yeah, and then it just gets topped off with Wong abandoning the whole system of justice. Yeah. <laughs> like, because... Except the next episode when he needs to lower it. Mm -hmm. and... Hey. Yeah. But we're what? jumping ahead. We're jumping ahead. It's hard not to jump. We're going to have to jump <laughs> ahead <laughs> soon. We're almost there, don't worry. Uh, <gasps> it's a yeah, really exciting. good high-security prison. It's really <sighs> so, um... Yeah, uh, the, 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 oh, there's a line um, when she's leaving. Oh, I was about to mention that. I was, I thought you would skip it. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, well, they're, they're trying to ask you, like, randomy questions and stuff, and one of them says, any comment on getting your powers from a mafia hit gone wrong? <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> Why? Well, isn't that, isn't it the comic origin? 
Is I don't know. I just found it really retarded. I'm pretty sure it's a reference <laughs> to the comic know. origin. I thought that's what uh, why they got injured in the first place. It was a mafia hit. Oh, okay. I don't know that. Yeah, someone in chat just said because of the comics. I'll say comic origin. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, I just so wanted to make fun of comic fans. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, this is what I mean. I, I that's what I, what I heard that because I knew I must have heard it from Gary or somebody at some point. But I remember thinking like. Why are you doing that? <laughs> like, yeah. why, why do you always do this? I thought why it would just have to be funny again with like a weird but thing. But I get as we have talked, uh, talked about the origin in the show is like missing the potency that exists in the origin of the comic of giving like yeah. Hulk, Bruce Banner, the choice of whether to give her the transfusion to make the choice to essentially save her life but saddle her yeah. with uh, what may well turn out to be a curse. Sounds really so, like, cool. It it's certainly sounds better than what we got, yeah. which is that a ship appears in front of her. And she swerves in the worst possible way to cause a car accident, and then cuts herself climbing out of the door, and then some blood seeps into her arm. So lame. Yeah, it was lame as fuck. That is so very fucking lame. lame. Uh, so anyway, like obviously her side is donezo, and so she's in, uh, in a bar now, just trying to chill out, and she's like, is hopefully my life can get back to normal. Which, by the way, I will say, legalese is a name for a bar. I like that. That's kind of neat. <clears throat> That's like one of the few things I have to say. <laughs> to I is like it, the name of the bar that they go to. There's, there's something I'm, I'm going to compliment at the beginning of episode four. So don't worry, guys. They'll, they'll be compliments. Yeah. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Uh, yeah, really? Don't worry, Excited. guys. So, yeah, um, their friend, their, their weird friend, sits next to them, and. Uh, Oh well, they just—they oh, they do God. banter for a little bit about random shit. I don't—I don't really care to have a comment I on it. Just talk well. about how how shit Dennis is, because well, yeah, well, like, so oh, yeah, I was, I was talking about the other banter, but anyway, yeah. So you have oh, this... there was other banter. I didn't even write that down. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> you're pregnant with break. abominations, baby. Lol. I don't care. Oh, I don't um, know. No one didn't write that down. Yeah, he he sits down next to him. He's like, ugh, the case with Dennis. Ugh, and then you get this where she like looks at the screen and says, connecting the A and B story. Nice. Uh, That's really I hate it. I really hate it. You're praising your own writing, and it's not even like a real connection. He just shows up at the bar, this, like that you all go to. Exactly. Yeah, it's not really clever, not clever at all. And they're they're what? they're patting themselves on the back for this. Like, fuck! What are you doing? So cringy. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Enough. So anyway, he's like, how did you work with him for so long? And then they explain, like, how much he sucks. And she says, um, it's amazing how he was convinced that uh, uh, she had a crush on him when he, she obviously didn't. And then he goes, wait a minute. Would you be willing to say that under oath? And it's like, yeah, so the idea here is that she testifies to the court that Dennis is a fucking moron. That's their plan. Yeah. How great. And, uh, yeah. As we've said, there are so many other ways to definitively prove this, but all of them are awful lawyers. So they just win <laughs> by making it a matter of fact that the client is a fucking idiot. And so this yeah. makes sense. The stupidity of males in the Marvel Cinematic Universe becomes a plot point yet again. Well, that of course, you've got that. the much simpler answer, which is... Would it? Do you think it is more reasonable that he should have concluded that he was dating a shape-shifting elf from New Asgard <laughs> than it was to believe he was dating the real person? No, convince you, me you're a switch out, fucking uh, idiot. You ask off an alien, the ship shifting alien. Like, it's, it's, you should have just yeah. assumed that was the case. Yeah, idiot. Yeah, you know what world you're in. Really starts. I mean, as we. Yeah. It just really starts begging for the questions. Like, why do we? Why did we make an extra law division for superhuman scenarios when we don't do anything differently? into the cases you're right like the superhuman he, aspect is not critical to questions of the law yeah it's only they it's just, only certain level they just happen to have superhuman people in it in these cases and they don't yeah. do anything they don't have to redefine any any p terms or have to think about like, well, things you exactly. already said for example it's like what it's just normal the, lawyers could have done that that Think about the precedent of these cases for some yeah. of them. Yeah. Like, but no, it's just normal, but you've got superhuman people involved. That's it. So he says, 
In your opinion, Miss Walters, do you believe, or do you think, that Dennis Bukowski would believe that he could actually pull Megan the Stallion? And she says, yes, he's incredibly deluded and entitled. He's definitely capable of believing you could pull her. All I learned from that interaction is that Dennis is kind of a chad, and that he'll go for a... He'll go for an 11 out of 10, even if he thinks that there's, there's the slightest chance, and he'll even try, and he'll believe it himself. That's right. not all that I pulled from this. To go after a Grammy, yeah, like a super successful, what, Grammy award-winning singer. Like, because basically, yeah. they're making fun of the man for, for thinking that he would ever have a chance with a woman that's so awesome. And it's just like, eh, fuck it, it's good to have confidence. Yeah. By the way, I, I remember I saw someone on Twitter say that, um... The, the way that they keep referring to Megan the Stallion reminded them of, like, an episode of The Simpsons with Tony Hawk in it, where they just kept calling him Tony Hawk. They never even just call him Tony. It was always the full name. Like, it was always, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. when The Simpsons yeah. was doing all Gotta make sure. Uh, yeah. References, it's they'd like, always be like, <gasps> and then the name like of the celebrity. Like, when you have the rights to a song, and you just have to play it over and over and over again. So you think you, oh, okay. you got your money's worth. Hey, look, it's Tony Hawk. Is that world famous, like, Tony Hawk, the <laughs> skateboarding champion? Like, it really feels that way. So, um, Which, yeah, they win yeah. the case. And yeah, he actually no gets examinations, nothing. Examination. Yeah, nothing. It's, so what is taken as gospel, I guess. Like, that's it. That's what I mean. I it's, believe it's, you that this man is a retard. You that's win. It. That is, that's literally how it concludes, yeah. <laughs> that's what happens. It also uh, just shows how, kind of like, just how cruel these people are. Yes, um, I don't like any of this. Well, I, find it all very I don't like any of them. Dennis does call women it because he is a caricature. <laughs> like they're that whole just like. But see, that's different than saying it. Dennis sucks because he's confident enough to believe that he could date someone. It's like, okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are you just suggesting? Just feel a little, that... just a tad mean spirited. But right. it, 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 it's the thing that's just it's just really mean to do. It's just like you should know your lane. <laughs> You should know yeah. you're too ugly, and it's just like, all right, man, jeez. Be more like Dennis than Jen. Be more like Dennis. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we also then he gets uh, he says we also sentenced the defendant to sixty days for impersonating a judge. Yeah, First sixty all, days for impersonating a judge. Probably wow. more than sixty days. Probably more than that. We'll call that first of all. Second of all, that would not have been sorted out in this case. That's not even. How that works at all? That would have been a whole new thing. Yeah, these are different, right? Has to be a civil oh, yeah. proceeding. That's to a be a different, <laughs> a different matter. Yeah. Oh boy. That would be the people versus elf lady, right? For impersonating a judge. Exactly. I'm people yeah. versus elf lady. Is <laughs> the <laughs> the trial of the ages. Um. Yeah. As everyone in chat is going, I was just like, I, uh, yeah, the sixty days thing. I. It is. I know. I'm no lawyer. What, what else could you say? Just, court? Oh, it's, it's beyond yeah. contempt of court, my friend. <laughs> like, it's, we, we, we this is like that. you're you're trying to do very bad things. I don't even. This is the thing. I've never even had to think about the idea of what would happen if you impersonate just like not good things. Very bad things. Very bad fact. things. Probably horrible, fact. terrible things would happen to you. Hmm. That's the sort of thing that I feel like they'd want to very actively discourage you doing. Oh, no, because he says I sentenced you to sixty days. It's like where. Where? <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't just say I sent it to you for 60 days. It's like, where? Well, so where you are better, you sending her? You better grab right her, too, which chair. is, uh, you know, she might just shape shift and you never find her. And run away. That's right. Yeah. Um, and then it also turns out in this very small room, not gonna lie, uh, Megan the Stallion is just there. Nobody like, noticed. Checking out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. She's she was... not there on this shot. Oh. No. Wow, that's terrible. Hang on a second. <laughs> Megan the Stallion is very, very stealthy. Logistically very... speaking, shouldn't she be in the corner by there? But Wait, they... I think I saw wow. like a like a very bright suit thingy. Maybe. What do you mean? She's hard. She's pretty hard to miss. Kind of like why this was. I thought she was. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she's she was behind. just out of frame. I'm trying to see. So that's the ends of the the seats there. Okay. Yeah. This is not who was sitting Looks here. This like is a it. different set of people now. Oh, okay. it was at the back. Yeah, okay. So let me compare that with the other image. In their defense, they only have Marvel money. Yeah, it's not much. <laughs> it's not that much money. Wait. Look out for copywriters. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Dare I for a moment? Disney still time. does want to claim responsibility for this, yes. Oh, no, she's definitely not there. I yeah, think they... I just saw another shirt. <laughs> you know, I just almost uh, have the image. People... 
Yeah. Shouldn't Megan Thee Stallion want to sue her? It's like, I guess she might want to. Because, yeah. yeah, there was the whole you stole somebody's identity, right? Like, we're only talking about what happened to Dennis, but there was also the fact that you stole someone's identity. Oh, yeah, like, you know. You know? It's not true, just like as another matter, which that would be like a matter of fact. As well. And there's there's another legal case, right? Like, what does it mean for like somebody as a shapeshifter to like steal somebody's identity? Like, mm. um, you know, like how much of a right in terms of ownership of identity and how does it apply if like, I guess if they want to claim in the relationship that it was part of their like role play or whatever. Like, how does that yeah. factor into it? But like, there's no, no, we're not interested in exploring that. Just to clarify, see this lady by here? You can see her in the Megan Thee Stallion shot. Logistically, Megan should be here. Uh, yeah, so she's they... not. She's not there. That's, this, this, yeah. that's where she should be, but she is, just isn't. Yeah. Quality meme. Quality meme. The whole annoying is that you can't go frame by frame backwards in VLC. Can you not? Can I go frame forward? I, I haven't found the button yet. Maybe I'm just... VLC doesn't want you to live in the past. Oh. That's, that's nice of DLC. Um... Yeah, and then he says, do you guys think I have a real shot with Megan the Stallion? They're like, don't, don't you do that, Dennis. It's like, hey, let the man try. Let, let him take it out on a date. See if that, some girls are into that, I guess. I don't know. And then, uh, yeah, and then he says that, um, Dennis says, like, probably the smartest thing out of everybody ever uh, in this entire show. Um, says, like, I wish there was a way we could remove her powers and make sure she doesn't victimize anyone else. It's just like, you understand this is why we keep talking about the repercussions of introducing these things to the entire world. The legal system is going to want to have a say about them because you are just able to hurt people in ways that can't even be detected necessarily. Like it, it, yeah, exactly. They just, they need to be control over it. It's funny I'm saying all of this because I'm thinking about episode four. It's like, chat, you have no idea. How could you not think of episode four? It looms over us like a fucking thunder cloud. I'm not going to believe what happens in episode four. Yeah. Um... Told you, episode one and two, those were the good ones. <laughs> yeah. It's oftentimes how it works with these shows. And mm -hmm. I good made, ones. Made like five that people start to realize that the show is terrible before, instead of two months after it comes out. So then they say, Blonsky does indeed get his parole, but he has to wear an inhibitor, and if he breaches it, he has to go back to prison. Yeah. yeah. I can't I use his was... powers, but we see we know in the trailer that he w he does, so I, I guess. I thought that was interesting, <laughs> yeah. because have they proved, like, I don't know that they have that's necessarily something they should be able to do, um, because who knows in terms what of it means for world his health. Mechanics? No, it just, we, how, how do they... ...nation's condition to know that, like, you could uh, inhibit him without causing some serious damage to his health. Yeah, like, surely they need to, that to be proven first. And then, of course, like, isn't the whole point that He's absolutely in con full control over it. So if if it's something that causes him pain to not be in at certain points, like what if what if, like how do they have they ruled out the fact that he needs to return to the abomination form you know once per ever whatever yeah, like, to that, revitalize himself? I mean, or if we wanted to get real interesting, like we think about someone like Jennifer Walters, She Hulk, is that it should she have the right to be able to like is it her right to be able to essentially have that level of degree of control? You know what I mean, like. Like, um, what does it mean for Abomination, for instance? Like, if this is an aspect of him, is this an aspect of him that is, like, immutable and therefore shouldn't be, like, restricted in any way, you know? Yeah. Like, in terms of legal rights and stuff, like, yeah, it's, um, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about that because it's not relevant. And we know that he's gonna breach his parole conditions anyway, because it's in the trailer. So, <laughs> I guess he's, uh, <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, um. That's that. They will return to Blonsky another time, I presume. Um, I don't care about her interview on TV at all, uh, unless there's anything you guys wanted to say about it's it. It's more like, she Hulk is a stupid name. Yay. Yep. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Stan. Because I, I want to talk about the really dumb as fuck scene that ends this. Well, technically this isn't mm -hmm. the last thing we see, but it's still one of the near the end. And boy, do they make the point obvious, but it's just in line with the arc they're going for. Anyway, she's heading toward, uh, I'm not even sure if it's a family house, I think it is, her house, I don't know, whatever. She's attacked by some really goofy looking people. 
very goofy looking people who have a very goofy plan that they carry out in a goofy way, yes. So, yeah, I guess I'll summarize it first. Four dudes who have stolen an Asgardian construction worker's tools attack her. They all fail miserably because she's She-Hulk and just turns into She-Hulk and beats them all up. One of them tries to inject something, or looks like well, it, you know. Well, NATO took that the blood, yeah. Um, doesn't work. They all run away into their van and say, yeah, we couldn't, couldn't get her because I couldn't get through her nasty skin. And then, and then they leave. Now, the, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, we're supposed to get from this pretty quickly. But these guys are attacking her to try and get her blood. Uh, which is something that they, that, you know, in, in episode one when Bruce was like, I have to destroy your blood because even there's a millionth of a percent of a chance that it could get out, that would be catastrophic or whatever. It's like, okay, so that's going to be a plot point then. I think, Absolutely. yeah, it's just, like, it's, it's just very focused on. It's like, so these dudes, who are, and they say they work for somebody, so obviously we'll find out, but trying to get her blood. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it because She-Hulk skin is too hard to breach. Which they is probably had... something that would be known uh, just... with Hulk. Well, it, whether or not you know it, if you're going to try and inject her, the best time, probably not going to be when she's She-Hulk. In fact, yeah, it's probably say. that first guy who sneaks up behind her and holds her should probably be the one with that syringe. Yeah, oh, yep. so that's a great idea, You'd right? think. Instead, yeah, he just sort of think. He grabs her, nothing happens until she decides to do something. You don't even have another guy run up and do the thing. Everyone's just yeah. sort of too far Waiting. away to do anything. And for some reason, the part that really gets me about this is that they're surprised when she turns into She-Hulk. When they want How her blood because happened? she's She-Hulk. Yeah. Does happen? So, Madness. yeah, just just a pro tip for anybody trying to get She-Hulk blood out Steel there in the world. Blood, yeah. This dude right here on screen, he's the one you're going to want to do the injection for because he gets the full-on jump on it. He can go boop, pull the, the, the plunger, and then zoop and run out. Whoop. Instead, you give her all this time so that she can turn into her superhero form. See, off she goes. Oh, boy. And then look <laughs> at this guy with a syringe. He's like, oh, jeez. It's like, yeah, I never would have expected this. Never would have thought. So they're really stupid. But then another part that I thought was kind of funny, she throws a guy like fucking five meters into the air and he lands in a way of like... Oh, like neck? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. He kind of like lands on yeah. and he just gets up straight away and walks off. And it's like, oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you not He's okay. They, he should be, they should be fucked up, but they're just like, oh, God, I just got punched by shit. Well, if, fine. Well, if well, they got fucked up, it. that might have moral or legal ramifications that she might have to struggle with. Oh, but no. We're having, we're having fun here. Yeah. Because remember, She-Hulk appears to be about as strong as Hulk, and look at what Hulk does. Like, look at the damage that Hulk can yeah. do. She and you're just, like, fighting and punching regular people. <laughs> Seemingly regular people, Jesus. anyway. He fell so okay. bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oof. That's, uh, oof. My, my he also friend. got his head crushed into the other guy's head, so... I mean, They're all fine. You're though, spying. Fine. They're all fine. This um, is, uh, Wrecking Crew, right? Which... This is like the the team wrecking crew. I hear that people are unhappy with them in this show. How would they be <laughs> happy with it. anything they ever do? Yeah. Well, it's especially if like you're a fan of the Hulk part of Marvel, what have you had? <laughs> you know, like <laughs> what have you had so far? In terms of like villains, well, because they bring it back, uh, the leader, right, the guy from the Incredible Hulk, but in Captain America, not in Hulk. So yeah, yeah. Big brain guy. Fun times. Um, brain and then the show ends on this shot. And again, this is just because this is the point of the, the season that she doesn't want to have to be She Hulk, but she keeps having to be She Hulk. And, you, mm. and eventually she'll come to love being She Hulk. Yay. What turns a great out this is only. Arc. Oh, yeah. It turns out it, it's literally, it costs her nothing and it's only an advantage in virtually every way imaginable but she comes to appreciate that in the end i guess and that's the story yeah. god we still gotta four oh, shit yeah we haven't done episode <laughs> four yet and uh there's a new one tomorrow are you excited i don't yeah worry. this is what this is dude this I is why i was like excited. we've got to get covered this shit because i am not doing the full nine episodes in one fucking stream there's no way nah 
My brain is not ready for that. I'll, I'll do the new one tomorrow. It's fine. Four years of EFAP has <laughs> definitely not prepared me to cover <laughs> She-Hulk at once. Does it, did it prepare you for the twerkins? I'm sorry about this, everyone. <laughs> that was my thumbnail. <laughs> oh, God, no. Yeah. Stick your ass out and shake it. But remember, here's the thing. Women can... You could, this is fun and it's great. And we're having a good time here. But dare a man ever even imply anything that is positively sexual about a woman, then you will not ever hear the end of it. In fact, yeah, everyone... we will, our fir the first scene of our next episode might be somewhat related to that. A lot of people are posting this scene back to back with the I've been cat cold. It's like, oh, all right. <laughs> Maybe you're going okay. around shaking your ass. That might happen. Well, I guess these aren't the same thing, right? Like, like if somebody wants to dance versus like unwanted attention in other circumstances, right? And kind of like not related, really. This is unwanted attention. I just find the scene. Well, no, no, not this, right? Like if she's talking about getting catcalled or something, like while she's just walking around, like that's different to just what dancing in her office. I think hypersexualizing yourself in a public <clears throat> setting would probably give people the impression um, that you want to get some level of attention in that regard. Especially when it's given to you like in a, a completely office. harmless way from people. Yeah, this is what I would call a public setting to the point where a boss sees it and has to walk away in awkward fashions. Hello? I'm just... Distracted. You keep repeating this plot line. <laughs> like, you keep, you keep like, letting this um, play. It just it uh, keeps going. I gotta torture everybody in chat. We had to see this. I guess you tortured the, Man, this chat much more than I tortured mine when I when I showed this. Someone had something to about the animation. It's just like yeah, some well, it's, it's, as pointed out, right? Some poor visual effects guy had to work. <laughs> Let's do this. this is what am I animating day. today? I'm so excited <laughs> to come animal. into work and yeah. yeah. What is my Who work? What, what's my, my, my project for this week? Make She Hulk twerk. Nah, that was funny. Now, what am I doing? It's like, no, I'm serious. So, oh, okay. Hey, I'm sure they had fun. Yeah. All right. I'll spit the guy. No, if you use the the loo, I'll be right back. You're way more fun than my last lawyer. I will kill for you, Megan the Stallion. That's, that's the episode. Which gives us number four. Previously on She-Hulk. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, a second here. As it does. You know what? Actually, I wouldn't mind uh, filling my drink back up. Um... So, how about you guys discuss the Hulk attorney at law? Mahler is going to go and acquire large quantities of alcohol before <laughs> we no. delve into episode four. Which one is worse, do you reckon, out of three and four? I, think I guess it'll become clear by the time we're done. I feel like it's time. four, yeah. Um, Hello. hmm. Mm. I probably agree. I'm just sort of thinking. I, I, yeah, there would be I'm one, not, one I, thing I would reference. Well, well, as soon as we see it, I guess I'll say I'll remind you. I was like, that was the one thing I was thinking of for why this makes it so much worse than anything a three could have. But yes, I'll be Ooh. right back. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna write it down and then I'll reveal it once you say it. I'm already back what, and uh, I didn't know what was happening. What, what was the question? So, number score, you mean? The 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 one thing in particular that he's referencing for why it would make it worse than three. Oh, um. Yeah, I'm actually because I feel like there's a few possible choices. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's why we're, we're having curious, fun uh, guessing. I'm writing it down so that once he says it, I could clap that inner button. A few possibilities. All right, I've got it written down. What we'll do oh is one we'll let him know that when he gets back. He can say it. What's the worst thing? And then we could smack. We could push the whopper button. What, what are we, we writing down? Um, I, I was taking a pee when you decided. So we were things. we were briefly discussing if th uh, episode three or four is worse, and Mahler and uh. I think it's four.
Um, I, uh, and yeah, I think in Bringing Things, it's four as well. And you seem to also agree. There yeah. seems to be a unanimous decision on this panel, on the council, that four is worse than three. And he was referring to something that he would refer to. And so I said, I think I, think I know um, what you're referring to is what is the worst thing. So <laughs> I have written it down, but I will not say it until we get to the reveal time. I think that I will say that episode four was the show that kind of, uh, as, as frustrating as the show has been up to this point, I think episode four was when I started thinking like, man, this show is like incredibly vapid. That too. Um, like that, that sense really four fucks with it. a lot of things uh, in general though. It does. Cause it's got the same continued stupid, like yeah. just absolutely ridiculous law stuff. But then there's also more character related stuff that is just um Oh yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's building up like a certain, I guess, pattern of uh of writing for the characters in the show. This is a good um, outcome. That became cool. like really apparent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess when I say vapid, I say vapid in like a different sense to uh how I guess you would describe like the first three episodes. I guess you'd say that those are like vapid in terms of their exploration of the law, but I guess I mean by episode four, like the show started to feel incredibly vapid. Like they don't have anything um, to say that this is almost just, it's just, it feels um, hollow and there's no like yeah. artistic sort of, oh, I don't know, maybe there is. And that's what the problem is that they I think guess what I, this, I, hmm, yeah. I think what I mean more so is that by episode four, it felt like it was vapid in terms of its substance of what it was trying to say and do. Like, it, are we talking so about like one division finale in, or, um, I I guess, uh, let's put it this way. I, I keep saying Rings of Power is really hollow and vacuous. The reason why I say that is because I don't think that that show has anything to say. At least I don't get that impression that, like, there wasn't really an inspiration behind the, the story. Mm -hmm. um, whereas it's... I think, like, by episode four of She-Hulk, it's like, I see what you're trying to do and I find it really, like, cynical. Um, yeah. Like, what it seems like your objectives from a writing standpoint are. Like, they come across to me as really s cynical and hollow. Um... Yeah, I think that's when it started to become more apparent to me was by the end of episode four. Yeah, because it's kind of funny. I um I know a bits and bobs about the final episodes of Rings of Power in terms of where what the some payoffs will be. But um, for example, I know nothing about uh, Elfman, and I can't like from the three episodes we've had of him, I have no clue what his story is supposed to be about. Mm hmm. Like no clue at Whereas all, which is rare. It's rare for me to mm -hmm. literally have nothing. I just like I don't know what in the world they want to tell me with this guy. Yeah, no, I, 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 I guess what I would mean is that with She Hulk, it feels a bit. Uh, I, I, yeah, it's like I see what you're going for. I don't find it particularly like interesting or um or deep. Uh, I guess it doesn't even need to be like deep, but it's just um yeah, that's an impression I got more so with episode four because uh. Oh, oh, well, I guess, Rags, you want to tell Mola what you, uh, what you were working on there in your little well, notepad. We're, we're, having, we're having so much fun here. I figure let's have even oh. more fun. So <laughs> when we had our, we, we briefly began by asking if three or four was worse. You said four, Mahler, and oh, you, well. you, you alluded to alluding to something mm -hmm. in particular. And so I wrote, I wrote down that thing that I think you're referring to. And I encourage the others to do that as well. So when you say hit it, I'm going to smash enter on our little chat here. And we'll see oh, okay. if our answers line up as what, what is the worst thing. Because right, there, yeah, as Fringy yeah, pointed I, out, there are many answers probably. But I think I know which one you are yeah, referring to, to. To give you a format, it could be like mm -hmm. one decision from one character or one establishing rule about the world or one, you know, one... But it is that sort of thing. It'll be one thing that that, that an event, if, if one could say, to cover all bases. I think that covers every possible thing. In in a, just in one thing that happens. If you all grab up a guess, yeah. When we when we see it happen, I'll uh, I'll, I'll say that's what it is, and then we'll see what everyone's guess is. Worth. That'd be interesting. Anyway, let us begin episode four. She oh. Hulk. There's five left after this one. Well, <laughs> just five. So I know, just, five. yeah. I know. <laughs> Only five more weeks. Woo! We mm -hmm. begin. 
with a magician doing magician things. And it's like, what? What, are we, what, could, what, what do we do with this guy? I don't know. And he's like, are you not amazed what? by me summoning fire and You're levitating? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Is it not why you're here? Good old the daddyator. Like, I, yeah, I need a volunteer. Mm. So this is this lady who the writers of this episode thought was hilarious. She's Madison. Mm. Two N's and one Y, but it's not where you think. Not where you think. She's the writer of this uh, television show. I could believe that. <laughs> so yeah, he does a trick where he turns. The, the color on and, and flower roses he makes them go from white to red. Everyone's very impressed. Well, actually, the point is everyone doesn't give a shit. Yeah, they're so, like, nah. so his like mentor is like, do the thing, do 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 the thing, and he's like, what, 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 what if I just do do a little more like fiery things? Nobody. Uh, uh, well, sorry. No, I guess when he's, you know, it's rare that it even gets addressed to the fact that the portals make sparks. It's just like. What even is that, by the way? Flammable or combustible, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he pulls out a sling ring. Oh no. And he makes a portal, and it's like. Take, take it back. Whoa. He has a sling ring? It's exactly. Sword? You've got a sling ring. He's wow. A sling ring. Where, where did you get that? Where, that will yeah. require an explanation. I, I want to now, know, please. Opens and also, a portal yeah. to the Dark Souls world. Yeah, to a goblin dimension. Yeah, there's like a head in a cage. This is like a, like some sort of a dark fan Conan the Barbarian demon land. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck is that? Yeah, I don't know, but I guess he. <laughs> I don't know. I get he I wanna... wants her to go there. He's a go he just so, well a goblin more dimension. more on that in a second because it it cuts away from that rise. We don't know what happened there. It's fine. Back to oh, yeah, Katmandu. Yeah. We got a uh, good old good old Wong. He's watching. Netflix, he's filling out, and uh, portal yeah. opens, and oh, that I was same. What are you gonna say? I'm gonna say, um, is our portals? They should be prominent enough in this world now that people know what those are. I guess so. Yeah. Right, right. Like so when you go on stage and you pull out a sling out ring, out you're like, "Cause I." I guess when you introduce actual real magic into a world, the the job of the illusionist becomes a bit more complicated because magic oh. doesn't exist in the real world. So we have illusionists do the things that make us think, you know, that sort of thing. But now it's like, oh, magic is not only real. It seems to be like a big thing, right? There's all these sorcerers and there's all kinds of people from other planets and stuff. Magic just and and, and sorcery and witchcraft uh, seems to be real. So that must make the job of the illusionist a bit more like, oh, but we have the real thing. So coming to a show to watch you do these dumb things and then you pull out just like an actual magic. That's that's like cheating. Yeah, I, um, you know what? We'll probably have that discussion when they kind of yes, almost bring that up can, in the yeah. court case. Mm -hmm. um, for now, we'll just, yeah, because we, we almost need the, the, the show to give its... Uh, foundation to us first because this shit is so hard to swallow um she yes. just she portals into wong's room holding a heart and honestly yeah i think the closest this show's gotten to gore it's kind of surprising <laughs> yeah yeah it is actually weird when i saw her with that i'm like holy fuck is that a heart in yeah. your hand you're holding a heart in yeah. your hand and then she drops Do, on i would ask very for nice white rug just yeah uh, i'd ask uh i'd ask if she knows where that's been but I mean, she probably does. I mean, where else do they normally go, I suppose? Yeah. Um. Yeah, and so, you know, you, you're going to be like, last we saw her, she was looking at the portal. Now she's here with a heart, and she says, what happened to all the goblins? Are you the goblin king? Which is like, uh... what? And then she said, I grew up in Fort Lauderdale. My dad lives in Phoenix with his new family. I go there sometimes. Then... Wong is like, no, 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 no. Did a cut-rate magician send you here? Oh, you have no Why idea would that how be many. Your first. No idea how many problems that creates. That he said that. already, but we still don't have all the information. It get, gets worse. I suppose yeah, we should go a little bit further. <laughs> so he says, no, he didn't exactly send me. He sent me to a different dimension, 
and a talking goat helped me escape a lava pit in exchange for six drops of my blood. Yeah. And then I kind of... It was at this point I realized I wish the show was about the goat man and the drops of blood. <laughs> yeah, that right. sounds like that would be a lot more interesting. Great. She also said... What did he get up to in goat land? She also says diff dimensh because slang is funny or something. So fun. So, she's yeah. taking this all very well, though I'm yeah, the sure the is that she's is helping. Very drunk. She doesn't realize what's happening, apparently. I, I think that's supposed to be the joke or something. But still, the reality is she's a random woman that the, yeah. that magician earlier sent to go in, like, into a lava world and she had to take a heart, sacrifice parts of it, blood and fight goblins or something. Sounds hilarious. Yeah. And then right? someone but... sent her back through a portal that also comes from a sling ring, apparently. Yeah. People can just teleport into Wong's room, the Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah. Have we mentioned before that the portals create problems? Do. Has that been a thing <laughs> that we've alluded to, potentially? Oh yeah, uh, that's that is, that's like a thing that happens, and it's like there you go. That's gonna be you know how is Jen gonna get involved? And it's like I don't, even I don't say. even know why. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, and we start off with a fourth wall break. She's like, eh, you look happy. I guess you saw that Wong is back. It's like, but he was all here last episode. He, was he hasn't last gone. Yeah. So. <laughs> like, did you change your order? Had... Did you change the I episode mean, like, I order? Guess is the he question. Could've... Yeah. I guess he could have just not come back after he fled as a fugitive from justice, and we just don't, don't know what know. happened to him after that. Uh, it's just a bit but... weird to say Wong is back when the, the episode previously ended with him still a, like he, he's, it's not like he's been gone for a bit and he's back. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. And that's why, the, yeah, because uh, of how bonked this fucking show's order is, it, I really could wonder if this was that they hadn't decided which would be Wong's first appearance. But by the way, be before we go here. Wong straight up says Donnie Blaze is going to pay for this because she spoiled an episode of The Sopranos to him. Right. Oh yeah, uh, this is actually worth uh, talking about. Yeah. yeah, the reason he he's upset because she inadvertently spoiled an episode of The Sopranos. Mm -hmm. Not that there's a rogue magician out there with a sling ring who is teleporting people into and out of demon dimensions. Yeah. And she never mentions the name Donny Blaze, so he knows who that person is. Which, which supports just... the line, did a, did a cut-rate magician send you? Exactly. Which just... Because his first impression piles is on that. the bullshit yeah, that's is... unfolding mm -hmm. right in front of our eyes. I mean, that's enough to Wong say that... Wong is being just, just... eviscerated in his character. Yeah, it's insanity. And we're not even to the worst of it, but yeah, just, you know, in case anybody's yeah. Correct, vaguely we're not. following, Wong is aware there is a man with a sling ring... He's, that's just sending people to demon dimension. Mm -hmm. However, that is not what compels him to take action. No. 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 Also, it's, it's, I would like strange. to just make sure everyone understands the magician is called Donnie Blaze, not Donny Johnny Blaze. Blaze. Not, not to be confused that was with also Johnny Blaze. Yeah, there was confusion in our and yeah, there was confusion. Well. <laughs> very, very yeah. obviously a reference. And no, you do not want them to ever bring in Johnny Blaze. Ever. That's the Ghost Rider guy, right? Just so we're he's really cool. Yes. They're gonna okay. make him lame yeah. if they ever do bring him in. People are gonna be like, he's already They're in because of the Agents of Shield. In. They'll do him again in a different way. They wouldn't. They would let the Agents of Shield guy be the definitive Ghost Rider. Make him funny. And They're stuff. definitely gonna bring him in. Give it, yeah, they'll definitely want him. They want to make their Midnight Suns movie, I imagine. So they'll, they'll want him. Yeah, he had a cameo in Agents of Shield. I, I, I know he turned up in that at some point, but you know that if they were to bring him in the MCU, they wouldn't care about that. I don't. No way. I still wonder if that show is canon. I don't know. Wow, the fact that it's even in doubt, right, isn't a good sign in terms of its status. Kind of the uh, same with Daredevil. Yeah, people tend to like Agents of Shield, right? People do like Agents yeah. of Shield, from what I understand. Certainly so, more than the the pissed on shows from Netflix, yeah. like uh, and like in human Iron stuff Fist as and well. Defenders. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, she says, "I guess you saw the Wong is back, and it's just like yes to be ruined again and again yeah. and again." <laughs> and she's like, "God, everyone loves Wong. It's like giving the show Twitter armor for a week." Which it doesn't, but okay. I well, no, it's I not disagree. working. It's starting to, uh, it's flagging. Yeah. I disagree. I think she's absolutely it, correct, even to a T. It does give the you, show you armor for about a week. 
Sorry, you might be right, because I, yeah, like, it seems like they really like the, the Wong and Madison, like, team up yep. as, a, as a thing. They love it, but and using give it. Give it a oh, week, okay. and people will then yeah, be like, give it a week. pretty shit, though. Yep. It's so, like, like, having this line in here, to me, is just like, oh, it's not fair. The writers even know about all of this, yeah. like, how everything works. This absolute sludge parade. It's not fair. It's, it's funny that you say that now because my, my notes are obviously like a week old from when I covered it. <laughs> yeah. And now that I think about it, oh yeah, it actually did work because everyone was just talking about Madison and Wong. I saw <laughs> loads of Wong's stuff and I was just like, fuck. Oh, stop. But it, it's, it's the same. This one will have a worse downfall than the rest of them. People will be like, God, you have to admit though, the Phase 4 TV shows, oh, stinkers. Like everyone will be saying I, that. It will. I think it's gonna have a pretty... I, I, the fact that it's received a negative response as it's coming out, like, that is a... That is a departure from... Days. Yeah. Well, it's the same as Thor, right? And Thor's never recovering. The reputation of nope. Thor's not... There's never gonna never be a point better. where people, like, it was judged too harshly. That no. has a permanently negative reputation. And I think this one will, too. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. by the end of Phase 4, depending on how Black Panther pans out, if that's you know, however that's perceived, like, there will be a perception that Phase 4 was the shit one. I think that, I think that that's certain. Hey man, it could turn out that Black Panther 2 is, like, the best of Phase 4. It probably, I, I could easily maybe. see it being the best of the, of them, yeah. I, I feel like it'd be, I guess it would be competition with No Way Home, but, like, it would be surprising to me if it ended up being as flawed as, uh, as, like, a lot of this stuff, but who knows? thing as well that, you know, like the whole, you know, some of them, some of the things from phase one, two, and three, it's like you kind of look back and you're like, you know, that wasn't so bad. It's like, I seriously can never think that would ever happen to something like Thor, Love, and Thunder or MOM. I don't know that how could bad ever... could things possibly yeah, get like, before yeah. that's good. Knock on yeah, wood. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think we could ever see something in phase five or six that's so bad that I go, man, I miss MOM. <laughs> like, um, no. I guess Secret, Secret <laughs> Wars might stand a serious chance, right? Because of, like, the scope of that film is going to be insane. I still think I that imagine. we would categorize it alongside MOM rather than worse. Right, like, there's never anything that makes you go, man, Multiverse of Madness, we were eating good. <laughs> yeah, no way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I hate it. So, yeah, here comes, uh, we're close to the one thing I like in the, in the four episodes, I think, which there. She says, Ooh. The dad just pops in. He's like, Good morning, Yay! sweetheart. And she's like, Dad, the what dad. are you doing here? And, uh, well, after the scare you had, I'm here to beef up your security. And I was like, Aww. Aww. What a good boy. What a nice I, dad. I, I he like cares him. about his daughter. Doing it even though she's She Hulk. He doesn't care. He's looking after his Even daughter. though she's a yeah. total cunt. But, <laughs> man, what a good dad. What a good dad. Yeah, like that, that's a tiny bit, and then you get um, he's got I got new locks, cameras, and alarm system, and even pepper spray. He says, "What's the shovel for?" He just says, "Digging holes." It's just, like it's it's, it's, uh, a, it's the only joke. It's the only so far yeah. in the show that I was like, you know what? I'm okay with yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm okay just, with that yeah. joke. Like, I the, I enjoy the implication that this father is a, a loving, kindly gentleman who, if push comes to shove, has a shovel. Yeah, like, I, 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 that's what I got from this. I, the, the impression yeah. kind of just, like, if they need to kill anybody as a result of the attack, I guess we could, we could bury them. A father will kill for his <laughs> daughter. <laughs> well, this, this visual kind of makes it work for me as well, just the way he's holding it, just staring by <laughs> yeah. it, scented. I was it, just like, yeah, that works for me. It's All right. so, it's matter of fact, like, just, yeah, it's a shovel for digging, you know, how would you dig? Yeah, um, one, one point. Good job, Put it in a, you did it. Never again. Because I will say there is a detraction of points from the scene because Jen is in it. You know that. that yes. Kind of <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, he says, "What do the police say?" And she said, "Oh, they said uh, police stuff." And he goes, "You didn't call them? Are you serious?" But she says, "I was a prosecutor long enough to know that they're not going to catch those guys." Like, because that's the only reason why you talk to the police if a crime has been committed is the likelihood yeah. of the perpetrators being caught. As a lawyer, that's something that you should definitely. Also, say. though, they have crazy Asgardian weapons, so you know what? <laughs> they I think do. they're going to dedicate some resources know. to tracking yeah. these guys down. You need to let them know this is a thing that happened. Report the fucking crime, Jen. Jesus. Yeah, what if they attack someone else? It's not all about you. Yeah, is it weird that they are trying to get your blood? That's weird. Yeah, you should probably no, let yeah, Bruce know about that. But a, a yeah, oh, well, I guess he's uncontactable, right? Because he's in a different, he's he's in a different solar she, system. He contacted him while he was in a different solar system, didn't he? 
didn't she? She uh, was in space. Well, he maybe was in I guess I guess he has a telephone tower on his ship. I don't <laughs> fucking know if how he any of that if, works, though. If he, if he was in space, period, I that feel like you alarm. might. Yeah, you might probably. Yeah, out of range if you're talking to someone -uh. in space. Sci-fi, sci you you lose. Remember the Blackberry, oh, the Captain darn. Marvel Blackberry that can contact her anywhere in the universe. Oh, that's right. Of mm -hmm. course. It's like the Stormtrooper in 1977. Dude, that was so funny. Oh, no. If Fury was like, I need your help, Captain Marvel, please return to Earth. And then she looks like she's literally just a bazillion, million, 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 everything's away. And she's like, right, better get going. Goes at light speed and doesn't turn up at Earth for like 10 trillion mega <laughs> millions of years. Like, I just find, as it, unless she does the jobs. It's like, it's like James Gunn was the only person with a brain uh, who, uh, when, certainly when we get into like the universal cosmic stuff, because the, the portal jumping jump point things, yeah, that makes, that actually works. You can't have it so that you just go at light speed. We, we went over this a long time ago. This is 2018 shit, right? Oh my. The, the Captain Marvel light speed shit, traveling the- Ah, uh, yeah. that was 2019. Like we've cracked the ultimate traveling technology, light the light speed engine. It's like you are kidding me. <laughs> like, please tell me you're <laughs> fucking joking. Uh anyway. It's cute that you think that. Yeah, she doesn't feel like reporting it. It's just, whatever, it's fine. Get over it. Move on. I don't even know why they threw that in there, just to let us know that I guess there's nothing else to that part. I don't know. No. Oh, interesting. So. I didn't even notice the first time. So she's got, like, a day plan. And it's yeah, enormous. it's like a fuck ton of stuff on it. Got an enormous list, because she's very busy, I imagine. Got finalize Blonky, Blonsky Injunction. Prepare guidance language for Blonsky Inhibitor. What? I don't know. I guess that's how the inhibitor works. Or maybe in the, the stipulation of the legality of it as it's written on paper yeah, in terms to his use of the it. inhibitor. Um, order highlighters from Supply Clerk, edit to-do list, meet Nikki in the bathroom, okay. Schedule summer associate interviews, schedule summer associate outings. Meet Nikki in the bathroom. Finish Runa <laughs> paperwork with Pug. Well, that's not even your case. I guess if you're trying to help out, I don't know. Buy and read how to make friends and influence people. Oh, and then it goes so fast, it's going to be tough to read it. Yeah. Sign up for Man, big and tall membership. Gym, meet Holloway, enter billables, expenses, follow up with Blin Blonsky's soulmates. Oh, that's very a lot on it. Uh, just trying to hey, see if there's anything. No, I'm just trying to see if there's anything worth mentioning. Drink more water. That's good. I suppose that is good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Drink, uh, drink more, and plus, yeah. who knows how wash down all the bits. Right. How much water do you need to drink to be well hydrated? I love it. How could this possibly be one day? Well, maybe I mean, there's a lot of use, uh, right? useless shit on there, so. <laughs> like meeting someone on the toilet. Well, you mean like stuff that would happen pretty quickly? But I mean, yeah. still, there's like a, like a thousand entries or some bullshit. <laughs> Very busy. Coffee date. Find direct contact for Wong. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. The Jansen class action. Finish dating profile. And guess what thing she decides to do today? It's very, yeah, she does it very quickly. It's very... It's shockingly quick. It in no way seems... Why couldn't you just screen cap someone doing it? And then just put that on there? Because this looks fucking fake as shit. Well, I guess matcher is a made-up thing for that, right? I guess. Um, it relies yeah. on a swiping right and left, though. I was knowing what that means. Your interests are comedy, cooking, music, yoga, animals, and dancing. Animals? See, I told you. Take that bitch to the zoo. <laughs> I did say. There's another QR code as well. Ooh, metal. Probably. Oh, comics. So you got to do it. This is your. You've made this, this your is, thing. You oh, set a horrific precedent that thing. you have to now scan it's all fine, the QR codes. I'll, I'll I'll take my, I'll take my, 
my file here and get that QR code for you, lads. That's that's okay. Awesome. Yeah, they're playing the interview. It's like, how did you there come up with the name She-Hulk? <laughs> and then, as they're watching TV, Wong just bursts into the office again. Yeah, it's like, yeah. hello. Hi, I, I, privacy is literally not a concept that I understand, and there are no boundaries when you can teleport, and I do not respect yours. And I'm Wong. Since I'm we've got him. actually a decent uh, it's, chunk it's of a... context for Wong, it'd be like, wait, why is he here? And he's legit like, I'm having an issue with a magician. Yeah. Oh, Notice, man, I put magician in quotations. In, right? Yeah. Also, the QR code is the same one as the other one. Oh, oh okay. that's lame. Uh, that's lame. <clears throat> Um, and she's like, I did, yes. And he goes, because he's not an actual magician. You see, again, why Wong are you making him so stupid? <laughs> yep. Mm hmm This charlatan goes by the name of Donnie Blaze. They're very upset about him, seemingly because of the fact that he's, like, showing off, not because he's abusing his power. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you know, sent a woman <laughs> to a fucking demon dimension where she could have died. Yeah, and he's like, he's... Fucking around in Kamataj and he got booted out. And it's like, ah. Yeah, so why does he have week. a sling ring? This is... A, here is where I was like, okay, this is an absolute catastrophe. Yeah. This is... The information we got here is... What, what are we doing? It hurts. This oh, hurts. Dude, what yeah, this was this... I don't even know where, like if we go one by one, because like, it's just... He just establishes this dude failed like the training at Kamataj, but just After decided to... Fuck off, and he has access. Well, that was a couple days, right? Like three days. Seemingly, yeah. And I, I think he says a, a week, maybe. I don't he know, did maybe one I'm thing, and they expelled him, which seems like I don't know, man. That doesn't seem like you would just expel someone with like magical training after a few days because they did something bad, right? Well, he teleported into frat friends and three kegs of something to drink and had a party That's... in Kamartash. So yeah. that I'm doesn't like, sound really Kamartash. malicious or bad at all. That sounds like something that probably it. happens fairly often. <laughs> I would imagine with the new recruits. Let him keep his sling ring. Yeah, he, that's the biggest. Right. That's the biggest issue. Yeah, oh, they don't. They don't even say he stole a sling ring. No, I'm they're sorry. just like they don't even mention, they don't even mention it. Yeah, but we know it's a thing. We saw it. Yeah, and, and even worse, up. in this scene, yeah. he makes sure to mention Wong does. Oh, this is very dangerous to humanity, and even risks untangling the material and astral planes. Yeah. Then why the yeah. fuck does he still have a fucking sling ring? What are you doing, yeah, Wong? Like, yeah, why are you in the office Supreme. and not doing shit? Exactly. Well, why yeah, are you because... fucking around with this attorney? You need to go there now and remove him of his sling well, ring. Yeah. Right? Wong has no respect for the law, so like, I don't know why. That is true. Yeah. This, this is, this is the big realization of this scene. He's, he found out about all of the context for all of this and decided, I'm going to go to Jen Walters to solve this. What? Solve this. Yeah, Rob Rather than what just is, go at least, for the first time. At least in the Blonsky episode, he's being asked to stand as a witness to help a case. Like, that's him being drawn into the law. And it's like, not something he really cares to do, but it's like, okay, I'll help out a friend or whatever. This is him saying, I must get the law in order to stop this guy. Like, what? No? And I guess to uh, address that, so what he wants to do is he wants to establish a precedent that no unlicensed people can, like, practice the mystic arts. So, many questions Wait. stem from this. Oh, oh I'm gonna okay. wanna, that, that's not yet. That's, that's just after the one other thing I want to establish is he says in no uncertain okay. terms, he is sending volunteers into other dimensions. Yeah, like, yeah. for okay. fun. Like, fun or something. Yeah. Other dimensions. So, other dimensions. So, at first, you may have been able to get away with saying he just knew that that was something Donnie could have done and that this was the first time he had it confirmed or something, but... It seems to confirm that he knows that Donnie's been doing this for some time. For some time, exactly. This is unacceptable. Supported by the earlier scene, where it's like, oh, was that some cut, cut something? Uh, I forgot the term. Uh, uh, magician who did this. And then also says Donnie Blaze's name. So, mm -hmm. fuck me. Wong has known about so this for some time, that innocent people are getting thrown into other realms and dement. He said other realms, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Stop switching the fucking don't descriptions. Fucking I don't know they what don't you're talking about. That means. Realms, dimensions, yeah. universe, someplace else. Fuck you. It's somewhere, you know. Yeah. 
So yeah, there's that. And now he wants to establish the precedent that no unlicensed people can practice the Mystic Arts. So many questions. Is this not covered by the Accords? No. The Accords aren't we don't real. talk about no. that. This <laughs> is this is the world building buffet, Fringy. We didn't yeah, take like... no accords. No <laughs> so, accords yeah. on our plate. No accords. Um, second of all, I feel like there's way more pressing and potent things that to like, for instance, sending this Madison to a different dimension with demons in it, that's a crime. Yeah. Not a crime that would be clearly delineated under any existing legislation, but that's like assault, gross negligence, like reckless endangerment, like many, many different things that you could get in for, like criminal Absolutely. charges. Absolutely. Putting people's lives in danger. And that's really important to you. Um, third, though, creating a precedent in just California, like just in California, <laughs> doesn't really fix your problem. He could just go to a different well, state. He could go to yep. country. Precisely. Is there no... Like, anything for this in the history of Kamataj? Did, did the Ancient One never consider any of the... Has Wong never spoken to anybody about this, or Doctor Strange, uh, how the sorcerer is entangled oh. with the law? Have they ever thought about this? Did Madison volunteer to go to a hell dimension to make a deal with a goat man? <laughs> <laughs> can you even... Well, can you say Where she Where is the goat man? Is that well, even... she volunteered magic show, but that doesn't mean that she volunteered to get sent to a hell dimension. Yeah, that's what I'm suggesting, yeah. It, I, 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 it's, 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 it's too, too much. <laughs> to, to say the least is too much. Too much. You're hurting yeah, my that's... brain with all of this crazy shit all at once. And what does it mean, by the way, to have a license to practice sorcery? What is license oh, sorcery? Oh man, I went on a whole thing, like, Wong decides, virtually on a whim, <laughs> that we need to get the governments of the world involved in legalization of sorcery and magical practice and execution. Well, good luck. Wong, do you have any <laughs> fucking clue, the can of worms that you are about to open on yeah. virtually a whim because someone spoiled a TV show for you? You fucking just, loon. Just think about this as well. It's like, Yes, I want to establish this, not through legislation, like, on a federal level, or, you know, through the, I guess if you want to do something globally with the United Nations or whatever. No, I'm going to establish it through a cease and desist in California state law. Like, what? It's baffling. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> and, by the way, Jen's entertaining all of this. She's like, how do we make this work? Well, you're going to need it so that you have, like, an agreement with these people and you teach them your sorcery. You have like a contract or the she's asking him this stuff instead of just being like Wong, you sound insane. Like actually fucking deranged. Uh yeah. Like and I can't yeah. believe that my brain is like, where's where's Steven? Bring him in. He might be able to actually help at this point. Yeah. Even though he's crazy. <laughs> like uh, whatever. Everyone's so fucking nuts in this universe. I can't take it. Steven would just go to this fucking guy and say, Give me the sling ring. Yeah. Well, or that's what Wong chop your hands <laughs> off. Get Wanda to disappear <laughs> it. Whatever. <laughs> First person was put in danger, you know, like white. Yeah. So, um, it doesn't stop. No, it doesn't stop. stop. This ride never ends. Oh man, this whole scene is thick. It's like every fucking sentence makes problems. Oh, we... The the point is made by Jen, like, oh, we, there was no like contractual agreement or anything like that. You got him to agree uh, to when you trained him in. The Cards and it's like so the problem yeah the problem is you've opened a can of worms um magic probably should be something that's governed by legislation at this point considering how i mean considering how powerful it is that you can like summon monsters and create portals like just the portals alone would demand some sort of like legal addressing by uh by governments around the world that's what this show uh, should have been about yeah, it yeah, it probably should have been. Um, but that they wanna they want this episode to be one and done. Um and you can't yeah. do one and done when we're talking about countries all around the world figuring out how to legislate the use of a breadth of, of supernatural abilities that are incredibly powerful. Like um, I said, man, back in Doc Strange One, they benefit from basically being like we're a hidden organization, nobody knows about mm -hmm. this shit, and we fight supernatural beings, often in other dimensions. Sure. Like, you, okay, you better keep... Even that, I'll go as far as That's saying, something. even that is still hard to keep under wraps forever. It's like Wakanda. It's like, I don't believe you could have kept that secret forever. Uh, and to be fair, they admit they didn't. There's several people found out about it, but... That's a whole other thing. I'm just trying to suggest that, like, 
when you just go, no, the whole world's aware of it now, but nobody cares. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's... so uh, yeah. Really? She says this is the American legal system. No judge <sighs> will take this seriously unless we do things by the book. And then he says, oh, the fucking <laughs> line. Oh, the book of Vashanti. I hate Dude. that line so much. Dude, oh, now so, we're just gonna. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead, mm, go for it. So the joke is that Wong, who at some point was a very smart character in this universe, <laughs> thinks that the Book of Vishanti is a human guideline to the law. I don't, I don't even he, like. I, we, I genuinely. He, <laughs> when she I, says I, we got to do like things a whole thing. by the uh, book. Well, I don't know what's going through his head when he says, oh, the Book of Vishanti. So, uh, does the Vishanti guide think... you on like, determining, like, does it guide you through governing, like, navigating the American legal system? So he doesn't understand that humans abide by a legal system that was created by humans. He's but a this... human being! Wrong... <laughs> exactly! Oh, sorry, he shouldn't the Book be... of Vishanti doesn't exist anymore, buddy. It's gone. He has a residence you... in New York. <laughs> He's an American. Well, he, uh, maybe not an American. He lives he in America. Born at the very on Earth. He was raised yeah. as a human. He knows what the law is. <laughs> what is this? But here's the thing. Even if I would accept that he's that fucking stupid, how would you? How would they build a legal system from a book that does magic? One. They don't that they don't know. Two. Exists. It's a legend. Strange thought. Up until M O M was a legend. Doctor yeah, Strange didn't too. know about it. Yeah. And this is a book that is unique to all of the multi was unique to all of the multiverse. Yes. How the fuck should a normal human being who is not even <laughs> remotely connected to a shield or Avengers even know about this fucking book? This doesn't yeah, make like, any what, fucking what, sense what, at all. Like, she has no idea what the book of Ashanti is. And he says it like, oh, the Book of Ashanti, like, ah, yes, we agree. It's like, why would she know what that is, Wong? <laughs> like, why is it that does, something she would have ever heard about? This is what I mean, you need that character to just be like, Wong, you mean the book that has nothing to do with the law, that has that nobody has access to at all until last week where you got it destroyed? Yeah. Yeah. Like, What, what are you what? talking about, mm -hmm. Wong? <laughs> like, what, what is wrong with your brain? would he ever it's just stupid it's it's not it's a joke that it only exists in service of a joke that isn't very good yeah so destroys... Destroys... wong has always been a say funny line character yellow like yellow whack so no well wait i'm happy Take to concede back. several lines from him have been funny <laughs> this is not funny this no. is just been in absolutely brain dead personality this destroys so many things god what? damn it Wong was characterized pretty was. hardcore to just be absolutely by the book, almost to the point of stuffy, like, stale librarian man. Yeah, by the book of Ashanti. And then you have him bouncing off no. Strange, who is like a go-getter, sort of Wong. smug asshole type, who's trying to poke mm -hmm. at Wong all the time to get him to laugh. And there's a big payoff in Stock Strange 1 where he finally tells a joke that Wong laughs at, right at the end. It's fun! Mm -hmm. And then you see them chilling out in Infinity War. Happy? They get to hang out in Infinity War for like five seconds. They seem to have pretty good chemistry. Then they hang out again and say like one line to each other in an Endgame. That's nice. And then it's MOM, right? That's that's like their total screen yeah. time together. And then that's Man. for Wong. He just sort of turns up in everyone's shows just going, Hello, I'm Wong. Yeah. Wong's music taste is a good joke. Yeah, he listens to like Beyonce at some point, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, he does. He does. Uh, this is why man. people like Wong because he's super chill. He works hard he really and, like... and fun. Benedict I like Wong is very when I've... like first okay, fun to sorry. watch, and so this is really, really fucking annoying. Yeah, because I remember seeing is... this line in the in the trailer, and I was like, "Oh, that's weird. Why would he say that?" Yeah. And now with all the context we had provided, it's like Jesus Christ. Yeah. What, what what have we done? What have you done? I've done nothing. Yeah, I'm not complicit <laughs> in their crimes. This is like, this is, this episode is a catastrophe. I really fucking hate this episode. <laughs> yeah, this one hurts really bad. So yeah, we're bad. not even like a hyper cringe yet. So the, the the joke is him not understanding the phrase "by the book." Is he's, he's, he isn't? He's just he just assumes the book is Vishanti. What? Why would he assume it's the, the... Why didn't he say do things by the Darkhold then, I guess? 
or like any book. Yeah, like what, do you, Bible and what do you mean he I, doesn't understand the phrase but, by the book? What do you think that means? I don't even think you need to be taught what that means to know what that means. Yeah. Go and also, the in the context of what she said, because she was talking, she, the one sentence before, she said that's not going to like work in the American justice system. He's talk, she's talking about like America and the American legal system. Just stop defending it. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> stop it. It's okay. They're allowed to try. So anyway, yeah, she says, no, the Book of American Laws, you fucking idiot, and throws him out the building, because of course he's insane. Yeah. He shouldn't deal with this at all. Um, but yeah, you know, we still got a few seconds of Wong in this scene, so why not do something else that's stupid? She's like, I need your information, and so he gives her a fucking note that just says Wong on it, that I'm the Sorcerer Supreme. <laughs> At this point, he's turned into, like, an egomaniacal jackass as well. He's so mad. Yeah. He's mad. He's a mad lad. He picks up the card, and then he goes... Cheap human tricks, like about, as though what he just did with the card is like akin to what humans do yeah. with magic. And it's like, bro, you are human. Why, yeah. you, yeah, why, you, why does this show believe he's from like tricks. fucking Mars or something? <laughs> What's going on? They keep forgetting that these characters who are humans with superpowers are still like humans. <laughs> They've been raised it's the whole here somewhere. That they're like that the the even though they've got this crazy superhuman stuff going on, they're like very normal real people with real problems. It's like one of the big core like binding Marvel things with a lot of their characters. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, P again. I wasn't intending to spend a lot of time on it, but like what were they thinking? You fool. With the uh, <laughs> with I need your information, so he provides her a note that just has his name on it that she knows already. Like I like, I know your name is Wong, I know you're the Sor Sorcerer Supreme, this doesn't help me. You you might think, if you're being generous, oh, is that is that the joke? That he's like, oh yeah, here, here you go, I'm helping you out. And it's like, I don't know that the show's aware of that. She's She asks for it, he provides it, and then that's it. There's no, there's no like, like, no, 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 I need you to, oh, he's gone. You know, that sort of, it, it's just Wong, Sorcerer Supreme, Master of the Business. Maybe you're thinking, as I joked earlier, is his number on the back? The answer is no. No, it's just really worthless by his card. It just tells us stuff she already knows. The literal joke in the first Doctor Strange movie is that he's a normal guy. Not anymore, he's an alien now. He doesn't understand humans' customs. God, I hate it so much. Why? How long till Doctor Strange this is, is the an alien? pain dimension. The dimension of pain. We need to uphold America's laws. Oh, America Chavez. Yeah, I, I could see them doing that. <laughs> America Chavez? She would make a wonderful, kind, compassionate, and wise ruler of the land. <laughs> yes. Uh, and yeah, by the way, I guess we, we kind of touched on it, but Book of Vishanti just bringing it up at all. Like, does, yeah. does Wong even know? Book that you already destroyed. Does Wong even well, know? Well, he, he didn't destroy it, but what he did. You probably but wouldn't he, want to he, tell him, right? You probably wouldn't want to... Embarrassing. It'd be quite embarrassing. It's like you destroyed. Why did did you like you ran to it as soon as you saw it, right? I mean, yes. I I definitely moved towards it. Yeah, he says yes. It's like you're lying to me. Oh, dude, I'm already <laughs> imagining like Wanda. You know, she's on her redemption path, where she's trying to get back in the good good times with the, the other heroes, and so she's there when this conversation is happening. So she knows what happened. And Doc Strange is looking at her like, "Don't say anything." Just don't. Like, Shush. <laughs> and she's like, "I mean, I feel kind of guilty about it. I feel like we should be honest." And Doc Strange is like, "Don't." Okay? <laughs> Just don't. And she's like, okay, alright, fine. Jeez. I don't want everyone to know how much of a fucking failure I am. <laughs> <sighs> oh, man. It's not preferable. But yeah, he leaves angrily, because shouldn't have to deal with this, you know? Yet. Yep. I have to stop all these rate magicians showing off with stuff that he taught them how to do. It doesn't matter, of course, that he's sending innocent people into... Oh, that's fine. That but is yeah. acceptable. So then we get this. In their <laughs> little bar, they've got they got their, their drinks and their booklets out, and they're doing some legal stuff, and some guy comes in and he says, Excuse me, ladies, I hate to see these two stunning women sitting all alone. Um, and she goes, Oh, well, there's two of us, so by definition, not alone. He goes, can I buy you sexy ladies a round of drinks? He says, okay, sir, we're clearly in the middle of work. And he goes, when you change your mind, I'll be at the bar. Walks off. Uh, this Chad. conversation. And then she says, see, that guy is exactly why I don't date. 
I hate it. I hate I, it so much. I, yeah. Don 2.0. Like, it's was Don 2.0. What was wrong with what nothing. he just did? You are not allowed to even like fucking look at a woman. Or that's the thing. I I don't understand where this mindset comes from. That like whenever a man approaches a woman and attempts to woo her, that's like a, a terrible, negative, yeah. awful thing that needs to be stopped. It, I, it boggles the mind. I have no clue. He took that L like a fucking champion. Well, because he sensed yeah, and, when he was not, he was he he could tell in the conversation that he wasn't really wanted, yeah. but he still left the door open for later in case they were interested, and he left without issue. And yeah. he's a presentable guy. He looks really good for his age. He's handsome. He's got his leather jacket on. He approaches them, compliments their attractiveness, and uh, and and, yeah, and, and, and he's, he's gross. He's, they, yeah, they they imply he's a gross guy. It's like what the fuck? Because he called you sexy. Yeah, I'm sorry. Of, no. I didn't mean I'm to sorry. offend you. Uh, yeah, uh, that must be really rough. No one will ever know how much you sacrificed. I'm sure. Yeah, that was really lame. I, I, I this, it, you're in a bar. You're having drinks. Some guy just says like, "Do you want some more company?" And you go, "Ew!" It's like, oh, "Ew!" Geez. I'm being talked Ew. to by a maloid. Maloid. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as someone in chat just said. What does it even have to do with the episode, really? Just doing Nothing. that to that guy. It's like, not really anything. Oh, we, I was going to say, yeah, like, themes of the show? <laughs> we, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we don't... The whole thing, the whole speech at the end about power and responsibility, and you're willing to... <laughs> fuck that! I wouldn't be surprised she just outright kills a few people before the show ends. I'm surprised those guys that attacked her, she didn't kill. That's the thing. Well, she could well, not have injured those back, back, yeah. back later. It's, they want to bring him back to have more fights, I imagine. Because it's fun. They're really fun. Um, but yeah, she's like, you need to use your she-hulkiness to help yourself get a date. And she's like, no, Jen. I'm using Jen. Jen is Jen is Jen, Jen, Jen. I'm Jen. Jen will be the one that gets the date. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Then she gets one, right? Was it here? I'm, I'm... I don't think that's yet. Oh, okay. She's deciding in this moment it's going to be Jen that gets the date. She-Hulk is a different thing. She-Hulk is the office stuff. That's what she's decided now. See, again, it's all, it's all happening. They're doing pieces of what appears to be work in terms of this arc. She's now decided that, yeah, okay, I won't, it went from I won't be She-Hulk to She-Hulk is my work. And, and of course, now She-Hulk's going to bleed into her dating. And eventually, She Hulk's just going to be everything. So, um, get ready for that. It's going to be super interesting. Mm. So, we have this part where they're at the, the magician's place of work, I guess, Wong and Jen, and they're like, This is an official warning to cease all practices of the mystic arts. And he says, That's absurd. You can't own magic. He says, Yeah. And then he says, You can't trademark a spirit, register a soul, copyright art. And she says, You can copyright art, yes. Now, do you know what I find interesting about that statement? Is that yes. depending on how you interpret it, they're both correct. Yes, you can copyright mm. pieces of art. You can't like copyright the concept yeah. of art though. Yes. No, oh, okay. And gotcha. it's and that actually is more relevant to what he's talking about, because what Wong wants is to copyright sorcery, casting spells. Yeah, like Wong is asserting ownership over the capacity to do this. Yeah, which he can't which is, do that. Um, <laughs> it's not his. No. <laughs> and in the same way that yeah the concept of art or performing artwork is not something you can copyright you can't copyright reacting to things fucking remember That's that true. <laughs> like, fine bros yeah. yeah fine brothers but you can and copyright I guess your reaction like, to a thing of course it's kind of like the nature of um like why is this the case why is the case not to do with the fact that he like nearly killed someone by sending her through a portal to a hell dimension absolutely yeah you could destroy this man's life easily by doing that and to be honest with you he should have his life destroyed for doing that shit well i mean it's incredibly dangerous he's putting lots of people's lives in serious danger just to get a, like an audience's applause so he's, he's a jerk like he's a complete Fringy. Asshole. Fringy. it was to see the look on their faces Ah, right, it's all worth it for the, the craft, you know? To impress the audience and make them believe for even a moment that magic is real, even though it is real. <laughs> like, it's very Oh yeah, real I guess, because it, it is real. <laughs> he's This yeah. whole time, he's trying to convince people that real magic is actually real, and everyone's like, yeah. Um, we know. 
He well, says, file um, a patent. Wong's gonna file a patent on magic. It's so He's fucking stupid. It's unbelievable. <laughs> made my magic. And then this guy is like, what's the matter, Wong? You upset that I'm becoming more mystical than you? And then Wong is like, the Sorcerer Supreme never engages in competition. But I get, I do magic, better magic in my sleep or whatever, and starts like preparing well, a spell. And, to be and, fair. Uh, and Jen is like, no, 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 calm, calm, calm down. It's just like, why are you making Wong? Why is everyone so Wong? petty? Well, here's the thing. Know. Wong says he doesn't engage in competition, but I'm pretty sure you broke someone out of prison. To compete in with order them. To fight them. Yeah. But I'm, and also, he does yeah. engage in petty competition anyway, like yeah, a minute later. Instantly. Because he's yeah. very insecure. This is what I mean. So, I'm so tired of so every. This is what it actually means for every character to be the same. Like, they're all incredibly stupid, and they, they're all petty because petty is an easy way to make jokes. Like, isn't it funny that mm -hmm. he's like, I, I will beat you with a magic competition. Meanwhile, you look at same. a lot of great comedy. A lot of the great comedy is the contrasting personalities. Like, yes. this, I mean, what is one of the most common comedic duos? The straight man and the goofy, wacky guy. Because it's really Which, fun way, to have a contrast between a guy who plays the situation totally straight and the guy who's insane. Yeah. Wong used to be the straight man, quote unquote, because that he was like, the, the gag man. was you yeah. tell him a joke and he just stares at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's it's really funny. It's a very high like, bar. Wong well, has I mean, a very look, high bar for comedy. Not anymore, he doesn't. I, Gromit, I appreciate that. Wallace and now Gromit, is like Gromit, Gromit doesn't say anything. It's always yeah. in his reactions. He's silent. Gromit is the straight Wallace man, is, ironically. Gromit is the straight man. Yes, he is. He is the straight man. He's one of the best straight mans, like in a as a comedic pairing. I've always really liked Gromit. Um, oh yeah, he's a really fun character, a great character design as well. Like man, mm. Odman. Oh man, like, <laughs> Wallace and Gromit is some top tier, some top tier comedy, top um, tier animation. And yeah, so they've they've delivered a season desist. That's that, I guess. Yeah, and then but he's not going to uh, follow it, and they go to court. Yeah, well, <laughs> so, of course. Yeah. Like, they don't even have a case, yeah. but um, then you get this, this yeah. really weird thing where Wong is, like, showing off that this ball that uh, the magician was playing with just now, Wong is like, haha, joke's on you, I put it in my mouth. I, yeah. I, I, I find yeah. that really weird, like, I guess in a magical yeah, perspective, that's... That's, that's, it's interesting that you did that, but if I was, like, batting around a ball and then someone put it in their mouth and went, <laughs> I'd just be like, um, okay. yeah. I mean, didn't we just get over this whole COVID thing? I mean, I I don't know. Know. Yeah, I hope you're proud of yourself there. Just, <laughs> all right. Again, just, I don't know who this character is. I like Benedict I Wong, though. He's a fun guy. Yeah, he was cool. Yeah. He Not is this... excellently acting this character that they really want him to be. Oh, yeah. Jesus, I forgot this was next. The MCU, though. Oh, you um, mean uh, the meme of a bad date? But, uh, yeah. They did this already in the other episode. The, 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 like, shitty man is what I mean, I guess. <laughs> Sh shitty day, shitty idiot people. Wasn't Dennis enough? Wasn't he enough? No, we didn't did no. get it all out with him. Why do we need no. more? No need to make this parody of a bad it. date. The joke with this guy is he talks all about himself, and everything he says kind of implies it's either a lie or that he overestimates everything about it. And then the second she talks about anything, he doesn't listen. Yeah, just looking at the phone, he was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's, that's basically So much yeah. so that she, she can just say, like, yeah, I'm She-Hulk, and I'm, I'm like, this incredibly super-powered individual, now, and he just doesn't even notice. Without implying anything further, I do just want it in stone after what Fringy just said. Yes, She, she felt it was worthwhile mentioning that she's She-Hulk to him as a shock. Basically, like, she's hmm. saying things, and he's not responding to them. And so the implication is like, I'll keep phone. making increasingly yeah. crazy things to see if he reacts. And, and one of the top tier ones is, I'm She-Hulk. And so it seems like Jen is very aware that people don't know that She-Hulk and Jennifer Walters are the same entity. Just something to keep in yeah. mind. Might something be relevant. Yeah. Not everybody knows that. And she's very aware that not everybody knows that. Evidently uh, she knows that not everybody knows that, yeah. Yes. But anyway, it's it's really funny that he's a complete asshole, uh, and they even have a shot where he looks at the uh, the asses of two girls that pass by, and Jen's like, "Wow, rude, because you're on a date with me, you shouldn't be looking at butts." Yeah. What a bum. <sighs> so anyway, the bill comes, 
and uh, they have this really, really funny, incredibly funny, funny, funny moment where they're both reaching for their wallet, and I think the implication is, like, who's gonna offer to pay? Because in the current climate it's we're in, I guess, it's, and everything. it's better for, um... I don't know what the rules are. Am I, I actually, if I take I, a lady I, on a date, I, am I, a am I... A I, now, I, I, I I'm pretty sure want. the correct you're thing now is to pay. split the bill. That's what you're supposed to do. Right. And so, yeah, the implication there, of course, is that... What is he gonna try and go like I will pay for it and then she's gonna counter with no I will pay for it But no, he gets his car keys and then says okay. Bye. Thanks for the drinks as if to say yeah You're paying for a bitch lol. Do you remember in Family Guy when uh, the chicken and you know, Peter good on him. Fuck her. <laughs> got to a fight about paying for the bill and they got so angry that they fucking fought to the death. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, five yeah, minute yeah. scene. I really <laughs> like the fight the fights <clears throat> So that's that we'll we'll get more of Stuff like that at some point. Um, oh god, this this is we're about to get very dense with with things to say about. Th Your Honor, we filed a complaint and a motion for a pre preliminary injunction. The ca the court case for all of this is beginning, and this image, I like, my brain exploded seeing Wong sitting in yeah. court. Wong is sitting in court. Wong, the fugitive Wong. <laughs> Wong is sitting in court. court. Fugitive Wong. That's the <laughs> Wong. This is like. <laughs> This is like the, your legal Chernobyl. You do not need to be here. You need to, you need to be avoiding this place like the plague. You should you should not be in a courtroom ever. Yeah, I, I think I, I said mean, this too. He, he I was like, no they, in this did, frame. they didn't even do a throwaway line as stupid as oh yeah, they oh, dropped they that. Come. That got dropped. They you forgot. know. Something like that. Yeah. They just didn't mention oh, it at all. Wait, wait, wait. A throwaway, yeah. a, a nonsensical throwaway line about charges being dropped on someone? Oh, what? yeah. Perish the thought that this show would ever do that. That would never do yeah, that. Yeah, that would be, that would be very bizarre. They'd never if they throw like charges of somebody who committed a crime or admitted to Yeah, egregious crime crimes, yeah. Witnesses. Yeah, major yeah. crimes, not like minor things, two big ones, in front of several witnesses. Yeah, especially if those people. crimes maybe might have involved the potential death and, and, and you know, attempt to murder people, yeah. As well. Absolutely. You know, like, man, wouldn't but luckily, the show anyway. wouldn't do that. So I don't even know why we're right. going on about it. We should. Yeah, get I mean, back. that's pretty absurd, isn't it, Rives? We should get back on to the actual thing that's still in the show, not this made though. up fantasy. Still better <laughs> than, than not yeah, doing well, anything at all. Not acknowledging it at all. Because, yeah, look at, look at Wong out here in court when he should be like, it's, it's over for Wong. <laughs> it's, 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 this scene. I would go as far as saying, like, this this feels like definitive proof that this was supposed to happen before Blonsky. It does, yeah. And that they've moved the episodes around because this is fucking stupid. How do you did anybody watch the season before they released it just to catch if this was? Ha They're like, no. hey, Kevin, just real quick, because re I, I hate nitpicking too, man. I hate it, but oh, oh man, yeah. this 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 is kind of uh, odd thing that happens. I just I want to get your opinion. And then, you know, you show it, and Kevin's just like, um, fine. I know, it's really. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's, who's gonna really gonna notice? Yeah, who, who would watch this show, and that's what they think about? Like, come on. Who would watch this show? Which I would watch I could totally show. see the writer saying, that's not the point. Every fucking time. It's not the point. The, the legal the legal elements are not the point of this show. <laughs> it's 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 a fun show. As Sitch would say, it's not a comedy, comedy show. Yeah. The law is not the point of She-Hulk Attorney at Law. They no. changed the name to put Attorney at Law in the title. <laughs> like This is such a like fuck uh, you guys. Why are you doing this to us? This is not fair. If like I said, if they if they broke or changed very, very specific nitty-gritty rules of the law, I totally understand. You established he is a vigilante, then put him in a court. Like what what do you want me to do with that? I don't know what else to say. Like it's just is he getting arrested? I guess not. Damn, is it hard to just... Yeah, it's hard to watch, but... Anyway, yeah, you got your magician, his his mentor, and the lawyer. And, um... Uh, I guess, yeah, this... So, so they're gonna try and say... Gross negligence is what they're gonna try and get him on, which is so fucking easy to get him on. In fact, I almost want to be a part of their legal team, so I'd be like, guys, don't bring him to court yet. Let's just go to one of his shows and record what happens. By the way, I already mm -hmm. feel uncomfortable about, right? Recording him, put someone in an alternate dimension. It's like... Can we just mm -hmm. stop him? Can we please just stop yeah, him? Probably... Yeah. Uh, Listen, her sacrifice in the grand calculus oh, yeah, of I guess. The... <laughs> was worth she all episode. Oh. <laughs> like I said, this is just seconds from realizing Wong is even here. 
But she's like, yeah. do you have any witnesses to corroborate? Wong's like, no, 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 no. And then Jen's like, do you want to win this thing or not? And you as an audience member, I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Why, why like, has this not been decided? she's not already here. Yeah, you like, should also just, be, you yeah. already got your witness. And also, they need to know about this, the opposing side. Yeah, it, um, yeah. The, the, the spring surprise witnesses on people like what's this. Being, what's being implied here is that this is just an idea they had off the top of their head during court, and Wong yeah. is like, oh, I don't like this idea. And it's like, no, 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 that's not how witnesses work. You can't do that. No, you can't just... And pulled because they portal. They well, I was Madison about to say school. that's why I'm trying to take this so slowly, <laughs> like because <it's> so <laughs> much happens at once. Yeah, so that happens, and they're like, "We do have a witness," and then Wong teleports into a courtroom. You know, courtrooms where there tends to be security and stuff and vetting. Just like a person into a courtroom. He's, she's just coming from a nightclub. Like, yeah, yeah, it's just partying somewhere. Yeah. She almost, she almost steps through, like, as though she's slipping into the, like, it's, it, as if we could make this worse. Wong opens the portal behind her, and thus, she nearly trips how, over it. Man. How great is it for your case that your client is coming in clearly inebriated with a she's fucking also, glass? Yeah, you're right, she's also <laughs> fucking drunk. She's a drunk so witness. Like, oh, yes, her I testimony's mean, gonna be very worthwhile, her drunk. Oh, I, I, like, uh, yeah. that's, that's one thing, I actually, actually checked that. Apparently, according to, to multiple studies... Uh, drunk people are not necessarily worse with their stuff. They're just less detailed, but the basics are basically the same. Error Surely wise, it's which I found interesting. Something that the prosecution wouldn't want. Oh, I, absolutely. I, I, I'm still horseshit that he, she's not here already. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say <laughs> it's, it's actually down the list of the main problems. The oh yeah, I was just drinking because I was interested oh, yeah. if if they would if if that if that would be allowed in in general if you if you could. I would imagine not hear, hear would, people. Well, I, I would just, if we we're part of the prosecution, I would just be like, don't have her fucking speak when she's drunk. Who knows what she'll say? Oh, someone's pointed this out too. What nightclub is open during like daytime in the court, like the hours of the court's going to be uh, in session? She's on the other side. Of I was about to say, she must country? be on the other side. She's a different country. So I don't fucking know yet. <laughs> Man, so like, you, land. just teleporting, teleporting people into different countries. I'm sure that that has no legal ramifications whatsoever. Dude. You know what would be really funny is if she was just asleep and they just drag her out of her bed and put her onto the witness like, stand. It's like, yeah. Or she's in the talk shower? Or she's on the car? Yeah, what if she was in driving somewhere? Like, what? Just shit. drive right in here. Yeah, she could have been what taking a shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. She said no. It's like, oh, I guess that's the end of your case. Like, you don't even have any witnesses to help you. Like, imagine if she said no. Well, to, to be fair, <laughs> she... Even she, it doesn't work, right? Her testimony gets the uh, the case considered bullshit because she says it was fun and spooky. Yeah, which is <laughs> fucking insane. The witness gets to confirm like the whole adventure through the demon world, but she said it was fun and spooky. So the, the judge is like, "Well, yeah. fun and spooky." Yeah, I couldn't like. What are you supposed to do with this in terms of like stakes? How how could you possibly? Why would anyone compliment mm -hmm. the show? Why would they hit me like that? And again, oh, like, is that not there? Like, you teleported someone to a hell dimension. Allegedly. You teleported someone into a hell dimension just because they were like, oh, that was fun. It's like, ah, yes, yeah, so all is forgiven. All is, is fine and dandy in the universe. Then you opened a portal to a hell dimension. What if monsters came through the portal? That's oh, that would be... That, that would be crazy. That would be, that would be crazy if that happened in front of dozens of people. Oh, but, man. I hope not. Yeah. Hell dimension and all those creatures, you know how they are. I mean, not to, you know, stereotypical, but you know how they are. Those hell denizens, they just want to go to other places. You open up a portal, they start pouring out, and then you just like leave the portal open for extended periods of time. That would, jeez, can you imagine yeah. if that happened? That'd be madness. People could get hurt. Kind of that. I can't, she oh. says I made a pact with a demon and I can't discuss it in a courtroom. I made a pact with the demon, and he promised not to reap my soul and the souls of my family as long as I don't speak about it. I can't, like, how is the judge not throwing this drunken idiot out? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's well, like things. Well, because yeah, because the judge doesn't even seem to buy into like the magic, like a real magic system, right? Like she seems to yeah. even be like resistant to even that. Though even, though would, even though they just portaled someone in. Even though she just portaled someone in, exactly. You, you, everyone knows magic is real. This is where, yeah, yeah, you, you well, definitely I mean, can't get away with it at this point. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, the 
So were we taking her testimony as truth or not when she says she spoke to a demon that threatened to take her soul and the souls of her family? Like, are we... What do you... What does the judge make of this? Yeah. And and then you have the fact as well, there's no cross. He says all of this shit, and it's just sort of like they're waiting That's for what dead, the judge yeah. might end up thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Which, again, is so far down the list, honestly. <laughs> yeah. You start well, to wonder I mean, if you even we're, mention we're, these issues. Remember. Remember, Wong is a fugitive from the United States government. <laughs> <laughs> and here he is in open court. Uh, yeah, and he says, like, I moved to dismiss because Donnie's performance was clearly fun and spooky, which is the sweet spot for magic, in my professional opinion. I was legit sitting here like, so what about the part where he threw her into a demon dimension? Are we just not talking about dimension. this? Exactly. No. Many, many witnesses that you could have called forth from that show? Yeah, yeah you didn't get any shit of in her job, so we can't get Is that. Madison the only one that lived in terms of the people he's been sending to the demon dimension? Because um, I feel like that's a <laughs> factoid yeah. that might get him in trouble. Well, like, yeah, because he, if he sends multiple people, like, that would be a question. Have you ever done this before? It's like, yeah. Well, I mean, you can't be lying about that. It's like, yeah, and you sent them to other dimensions. Do you know if they're okay? Do they come back? And I mean, and, and here's the thing, right? Even if she agrees that it's fun, it's like, so, whether she thinks it's fun or not, if he put her in danger, negligently, that's it. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. but if you retroactively say that it was fun... That doesn't change the act at the time. Yeah. What if she didn't find it fun? She didn't consent to going to a hell dimension. <laughs> but it was fun and spooky. It was fun and spooky. Um, mm -hmm. The guy says you cannot cannot do what they're trying to do and then uh because that's just it's magic is protected and she says no that's for card tricks and disappearing women who never speak this is very different because the mystic arts is in fact real magic like yeah. my, my fucking jaw drops like real magic in a courtroom you just said the terms real magic yeah. what the fuck is that what does that mean to the law what the yeah, hell the, is going is, on <laughs> what's real another magic path. another path where does she could be interesting, where it could become interesting, because now we need a distinction between magic things, different magic. Like, we have show magic, then we have mystic arts magic, witchcraft, uh, flim flam magic, whatever. There's so much different magic. So now you have to differentiate between all these ones. And then you have to go even further. It's like, oh, which, which, which magic is, is harmful to humanity? Which one could be used for, I don't know, healing? Which one could be used just for, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, utility or something? Which is just trying to... You have to define all these things now because you're just introducing all these things to the law. But it's unfortunately just, we're just tying it into a, to a skit, a little joke. It's, it is really, really funny, though. So it's, it's really all of this world-building destruction and nonsense. It's worth yeah. it because off is that this is so fucking hilarious that it's it's worth it. it's worth it you need someone just, to decide now which magic is allowed <laughs> basically and which one is dangerous i'm to... just to the point where if, if i were the fucking judge i would just be like i'm sorry who's the arbiter of what is magic versus fake magic and real magic yeah and then one would be like well me i guess and it's like right okay you're the fugitive of the law yes <laughs> the arbiter, the arbiter of magic. <laughs> I think I'll never get it. Never gets old calling Wong a fugitive from now on. He is. Don't call him fugitive it. Wong. Fugitive Wong. That's his new Marvel character. Yeah. It's being pursued by a an evil superhero who is also an attorney at law, and <laughs> her name is Mistrial. It's like Wong, oh, Supreme Wong, <laughs> Superior Wong, Fugitive we need, Wong. Wong. <laughs> we need definitions for wizards and sorcerers and whether or not the hat is the difference. Exactly. <laughs> like, legitimately at this point, we actually need that. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. this is so dumb. I don't even... The fact that she tries this shit, again, to me, displays how much of a shitty lawyer she is. Like, Your Honor, you have to understand, we're talking about real magic here. It's like... Ugh. <laughs> uh. Does she think that this is just something she can say and it'll just suddenly be precedent? Like, the, the, it's as simple as that. She sure thinks that. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, he does this thing where he fucking activates a smoke bomb and changes his clothes in court. Yeah, this yeah. activates 
explosive that device. Was stopped at the security from him. Yeah. Oh, they that shade. It's like, how did he get that through? It's like, yeah, how did he get that through? Also, you're under arrest for setting off an explosive device in a courtroom. Yeah, and once again, the prosecution doesn't recognize the opportunity they had right there, but oh well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does. she's not very good at this. And then Wong says, uh, oh, he says the line, this places us on the edge of a precipice. Yeah. The edge of a, of a press. This places us on the edge of a precipice. The Which untried I use of this power could lead to the destruction of the known and unknown universe. Then fucking take it away from him! You fucking so, idiot! If you're gonna try to make that claim, you should be like trying to make the case on the basis that his use of magic is like dangerous to all life, not just individuals who get sent through portals. That yeah. like his inability practice magic effectively threatens the lives of everybody in the universe which at that point it would be a much bigger deal than what this case is right now and then it's it's just like at the point where this this whole case is ba is wong is just trying to appeal to that it's just going to destroy everything and it's like why didn't you bother trying to prove that yeah, why, yeah. why have you guys not focused at all on the important part he's opening portals to demon dimensions okay we don't exactly. care if Madison with a Y had fun. That's really not the it point. It doesn't matter if she had fun. Who cares yeah. at this point if he's endangering the lives of everybody in, on Earth? And then, um, She-Hulk, so they say, like, you'll have my decision in three weeks, and She-Hulk's like, well, can we still stop the defendant from engaging in this dangerous behavior until you've made your decision? And the judge says no, because you can't do that. It's his, it's his work. Yeah. Also, Don like, Donnie makes like the whole like, speech of it. It's like, oh, this is my thing. And there's like bad magic tricks. And then the judge's like, oh, okay, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, she says, stop that's throwing what? smoke bombs. How did he get those through security? Like a spring you mentioned earlier. Then he just brings a rabbit. I did yeah. yeah, he just doing magic spells in court. Like, what are you doing? There's a this procedure here. Maybe yeah, we need to address the fact that, like, someone might be like, yeah, but it's just a big clown show, and it's just like, why do they appeal to any sense of anything in this show for the law, if you want me to believe all of this is supposed to be, like, Teletubbies level? Which is more coherent, yeah, by the way. It mm -hmm. is. Definitely more coherent. So yeah, she says he, he should be allowed to practice his livelihood of opening portals to dimensions that have demons that eat uh, souls. Like, I... Uh... She could, she could Man. say no. She could say no. Even if it's his livelihood, she could say no. I hope nothing goes wrong. Well, of course, if if the point is that he's endangering lives, yeah. like surely. Like, we know it's his livelihood, but we think it's dangerous. And then Wong, because this is in character at this point, says, "Can we send him to the mirror dimension?" Really? <laughs> I forgot like, about that. Oh, Jesus! What are you doing, Wong? That's a crime. Oh, God. <laughs> Wong. <laughs> Now is not the time to be making these suggestions. You can't just send people to the mirror dimension because they annoy you. He says he probably won't even die. He probably won't probably even won't die. Won't even... Jesus Christ, Wong. It's, like, it's the ultimate destruction of his character again and again. It's fine, he it's probably funny. won't die. That's true, it is really funny. So. And there's no like... Yeah. I should have... Yeah. Feel this way, Wong. If you feel the universe is at stake, go get the ring, man. Just it should be easy. Them. He's like a little medieval sorcerer, and you're a super duper sorcerer. <laughs> so, uh, God, like I said, that was poor man. But so yeah, Jen, dance. Jen is like working on a dating profile, and she's sad. She's not getting the results she wants from just being by the Jen. Way, just no way. Yeah, no, no way. Dog shit. Zero. No way. Yeah, Not only yeah, no. the way those dating apps work, but also there's still probably a bunch of, a lot of people who know that Jen Walters is She-Hulk, and along with that even, basis, you should get a bunch of... Why would she not be getting any dates whatsoever? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you think that there is something to be said? Uh, what's that? I was just saying, you don't even need those other factors to play into it. No, no. But yeah. Yeah. Just what it, uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm curious if there's anything to be said for the idea that knowing that the prosecution or whatever, the other, the other side of the le legal aisle, right, is She-Hulk, an indestructible, you know, superhero creature that would probably be just called, you know, Hulk adjacent, essentially. 
if that in and of itself would be like, well, wait, so is that like its own form of like, did, would that create any issues that someone like inside that courtroom that is taking a side in this proceeding has that kind of power and is unstoppable, essentially? I think I mentioned that once before the, the, the show started. It's like, I guess that might well be a court case in and of itself is like, she Hulk as an entity is incredibly powerful. What implications does this have in just the way that she like conducts her job and her business, especially, especially in like yeah, courtroom if, environment? And if she's a DA, she's a federal employee, mm -hmm. right? So she's acting, doing all this as an agent of the state. Oh, does that anymore, add an right? extra like, layer of... Oh, I guess now, yeah, okay. But, I mean, that's the least of, like, we can, we can, we can move past that, like, you know, that can, that can disappear if, if we can... Yeah, if the, the show doesn't stuff. give a shit, well, goodness, Stand whatever him, should like, I... Because to me, that seems like a much less clear-cut thing, and the show doesn't want to deal in, like, Anything. any sort of... Anything. Like that, so, if we move past that to just go to other, I guess, more meaningful things... <laughs> We mm. can do that, but we're not, so... Of course. Yeah. Oops. So, she's sad she's not getting the results she wants, so she turns into She-Hulk, yeah. makes a She-Hulk dating profile, looks at the camera and says, I'm not proud of this. Mm -hmm. And it's like, but Jen, like, like, I didn't like everything you've been criticizing. Yeah. Also, yeah, you tried it yeah, one night. It. Well, yeah, that's true. She didn't seem to try for very long. And also, I just don't believe she wouldn't get any matches. Oh, I, yeah, it's dog shit. Um, but yeah, and then she realizes, yeah. oh boy, ding, 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 ding. She's getting all kinds of results. Yeah. And unfortunately, with the way the timeline works, I think we're supposed to believe yeah. this happens over several days? I... Really? I like, don't know. She's <laughs> every time. She's in the same... Uh, same address. She's in the same front. And same so, like, I think, as well. I think what's more of a way to read it is that she scheduled like six dates for one yeah. night. But I don't know how that works, like logistically. Like, did she did she give them each an hour or something? A lot an hour. <laughs> I thought it was one of those like like big thing. Like, uh, what's that movie? Oh. Hitch, where he does like that. You just like swap places and you get like fifteen, oh. twenty. Well, I guess yeah, not because he tried to pay the bill at the end. So that's weird. Well, this is I have no date, clue. Though. Her arranging dates on um yeah. on a like match or whatever it's called. So it's not speed dating. At least it doesn't seem. Yeah, to she be. stays in the same spot and they cycle in and out. Well, that's how it works. And like you usually have one person who sits in the same chair and then someone. I, I guess what I'm saying is like this isn't speed dating. She got dates on on the Tinder yeah, equivalent. Yeah. Set them all up at one night, presumably, or they're all different nights, but it's the same restaurant. She wears the same dress. Right. Well. We get we get a speed run of people that the writers hate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good way to put it. First one is guy who likes the fact that he's really strong. He's like I can yeah. I can dead weight he deadlift six hundred. Really strong, more so than she is. Like, yeah, because she's. He's like I can lift six hundred, and I'm not even. Well, a he superhero. asks. He asks her. He goes oh, out of his way to yeah. ask her about no, how she lifts. Like, Immediately pivots to talking about himself. Like, he's self centered That's, like, the point. It's just I don't really... I guess I'm not... I don't know why he would care to ask her if, like, he doesn't care. Like, what her, what her response is, I guess. I don't know. I, 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 think it's, I think it's really tough to say. I mean... Was, I, I guess, like, you know what they're trying to do, but it's it sounds like a very awkward way to try and put that across, because... Well, the part she didn't like was when he aggressively asked why isn't their order taken. The fact that he's like, yes. I'm pretty strong. I think they're gunning for like this guy's toxic about his about his strength or something. Yeah, fame and basically. Okay. She already gives up on the date like the second that he calls for the orders. It's like, okay, yeah. next guy is uh, I'm making a movie about a guy who's into constitutional law, and that's how he becomes the vice president. And that's it, by the way. That's it. Oh, I forgot about yeah, that one. It, they're she's like, like, no, uh, not you. Fucking hell, well, I don't know. Look at, look at they're doing the movie thing off. again. Yeah, yeah the they've, been, they've all yeah, just, just let them do. I realize now at this point that it's a genuine infection that comes in whenever someone starts it long enough, or if they're bored. I don't know yeah. if it's just Chad is bored. I don't know what's going on. You it's been guys... going on since the beginning. Yeah, no, it has. But sometimes it, that was like a full screen of them. Sometimes people are still commenting. Yeah. 
like we yeah, got we got some hyper cringe on the way, chat. You you get it. You get you enjoy while it lasts, all right? Because yeah, holy shit. Anyway, yeah, I just thought it was interesting that he just explains that, and then they cut to the next guy as if like, well, yeah. that's clearly a loser talking about the film he's making. It's like, <laughs> what? Yeah, imagine like making a movie because you enjoy the craft of filmmaking, and you're excited to tell people about it on a date. Wow, what a fucking loser. Well, I guess I don't. Uh, I don't know. Like, all I have is one snippet of a conversation where he's talking about himself. Did she ask mm -hmm. him about it, or did he bring it up himself because he wants to talk about it? That sounds like something you would just bring up. It's fine to talk about yourself. Maybe the movie doesn't know that. Like, that's a big thing in his life, like, making a movie, like, making a film. It, it's a passion he cares about. Like, the... I guess, I guess the film, I guess the show is I, like, I guess oh, fuck that. The thing that they're making fun of is that, like, he's sort of talking about, like, this is stupid... I mean, isn't this, like, hilarious, though? He's talking about his stupid law movie in the stupid law show. Uh -huh. Like, it's yeah. kind of funny to think about Like, isn't this ridiculous that he thinks he knows anything about the law as mm -hmm. ordained by us who wrote this show? Do you think that's more lampshading, but more meta? I don't think oh, it's... Oh. No, I don't think they know what they've done there. I think oh. that's, a, that's a mistake, I guess. Um, I don't even know what to believe guy. anymore. Third guy is like all into talking about all of the different like powers and attributes and stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, any, I, I get the impression that this guy is uh one of the guys in that wrecking crew, like that he's that we'll see him again. Well, I mean, either way, he fucks up when he refers to her as a specimen. That yeah, yeah. Which, funnily enough, triggered a memory. I'm pretty sure the guy in Winter Soldier in like the little convenience store thing that they're in, he refers to Captain America as a specimen. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that Scott calls uh, Cap a specimen when he... Uh, wait, no, he doesn't. Wait, does he? I think he does, when he meets him at the airport. Doesn't he call him a specimen? Um... You know, when he's like, oh, Captain America, I'm shaking your hand too long, and then, like, he plants his hands on his shoulders. I think he calls him a specimen. Well, either way, I don't so know if I... remember the guy I'm talking about. He's got, like, really long yeah. hair. He helped them... He, they, were, they were on, like, the laptop... And uh, I, oh, think, I think yeah, Black Widow yes, says, yeah, look at you two, you you're like brothers, yeah. and then he goes, I wish. I a bit. Yeah, maybe that's where I mix him up. I definitely remember that one. Anyway. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, yeah. That guy, obviously, he fucks up too, and he says that, and then uh, he's like, gosh, isn't dating in your 30s horrible? Is there anything uh, worse than dating? Is there anything worse than dating in your 30s? And honestly, I mean, true. I can't think of anything that could be worse, and especially in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that could be worse than dating in your 30s. Wow, Any... dating in your 30s. Now, that's hellish. Our last match, handsome doctor man. Hmm. Yeah, and he says all the perfect things, and he's perfect, perfect, perfect man. He's just perfect. It's almost boring to talk about, because, uh, yeah. of course, we went. From like, just like embarrassing caricatures of humans, and and some of them are not like the movie guy. There was nowhere near enough in there to be critical of him. That was just weird. Like that conversation could have that probably probably was longer actually the original version, but they just popping everything down. Like that. Um, and so yeah, perfect man. She's talking to him for a while, and then and then we cut back to good old Mister Mister Blaze here. He's about to do something really stupid. <laughs> he, well, he opens up a portal to somewhere just normal. Yeah. And it's like, lame. You my friend. Last show yeah, my friend something. ended up in some parking lot. I'm not getting into that hole. The implication, of course, being that uh, he's got to do something more eccentric than that. Now, what could be more eccentric than a car park? Well, maybe like the Taj Mahal or something? Or like. Hell! Let's know, go to hell! <laughs> Or, like, hey, Mount Everest. You know, Disneyland, even. Like, you got a lot of options for kind of interesting places that you could teleport somebody. That would be but meta he, if you took like, him to Disney World. Fiery yeah. Demon Pit! Well, well not quite. First, he, he, not quite, yeah. Uh, he yeah. spawns a bird that lands on your hand right, and drops an bird. egg. And then he seems to be disturbed by this, and she sees that the egg is hatching and there's a little demon in there. But he's a little cute demon. And then he goes, blah, 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 blah. Oh my goodness, Paul, that scared me. Scary. No. Oof. So he's like, don't you Ooh. worry, Donnie Blaze has got this. And so he opens up a portal to a demon dimension and kicks the thing in there. And it hits the bird and, and they both blow. land in there. Why did the yep. pigeon... That was weird. Why did the pigeon lay a demon egg? 
I don't know. I, mean, uh, I don't understand. They need that They're to be the case, okay? They're all reporting. He's like, all part of the plan, and he doesn't close the portal to the hell dimension. He just leaves nah. it open. Yeah, he's, he's, he's good. If he had closed it immediately, which we know he knows how to do, everything would have been fine. But instead, he just leaves it open for ages. And then yeah. the initial yeah. demon jumps back through, and then loads start coming in. Oh, oh yeah. my so, goodness. Um, the the, the, uh, the cease and desist is now the least of our Donny Blazes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. my goodness, yeah. you, you're trying to... You, you got close that door, are you trying to air condition uh, the hell dimension? No. It's over. It's over for your boy Donny Blaze. He's just unleashed a bunch of demons on all these innocent allegedly. people. It's, it's, allegedly. Uh, it's, it's, it's over for Donny Blaze. The cease allegedly. and desist? What? Not even not even part of the equation. He'll be lucky cease if he sees the Cease and from life. Out. <laughs> like he'd be lucky if he ever sees the outside of a cell, like outside world ever again. You wish he jumped into the portal to the hell dimension. And then maybe it's actually a really nice place. And this is just how they say hello. He portals yeah. to Wong. Says, "Help me! I screwed up." Wong, like, what did you do? And he's like, "The little thing comes through, and Wong hits it with some magic." And then Wong, before leaving to go and help stop this thing from being whatever it is, says, I'm not doing this for the, for you, I'm doing it for the universe. Wong, Wong hurry Wong. up! Why would you need to tell him that? You petty yeah, little shit. fucking go. <laughs> what is it with you? Who... Yeah, like, I'm why would you care to let him know why you're motivated to help? What, like, my god. Help. Just help. Yeah. And then the guy says, Just is there people. anything I can do? And Wong says, contact my lawyer. <laughs> Not call Doctor Strange. No, or don't call, call him. Call... Like, no, you know, not all the people who are openly not doing hero work. Anyone at Camartage or anything like that? Nope, don't call them for help. Call you need to she call Hulk. She Hulk. That's who you need to call right now. The person, that, as far as you Hulk know, Hulk. has no combat experience whatsoever. Who is your lawyer well, that you met that briefly? Yeah. Who also probably doesn't want to do this. <laughs> like yeah. you know. Like, there's yeah. other people. Also, just like, you have a bunch of demon bats. She-Hulk's probably not, like, your best choice for not dealing really. with that. Um, she'll be good on more, like, one-on-one -on -one encounters or, like, a couple of big guys. But, like, yeah. demon bats seems like, yeah, you get some, but, well, yeah, whatever. Well, enough, I feel like yeah, she's just in that room with all these flying bats. Like, choice. what am I supposed and to do? If Tony Blaze was wise, he'd close that portal behind, uh, he'd close that portal behind Wong and flee into Nepal. <laughs> yeah, that would probably be the best choice for him at this yeah, point. Yeah, bye. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, we have the, the dating scene is back, Phantom and uh, he's, he's incredibly understanding, and he, and he says, like, tell me more about how you feel, and it's like, oh, mm -hmm. see, he cares so much about everything she has to say, and I find oh, it, I just kind of find funny. it funny, right? Yeah. Whenever um, one of her dates was talking about their life, their interests, themselves, she's like, this is the worst person ever, and when someone only makes it about her, they're the best person ever. <laughs> Mm. That's not vain. <laughs> yeah, there's no balance. The best no is when balance. someone shows interest in both themselves and you, and the where you two can benefit each other. Not just someone who goes, "I want to know what you think about everything," because you're the only person that matters in the whole fucking world. The thing that is funny though is that both times he asks her about her, we never get to see what they talk about. It cuts away, or he <laughs> talks about something else. Because yeah. the first time he's like, "Tell, I want to talk about you." Also, food situation. Can we sort that out first? And then in this one. Um, like he says, yeah, tell me more how you felt. But then when she turns off her phone, he's like, oh, this is a great date. It's like, so how much do you really care what she thinks? Yeah, exactly. Every time you just but, move but on she to thinks else. it's a good date it's really because he keeps asking about her and she loves that. This really, I don't know if they do this on purpose or not. <laughs> <laughs> you are characterizing yeah. her and I don't know if you realized, but uh, yeah. He says, I hate the speed date app thing. App thing. Everyone treats you like some soulless avatar on their phone. It's like, what it is. Yeah. Also, she she's like, oh, I can't believe the fucking weirdos swiping right or left. Like, this is what both of you did to meet up. You both are engaging it's, in the thing yep. that you find so distasteful. I don't even think it's a That's meaningful how you like, got here. assessment when it's just describing exactly... Like, even the people who make the fucking apps would be like, well, yeah. It's the fastest way to get two people uh -oh. together to start trying to see if it can work. This app was never supposed to be a detailed essay of, like, exactly who you are as a person and why people should date you. It's, it's getting, and to be fair, nobody wants that shit. They want to know what you look like, and then they want to be like, all right, I'll give you a chance, I guess. 
Like, that's how it works. You both do that. You both did that. So, like, ah, uh, it's like, I don't know if the show wants you to case. think that, yeah, they're so, they're clearly so, uh, you know, like, like, they both did it, but they're both commenting on it as if they didn't want to. I guess this is all interesting considering what happens next. Well, yeah, this, um, uh, so, so, phone goes off, and obviously she wants to ignore it, because it's, uh, mm -hmm. Donnie Blaze, funnily enough, calling her, um, she Which, has way, his she contact would... information. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe she would. Cause I oh, no. She probably wouldn't, actually. No. Because she can't, like... Like, if she's opposing counsel in the case, she can't just be, like, talking to him without his lawyers. It's, like, not the way that it works. He would. She would have the lawyer's contact information. She wouldn't have his phone What's number. What's that, metal? I, I only click my No, phone. there's no way she would have... No, Hello? she wouldn't. Uh, oh. I think Rax is Rags. I guess she does, though. All right. Hello? 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 It's I cannot hear anybody. Oh, is my internet doing the Discord is having a tism. Hey, yes, it is. Can you Singapore. Guys hear me? Is Singapore, has that fixed the problem? No. Oh, Singapore. There we go. Hello. Is everyone well, back? Uh, I'm yeah, back. I think so. Yeah. That was good, good stuff. odd. All I was saying was she wouldn't have his phone number. Um, she can't talk to him. Well, and, and, I, and I was going to say, really the fact that he's ringing her should probably be enough to actually be like, wait, why the hell is he ringing me? You know? Yeah, exactly. Why would, I mean, yeah. But anyway, he's, the wine is spilled on this, on this poor guy. Uh, uh, you know, and the worst thing about that is that it, you know, it, it makes you got to take that shirt off. So he does. He wants to get like, cleaned up. And uh, while he's gone, she hides his shirt, so he can't put it back on. That doesn't seem All like right. the kind of thing that Why would, would you... be okay if can we you reverse imagine? the roles. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, she here's my chance to make sure she can't get her shirt. Yeah. This is yeah. it. Really, is like double standards. The show. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. Wong, Wong opens the portal up, and he's like, "Miss Walters, why aren't you answering your phone?" There's uh, with I. It's, as an image, I just like I just can't handle it. I'm just like, "Why the fuck are you contacting her, you idiot?" There are so many better. And he's like, "Oh, I see. You're currently not in the position to help save the world." Yeah. Now I'm just like, I, "Oh, I see." What why. do you mean you see? You you think she's gonna save everybody from the demon army? You you don't care what she's up to. You want to grab her and get her in here. Why are we taking time? Why are you where's Dr. Strange? Steven, help me! <laughs> Where did I want help you back? Me. Uh He says, Donnie Blaze opened the wrong portal. I need your help. It's one of our greatest urgencies. Like, okay, I'll be right back. And then Wong's like, oh, I feel like your dad. Okay. Why are you joking? People are you getting like, dragged away by evil here. demons. Uh, whatever. We'll get there. Oh, actual demons? Wong! And he Somewhere says, I've been fending them off. I have to repair the portal. Which to me felt so video gamey. Um, like, <laughs> yeah, you as She-Hulk have to punch, you know, yeah, 20 like, demon bats to death up. while he's just, yeah, <laughs> he's just spinning his hands around he's and there's a little loading bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little loop animation. <laughs> I am repairing yeah. the portal. You're like, okay. And it's yeah, really so awkward because when he starts doing it, it takes like two seconds. What, dude. When he actually starts doing it, yes, you're right. Yeah, they're all just pouring in still. By the way, kind of nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First things first, close the portal. That would have been a great idea. Be yeah. Problem. Oh yeah, they're incredibly yeah. lucky to find out that all the bats are trying to escape into the world. They just can't, but, unfortunately. Oh, there's no yeah. Uh, yeah. There's, there's, uh, yeah, it just coincidentally, there's no way the bats can get out. They're stuck on the doors, and every every exit is sealed. It's just like wow. Even though so, there was like, a huge I... crowd of people in here that ran out. Yeah. So they, they went somewhere. The <laughs> Did they close the doors behind them? Just oh, to be I safe? guess so. And no, none of the creatures got through. These creatures, that, by the way, I'm, are immune. No, like, the to, got locked in. They're immune to the she Hulk stomping on them. Yeah, Can't my god, them. they just like my. They just goodness. floomp goop all over the place. Demon goop. Mm -hmm. And uh, so sludge, if you will. Him and his mentor are like crawling around the area, hoping to not get killed, while she's like gradually throwing one or two in at a time. Wong then closes the portal, finally. I don't oh, know what the job. fuck took so long, to then convert the energy into a whip. 
And it's like, oh, okay. Oh, this, and he starts like spinning it around, and and, and they have a shot to show Donnie's ah. like really impressed. It's like, oh wow, look at look at the magic he's doing. The whip like grabs one demony thing and he throws it in. It's just like, yeah, that's mm. man. If only if only Wong had like an ability with this portal that could just could get rid it. of all of them in 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 seconds. Well, yeah. See, I don't know what you're what you're that talking about be... is insane. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. But what I, I was yeah, gonna say the, with I, the knowledge man, we currently imagine. have, why not move the portal around? And just throw them all in that way, you know? Because no, we know we yeah, do that. Good job. That'd be a good idea. And that's, she's that's like, after one. so many bad dates, I finally meet a guy who's sweet. And then he's like, focus. And she said, Hedy's super hot, but you know, that doesn't matter. But it does. Like, ooh. Shut the fuck up, She Hulk. God damn it. That uh, is a bit oof, ain't it? Yeah. I think it's a bit oof for, the, for this show, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, now they're getting real big, these things. They're uh, getting big enough to be yes. able to just push her around, and she's fucking She-Hulk, so... Who knows how big they get? Yeah, a bit of a worry. Um, She's still tossing them into the into the hole. Wong is helping out. Just waiting for it to happen. Where is it? Here we go. Wong starts up a spell that just sucks them yep. all in. Instantly, no problem. Yeah, and it manages to even... It sucks them in where it doesn't do anything to human beings. Yeah, yeah. Man, oh, um, should have maybe started with that one, maybe? That might know. have been that might have, it might have been a move that means he wouldn't have needed her at all. Exactly. He didn't need anybody that actually. That was very I easy. Am, I am back. What which part are you guys on right now? We're I just talking actually, about how he used a spell that dominated these creatures right at the end. Was this yeah. the one oh the whirlpool, the whirlwind thing where he spins yeah, the, it and it sucks him in? Oh yeah, I would have opened with that one. Yeah, it seems well, that, yeah. Was, yeah. that was a police at my door. Um oh. Oh. Okay, it's quick tangent. It, don't worry, I'm not in trouble. Uh, so the police were not my door, and someone, I guess, out in the parking lot had parked their car in a way that blocked multiple cars from being able to leave their spots, and so they're trying to track down who this car belongs to. So that's a thing. What an asshole. So, like, yeah, fuck people. I can't even imagine. Uh, but, yeah, this scene is terrible. Um, however... Are we going to do the thing? The thing that we mentioned earlier about um, the give the reason? Yeah, so I, I was thinking about it and I was like, I shouldn't just stop it the second we reach whatever the thing may or may not have been. So I've, we've gone past it for sure at this point. So now, yes, it would make sense to see what are you three's guesses on what my my primary issue with the episode was in terms of you've broken it so hard. Chow, hit the button! <laughs> yeah. Was um, that right? Did I match? So that's a that's a pretty good one, and it's in the it's in the realm. Wait, what are the other two's ones? I have them. Um, wait, sorry, I'm so, I still don't understand what exactly we're doing right now. I it, we're trying to figure out what was the thing that broke <laughs> Mola for this episode. I, well, uh, I said, what's the thing that made me say like this episode is categorically worse than the first three, but for sure. Um, uh, why don't you go metal? I'm typing it out. <laughs> you might as well just tell us now. Yeah, I was gonna say you just say <laughs> it. The typing, the typing thing was so that we could reveal it yeah, all at once. Yeah, I got okay, your Okay, I'm rags. sorry. Nobody else I seems to play to the game. It's it. fine. I'm glad you did, Mahler. I only explained I it like three fucking it. times. It's fine. <laughs> Whatever. It's all good. I just, I'm just I'm, glad I'm that sorry. we're here, having I'm a good sorry. time. We got ah. chat, talking ah. about media that we love. No, we don't. This is our burning passion. What brands of metal? I'm waiting for you. Uh, probably just the destruction of Wong and overall world building issues. No, it was MCU. one thing. Oh, it's story. like that's, you didn't even good listen. Good. Four! Good. Four! One so, thing. It was just one thing. I would say there are two candidates in my mind, so I'm going to have to toss them up and figure out which one. I think there, yeah, there are two choices, and I'm going to go with this one. When Wong created. No, no, actually, it was when Wong <laughs> showed up in court. That was that was the one. It was when Wong showed up in court. Um, so, funnily enough, that would probably be my number two, actually. Oh, uh, I bet your number one is what my other choice was. Rags is close enough to number one. Um, though, question, yeah. is that is that the wilderness? Or is that, I thought the implication is that's just another universe or something. I was I was just hoping no one lives there when they start throwing presumably things yeah, in there. It, it, it's it, <laughs> well, here's the thing: if they wanted to make it clear that it was another dimension, we've shown the kind of backgrounds they can make. Why just make it like it's just a mountain range, a, a very 
Earth-like mountain range. Yeah, like I wouldn't say it's impossible that it's Earth. It could be, but I think to be good faith, we should assume it's not Earth. Otherwise, you're right. That would be fucking absurd. But no, really, it was just mechanically there is a man running around with the potential to end Earth by letting a demon army just invade at any point with the power of his casual sorcery. That was uh, oh, that was the thing that actually okay. just uh, broke everything to me. Is that it's bad enough that the portal technology is something that nobody's going to acknowledge, but he could just, he's got the power to, like, cause the Chitari invasion, and he just does by accident. All he has to do is open a portal in space and open one in the atmosphere, and yeah. our, the atmosphere uh, is sucked out into space. Yeah. It's actually and hilarious then... how, how, I, how misunderstood I was with the task at hand. <laughs> Imagine if he opened a portal to the core of the uh, uh, the, the sun. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, see, this is the world. If someone said, do you think that's Earth or not? I, I have no idea. Those are some jagged mountains. They look a bit fantasy-ish. They do look a little bit fantasy-ish. But I, I still yeah. agree with the, the criticism that you should probably make it look as like far away from thinking that's Earth. You know, get get it nice and... Not earthy, because, yeah, if, if it were that he just tossed it to another part to of Earth, that'd be from. fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's true, he should have just spiral vortex the demon portal, but he's a dumbass. Yeah. Did you just see some, how many were in that If you take them anywhere, world, then, the like, way. just send them back. There were many. Yeah, that's a lot yeah. of them. They um, were incredibly um, lucky yeah. that they didn't just pile in, and it would... It, it, Earth nearly ended It was today. like the end... <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> it was like the end of, um, the Tomorrow War. That yeah. big, big yeah. cavern full of buggy boys. Oh, they blowed it up. It was like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. They did. They did. That's a great movie, guys. It wasn't political. <laughs> hey, probably it, it, it would be considered political. You gotta, you gotta it would have to, things. yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh, the, but yeah. The... Wong uses a vortex to suck them all in. It's like, why didn't you? Yeah. Why didn't you lead with that? Yes. Um, yeah. And then oh, no. we come to, oh man. So, like, Donnie, Blaze, and his buddy are sitting there, and Jenna's like, so before I send this demon monster Wait. thing through the portal... Okay. I wish I had, like, a solid impression of the guy from Smiley Friends. Wait! <laughs> that fucking noisy bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The... Uh, so all I'm going to say is, you, you, we, would, we here would all agree that Vortex seems to suck them in with intense power, right? Like, it's... Yeah. And it doesn't suck anybody else in. No, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm good. gonna concede. Fine, Wong cast a Magic. spell that's so fucking good it only pulls in the spooky demons and it doesn't do yeah, anything he's to a humans. Supreme. Okay, fine. So how is Jen still holding on to one? Uh, because she's that wrong. strong, oh, Mahler. Because that's how strong she that is. That vortex seemed pretty powerful. Yeah, but she she holds. Oop. She's super fucking strong. She's like, wow, yes, you're that, not going anywhere, uh, demon. I need this one to threaten my clients. It, yeah, so she, she, she uh, That's holds it up. That's actually true, though. Holds it up in front of the opposition in the case. Hey, before I send this monster through a dimension, agree to my cease and desist. That's called duress. <laughs> um, oh, you know how we're talking about how she's a really that. shit lawyer? She just destroyed her yeah. whole case by doing this. Well, but it's okay, because even though she destroyed that case, Donnie Blaze is going to jail for the rest of his life. Well, so, I guess we got that at that the That was the double she, she has case. already. It's just like, hey, Donnie, yeah. I, don't, I feel like this is going to be You much already worse. got handed the W. <laughs> you got handed the win, and you destroyed it by threatening him. It's so just that now she's disbarred. It's like, yeah, that's that's that'll be the least of it. She just threatened yeah. to kill somebody. <laughs> like... Exactly. Uh, that's the end of the case, that's the end of the career, and she might be going to jail. I don't know if we've really talked about it. maybe I'll did while I was gone. Did you did you guys like the uh, the old guy with a hat? His fine. little like his 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 hype yeah. man. I I was like, huh. Yeah, he's fine. He, I, he I seems like one a chill or two dude. of his lines. Yeah. I think so what was weird about watching this episode is that when Wong and She-Hulk are talking to the two of them in their office and he hands her the cease and desist letter. I kind of was rooting for those two. You know, like it's really hard to get behind our protagonists, really, because apart from. I don't know, I, I guess it was that weirdness of introducing the legal system into magic and the, just the wonkiness of this whole case. Or I'm like, well, wait, hold hold on a moment. You it's been like a day and you're sending him a cease and desist like, yeah, but. Like, ah, oh, this is, this is complex. 
Kind of weird. I choose to believe the What's name not of complex is that she's going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Well, she's definitely getting disbarred. I choose to believe the book he's reading here is called Bad Gay by feminist Roxanne. But how does that you've you've fudged the you've you've mixed them up. The uh, words don't read in that order. I've chosen to read them in that order. Bad gay feminist. And I'd like to read it because bad gay, that's the worst. He's stuff. probably a lesbian. I want the good gay. But um yeah, I guess he's he's chilling out and reading the that. Good gay and, and the good rat. Which you got she portals back in and it's time for them to have the sex. Woohoo. Imagine Woo. if she landed poorly, he'd be dead. She would have oh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> well, who, who another cares? bad she date. Killed all Damn kinds it. of people, he's, yeah. He's into that. He's into death. Being dead. <laughs> 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 he's like, crush me, She-Hulk. This is what he's working towards. Oh, I'm not happens. looking forward to this part. So, they go and have fun times. And she's, she's happy-go-lucky in the morning, making herself and him some orange juice. She can't wait for him to get up. She's, uh, she's what Jan a great again. guy! Like, Good morning, sunshine. You owe me the details, but guess who's making the news again? And it's Titania. Um, and she's been cleared of all charges somehow. <laughs> yep, cleared of all charges. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this show just never <laughs> stops. It just won't shut up. Don't worry about like, it. Yeah. Cleared of all charges. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We don't have to worry. That that doesn't have to have any impact on the story. We we took care no. of that. No, because we need to have more drama with her going forward, because she's probably a big bad of the season. Free Titania. I just don't <laughs> okay. understand. Why did you do this? It's like, well, we need it for another plot point. It's like, yeah. Well, then why if you didn't need you it for another plot point? Else. Don't have her go into a court, <laughs> exactly. bust through the wall, and throw a desk at a jury. Exactly. That's like that's like step one. You know, you think <laughs> that's step one. <laughs> It's such a Step one, bad don't show. Oh my god. Shit. What were you thinking? <laughs> like, what? Why did you write? Why do you write at all? What's the point? You don't know how. How did you get this job? You, you're you getting paid money for this. Dude, I wonder if you would ask the, the writers, like, what, 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 what were you, why, why did you do it this way? And then it would probably like, yeah, but didn't you notice it was this crawl text and these news things that said, oh, the, the lawyers of her are gonna gonna take care of it and she's a super influencer and i think at some point it says it was like a like a thing of low sugar because she didn't eat food or something and they probably think it's gonna be really clever even though it doesn't make any sense uh so yeah no choice well where it's fine it's no a comedy chance no, uh, no. Sure. so here uh, we go he wakes up <clears throat> walks in Says, uh, who are you? Says, oh, um, I'm Jen. Like, uh, and then she says, I'm just not in Hulk form. I'm just Jen. Then they've even got in brackets, laughs nervously. <laughs> it's <just laughs> like, uh oh, are we about to realize something has happened here that's very not good? Bye, and, uh, bye, and he bye. goes, oh, uh, cool, cool. Cool. Unexpected. He says, I made breakfast. And he goes, yeah, I'm gonna go, actually. Mm -hmm. And the camera slowly zooms on her with her smile turning to a frown. Because doesn't it suck that people are only interested in her for She-Hulk and not for Jen? Which to me is Isn't like, weird that holy not disclosing fuck, that you've just completely missed the way more important bad thing that happened here, <laughs> show. Yes, she should disclose who who they're doing yep. things with. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Turns out that you might want to. It's kind of dishonest, sort of, to tell people that you, to present yourself as a thing when you have an entirely different I, form. And I think it's, when people I think discover it's you, this a catfish. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. He certainly feels that way. And if you remember, we flagged this for a reason. He felt the need to say that she was She Hulk as a shock. The guy she was on a date with yeah. before. She so she knows this is a surprise to, to people, and yet she decided to not tell this guy when she knows that Jen is less appealing to people. Yep. Do not try and make me point. feel bad for her that he is like, nope. Whoa. I didn't okay, know this was the case. Of... You didn't tell me this. And that she's like, yeah, but who cares, right? 
Not a good Lol. look. So if you already- I was already having trouble liking this lady. Was not fucking yeah. impressed with this move. Kind of, uh, yeah. Hopefully she- she's happy. Hey. Yeah. And you know, to be fair, what would she know about the ethics of the situations like this? It's not like she's familiar True. with any of these kinds of situations. It's not like she had to learn about how these can have repercussions in lore, even, or anything. Really bothers me when Whoa. characters like who work about this shit for a living have no idea how this works. Yep. Very bad, not good, Wonder Woman 84 vibes. Totally the woman's uh, in the right, and the guy is a nasty loser for leaving like that. Totally. <laughs> And yeah, we end with a special delivery for Jennifer Waltz's. He's like, it's a thing, court document filed by Titania Worldwide LLC. Like, wait, what? Over what? And Titania has trademarked the, the name She-Hulk. And she's suing her for having used it. <laughs> That'll um, be the drama for the next episode, I suppose. And I think we'll have to wait until we get to the specifics of what's going on in the next episode before we can even try to judge this uh, legally. But I'm pretty yeah. sure it ends badly for her no matter what. Uh, in terms of ty her character, I mean. Either this is valid and she, for some reason, didn't do anything about it, or it isn't valid and Titania's lawyers are retarded. So, like, it's not going to work out great either way. It won't. Well, hey, they, they got her cleared of all charges. They must be pretty good. Mm. Really really good lawyers. And then I guess we got the post credit scene where it's Wong and Madison talking about drinks. And that's that. And now we're yeah, up to yeah. date. We're I up don't to date know why he's episode. hanging out with her. We're up to date for, what, hours? <laughs> like, for hours until the next episode. Yeah. But, and I have a headache. Yay. Yeah, so that, was, that took us five hours, actually. Uh, it's what terrible. Bad. It's absolutely fucking abominable. Fuck the show. It is, it, is the show. it is a comedy show that's not funny, and it's a law show that is like astoundingly Sinful. astoundingly <laughs> like Pretty bad with law. Bad on that front. It's pretty Extreme painful. Extreme world building problems. Oh yeah, the world building is uh, I mean, the world building of the MCU at this yeah. point gone, reduced to atoms as 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 your boy it's would say. Buffet. To go back. I think yeah, world building buffet is a very good way to put it. Rags in the case of this yeah. show, they're picking the things that they want while discarding all of the things that go along with it. Also, would say, is it more like a world building potluck? Like that's kind of funny. <laughs> they don't even have control over what they choose. It's <laughs> yeah, just whatever just you get. Is whatever stuff. you get. Like, yeah, <laughs> buffet. I guess it's a buffet for the writers. For us, it's a potluck. Yeah, we don't know what we're going to be getting at any point. They get to choose. We just get whatever the fuck they want. Uh, I, I can't even begin to predict what we'll get as we go forward in terms of, like, individual stories. They could do fucking anything at this point. How many yeah, episodes are there? we still got five more left. Five more. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel. That's how we all feel. What an experiment this was. And, and that's the thing, like, uh, even Angry Joe has turned on this show already now. So, oh, oh, my. Wow. I can't imagine it lasting too much longer and, uh, as it's coming out, and then once it is out, nobody's gonna like this shit. I don't think it- something I noticed with, uh, with this show, it's- it's, um, whenever- so there- there are obviously shows and movies that are trying to be funny, comedies, right? Um, typically when we talk about comedies that are great, we usually, you know, discuss the, the aspects of them that are great and label them as great. Like, people would say Hot Fuzz is great, The Simpsons is great. Um, they'll be described as great, even though they're, uh, well, not even though, and they're trying to be fun shows, entertaining, uh, fun movies. Um, I've noticed that whenever a show gets labeled as fun, like whenever the principal defense of a show is that it's fun, it's usually, it's usually a show that's like really bad and everybody kind of acknowledges it, but like the fun is used as kind of a defense, like, yeah, it's stupid and, and dumb, but like at the very least, you know, it's, it's, it's a fun time. And I've seen that She-Hulk has been labeled as a fun show a lot. Um, I've just noticed that as a trend, that when people describe something as fun, when they're referring to a TV show or a movie, it's usually something that is broadly recognized as not being good. Because if it's fun and it's good, it'll usually be described as good or great. 
Just something I've noticed. It's like um, going to a restaurant and telling people what was cheap. Yeah, right. Like it's, like, it's oh. like a weird thing to praise. Um, because yeah, I, I I think it comes clear now. I guess by the time we're at episode four, yeah, this show is vapid. Um, I don't think it has anything particularly interesting to say or do. Uh, and so all it ends up being is a show that doesn't have much to say that isn't very funny. It just has so little to offer. I don't mm. see. I really do not see anybody in like four or five months going. You know what? I think I want to rewatch She Hulk. I can't imagine. I, I can't can imagine see that the kind happening. of depraved soul who would do that voluntarily. I can see that a lot of the fact. people who described it as being fun. It's like, yeah, but you're never going to watch it again. Like you, you've only nope. watched it as like disposable something that I guess you can laugh at. Um, it's like, yeah. I still find it more interesting than Rings of Power. It's more interesting in Rings yeah. of Power and there's more to talk about, sure. I don't, yeah. uh, it's pretty Power crazy how angry. like how piss poor it is. Uh especially it's concentrated. Like there is there's is about three episodes of Bad Rings of Power in any one episode of, of Hulk. They pack it in every sentence. Yeah. Well, it's it's yeah. dense, Thick. whereas a lot, you know, yes. Lord of the Rings is Rings of Power is the opposite of dense. It <laughs> takes like, ages yeah. to be bad. I, I, like, I, I mean, I said it earlier. I don't know if it was earlier today or earlier in the stream. It's just like when I go through Rings of Power, it's like this happened in this scene. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing else to say. Next scene, like you, you can't get anything from Rings of Power from some scenes, because like okay, this happened. I guess we move on because there's nothing else here. Yeah. But here in She Hulk, oh boy. <laughs> they, they, they try to speed run the poopiness. That's the thing. Only a couple of days, we're going to be two episodes of Rings of Power behind. Woohoo! Well, you can may have a be. marathon back I to won't. back. Get wrecked. Oh. This. At least I get House of the Dragon after that, though. Andor starts in a week. Yeah, in a week. Yeah, it's Great. a week from now. Yeah, we oh, gotta... he's Andor no. to wash the Dude. palette of rings of power. Dude, October and is going to be so fucking big. Mm. I blocked my whole. I'm, I I made no plans for October. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> it's gonna be. I got a whole fucking calendar filled with events. I usually do yeah. for October every year. I plan so many things. Still gonna organize our big Halloween watch through of stuff, of which none of you have replied yeah. in the group. I hate all of you. Oh shit! Yeah, I didn't I love see that this time. There's I'm a sorry. reason for that. Um. Well. Anyway. Uh. I guess I shall read yeah. super chats now. Uh, good, oh my. We can move on from. Wow. A lot of super chats will be about the show. So I was gonna say we ain't moving <laughs> on from She-Hulk. Really? <laughs> we get a lot of She-Hulk mm -hmm. ones. I'd imagine. Um. I'm gonna get coffee. Very mm -hmm. wheel. Very well. I'm gonna refill my beverage real quick, and I'll be right back. Fine. How very exciting. Long man, you're making me question what day it is. I apologize for that. Mm. I do. Getting an extra EFAP this week because we got too many I things don't. to do. Though, it's, un it's fucking unwise for us to do a bonus EFAP episode on top of everything else I got going on. But really, E Hulk earned it. E Hulk needed it. Right? Had to have it. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. So Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeet out because I have to work again tomorrow, oh, so yeah, I can't like stay all the one, way. I'm afraid. One am for you, isn't it? It is. It is. Well, uh, so thanks, thanks for joining us, Mel. Uh, what, what's, uh, what can people expect from you, you big old flea? Well, you can expect me tomorrow and the day after tomorrow because wow. I'm going to sleep now. Then I wake up, do some work <laughs> stuff, and then immediately go and watch the new She-Hulk. Yeah, and yeah. then I'm going to cover it tomorrow evening on The Forge. So yeah, yeah. go follow you there should. to do The Forge stuff. And yeah. also, on Friday, Rings of Power, let's go! Yeah, you should I'll, cover I'll do, it with a tarp. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm doing double duty uh, on The Forges currently because there's so much sludge. Um, it is a yeah, bit of, it go is, there. It is that kind of time. Like Everyone everywhere. needs to follow because um, the, the, the Metal channel is actually almost at 3,000 subscribers, Ooh. which is very exciting. 3K. So, good, 
go and it's, Mel, it's, it's Mel's doing it's doing things. Media critic now. He's gonna be hanging out with Movie I'm, Bob I'm, in no time. Yeah, he's like my. I'm gonna eat chicken with him. I'm gonna hey. marinate some Mountain Dew stuff. Mm. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. But I yeah, know it was fun. Now I have all the memories from She Hulk back in my head. Thank you for Woo! that. I no probably problemo. won't be sleeping. Crash. And uh, tomorrow I'll put more She Hulk in my brain and fill up the old sludge pipes. Excellent. Uh, yeah. That that's that. Otherwise, we made just random streams on the Twitch playing the video. Awesome. That's 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 the stuff. I'm doing all kinds of things. It's kind of crazy. All right. Catch you later, guys. Goodbye. Bye. 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 With Metal's departure, I would like, and this is not a sponsorship. I have in my hands a, a delicious beverage. Um, I went to grab an Angry Orchard Hard Cider. They make a green apple, and it is very delicious. I would highly recommend it. You lowly recommend it? Mm, if I drink enough of these, I'll be low. I see. Because I will have fallen over in the drunken stupor. Yes. Stupor. Um, hope you're feeling better, Morla. High rags. Hello. Yeah, I had a big old headache yesterday. It, it was I like real BBC was starting up, and I was like, I don't think I'll be able to do it because I, I, I need to like lie down. They were like, oh, that sucks. Okay. And then um. I saw the, the fucking tweets, and I was like, you're not, you're not serious right now. You're not doubling down on the whole... All the complaints that everything is woke. I was like, no, seriously. And then, like, it was so much crazy Easy. back and forth that I went on to Real BBC to explain it, and then I was like, two hours had passed, I was like, I really should... <laughs> that, that would be the wise decision. I feel better today, though. It's all good. A local magazine is my small Polish hometown, in my small Polish hometown, has just published my review of Ant-Man consisting mainly of EFAP memes. Here's your cut. Oh. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad to hear it. That's okay. really neat. That's cool. And then, he, and then he put Jack Rags. I don't know if that's pronounced that correctly, but I assume it says hi. Oh, well, hello to you as well. Have you heard? Disney's making their own King Kong. Can't wait for Annie and sorry, to be better than him at everything. But at Kong? <laughs> like she's stronger than Kong. It's like... Is King Kong uh, public domain? Uh, I don't know. Isn't oh, it? he's old as fuck. He might be. He is, he is quite old. Same thing with uh, Godzilla, right? Uh, Godzilla was the 50s. Um, he's getting there. He's also, almost. I mean, that's, it could be. Uh, yeah, but I mean, Godzilla is Japan. I don't know what. Japan, I was about to say uh, Japan. Like that's true. maybe that's they have true, different man. rules for that. How, how would that work? If I guess that yeah, they'd have to go by Japan's no rules on that, right? No, yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure that it's the I it's owned see. by. Is it Toho? Is that the name of the company that owns Godzilla? That sounds familiar. And then yeah. they like, I think other companies like pay them like license it. So yeah, I don't know. It looks like Toho is the owner of the Godzilla character and has licensed the rights to Legendary for the series right. as a comes. natural byproduct of their ta 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 ta. Does it say? So I guess Apple. So there's going to be a Godzilla and Titans original TV show on Apple TV Plus. But how long until our precious Zilla becomes cubic domain? <laughs> I don't know. Well, he is very precious to us, Mahler. As everyone knows, we're huge like fans Godzilla. of the Godzilla movies neat. because they're. I like Godzilla I, more neat. than I like the movies he's in. <laughs> yeah, fuck the, well, I, I even like I the 2014 one. Ones. I I think I like the 2014 one. I like it more than King of the Monsters. The King of the Monsters sure. was balls. Yeah, that that one sucked. Then again, I haven't watched a lot of the. Uh, I haven't really watched any of the uh, the old Japanese ones. Maybe those ones are way That's better. What I'm saying, I think I I think I saw one Godzilla vs Megalon, uh, mm. but I would legitimately like to go back and see some of those old. I mean, maybe for a Godzilla arc, we toss in one of the old ones. You know, we 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 fish around yeah. for what's considered the best of the old ones. And we uh, throw that in there, get a good mix. I think that could be fun. By the way, I wasn't I wasn't saying the 2014 one is good, just that I enjoyed it. Right? Certainly the first half. Yeah, you like. Uh, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Oh, they went on to say, uh, be burning him and everything. Or oh, they make Kong the villain by telling us the T-Rex is an emotionally complex creature. Maybe it is. Maybe he was mean to the T Rex. Yeah. Know. Maybe he bullied the T Rex. T Rex was chill. He was just friendly Terence Rex. You know. 
No reason to be so mean. The juxtaposition of Bruce being hyper aware of the loss of life Hulk can cause because he's a doctor is beautiful. She Hulk should have had the same thing. She's a lawyer causing property damage for ages. They never incorporate the professions of the characters. They never remember them in their like dialogue, their casual dialogue and sort of like uh. interactions in life or attitudes even in their home life. Just just normal things. Sometimes they pretend to though. Like her saying to Wong, like, no, oh, not the Book of Vashanti, the Book of American Law. It's like, see, she's a lawyer. Yeah, she, lawyers know about, yeah, that's really cool. Hey, Mootle, what are your thoughts on the new Zelda coming in May? This question is for you, since you're the only one who actually plays Zelda. Bringing wow. you offended. I played Breath of the Wild. I played Breath of the Wild. I played a lot. I played I like a Link it. to the Past and a I Minish Cap past, and Phantom yeah. Hourglass. And Four Swords. I played that too. I didn't play Four Swords, but I played... Uh, played... What's the cel-shaded one? Wind, Wind Waker? Wind Waker. Wind Waker. I played a bit of that. I didn't complete I well, played a bit four... of Wind Waker. Oh, I had a, l a huge amount of fun with the original Zelda. I, I really liked it. <laughs> I went back and played it. Yeah, I was like, this is good fun. shit. I was enjoying it. Uh, and I did complete it as well. I played the original four Castlevanias. I had like a little NES sort of binge at one point, and I was like, these games are really... I can understand why the, the NES was successful. Especially back when there was just nothing to do. Nobody went outside even. It was terrifying. See, back uh, on the Game Boy Advance, if you bought The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, it came as an option... Uh, with it, it came alongside of a, a of four swords, and it was multiplayer only. And you had to use that Game Boy Link cable to hook two Game Boy Advances together so that you could play together. And so my brother and I, he could you he could be like a guest on your game. And Super Mario World, I think two Super Mario Bros. Super, I I, I legitimately get the names confused, but they had something similar where you could play together if you linked up that Game Boy cable. And, oh, man, that was that was a thing. Maybe some of y'all remember that Game Boy. This is before Game Boy Advance SP. Before the SP. Original Game Boy Advance. And it had that, that cord that would connect the Game Boys and you could play together. Nowadays, you guys, you got your, your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth and all your internet sort of stuff. No, no. Back, it was a fucking cable. I agree. We had it hard, and they didn't know the we pain. We were. I was there 3,000 years ago. Oh, it was real difficult to play with your friends. Caveman Rex. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles was a scam. I played that for a little bit on GameCube, but I don't know what I think of it now. I remember feeling like I could just not really progress with it or something. That I could never get items for it. Something about it was just I couldn't get it to. I don't know. I felt like for whatever reason I just got a gimped experience. Maybe it's just because I didn't understand the game when I was young or some shit. Perhaps. Um, Rags, how would you react if Mola suddenly started floating, speaking backwards, and began bleeding from the eyes? I would be terrified. I'd, I would scream out and ask if he was okay. And then I just say, I'd probably no. call 911. <laughs> like, I am definitely not okay. That's an odd question to ask, by the way, for a super chat. It is a little bit that's odd. Really, that's a really strange question. You Isn't it funny that Wong, a New Yorker, is less well-adjusted than Yelena, someone who is psychologically conditioned since she's like six? <sighs> So much potential so thing. of a character. Yeah, these movies are bad. Trained to be assassins, age six. Granted, they're also Black Widows in that they're supposed to be able to like deceive, so they'd need to be taught about like being more socially adept. But the reality with Yelena is that she is pulled away from the conditioning. She is freed, and yet just doesn't behave that way at all. And she won't going forward either. Good God, we're gonna get her interacting with Bucky. Isn't that gonna be great? Because they've kind of gone through similar yep. things. Somehow he'll be made to feel worse than her or something. I don't even know how they'll do it, but they'll find a way. Bucky, they run. They will find a way. 
before they before run, they Bucky, get you. run. You're already kind of ruined. But... Yeah. <laughs> what is it? It can get worse. worse. In a worse state, Marvel or Star Wars? Uh, Marvel. Marvel. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Marvel. Star Wars can like. It... I feel like if I was tasked with making a good something, that it'd be easier time to do it with uh, Star Wars. But I think I Marvel, think the world building it's had Marvel more is like cataclysmic. Um, yeah, Star Wars is quite bad, but I think you yeah. can recover. You can recover. Yeah, I feel like you can. You can recover. One of the difficulties is that if you want to do anything after the sequels, that's going to be difficult. Um, that's a that's alternative perspective please do. guardians 3 has all the potential in the world to be great while True. everything that made star wars great has been annihilated it's not that they have done as much damage as say even mom and i mean the hyperspace kamikaze was pretty bad but like all the greatest characters from the ot they've all just been like drained and destroyed even some of their storylines have been changed like yeah. retroactively like you know for example anakin never actually killed the emperor it's just like yeah, what, he whatever. never restored balance. He was never no. the chosen one. It was actually, you know, Ray all along. You know, like the Republic still fell. Han, like, deadbeat dad. Luke lost faith in his family and the galaxy and in the fort. Like, all, you know, you just, they picked apart all of it. They reset everything. And so, like, you know, is there any project they could announce for Star Wars that makes you go, like, ooh, in the same way that Guardians 3, we have, like, a really strong amount of hope for? In James Gunn can do this because Guardians has got a proof, and maybe it exists in the MCU, and we still like don't consider that game over for Guardians Three. If you know well, what sure, mean. but then I don't know. Guardians is in particular Gunn... removed, I feel, from a lot of the MCU stuff. Like, yeah, it takes place in the multiverse or whatever, but it's so far, like, especially the first two Guardians, they seem so removed from the Earth-centric, for the most part, stuff in the MCU, and I mean, it just comes down to. James Gunn is very talented, and I think he's got what it takes. Like, if James Gunn was to direct a Star Wars, you know, movie, I'd be super excited. Well, then, about how about this say. question? Would you rather yeah. see that new, brand new Star Wars movie from James Gunn or Guardians 3? Guardians 3. Yeah, my answer is Guardians um, 3. Yeah, but is that Guardians already has characters I like? Um, yep. And I want to see, that's why I want to wrap them up. Well, yeah, but I guess that's what I'm saying is what if the actual choice was, would you want to see a new James Gunn Star Wars movie or a new James Gunn Marvel movie that isn't the Guardians? Oh, I'd probably go with Star Wars. Just because I think Star yeah, Wars needs, saying. I don't know. I think I'd I, go with Star I Wars. Might, my curiosity Star Wars is, too. But if it's going to be Guardians 3, then I, I got to yeah, Guardians sure, 3. Sure. We can make this, the question a little bit funnier, or I guess arguably more interesting. You know, James Gunn woman. takes on the writing and directing of, let's say, Mandalorian Season 3. gets reset and he's doing all that. Or James Gunn is taking on the writing and directing and execution of Avengers, the next Avengers movie. Um, well, yeah, but the reason why I take Avengers is because that has a broader impact. Like for like, <sighs> needs to be that you get him to, like, make, I don't know, Ant I think that would 3. be an argument for why you wouldn't pick it. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm thinking Mandalorian Dragon? 3, because... Yeah, because I Avengers, actually think it hampers like, James Gunn's he does... abilities if he's got to juggle everything in the... That's why I chose the Avengers. It's, that's an incredibly difficult thing for him to nail. Yeah, and a lot of the new right. Avengers will just be terrible, and I hate them anyway, and they suck. Going and James in, Gunn so is I'm not like, perfect I've... at this. He couldn't... I don't believe he made Harley... He didn't fix Harley Quinn. No, he didn't. He didn't at all, yeah. She is a, she is a looming cloud over every fucking thing that she's in. And it sucks that she had to be so prominent in that movie when she was the worst part of it. Meanwhile, providing in Mandalorian, maybe he could turn that show finally into something worth seeing. Um, yeah, even um, though, like, Mando and everything, they're not good characters, you could fix them. They're not could, so damn good. You could provide them character. He would, intro he would give yeah, him a whole bunch of people to yeah. bounce off him. He, like, I genuinely think he would probably get us a good season of Mandalorian. I don't know what he would do with Avengers. Absolutely. However... We gotta get rid of that fucking Grogu, but it's not happening. I would, he has nothing to bounce off of, that's the thing. I might, Grogu's though, just... pick his Avengers just because it's the last gasp of making the MCU. Maybe he can write, vaguely write the ship in some way, shape, or form before it all yeah. is just over. Yeah. 
I don't know. But anyway, if this was indicative of the potential of both universes or the destruction that's been levied against them, I think that the, the answer, of course, is obviously, holy shit, the damage that's been done to both of them. Eh? Yeah. They could have been making so much more money from these guys. They yeah, could have. They were Doctor really Strange good. Should have made a million. Thor should have made more than it did. Um, hello, chat people and, and EFAP people. The devil fruit of the week is the Hanahana fruit that allows you the user to replicate and sprout pieces of their body from the surface of any object or living thing. Would you eat this fruit? Um, the the Hanahana a... no me is a paramecia type devil fruit that allows the user to replicate and sprout pieces of their body from the surface of any object or living thing. That can be really useful. I mean, I guess it depends on how it like. Yeah, because I assume that this is just like a, a superpower that I get. So I want that. Like if I need something across the room, oh, I'll just sprout my arm on the wall to grab it and like throw it to me. You know? Wait, so is it the no no swimming again? That's the drawback for all of these. Oh, is that it... I can't. But I never really swim anyway. What if you need I mean, to? Though? Well, I would go as far as saying this one is like we can we can be saving some a significant amount of lives with this power. So I just avoid the water, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta Plus, if you fall into the water, can't it. you just make your head appear on dry land? Apparently all of them make you weak to salt water. Sounds bizarre. Oh, you can go swim in a lake, basically. I guess so, yeah. You should, by, by what people are saying, yeah. But you instantly sink. Oh, God. And also, if this allows you to <clears throat> sprout extra body parts from your body, then that means that you could just like have an extra arm if you needed it. Like, oh, I need to hold this or do this. Oh, extra arm. Is it easy to just drop it once you don't need it though, or is it there forever? I assume so. That when it's it, you could like pull it back the way that you pulled it, you know, on right. I assume that's how it works. So that way, yeah, I was like, oh, I need an extra arm for, to do this. Oh, I got an extra arm now. I could. Oh, that's that'd be great to have an extra arm. I think. Or part, you know. part of this that is supposed to make it compelling apparently is the universe it's set in loads of water everywhere, like it's islands, I guess, or something. Oh, obviously, in our right. worlds, we respectively, to the water. you know, can spend a long time without ever even going swimming, so. It's taken yeah. me nearly three hours to appreciate the meme you posted, Rags, of Wong not using the mirror dimension yeah, on Thanos Wanda, that. but he uses yeah, a good meme. On, on Abomination and uh, Donnie Blaze. Yeah, one of them to punish and kill him, the other to protect him. It's like, what? Hey, he <laughs> might not die. <laughs> he might not die, yeah. Is there, yeah. like, food in the mirror dimension? I guess it's mirror food. So if you eat it, is it, like, glass or something? Maybe since Wanda escaped, Wong just thinks the mirror dimension is kind of a chill place. Yeah. Maybe. Bruce should have hulked out after his device broke. Technically he did, he just took a little bit to do so. Um, but you're probably right, yeah. probably should have just happened, but whatever. Whatever. What's up with eight days being left for the plushies? Oh yeah, they got extended. I probably should have mentioned extended. that. Extended. Is it is it not crazy that uh the love for these plushies was so thorough, so everlasting that the good old folks at Makeship were like, "Hey lads, how about we extend it by a week?" Right? If you do. So, if they're not in the description, they should be. But I'm terrible with stuff. Oftentimes, uh, they, they, here it is. I believe they've been linked. Going. Maybe, maybe not. Right, because you can find them pretty easily. Just makeshift and then Mola or Fringy. Mola 2.0 for mine. Yeah, they got extended, so now there is eight days before we'll never have a chance to them ever again. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, we'll we'll update you guys because obviously we are doing another EFAB on Saturday, so you'll see this again to to make Um And hey, not that we would, but if we were to run another bonus EFAP next Wednesday, that would mean at this point at that at that stream at that time we, there would be exactly one day left. 
But uh, yeah, just just about eight days. The plushes, and uh, I can't Ooh. say when we will be next right. doing them. But a rags one will yeah. be on the way. Go That's right. Way. They're they're finalizing some stuff. I think they got they got one last change. I'm uh, having them do, and it's looking good. It's looking real good. And yeah, for, as it stands right now, there are about to be one thousand three hundred forty fringies in the world running around. Doing his thing. Crazy. Just being happy with his goo. See, plus Fringy's got it all figured out. Real Fringy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The <laughs> real Fringy has got to get there. The plus world is, is much simpler. It's mm -hmm. a happy world full of cuddliness. Right. Just look at him now. Look at how happy he is. You know, I've always loved more this. Very mischievous. This this cover change the way it does it on OBS. Little, like, yeah, I'm not even sure what I would call this effect, but I like it. It's a type of fade, I suppose. Yeah, very satisfying. Yeah. As are the plushies. Buy them now. Buy them together, and you get ten percent off. Do 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 do. Alrighty, Where are we? That. Considering recent events on the Adam and Sid show, the correct name, <laughs> how much value... I know! Uh, how much value do you lads put into guilt by association? Appreciate you all massively. I Like I could give a single fuck. Uh, after everything I've been through in my life, if someone's hanging out with someone I hate... So, let's say, for example... Not, even, not even hate, someone I just think has the most horrible opinions. If, um... If Rags are, like, best friends with Movie Bob, I would just be like, Really? It wouldn't make me think like, oh, Rags must be a horrible person. I'd be like, no, 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 no. I'd be curious. Like, uh, what do you think about what he said about the whole, you know, kill all, uh, <laughs> Thanos snap all conservatives or Nazis ruined eugenics? Like, I'd just be curious about that. If you're like, no, seriously, <laughs> he's a great guy. He just tweets out some weird shit. I'd be like, really? Because he really does tweet out some weird shit. And I would entertain the fact that I've got a very skewed view Rather than immediately going, nah, pretty sure my skewed view is of Rags. Got to get rid of him. He's the one if he's hanging out with movie. Um, guilt by association is so fucking lame and confusing, especially when you're friends with two people who disagree with each other. So it's just like, now who am I agreeing with? Do with that. Oh, you can't just imply standards. Too difficult to understand. What? I don't want to. Checked out Nuts' channel after the last stream. It turns out I've seen her very first video. What are the chances? Crazy thing. All your destruction of the Doctor Stranger mom was masterfully done. Thank you very much. Glad you would. You destroyed Doctor Strange's mom. Whoa. Did. Wow. Hey, Mooby, Meetle, Fringu. Hello. Oh, there's no hi. rags. Oh, the, it ends with also yeah, high well, rags. Yeah. Uh, Xander Hall's name is fitting given his prehistoric intelligence. Um, I don't get I it. Don't know the I right guess right Neanderthal. Oh, uh, okay. Neanderthal, Neanderthal. Yeah, that said, that's don't wait for the next that's 48 hours sense. of this week's oh. EFAP. Also high rugs. <laughs> He was very upset that I made fun of that. <laughs> he was he did not appreciate that that got highlighted so much. It's just a weird thing to think. It's very funny. Um I finally watched yeah, Justice Justice League recently. And I now see what Mola meant when talking about Whedon trying to salvage Snyder's work. Hey, that's not that's not just me, that was everybody. We we watched them. We we watched the movies and we were like, wait a minute. There's more character in the weeded one. Yeah. The scenes he Wait added. Wait a second. You remember? There's less character work in the four-hour cut. That's weird. It is weird because all the character scenes are in that weird room. Remember, there's the reshoot room that everyone goes in to have character. <laughs> they walk into the room and they're like, "Time to share my feelings." This but, is uh, the character room. Uh, the if way only we... every show had a character room. From my memory. Joss decided he needed to try and justify why Wonder Woman decided not to help anybody for, like, decades. You remember that was, like, a thing? 
Yep. And it's like, fuck, how do I justify that? And he justified it by having her feel that whenever she gets involved in doing anything that relates to that, the people get killed by her, like, her command or whatever, right? Isn't it something like she said she felt, felt responsible for Steve's death? Because, and she said that if, if she, that, there was like a whole thing about it, and then Batman's trying to convince her that that's retarded. And then Batman has has moments of being like, oh shit, when the giant super enemy punched me and I flew into a wall, it actually hurt. He's like, I'm all bruised. He's talking about how he's not going to be there around forever. And he, I think Bruce, trying to, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. And then he's like, you gotta, you know, when I'm dead and gone, we gotta have a leader of this, this league of ours. You know, it's like stuff. Stuff is happening. Snyder Cut is very long. Empty. But, I mean, there is some stuff in it. Remember when they sniffed Aquaman? I do remember when she sniffed Aquaman's Why sweater. Why did they do that? That was so weird. Because that's the Snyder vision. Joss, Joss saw it and he cut it out. <laughs> That's so funny to me. I want to see it. I want to see him looking at it and going, what the fuck is this? The movie's become a guilty pleasure for me, just like the Star Wars prequels. Hey, I'll happily watch Superman say, is this guy bothering you? Punches him. But that, is this guy bothering you? The classic. The one time Henry Cavill got to play Superman. Pretty neat. Well, the consistency is key. Sorry for starting crap with you and Adam again on Sunday, lol. That's all right. It's okay. It's totally f they 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 want to talk about storytelling. So do I. It's all chill. I'll um I'll convince them eventually. All right. I'll turn them into a a consistencyoid. Great. This one just says nepotisms. I think this was when we were all the way back in episode two. Dark times. The uh, dark times. Should use the sexy new purple EFAP TV schleem. No, no, no. EFAP TV is not for mainline episodes. Talking about breaking things. EFAP TV is for like that'll be, actually that'll be the format we use for Andor. Andor will be the first thing that we get that used on. How exciting! She Hulk is so defensive. I confuse her for Shuckle. The Pokemon, oh, right? Oh, oh, oh. Pokemon Shuckle. Shuckle? I think so. Oh. Let me. Yeah, he's the one in the little. Yeah, we. He's the one in the pot. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, he's the. He's got the yellowy here. That's Shuckle. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Goo man, sir, I know your secret. You're neither bird nor frog. You're a man doing a handstand, and the beak mask isn't a mask at all. It's a cod piece. Where's his legs? Well, if I guess he's doing a handstand, what you think his arms are? Well, are I legs. guess, I guess so. Which means that his yeah, yeah, it protrudes mm. a decent Pretty distance weird. from his. Yeah, maybe it's got like a choker around it, and it's really tight, so it just sort of. Bulges around up there. Also, hi, Rug. Oh, hello. Hi. You guys should watch A Silent Voice. The student loans comment makes her sound like the new Saints Row game. Mega cringe. Um, yeah, it's... I don't even know why she's bringing it up. Like, I, I gotta pay off my student loans. I can't just become a vigilante. Like, don't you don't you think the question really doesn't regard like, got nothing to do with whether or not you have student loans? That wouldn't. Also, adult orphans. Why the distinction? It's not like you can unorphan yourself after childhood. Yeah, I guess um I haven't checked the definition of orphan. Does it relate to an age, or is it just parents of both? I didn't think it did. I thought, yeah, I didn't know if, if it did or not. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a good point. And well, like like you would have seen from our coverage, we weren't exactly happy with the, the, like the a lot of the dialogue. It's just like ugh, ugh, Jen, what are you doing? Like, ugh, you yeah. suck. Come on. Today is Wednesday, September fourteenth, twenty twenty two. Yes, and we're already three episodes into the next season of EFAP. But we're forty seven episodes away from the anniversary. Everybody, pretty getting there, you know. Oh, 
Time travels. Didn't even ask permission. Just travels. She Hulk is so bad, I want to make a long man video going over it. Nearly every single moment in this is bad or damaging to the characters. Yeah. Um, she Hulk walks like the Team America puppets. <laughs> 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 she just does not appear to be in the place that we're supposed to believe she is. Ched is short for Chedwardo. Really? Chedward? I just, I've never heard the name Ched. It sounds really... Um, I deleted my entire live chat history. Does that mean my super chat from EFAP200 is gone? There were six of them. Well, so I grabbed them uh, on the, the, the times they came through, and they're all saved into a file. So as long as you only deleted your entire live chat history recently, then I should have it. So, but it was still, that'll still be released at some point. There's still a lot of Super Chat catch-up stuff we've got that's going to be coming out. We need to find days where we can record, as well as days for doing extra EFAB episodes, as well as doing days for all the other streams. Um... We'll keep updating you on that when, when everything's going to But obviously, hopefully, we can keep doing the newer episode Super Chats on the episodes so that we'll up to some degree. Hence why, by the way, doing three episodes of She-Hulk now, as opposed to, like, eight on stream would have meant that we would be able to do more. Will you ever critique Amnesia Rebirth? Well, I'm not going to make a big video on it, if that's what you're asking. And I think there are a few videos out there that you can find that, that there are, are yeah that go over it but I mean we've we've said this before but if you don't know put into the old YouTube search bar EFAP and Amnesia Rebirth we got a full episode on it I say full it's four hours some people may claim that's not full but I would and you can listen to four hours of myself rags and metal fucking complaining extensively about Amnesia Rebirth extensively we were not happy. That show sucks. Not happy. Right before the tag of episode three as the credits rolled, I thought, hey, you know, it's heavy-handed, but it's not that bad. And then, immediately, working. Sorry. But the fact that you wrote this means you survived. Thus, you are stronger. Rags, they replaced you with a woman twice. Is EFAP getting too political? What? Yes, it is. Perhaps. I am in, in extreme disagreement. Stop calling it SheFap. SheFap. Uh, also, today's day of the day is 9 11, which was a national tragedy. It was so, a national tragedy. Lawrence Southern was a national tragedy. Rings of Power High Rags. Hello. Can you imagine Lauren Southern coming on EFAB just to break down Rings of Power, like scene by scene? <laughs> and she, like, strictly talks about Tolkien lore and Lord of the Rings movies, and they're just like, bye, bye. She feels like this bizarre guesting. But I would be on board with that. Let me know if she is. Veto quote of the day I don't want complex, nuanced character arcs in a comedy. I want jokes. Please help this man. Um, Veto needs. Help, well, like. I guess. We got She Hulk is a uh you can definitely say it's a comedy, but like there's still there's still drama in it and Jen is still going on an arc. I don't see why that would be a problem if it were well executed. I'm trying to think of what is what is a comedy TV show with strong arcs? Springy, what's what what are we looking at? What can you think of? Comedy show with strong arcs. <clears throat> I guess Rick um, and Morty tried to do it at one point. Or what they're doing anymore. I I feel like scrubs was uh yeah scrubs went for like longer arcs i think they did pretty well um i wow so community is really funny but i don't know how i'd say that they yeah. handled their uh their arcs long term hard to argue for two um, adventure time probably does actually count blackadder mm. i don't i don't know if there was arcs in blackadder archer has arcs um Horseman. yeah i guess that counts. Well, Bojack Horseman is is a show that people say has characters <laughs> go on really well in Marks and. Still mentioned Afterlife. The only thing about Afterlife is like that is a 
comedy drama. Like, there is a lot of drama in it, but it's also... Right, as opposed to, I guess, a show that hyper leans into being a comedy. I guess so, yeah. I don't know. It, it, maybe it should count. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is that, you know, Ox being in a comedy is totally fine. Yeah, pretty normal. And oftentimes, I've said before, like, some of the most memorable and meaningful moments of comedy shows for me is when it, we get real serious characters have a moment where they something happens. Funnily enough, the um one of my most memorable and favorite episodes of Scrubs is the one with Brendan Fraser in it. Second appearance. I okay. remember that episode. Uh, their flippant disregard for work ethic is consistent with twenty year old burger flippers who've never had a long term commitment job before getting into writing. Um I don't know. I feel like there'd be more character from someone who's been burger flipping. Um, they probably would have spoken yeah. to all kinds of people. I feel like they have character. Yeah, there. like I kind of agree with like the sentiment that um, you know, like Gary Drinker and that have come up with, where some of these writers feel like they've got less than that for life experience, where you can almost tell how how sort of like specific and and sort of narrow their experiences have been with the way that they write the people they don't like. There's like nothing to them, and that's how they see a lot of experiences because they don't care to go anywhere outside of their sort of. Um, yeah, I, I I think that they need to live fuller lives, and they'll likely start improving at writing, I guess. But at the same time, incoherent nonsense. So maybe anything else. Hi, Rags. Hi. Usually, oh, and Frongo. Ooh. Did finish. Or would have said. And Mootle. Which one of you guys was tall in middle school? I think both me and Fringy were. I, I was not tall. I didn't hit my, I guess, growth spurt until high school. Um, I hit six foot when I was like 13. Very tall. Towering over the little folk. I don't know if Fringy... I think Fringy said before. you. Long child indeed. Um, I can't help but feel Nidrotic is a right-wing troll here in America. Here in America? Specify that. I guess because he's American, but yeah, I I, I wouldn't quite. I, that's not that's not how I would categorize him. Think of him more so as just a hyper nerd. Hey guys, have any of you seen the Sandman on Netflix? I've enjoyed it quite a bit, but I don't know how the writing holds up. Would love to hear your thoughts. Also, hi rags. Hello. No, I have not seen it. I've seen the first episode. Wasn't um. I wasn't very... I thought it was meh. Uh, I was going to wait until some friends recommended it, if they did, and some friends have watched many of the episodes that have come out and told me to avoid it, and so I was like, I'm probably going to avoid it. Uh, yeah. Um, part one. Springy! Yeah? To keep my sanity, I've been re-watching Daredevil again, but I think the back half of season two is a huge step down from the rest of the show. I think the main cause is Elektra, compared to Matt and Frank's conversation on the morality of killing or not. Elektra's bring out Matt's darker side feels very weak. I also don't find Elektra compelling at all. Thoughts? And while you answer that, I'm going to go to the toilet. It's been a while since I've watched season two, but I would agree that the second half is weaker than the first half. <laughs> it's definitely weaker. Like, the data will punish your stuff as the strong component of season two, and once the hand plot kicks off, that's when it starts to, uh, starts to kind of decline a bit. Um, yeah, the, uh, the problem is I can't remember as much about, uh, the second half of season two. Um, it's not, I, yeah, that's not a hot take, though. Someone's mentioned in chat. That's, uh, that's the general sentiment on season two. Um, yeah, it's basically, I don't really have much to add. Uh, nevertheless, I would still recommend if you're watching that to go through the whole uh, season. You don't really need to watch Defenders. That's okay. You can kind of skip that. And should. 
I don't know what happened with that show. Though I guess it's kind of funny now, because we've reached a point where I imagine if you look at Iron Fist, it's like, is Iron Fist the worst? Compared to what we're getting now, probably not. Who knows? Yeah. Man, just thinking about what's to come as well. Oh. What's to come is pain. It's pain, Gringy. Probably what's, pain. What's, what's yeah. Going? It's all going to be. I don't know what's. I don't know what like happened. It fell off a cliff. Like deteriorated. Everything died. Everything just. Every franchise. It all just sort of. They, know, they, like they dominoes. They kind of all go up in smoke around the same time. Yeah. Terminator Genesis was the first. <laughs> I was actually asked about that, and I said that uh, didn't you didn't you say Terminator Genesis is an early one, but uh, that you isn't Halo Four before that, and you consider that one pretty. Bad, Halo right? Five, uh, Halo Five destroyed um, a lot of Halo. Yeah, well, and I said that Halo was the Four. Um, well, so I think that Halo Four deals some serious damage to uh to the to the lore and the universe for sure. Um, but. I, yeah, I guess I'm not sure if I would class that in the same category. Five was utter destruction, whereas four has elements that are worthwhile. Right. Um, I, I mean, narratively, at least. Yeah, but five is, like, cataclysmic. Like, the dialogue in that game, you would not believe how bad it is. Alrighty, then. Um, fun fact, Moon Knight has more Emmys than Better Call Saul. What the fuck? Yeah, because, yeah, that's right. Because it has at least one, right? Dude, well, anything that has an Emmy has more Emmys than Medical Soul, right? So it's just like, there's a shit yeah. ton of things that got an Emmy, but... Uh. Yeah. It's kind of like, the, it's the same energy as Suicide Squad, the Oscar, the Academy Award winning picture. Yeah. Um, um, how would you go about assessing a movie where the plot is indecipherable or intentionally broken? Movies like Cronenberg's Ex Existence or David Lynch films? Uh, we've never died away from the idea that if you have, you know, guy walks into a building, you hear a gunshot and he walks out, and you look in the building, a dead guy with a bullet wound, like, well, you don't know that he did it. You're like... That seems a little, like, you know, you, just, you have to just interpret away, you can't, and it's like, yeah, at this point we don't know if that, that's what happened. Nothing is uh, incompatible, necessarily. And so when you have films like David Lynch creates, where there's plenty to interpret, and a lot of it can be categorized, and what you'll find is, because like, this is an ongoing discussion for a lot of people about David Lynch's stuff, where they'll be like, to, to try and lock it down into one interpretation is to misunderstand David Lynch's work entirely like it's not supposed to be that's not supposed to be done with it and I think when he's asked about what it, his work means he basically says fuck off like it's like you know it's not he doesn't want it to be treated that way but like the fact that people will take it use what's in it and then construct sort of uh, ideas based on it because I, I watched all of RLM's coverage of all of David Lynch's stuff as well and it's interesting to see what they come up with um it follows the same rules that we do with everything. Every every conclusion you make, it usually comes from references, and they can be, you know, compared with other ones to be inconclusive or conclusive. They really have, like... You don't find people who are analyzing his stuff saying, you know, oh, if you look at this there and the color of this there and this there, then it really points to this representing this. You don't have them go, except this thing here ruins that entire interpretation, but I'm just going to ignore it. They usually try and incorporate it. Um, so yeah, I just don't see why you wouldn't be able to do that with any of this stuff. I've seen Existence, by the way. It's a fucking weird film, and the only thing I remember from it was the flesh gun. There's like a gun made out of body parts, bone and flesh and stuff. Cronenberg makes weird movies, you guys didn't know. Um, The Fly, for example. But man, is it fucking scary. Mm-hmm. Anything else you guys want to say about that one? Or... Oh, you could carry on. Mm -hmm. Alright. Hi, EFAP crew. Love talking about your bone gun. Has anyone Hi. seen the Willow trailer? Is there any interest in covering the show on EFAP? I do not care about Willow, I'm afraid. I Same don't here. either. I haven't seen Willow. I've heard that it's great and terrible. 
it was funny. I was about to say it's fine. <laughs> like this, it's. I appreciate it for what it is. There's some funny schnisms that happen in it. Uh, it's, it's. When you find out that it's like Peter Jacks. Sorry, not Peter Jacks. George Lucas trying to have his own Lord of the Rings or something. That's like the conception of that. It's pretty interesting to think about. But uh, I know a lot of people watched it when they were young, and so they're very, very attached to it. Uh, so they probably like us to, you know, give a shot of breaking down whatever the new version is. But uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to touch that because I'm just not passionate about Willow. Um, best of luck, Willow fans. Best of luck. Enter the fray. Um, can we just skip this parody and focus on something good like House of the Dragon? Well, funnily enough, um, House of the Dragon's going to have a fifth episode by Sunday. And uh, Fringy is actually up to date on House of the Dragon. Did you know that, Rags? I did not know that. I didn't um, know he had an interest in it. I don't think he did. <laughs> but was, uh, yeah, well, I checked it out, and yeah, it's neat. It, it, so, oh, yeah. good. It's, uh, once, once it gets to the complete season, the ten episodes, I will... I, that's why I said I'm going to consider recommending it or not. really depends how well it can get out, because uh, my... Okay. My my insistence that they need to redeem themselves after what happened is in in a retroactively becoming you know my head less and less relevant because the people in control of this whole thing really aren't the same people at all that made the mess that was right. Uh, there's a couple okay. like like Sapotnik was one of the people that was directly involved with. He's left the show now. Not to say that his influence isn't on a lot of the stuff in there, and that's not to say that his influence was completely bad. In fact, fans were super fucking happy when he got more and more work. Unfortunately, he's responsible for the long night. So, oh. you know, this this whole mixed bag thing. So, we'll, yeah, we'll see. We'll, uh, we are, uh, yep. for the people who are looking for me to talk about it, though, uh, every Sunday, you got uh, Nerdrotic Live, it's me and Chad and Gary, we all, we all break down the newest episode. We do it, like, fucking an hour after it comes out, so... One of them hot off the presses things, you know. But so far, yeah, we're all uh, we're all liking it. We are like, I've been enjoying it. <clears throat> um, Master of Disguise for EFAT movies. A uh, movie? Well, I'm guessing so. Yeah, I assume that's what he means. I am not sure if I am turtly enough for the Turtle Club. Do the thing, Rex. Do it. What thing? Madness. It's total madness. Wait, did I say Nidrotic, Shad, and Gary? <laughs> Would have been funny if I did. He's, a, he's of two minds. He is. Just got here. I hear that Factorio music. Nuh-uh. I turned it off. Uh-oh. Two people can't be lying. Mahler. Was them. You were they playing did Factorio the this whole time. They you're playing Factorio lies. so much you don't even know that you're playing it. No. No. Lord Longbong of Mubslington Abbey. Is there any good chance of a Kong Fap? Of Peter Jackson's Long Kong? There's less going on? Be a movie fab for the ages. Yes. Hello, Wagsy. Rich as boy. Hello. Um, yeah, I, I think... That's an idea. A Kong Fap. A long That's Kong. An idea. The Konging of the Longing. Uh, I believe that that will sit soundly. An arc that involves us going through the lot of them. And when I say the lot of them, I mainly mean the new set. We'll probably do King of the Monsters again. Why not? We'll have a, we'll have a new cast. Fresh minds. I wouldn't mind seeing Rodan eat people and get eaten and stuff again. Why not? Blazers. Charles Dance saying, go over there. Great. So yes, there will be long, there will be Kong, perhaps even. Perhaps even long. Yes. Let's see, whiny, but Mauler in A New Hope Stormtrooper went bonk. That's true, Stormtrooper did bonk his head. Yeah. And it's true. I can't believe that people are shitting on Star Wars for being... Silly and goofy when this yes. literally happened in Star Wars A New Hope. 
You see, in 1977, an extra on the back of the set in Star Wars A New Hope bumped his head on the set, thereby sealing into perpetuity the genre redefinement that would be a lack of seriousness in all aspects within the Star Wars trilogy and beyond to all of its intellectual properties into the future. Hmm. Indubitably. I would... If only the lesser critics on the internet would understand that this is an aspect of the film genre that they have missed. And alas, I feel they'll never come around to the correct way of thinking. And so they must be stopped. And so they must be destroyed. It'd be really funny if in an alternate universe we like we peer in and the only change that's made is that that extra didn't bump his head and everybody, no, <laughs> nobody makes the argument that Star Wars is allowed to be goofy. Everyone is like, no, no goofiness in Star Wars. It was never oh goofy. Oh my god. Like they legit in the really end... are convinced by that one boop. Wait, you realize that in Multiverse of Madness, there <laughs> is a universe where that is literally the only difference between our universe and theirs. And that, so and it has it, that great I mean... effect, yeah. <laughs> So it's that I sounded like Galadriel from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's not <laughs> true. Mm. 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 Did anyone else think Pug was an assistant slash secretary going by the gift basket with poop, mass, poop maps and taking notes during that meeting until the walking harassment case said, I'll have him defend me? I can't, yeah, I think I kind of agree with you. It felt like they were not setting him up to be like a lawyer, and then it's like, no, he is. And you're like, oh, okay. He is. That's because, yeah, it did look like he was more of a secretary, but yeah. Whatevs. Maybe they did change their mind as they were going. I don't know. Um, I almost didn't click on this because I thought it was just the Moolah re upload. What do you mean, just? And. How would we be re-uploaded in a stream that never happened yet? <laughs> but, but, you know, in terms of coverage of She-Hulk, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess you could say maybe you missed it. Uh, uh, not entirely sure if you've answered this or not, but have you or are you going to watch Daredevil? If you have, what are you guys' thoughts on it? I have seen it. Fringy has seen it. I do not believe Rags has seen it. The show? Um, I have not. Unless you're, of course, referring to Daredevil with Carmen Electra. Um... What are you talking about? The 2003 film? Oh, no, so it's, it's Jennifer... Ghana. Oh my god. Ghana, yeah. Playing is it not? Electra. It's not, it's uh, not called Electra playing Electra. That's, that's, the, confu <laughs> that's the confusing part. That's I J was like, it. wait, is there a yeah. porn vision of Daredevil with Carmen Electra in it? I don't know. <laughs> First off, yes, there is. But I did not know. There you go. All has been made well. Oh, and it looks like there's an Electra movie in 2005. That's probably yeah, really was. fun. Yeah, I've Jennifer Garner. Yeah. yeah, that's probably really good. We should have a, an Electra arc where we watch Daredevil in 2003, Electra from 2005, and then just porn. You can do that, Pot. We'll, we'll watch some more. We'll watch, like, um, X-Men. X Men Two, oh. X Men Three. You mean Sex Men? The Lost Stand. X Men. The X Men Origins, Origins Wolverine. The Wolverine. Logan. X Men Apocalypse. Men. The Lost Stand Two. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that just sounds like a funny name. I I would watch it though. I would give it a chance. Maybe they're against like the Cure, but again, controlled by the Sentinels, who were led by Magneto were led by Apocalypse. Like in uh, Apocalypse. Um, also, we will be watching a little bit more porn, at least, uh, me and you, Rags, because uh, Jay Longbun will force us to see the sequel to that weird movie, because it's out now. No, we watched two. We watched two. There, are gonna there were four two of them, in and we watched them both. There's going to be four? Yes. No, and I asked but her the if story's really over. going to force us to see the, the next ones, and she said yes, and I was like, this is madness. This is, this is madness. This, that can't be right. I mean, it'll be funny to see those when they finally come it, out. I guess it will be. It was immensely funny to just watch porn with my friends, but... I, I, I mean, I was, I, like I said, I, was, I said I was invested in getting the plot moving. Some of the, some of the times he was like, oh shit, what's, how is things going to react to this? It was like, time for porn. He was like, hey! Time for porn. And it's like shitty porn too. Yeah, it wasn't it's like it wasn't, the most it wasn't even basic well kind of. Yeah, there's 
It was not. It a, was an artistry art without work. being artistic. But, um, yeah, it's not it the kind of porn that I normally. Is it called 365 Days and then the sequel is like 365 Days of Two or something? <laughs> I don't even remember. I for, I don't know what they're called. I think the first one was called 365 Days, yeah. But yes. So for people who are confused, Jay Longbones recorded a watch party with us and friends mm. for, for that movie and its sequel. We did both of them and she's going to make us do even more and it's mean, rude. But hopefully entertaining when it gets edited. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, sorry, they did say, what are you guys' thoughts on Daredevil? Um, I guess because I said vaguely that we, we like it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could say. Uh, I mean, I've got a lot of normie takes. The stuff with him and Punisher was top-notch. Um, Kingpin guy is really good actor. Vincent D'Onofrio. I liked that they spent so much time focusing on Matt's character. Uh, That's nice. We don't get that a lot in our... <laughs> You'd be like, what do you mean? Of course they do. And I'm like, don't say that. Don't say of course they do. Don't ever assume anything anymore. It's just a strong drama that, like, r meaningfully explores the character beyond <gasps> surface level, um, beyond surface level kind of observations. It really digs into Matt. <gasps> Madness. The Warhammer 40k word of the day is Daemonculaba. Daemonculaba. D-A-E-M-O-N-C-U-L-A-B-A. Demon Kulaba. Okay. It was a name given to the individuals used in the attempt to create new chaos space marines from the mutated womb of a human female, making use of the uncorrupted gene seed stolen from the Imperial Fist's repository in the world of Hydra Jeez. Cordatus. So, I guess that's bad? I mean, it sounds spooky. It does sound, yeah. I mean, it's unlikely that it's called Daemon Culaba, and it's a good thing, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, with the elf, uh, I think the joke to everyone is that it was silly of the client to assume Megan would be interested in him. It's just mean spirited. No, yeah, I, like I, I said, know what the joke I, is. I think it is mean. Yeah, it's absolutely mean spirited. Is. Like I said, yeah. uh, it culminates it's... with the whole like, yes, he is stupid enough to think that he has a chance with her. It's like, ah, uh, I don't like that. But She-Hulk likes it. The writers liked it. So, um, pretty based of She-Hulk to posit that it's stupid for men to spend money on women. I'm sure they didn't mean to do that. Sadly, well, they definitely have the vibe of like, look how idiotic he is to have spent that much money on her. And it's like, I'm getting mixed signals here. I'm getting vibes that. It... Wait, I'm not. I'm not yeah, quite picking up what you're of... putting down. Or maybe I am. I don't know. Uh, interesting. Quote of the day. Victory is a thousand fathers, but defeat is an orphan. Comment? Say that one more time. I want to make sure that soaks in. Victory is a thousand fathers, but defeat is an orphan. Because... I guess because less of your guys will die in the war when you win, and so you'll have dads that are still alive, but then if you lose, then you create a whole bunch of orphans. Victory is a thousand father, but people... I don't know what that... What do you think, Fringy? ...means... I'm, uh, well, I'm kind of... I'm just sitting there thinking about it, and I don't get it. Hmm. What do you think, chat? Victory is a thousand fathers. So, like, a victory leads to a lot of... Um, but defeat is an orphan. If you are an, an or a thousand father versus an orphan... I legitimately do not know what that means. Someone said victory has a thousand. It's like, well, it says victory is in the quote, or maybe it's not the right quote. He's missing the word pride. Efab, you've never heard this quote before? Everyone knows this one. I, this is the first time I've heard this one. 
I have not heard this quote before. The JFK quote? Is it? Well, in that case, then it probably does relate to when you when you lose, people die, right? And when you... No? Or am I... Is that, the, is that the too simplistic read of it? I don't know. Victory is like 1,000 fathers, and defeat is like an orphan. Well, but then there's also the other JFK quote, zombies. Zombies. <laughs> zombies. <laughs> zombies. At times Zombies. like this, uh, damn, I can't remember the whole speech. At times like this, uh, our action must be swift and decisive to deter all forms of aggression. Gentlemen, lock and load. <laughs> and any last words, sir? Yes. Uh, to any last words for your humble troops? Do not pray for easy lives. But, I mean, that's a real quote. <laughs> Do not pray for easy lives. I really like that quote, though. Do not pray for easy lives, my friends. Pray to be stronger men. Hell yeah. It's a good pray quote. To be stronger men. As for if that other one was from him, I don't get that one <laughs> so much. That one is uh, lost on me. All right, if people keep saying, so the, the quote actually is, victory has a, f a hundred fathers, but defeat is an orphan. I assume, I assume it is the, the idea of just... When you when you lose um, a lot well, of people, sorry, die. I saw somebody say I saw somebody say that um in chat that I think the notion was that like people like to claim people like to claim victories, but they don't like to claim defeats. Oh, which I, I guess see. Oh. reading would be like oh you know it's no, yeah no, okay. no one claims you know responsibility mean, like, for an orphan. A hundred a hundred yeah. people will claim oh, the okay. uh, the kid as like the victory. But if if it's a if it's not, then nobody will take credit for it. I think so I, that's okay. many people yeah. will seek credit for success, but few will accept responsibility. For yeah, failure. which is uh, okay. That's, I that's got a good it. That's good. Because it's, I like it's that. true. That's very true. I people like will that. always uh, take responsibility for their successes, but blame f uh, failures on outside circumstances. When the truth is in the middle, you are both. The, the the consequences, positive and negative, are the product of both what you do and also circumstances beyond your control. Yeah, that's neat. But I mean, whatever's beyond your control, right? It's like not super valuable to focus on. So just try and try and focus on what's in your control, I suppose. Okay, well now that I understand that, the, yeah, that quote is interesting now to me. <laughs> if that's what it means. I think yeah, it makes sense. I just didn't draw that connection, but yeah, I like that. I, that's I, really good. I was thinking too, literally about the. Fathers related to like yeah dads something of about like children. men in battle being yeah. lost and I was father. thinking of yeah, that too yeah like the cost yeah. of the, the human cost of, of war. Wong says Kumite. I'm getting blood sports flashbacks. Yeah, I think one of the blood sports streams boondocks. was called Kumite, right? Oh, oh, okay. I think so. I can't quite remember. Uh, Efap meetup in Seattle. When I want to take you guys to the woods and shoot machine guns. My God. I will be in Seattle next year. Shoot machine guns. Woo. Pacific Northwest. I their... shot a lot of guns right. on um, uh, Monday. My, 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 my shoulder is still actually sore right now from all the shooting I did on Monday. Um, met up with a whole bunch of friends and they brought all kinds of guns. And we shot and shot and shot, and my shoulder is still sore. We shot so much, and it was a great time. And it was wonderful. It doesn't kick in until the next day. The rest of the day after you shoot, you're fine. That's one no of them, issues whatsoever. It could but be like, the next like alcohol, day, where it's like mm -hmm. we're gonna steal some enjoyment from the future and put it here to double your enjoyment now. Ooh. Um, sort, but alcohol hits really soon. It's, it's like what. It like there you feel totally normal after shooting a whole bunch, and then you like wake up the next day, and then you're like, "Why is my shoulder and like my upper arm so sore on the right hand side?" Assuming you're right-handed. Yeah, I was, and I was referring to a hangover. Yeah, I know, but like you get like even before then, you just feel. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Okay, so when Whereas you get this, drunk, this you get the of... super happy tipsy stuff, and the equivalent when shooting is the fun of shooting, and then the next day you have the sore arm versus the hangover. I think there's a difference in like in the suddenness that you sort of feel it. Hangovers sort of happen; they like they progress slowly towards you inexorably, or at least that's been my experience. Perhaps we have different experiences. I'm just broadening it out you're to you're a negative getting... experience the following day. You, you perhaps you get turned up. For what I I couldn't say 
I don't know how you do it in Welshland. What I said was really simple. You made it all weird and goopy. I don't think so. I don't think goopa. so. I don't appreciate goopas. If it hits soon for you, Rags, because... No, 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 it doesn't. Hangovers do not hit soon for me. That's what I was saying, James. But the shoulder sureness, it, like, all of a sudden hits you. You, you just... It, nothing, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, shit, my arm's really sore. It doesn't sneak up. I mean, it does sneak up on you, but it doesn't, like, slowly encroach upon your life. You just sort of notice it, and then you're reminded of things. Shut up, Wongers. Wongers in the chat. Yeah, a buddy, he had, um, he had like, a... What was it? It was, like, one of those... That ridiculous 500 Smith & Wesson revolver, and he had a, a Desert Eagle... And we had some AKs there. We had some ARs. We had all kinds of pistols and stuff and revolvers. We had all kinds of stuff. We had it. We just had a, we, we, oh, we had a 4570 lever action. Gorgeous, gorgeous gun. That thing kicks pretty good. But man, good time. Good time. Good time. America. I want to shout out Gaming Magic 13, a critic who has a stellar series on how Incredibles 2 is awful. The long man with very similar ideas and editing to Mauler's, and he'd make a great guest. Good rat. Well, he's clearly doing the God's work because Incredibles 2 is a fucking nightmare. Hate it. Incredibles ba -dum, really cool. Ba -dum. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -da. God, the music. But the, so at good. least we got Incredibles one. That was good. It's better than good. <laughs> you might even call it great. I, I think I might even go further than that. Whoa. It is great. It is stellar. It's interstellar. No, I would oh. never. I no. Would never. Sorry. I didn't don't, you, you don't remember you? the part? You don't, you don't like the part where Syndrome jumped in that black hole and then he oh, appeared no. as if through him. time travel uh, to his uh, younger self in the Mr. Incredible Mobile and then he used um, Morse code to send himself the key to uh, jet packs, jet boots. I think when and, I was talking to Destiny about Interstellar, he said, like, in casual thoughts, he was like, what was the end of that film where he just sort of travels through time with the black whole dimension and ends up seeing his daughter, but she's, like, super old? And I was like, dude, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't think that anybody is a good fucking question. knows. Uh, Anyone who thinks that movie's good, hey, ask them how it ended. You, I, when I met you, you said it was really good. When I met Wolf, he said it was really good. Really? Yeah. I did I say that, or did I say that I really like parts of it? I don't remember exactly. I just remember because uh, I, I think I said I really like the uh, his performance in it, and I like the music a whole lot. Well, I I don't. Like the, what I'm, what the whole point I was trying to get out of it was like I think it's, I think it makes sense. It's totally chill why people like it. I, f I, can, I was infuriated yeah. by it, uh, and I, I know that I had a minority reaction on that one. Um, so I will make a video one day and totally convert everybody to the, the, the world of the long, but for Interstellar. Someone asked, how do people like Interstellar after a single watch? No, I think that's the movie that you can almost point to. Like, it's a terrible movie, and I totally get how it fools so many people. It is. Because it, it has audio visual It has the great acting, yeah, it's... great visuals, amazing music. It's very grandiose, and it's very artistic in its presentation and all this stuff. Totally. I, it I, talks I about totally love, don't anyone humanity, exploration, yeah. and the, the you know, yeah, how, don't go quiet into that good night or whatever the fuck he keeps saying. It's, it's, it's beautiful. But when you fucking ignore that and just look at the script, I, like I said, me and, me and Doom are legit almost went nuts. We spent like an hour trying to figure out what the fuck the ending was. And I've seen that movie like 17 times and I don't know how at this point... I have ne on my like latest viewing. I no longer understand the film. How does that even happen? Does or you watch sense? it the last you understand. It? <laughs> yeah, like I used to know what the ending was. I don't know anymore. No, I don't know. In the case the ATF is monitoring this stream, I meant I like to bump my fire, my, fire my guns, and I am trying to acquire a binary trigger. Very well. Absolutely. Yes. Finally made it to a live stream. Watched every video but never got time for a stream. Thank you all four for your videos. It is great entertainment. Greetings from Germany. Hey, greetings. Hey. 
Uh, I Greetings g- to you, German. I our our German left us. Yeah, you abandoned leave. us. I genuinely feel like Daredevil can't be canon after She-Hulk's court scenes. Uh, they are not in the same universe. Well, I know that. What does they, canon even mean anymore? I mean, like the world I, building's yeah. still busted. I think they're gonna try and be like, we're doing the best of both worlds. We're like, we kind of acknowledge the events of the of the um the show, but we because of course something that's gonna be very difficult to our sellers. You're telling me Matt doesn't care about all of the stuff that Kingpin's up to. Out of prison, I just, out in the world, getting up to crazy stuff, and Matt doesn't care. I think that it may have been the wiser choice to just uh, have a multiverse Matt come in instead of implying at all, ever, that that three-season uh, TV show is in the MCU, because they are I think incompatible. They, don't, they are incompatible, but I think that they recognize that a good number of people won't care, and that more people will be upset if you make the show not canon in the MCU. If they end up I fucking that, it up, they're gonna regret well, that. Well, yeah, it is, it's very much a monkey's paw at this point. It's like, oh, after all of the, the Disney Plus Marvel shows? Man. Dead it will show? Jeez. Ooh. You could say, every case is a Mary sued. <laughs> I get it. Cause... Well, oh, I really boy, liked my dude. I liked my league, a female villain who's an attorney and her name was Miss Trial. I like that, but I didn't get any reaction from it. I, I thought I said, ah. Oh, oh, all right, that's good. I, 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 I feel that, bad but... sometimes because I, I do like a smirk and I'm like, oh shit, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm really glad. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad because I thought that was, that would, that would be fun. Miss Trial. Yeah. And, yeah. and then later on, like, her mom's like, Mrs. Trial. And it's like, that doesn't. Yeah, and there's, um. <laughs> And and maybe you have no, forget it. All right, hello all. Been a fan from the early days and come to humbly ask for a shout out. I just published a book called Alone at the Edge of the Mind last month and was looking to spread awareness. Thanks. Well, I mean, if you you probably should have mentioned what kind of book it is <laughs> because you know, like genre or something, but. Yeah, I mean, if 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 you're interested in grabbing up a random book out there because you're feeling like feeling adventurous, and the name "Alone at the Edge of the Mind" sounds like an interesting thing, maybe check it out. Who knows? Could be good. Could be bad. Could be mid. Who knows? Could, could, so many options. There you go. Uh, I work in 3D animation and worked on a bit of post animation on mocap. The big secret with mocap looking bad in cheap productions is that it's not as plug-and-play as some people think, depending on the shot yeah. and how the mocap, the, the mocap rig was feeling on any given day. Anywhere from 50 to 90% of the animation will work, work will need to be redone by normal 3D animations. The rigs that work good for mocap are slow and terrible to work with when animating by hand, and it's also something the animators probably aren't used to. I assume I that, that the yeah. way... No, yeah, I... I don't, it doesn't surprise me because I sort of assume that the way it kind of works is that it's almost like rotoscoping where you have an actor, you, you kind of draw over something that you use as a template. Yeah. And so I would imagine that it still takes, you know, every frame you have to go through and get everything right and, and take all the lighting stuff into an account. The effects, like one of the difficulties that they would probably have is you probably got the actress like on set in the mocap suit and it's like oh damn you need to get rid of her in every single frame and then yeah put she hulk in there like someone had to do that um it's just not something you have to do if it's all digital right like if you're doing video game cutscenes, it's all it's all digital you just don't have that problem well the point they're making work. is the yes yeah, sometimes the mocaps uh capture will be useful but sometimes it's almost entirely thrown out because the animations aren't working um, right I can believe that, and I can imagine that there would just be difficulties innately with having <laughs> an actress who's probably what, like five, six, and then yeah, having like to map those onto, can she? yeah, like six foot seven inches. It's like, yeah, you're, uh, it's just not going to be the same. Um, and then trying to integrate that into a real environment as well, and also you have like only a year to get it done, <laughs> like, mm. yeah, for for nine episodes of television. 
Oh wow, I guessed right. The joke is he's stupid for thinking he had a chance with it. I was behind in the VOD. Yeah, that was it. Speaking of Shulk, any of you ever play Xenoblade? Uh, I played Xenoblade Chronicles X, but I haven't played the other ones. I hear that Xenoblade Chronicles is really cool. I As have not. As for the rest of them, I I have not played it. That's a good soundtrack, though. Xenoblade Chronicles. Mark my words, Moolah. You made us watch literal seconds of She-Hulk twerking for your own amusement, Moolah. As hilarious it was, Meowler, the chat will somehow get you back for it, Muffler. Just let it be known if I was in charge of this fucking production, that wouldn't happen. I'm just well, saying. Sometimes you gotta show chat the lows for them to appreciate the highs. <laughs> to appreciate, yes. Uh, what were those highs again? Show, but, uh, when, the... we, when we finished talking about She-Hulk, it was the a high, grand high. The highs were, the highs were when the 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 dad with the shovel. That was the high was of the, the high. four episodes. That was the high. And what a high! Ironically, the high was about hours digging. Two hours digging holes. Let's just leave it at that. I want to see more of him with his show. Marvel's yeah. Jennifer like Walters' dad. <laughs> Marvel's I want. Dad. I want to know about this. Uh, this Monkey King guy from this other dimension. This. this oh, you mean is he, I thought he was a goat demon, wasn't he? Oh yeah, the goat. Yeah, the goat demon. I yeah. want to know about yeah, this goat demon. I want to. Him versus. I want to know about King. Madison's adventures. Him, the there goblin were goblins King, the there, but there was also a goat man. It was blood, yeah, drops I, of blood I souls. Like this sounds like a whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, fuck Earth. Really? I don't care. It sucks. I want to see that. Uh, Mark. Oh wait, twenty years in EFAP, Alfred. How many good properties are left? How many stayed that way? <laughs> oh, oh that's great. <laughs> that <laughs> quote. Oh, oh wow, <laughs> busted out. Yeah, busted out the BVS quotes. <laughs> How many good Truly, properties this are is left? a dark day, stayed a dark night, way. even. Oh, such a great movie. Oh. Oh, it's it is a it is it truly one of them. It wasn't absolute piss until like the third act. That was what it really it was, fell on. It, I, I don't think know if it, wait that it was bad. Not much happened uh, in the was, first third. The first third was really slow. Well, it was, like, but I think as we were watching it, it was by the time that the third act is when it completely like it wasn't good before that, but it wasn't like the worst thing. It certainly was the worst thing in the DC. We still had when we were Granny's watching. Peach Tea was the second act, right? And the uh, yeah, tea. but like I said, I said it's it's still bad. It's just that the third act was when it collapsed completely. Sure. I remember we had that feeling, or, or like halfway through, maybe it was at well, that point I, that I'm it just really thinking back to like remember up. where Bruce is just like for some reason completely unaware of the 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 messages that are being sent to him in blood or whatever about his parents being dead on the. Was it like the oh, tax yeah, returns right, or the messages yeah, from the yeah. guy? I remember it being like we were we, we having he was giving him. yeah we were having he serious trouble him. trying to figure out what the fuck the plot line even was. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps the show should be called He Wong. See, that's the thing. If you said like, oh, wouldn't it be better to have a show that's all about Wong? Be like, I don't. Know. Maybe it would have been at some time ago. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. Mola, nothing in phase five could make me think, man, I really miss M M V O M? Oh, M O M, I guess. Uh, the foreshadowing is strong with this one. I don't this is the thing, I don't I don't see myself saying it. I see myself saying, yep, this is M O M tier, sort of thing, because that movie, like, just just obliterates every element of everything in it. It's all gone. You can't really be worse than that other than doing the same thing and just having more happen in the amount of time. Which I guess Avengers movies could do, but again, I'd still just put them in the same category for the most part. Like, something could be worse than M.O.M., but I don't think I'll ever say, like, man, I wish we could have M.O.M. again. This is like, no. <laughs> yeah, well, nothing. I wish nothing. <laughs> yeah. Never. Exactly. Never. My fiancé just left me yesterday, and today my grandma died. It comes in threes, I've heard. Sorry for bringing the mood down. You guys really helped me distract myself. I'm going to use this pain to lift weights now and try and get better. Uh, God bless. Uh, I got you. Very glad that we could you know, occupy your time for a while, and hopefully you enjoyed yourself, and it took your mind off things for a, for a bit. We appreciate having you here, and that's why we boot up these streams and chat about these wonderful pieces of media is... Hopefully we can we can recycle all of this content into some form of joy. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, ho mm -hmm. Hopefully it gets better as the days go by. Uh, 
uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. get get swole, as they say. Absolutely. Uh, maybe they think he's an idiot because in Doctor Strange he doesn't know what Beyonce is, you know, because uh, he's monk of the mystic arts. The thing is, like, I can believe he doesn't know who Beyonce is if he works at, you know, Kamataj. But I don't believe yeah. he doesn't understand the concept of lore. That's just silly. And the, I don't even know that it's... Does he no, not know who Beyonce is or is it just he doesn't listen to her music? I can't remember if it was... So you just never heard of Beyonce, because I guess that is a little bit strange, but it just means that he's not plugged into mainstream shit at all. But that's again, like that's not the same thing as not knowing what law is, right? But yeah. Uh, She-Hulk. We need to uphold America's laws. Wong. America. Chavez. Oh yeah, I did re remember the written that out. So it's, it's, that's the kind of dialogue you can expect now. Uh, laugh my ass off. These dudes are cousins of the Dawn. I mean, the guys who are, like, just trying to ask women out and are being considered disgusting. It's like... Yeah. That's right. I said he was... Yeah, he was Don 2.0. I mean, because you present it almost in a... Like, with the Don, you're like, okay, I guess that was... Like, I guess you did touch her map slightly. That's, I suppose, on, on the spectrum of offense, that, that's somewhere on the spectrum of offense, I suppose. But Dennis, I guess that's his name, he... What a... He... Uh, what is your problem with it? <laughs> like, have you ever been out, like, in the world among humans? If this is... It makes me think these people have never actually been harassed because they think this is what harassment is. Was it like, he's a lawyer with a six-figure bank account number and, and he's trying to date someone and she's like, what a fucking idiot you are. It's like, all right... Obviously, if you're simply referring to the fact that he, with his personality traits, you would never be able to get that far with anyone. That's one thing, but they seem to treat it as though much more of a, like, you know, uh, Megan the Stallion is just too good for you. Like, okay. Uh, Wings quote of the day. Sometimes eating less isn't the answer. Sometimes eating more is the answer. <laughs> They said in brackets, I don't think this plan worked out. I, what what would the context have been for saying sometimes eating more is the answer? Maybe an eating contest? Where the guy's like, oh, how I do I win this so. eating contest? And someone's like, you know, Gotta sometimes eat eating more is the answer. Uh, someone asked, doesn't he listen to Beyonce in the, in the movie, though? It's like, yeah, that's after he's made aware of her. He then starts listening to her music. Full joke. Oh, he -he. Um, dogs have heat vision. Yes, that's a real fact. It's true. It's true. Hey. I can see in heat. That's typically that. That's it's an option. It's an option that I have. I I have like it's like predator vision. You could cycle through all the different. You know, generally I just have my normal vision on because that's what everyone else uses, and you know, it, it just. Yeah, it's just easy like that. But if I ever am in a dark room and I have to find something hot or cold, cha ching cha ching, you, know, you just hmm. sort of swap your vision there. My eyes did the ch -ch -ch -ch, and then you can see. Yeah, Yo, ch -ch -ch. like transformer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, just like transformers. Australia, what the actual fuck of the day, Yara Mayahu? Just read its wiki. God, why, Fringy, why? Also, high metal, JK, high rags, fuck you, metal. So, they want you to wiki that. Wiki, wiki! Yada my yeah, Yahoo. Yada my Yahoo! Is this one of the doctors? Uh, I'm assuming it's some kind of spooky right, plant so that makes you kill yourself or whatever. It's, uh, it's from the cryptid wiki, so it's some sort of critter. Uh, let's see. I will give you a picture and I will read you the description. Oh my gosh, it's from Australia. All right, let me. They have a they have a little spot spots on the map here. That's the that is the Yarama Yahoo. The Yarama Yahoo is a blood sucking creature from Aboriginal folklore that lurks in the treetops until a person would walk under it, and then it would leap from the tree onto the person, suck almost all its blood, then it would swallow them whole. After swallowing the poor soul, it would regurgitate the person up, take a drink of water and nap 
Then wake up to puke the person out over and over. And as it does this, he or she will become shorter and redder each time until they themselves become a Yaramayahu. Wow, I would have thought they'd just die once all their blood's gone. But alright. Pretty creepy. Is the existence of a Yaramayahu like pain, or is it chill? Because then get it, that changes the fear of getting turned into one, you know? Maybe maybe they maybe they got it right. Maybe they uh, No, it, it doesn't change the fear at all for me, honestly. Whether they you know how they personally feel about it or you know what life led this led them to that point. It sounds horrific. Through really, and through. you becoming a Yaramayahu, you don't care one way or the other if they have a happy existence. Well, I suppose my current mindset is not revolving around the inevitability I will become one. It's avoiding that happening in the first place. I would find it to be a slightly less horrifying experience if I knew that by the time I turn into the Yaramayahu, I'm going to be happy. Do my I suppose so. If my, if it, it's like, um, yeah, I guess so. Though I can't imagine that it's, I don't know. I, well, let me, let me offer this. Mm. If you did that to people and you were happy doing it, that's almost like a different kind of hellishness, isn't it? I suppose the so. The fact that that would, that kind of evil would bring you joy but, makes me kind of want to avoid it even more in a sense. Well, you, you're doing it either way, right? What if you really despise doing it, but you do it because you just, you know, which is the which is the worst existence there? Oh, I don't know. Like it's there's the, there's an element of if I was happy doing it, yeah, sure, that'd be better for me personally. But there's some, uh, it just feels wrong. I, you know, it feels wrong for me to want myself to be happy doing that. Like it, it's not I know, we've, right we've that I should quite feel that way. A conundrum because thing. if you we choose really the other, it's like who have you benefited at all? Nobody, and you've just made your life worse. I'm not going to pray to be a to to be an... <laughs> you want to generally avoid becoming a Yaramayahu is what you're saying. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I'm trying to use the Kennedy quote. It's like do not pray to be a happy Yaramayahu. Pray to pray to be a stronger human or dog in my case. I'm not sure how that one translates. I think you got it. Mubsley, do any British people unironically say blimey? A few of the people who are like 90 years old, but that's about it. Oh, blimey. I don't think that's really... It's not said around me much. Maybe I'm an anti-blimeist, but... Uh, I, don't, I don't even say it. I should, I should say that more. Blimey. Get on that. Are you a Hulk first or a lawyer first? No bullshit. Wait, Asking. wait, 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 wait. We just talked question. to we just talked about an Australian monster for that long, and Fringy didn't say a word. What do I do? You, do just because I'm Australian, you demand <coughs> you demand that I chime in. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, you demand it. Jeez. Well, I, I demand it. So, well, I've got no choice but to. I've never heard of that it, uh, critter before. Yeah, if you don't give us your opinion, the Yaramayahu will jump down from his tree. Uh, I mean, and it's a scary concept, I would say, based on that description. Wow, what, um, what yeah, insight. I, I just... Gosh. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Concept. I don't know that much about We it. already I said all like that you... part for you. I would like I you mean. to try a little harder. Right, yeah, think. apply yourself. What, 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 do you, what do you want from I, me? Why Mahler, do I, like... Mahler, are your shoulders tired from, from carrying this <laughs> conversation? Because I feel like my shoulders are just... Wow. Oh, and I was shooting right, on God, Monday, and I just feel... <laughs> Me and Rags pose this very interesting question. I have this great back and forth about this Yaramayahu, and there you are, playing fucking Splatoon, not knowing what's even happening. Are you playing Splatoon? Oh, yeah, Fringy, <laughs> what do you think about, is, is Splatoon 3 come out yet? It is out, I'm playing Splatoon 3. How is Splatoon 3? Um, I've been enjoying it. I think um, something I'm wondering as I'm playing it more is, uh, it is a very iterative sequel. It is an incredibly iterative sequel. It's only like tweaks and feels... improvements, a couple new weapons, which is fine. Um, I guess I, I wonder if the game is as content rich as it probably ought to be, given that, you know? Like if, uh, if, if there's not going to be any substantial changes to the core, which are kind of unnecessary. Um, 
you know, how much more content should be in the game. I I wonder, because um, the last game, intro, Splatoon 2 introduced a campaign and uh, co-op. So those are like pretty major additions. This one has all of those same modes. Um, so it only really has a couple new modes, a couple new uh, weapon types. but And yet, it's been like five years since uh, 2. Uh, and 2 was only two years separated from the first one. Um, so I'm not sure. I've, I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's a really fun game. Uh, I guess I wonder how substantial of, a, of an upgrade it is. Um, or if it's more like just minor improvements and tweaks. But yeah, I'm happy with it. It's, it's fun. Someone said Rags is almost three beers in. No, I've just finished the first. Oh my yeah. god. I'm operating entire- I am completely lucid. If you can believe it. I'm just enjoying this conversation. I just mm -hmm. love to be here. With all my friends talking about Sheikh. Yahoo's that's Shulks. Yarmy Yahoo's Platoons. Shuckles. Shuckles, yeah. <laughs> Demons from the Hell Dimension, yeah. Thanks for streaming on my birthday. I know you did it on purpose. That's true. I was, that's I was right. like, that guy's birthday's today, we best stream. And we were like, oh shit, yeah, let's do it. And we did. I will say it is there we try to stream on everyone's birthday. We yeah. do. However, Chances are that if your birthday is on a Saturday or a Wednesday, we'll probably get to you first. Um, well, I mean, everybody's birthday is going to eventually fall on a Wednesday. I was going to say we've Saturday, covered but most birthdays, I think, right at this point. Well, if yeah, well, if it's four years, yeah, I yeah. think after four years, it's it's in fact it's it would be downright uh, Again, un unlikely to not have been. Uh, yeah, if you include all of the uh, bonus shit we do, up and everything, yeah, I feel like we're getting there. Oh yeah, let me check to see which one was on my birthday. Can can you Can I check that? Uh, <laughs> you checking see. well, you could check the Booler uploads, yeah. Yeah, I want I want to see if I could just search for date in like the little search bar and it shows up. Um No, can Is there a way to search that let me go to filters? Upload date. It just says like this month, this week, this today, last hour. Is there a way to do that? I wish I because I would be curious which one because we're talking about it. Which one was on my birthday? Um, let me go. I guess I got I got a Mueller and I'll just videos. So this month is September. So I'm fucking terrible with months. What What does it mean to be terrible with months? Like, what is the source of confusion? Being able to, I've always had difficulty. I have to use my fingers to count which month is which number month, right? I've just never been able to, I just always have done that. So if you told right, me like, right, oh, which right. month of the year is June? I'd be like, ah, and then I'd have to count it out because I just don't remember. I see. Because cause like you would say, oh, September is obviously 7th and October is obviously 8th. No, nope, nah, bitches. Nah, that's a holdover. It's not how the world works. So... I got a uh, April, so that one's April. Oop do. Or maybe if it's this one. Nope. Damn it. The Keffels one. No, not Keffel. Uh, Denims and All Relevant is the Arcane Super Chat catch up. No. Uh, we got to go back further. Well, let's see. I'm so curious. I need to know. While you we're getting search, closer. Okay. We'll simply read some more. Hey, That's Rags. fair. That's fair. Hello. Hola. Hello. And Fringy. Yo. Been Fringy. watching EFAP at work for a few months, finishing episode 50. I'll catch up eventually. May the dawn be with you. Well, enjoy the adventure, sir. We'll see you when you catch up. Of all the unbelievable things in the show, the fact she can't get Tinder matches is baffling. Guys are desperate. She should have at least a hundred matches. <laughs> yeah. Are they trying to make a yeah, point? Yeah, I think I commented on uh, that while I was watching it. That trying to make a point. She hulk gets the results. Because men... No, men, they don't want attractive, uh, intelligent, hardworking lawyers with prestigious degrees. Nuh-uh. They want green monster ladies 
Um, I mean, I, mean, this, I would this, imagine that like, there were plenty of people who would sleep with She Hulk. Yeah, yeah totally. Exactly. Okay, no, I yeah, I totally would. Fucking in a second. It's just that the idea that she as a human doesn't get anyone interested. Oh, I'm like, yeah, I just don't. There's no way. Um, I don't no believe you. I just don't believe you. You're an attractive, successful, you know, lawyer. And you, like, people haven't met you yet, so they don't know that you're an insufferable cunt, so you can't use that as an excuse. Of course you get matches. I already assumed you were going from the whole they hadn't met them yet when you said she was intelligent. Oh, well, I, well, people see lawyer and they assume you're intelligent. Yeah, yeah. Right. Generally, I, I don't think it's unreasonable to assume people are intelligent no, I, I if they are a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, phase four? Seems like four is death after all. I mean, kind of, yeah. Those were five oh, and six. I guess two. I went through Mueller. There is this year, there's not one on my birthday. There's one the day after my birthday, which is our finale for Boba Fett. Ba, 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 finale ba. episode for Boba Fett. More and gang at She Hulk episode four with the voice of Martin Blower from Hot Fuzz. Stop writing. Wong is such a titanic tismic turd. Oh, true. Just stop writing. Stop writing. <laughs> Oi, Morley. Finally started Buffy with the wife. And I gotta ask if you see this too. Is... And they got a question. Um... Nah, I, th I, think, I think you'd agree. The two characters getting played there are completely different. And uh, neither, I think, are, uh, are bad in any way. I mean, I could see where you go in terms of his the inspiration of it, sort of. But and as with high rags and Fringold. Hello. Yo. Joy. Has anyone checked out Edge Runners on Netflix? No. No. That's no, uh, a uh, documentary on it's, uh, Sonic, Shadow of a Hedgehog. Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven uh, anime. Whoa. Oh. Do you think they like commissioned that before it turned out to be a, a horrific, terrible mess? Well, and so that... I, I'm pretty sure uh, City Project Red recently said that they plan to like continue building their little cyberpunk universe, so they're not giving up on it. I mean, I guess. probably the better. All thing right, to do. it's probably the smart thing to do. Um, especially yeah, with how much fix that reputation, lads. Well, because I think there's yeah, an kind of happening for that, but that expansion is it for 2077, and that's the end, and then they'll be moving on to, I guess. 2078, I guess. What would you call the sequel? I am far more okay with Dice abandoning a battlefield and admitting it was all terrible a mistake, and they'll never do it again. I'm I'm wow. actually kind of fine with that, but I'm not fine with them abandoning like something like Cyberpunk. That's totally I think, different. Um, you know? I'm pretty sure that uh, I think it's Marcus Leto. He was the art director on uh, a lot of the Bungie Halo games. Um, he's now in charge of like narrative or something at at at, uh, at Dice. Or like I think he might be the creative director of the of the series. It's something like that. I think um, the guy who's been in charge of Battlefield basically since it began has left. There's been a lot of high prof. Bonnie Ross left three four three, and they've got like now major well, we changes. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I posted that link in there. There was a lot of a lot of shakeups think, uh, and changes engine, with. I'm uh, sure that the, 343. the engine lead at three four three is also gone too. The guy who was like the lead on the engine. So yeah, lots of uh, the engine profile. lead. The guy who was the lead on the engine. Yes, he is the lead on the engine. It's his fault, <laughs> like more so his his responsibility, because the engine's got some cool aspects to it, and it seems like um. It seems like Forge is going to be really cool, but man, desync. What what happened? Like, what was what's the problem there? Man, they bungled that game so much. Yeah, they I have... was really looking forwards to a good Halo game. Uh... Yeah. Oh well, no, no, I no, still no, have my no old mistake. other things to play. Uh, honeymoon period of like, man, this is really fun, and then oh, yeah, this is it. <laughs> oh, this is it, and even what we had was, you know, it was. Ter well, not terrible, you know? That's, not terrible that's at all. I, I think it's got a good core. It's, well, if we yeah. don't include the fact that, the yeah, the desync issue, which is a big yeah. one. I knew there was something about that game that was just like, because I'm pretty not darn good at first-person shooters. And so when I whenever I pick up one, 
and things just don't add up. I notice, and that, that just seemed to happen so much playing that game, where I was like, this, like this is a game that's most like other first person shooters, but this is the Halo that I seem to be doing the worst at, and I'm like, something's weird here. Yeah, I, can I, I go feel straight. it. Well, I can just feel when you snipe it. somebody, it's like I know I hit that guy. Yeah, it's uh, it's I'll just unload into enough. people and. I'll just yeah. like die. And MCC just, yeah. had the same issue as well. Like it was, it, I, I can't remember. It was, it's a video. It's like madness at three, four, three, or it was like some sort of comprehensive, just breakdown of uh, what three, four, three's tenure on Halo was essentially um, brought about. And um, one of the things that was shown was like, you'd have these competitive games of like Halo three on like MCC where some guy would snipe somebody and you can literally see blood popping out of the guy that he shot and it doesn't register. Yeah, because um, I like, the, generally in him. games, those blood effects are <laughs> client side, yeah. And then everybody in chat, like on the live stream, is like, blood, <laughs> this game's like, what happened? It's just totally it happens. Broken. Yeah, the, the blood effects are a really good way to sort of know that it's happening because... Yeah. In games, it'll it'll almost always happen to some degree. In games, the idea is you gonna have it as little and as as, as, as few times as possible. Yeah. yeah. But in the case of MCC, it's been a persistent issue for years, yeah. and um, I'm pretty sure that there was a video that that a guy made that was highlighting the desync issue, and they were like devs at three four three. I think they were on like the pro team, the in house pro team, like making fun of that video. Um. It's like, man, oof, he's pointing out like a real issue in the game. <laughs> it's like not a great move to make fun of make fun of him for that, but Yeah, when it know. happens in a game, it should surprise and shock me. It shouldn't be like, oh, it happened again. Great. Yeah. Have you seen the trailer for Marvel's Werewolf by Midnight? Uh yeah. No. I have, I have not. It's uh, it's like this little. I think uh, Michael. I always fuck up. Giacchino, the composer, is actually directing it. It's like this little one-off um, Halloween special. Kind of looks interesting. It's like it doesn't look like other stuff that they make. Like it seems to be going for more of like a vintage camp style. Like it, it looks unique for what Marvel typically does. Cool. Hello, Massives. To each of you, what is your most disliked trope used by writers to explain away inconsistencies in plot or characters? Uh... I, I often get frustrated um... whenever they make a character drunk, because I'm like, oh no, are they going to make them right, do a crazy thing? Yeah. There is really plot critical. Yeah, like, uh, especially yeah. at a particularly critical time. It's like, oh, yep, they got drunk now of all times, and now everything's right. fucked. Whenever a character says, as you all know, that tends to be annoying, because it's like, <laughs> uh, yes, as we all know, so be sure to explain it in complete and utter detail. Yeah, even the... I th yeah. When people know, make emotional appeals a lot of the times, as if it can explain sort of everything, a lot of the times, kind of like they did with Wanda, right? You know, she was sad. Well, so she was, like, oh, was grief-stricken, plus the book, if ever you... If ever you wonder like, the book, <laughs> it's just like, guys, you didn't do a very good job of explaining the book. You just sort of, it's very confusing, like in terms of just how much the book has influence or not. Uh, but I think they just wanted to sort of, you fill that gap with the book. In the same way for Gore, by the way, fill the gaps with just the sword. The sword did it. If, if you think that works, it did it. Um, yeah, and, and someone has said in chat, lampshading as a form of explaining. Just like, yeah, we noticed it too. It's like, yeah. as a form what? of. <laughs> As a form of not explaining, even yeah. it's like it's yeah, like, it's, oh, like, we'll it's like a masquerade it, of explain it. Like when they highlight it, they're like they wink at the camera, and you're like, that didn't do anything. <laughs> that didn't do anything. <laughs> it's, like, it's even worse. You know, it's a problem, and you don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Play Metroid Fusion on stream with the group. What does it mean to play Metroid Fusion in a group? I do not know. <laughs> That's Fusion was a it was a two D one Metroid game, on right? Game on the Boy, Game Boy. Yeah, the, as a group, people, a Super Metroid. Super Metroid. Neat little game. Alrighty. Metroid Prime Four is a thing that's happening at some stage. That'll be cool when it's when it finally arrives. It got announced in twenty seventeen. Holy shit! Yeah. So, 
Pick a power. Alrighty. We've got teleportation, but it's limited to six times a day. Flight. It's linked to your actual stamina. Super strength, but you're limited to a 250 pound weight, I guess. Um, or laser vision. You get 15 feet of range. Could you, uh, could you write the uh, the the two? Like, uh, not the two, the, them down? Oh, well, uh, let me, if I can, because I think we can make this a little bit easier to start with. I'm assuming all three of us would knock out laser vision. Yeah, yeah that's I don't need, I do not need laser vision. Yeah, I don't need it in my life ever whatsoever, yeah. to my knowledge. Yeah, the, um, I literally can, yeah, I just... The that's... super strength one is puzzling me. The 250 pound limit makes me think, like... So like if ever I'm trying to no, lift I something and it hits 251, do I like does it break me or do I like, <laughs> like Maybe, you just turn to uh, dust? If we go with a decent I'll I'll take a good interpretation of that where that's the point where we really start to just struggle and strain to the point right, where it's not right, to that point it's effortless. Yeah. Cuz I like yeah, that one. Um, I like it too. It's my number 2 choice. I th no, it's my number 3 choice. Well, so here's the thing. Teleportation that's what I picked instantly. Yep. Oh, Once I heard I, all of them, uh, I assume yeah. assume Free's gonna know what I want to reference about. <laughs> like, I got my I got my worries about teleportation in terms of if it's oh in terms of continuity of consciousness. Yeah. Well, if it's like a portal where you step through the portal. I mean, I feel I like I, I the best the, the are... normal interpretation of teleportation is that you go bloop and you you yeah. go somewhere else. You know. Yeah, like Nightcrawler kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it depends on the mechanism by which it happens, but I do understand, like, yeah, the, if it's the Star Trek method, then I don't... Mm, nah. No thanks, bro. Which means, I mean, I guess... If it's like the... Yeah, I, I'm knocking that out for safety. If they could, if they said it was the portals from Doctor Strange or something, then yeah, I'm fine with it. That would be my pick. Yeah, I'm picking that in a heartbeat if it's the portals, but uh, if it's portal teleportation... Like Blink's uh, power. However, if it isn't, yeah. then... No, mm -hmm. uh, and so, but flight. If it was blinks, I'd take that for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Flight um, is. Or if it, uh, yeah. I can't Flight's see myself my two? using flight as much, though. I don't know. I, I it would be really fun, I, and then I'm not sure. Enjoyment. I think it's just enjoyment. Oh, so I was, I was worrying about like getting caught with that one. Because uh, obviously you'll become like a second anybody sees you flying. You're. Uh, oh yeah, the dog that can fly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that is that's Sorry, that's, that's true. Bad. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, I I know what you mean. I think I'd still take it on the risk that. I mean, obviously, you can get caught you know, with a teleportation. one too. It's just that uh, you could yeah. wear a mask while you're flying, or like go big goggles or something, and no one would know it's or you. I feel like, like you a need big, big goggles butterfly. because if you're flying around, and that is like, true. You'd probably need goggles. Speed. Yeah, you probably wear a, a motorcycle helmet, which would yeah, which would double as anonymity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But um, I think, yeah, just for fun. However, uh, that strength one, uh, don't sleep on it, because if you could effortlessly lift things of 250 uh, pounds, that's you could probably use that in a lot of uh, applications yeah. guess, throughout uh, your life. It'll, yeah. it'll, yeah, it'll, it'll be a non-stop help, that one. Yes, it'll... I guess because it's not just that... It, it's not just that it lets you lift things that heavy. It means that all the stuff you normally lift is just that much easier anyway pushing like if you could just effortlessly move everything in your house like well, one of the reasons i bet a lot of people don't you know just move stuff around is because it's a pain in the ass right but and i assume that uh, yeah that's yeah you probably got a lot of applications for that um but it, yeah assuming best version of teleportation like a, a blink or a just like you're just there, or it's a portal you step through. That's the one I'm going through. If if that's the version of uh, teleportation, it is the first choice by a mile. Yeah, now you can use I, it six times true. a day, which means that you're gonna you're essentially going to three places because you have to get back as well. Um, uh, unless you plan it out ahead and you only have to use the last one to get home. But yeah, you could go anywhere from three to five places during the day. And even days where you don't have to do much stuff, you know, if you want to just pop in and say hi to the folks, if you want to visit a relative, say hi, if you want to see a friend, if you want to just sightsee around mm, the world, yeah. you just go like, boom, I would love to go to the Grand Canyon or I'd love to go to Yosemite National Park. You know, I could go um, there. Is called Yosemite? Yosemite. Yeah, it is. I was, yeah, I was just. Is that, that's a meme, isn't it? It I is a meme. So. 
<laughs> I, yeah, hope, I hope Yosemite was a meme. Yeah, I hope that we is, haven't learned something new today. No, no, it, it is a meme. Don't no, do not you okay. worry. I haven't been there, but a, I would really like to go. Is that a familiar meme chat calling Yosemite Yosemite? Per like, well, Yosemite Sam. Now, okay. <laughs> Yosemite Sam. <laughs> Oh, really. apparently it isn't him. Okay, you've been you you've been uh you've been so saved it, by chat well, today. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, it's a little thing uh, where you purposefully mispronounce something. Yeah, uh, but you have someone said regarding flight. How do you solve the how do you solve the icing problem? If you are flying so high, so it's going to be limited to your stamina was built into the question, which means that I'm never going to fly too high for fear that I'll get tired. I don't know if there's like a gliding element that comes into it, or if you get like exhausted, you could glide down slowly. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I'd ever fly so high yeah. that ice would become an issue because you have to, you have to go. Fuck that, Rack. I want to be like Icarus and fly into the sun. Fuck that. Well, Contrary to, to popular belief, the further you go up, it does not get warmer. <laughs> So hey, I, yeah, I, it does eventually I once you get real close. I guess once you get to, I guess once you get to the sun, I, he once did you that, get to the, okay. you once you leave the atmosphere, you can, you'll, you'll be like fried on one side and freezing on the other side. Well, that didn't happen in TLJ, so I don't know what you're talking about. The whatever fucking monstrosity. But yeah, it it would. I think the flight thing would be mainly for just the just the enjoyment of it the thrill of it and that will get different mileage for different people like i love roller coasters and just the feeling of vertigo and stuff like that i i really like it so i'd probably get a whole bunch of value out of just being able to fly around uh, even if it was limited by stamina to some degree i'm a pretty healthy uh, guy uh, though it would diminish in effectiveness through your life as you just became older and not as but you could be you could be fucking fit as shit as an old person, but that's something you have to really work at. Uh, but yeah, like Boogie, like if he chose flight, he'd just be able to jump high. Oh my god! Why would you even say that? His <laughs> flight was limited <laughs> by sure his him, oh, he could just about manage a float a meter above the floor or something. <laughs> he's like, uh, I just need to get. Good... Yeah, it's basically like he's like a big balloon floating around. It's like uh, it's like Baron Diggy from uh, fuck, why am I forgetting his name? Baron Hawkinen. Oh yeah, that's right. Like By the way, yo, I met up with some friends last weekend. That's why I was gone from the EFAP. We played this kick-ass Dune board game. It's I think it's the game. I think is from the like late seventies or something, but they re-released it for the Dune movie that came out a few years ago. And I, I need to uh, let me see if I can get a picture of it. OK, it is. I'll post it in chat here. We played this Dune board game and it is fucking. It's got some elements that I don't like about it, but what I had a great time playing this game with a bunch of, you know, a bunch of friendos. Um, I played as the Bene Gesserit. Uh, there's all these factions and each faction have their own, you know, rule set and win conditions. And it's a little bit complicated to learn the rules at first. But then once you get them down, you could really go through things. I really highly, um, highly recommend Dune the board game. All right. Yeah. Good shit. Gonna say something. I've completely once again on. plays the woman. I it was actually random. We actually divvied up factions uh, randomly. Um, we had my. I was the Bene Gesserit, and I made an alliance with the Fremen player, and we did fucking pits. Uh, and then oddly enough, well, there there were three other players, and two of them who were House Atreides and House Harkonnen. They made an alliance as well. So, and then we had the Spacing Guild as our other player. Uh, so it was really, it was really fun. It was oh. really fun. Highly recommend if you want a meaty game, a meaty board game. You think the supervillains meet up? Movie Bob has that same problem Boogie does with that whole thing, and he's like, they're all sharing their powers. Bob's like, I, I can fly, and they're like, fly, like, yeah, fly, and you know, some other guy there who's like a supervillain too, but he can also fly. He's like doing all these cool, awesome, fast tricks, and he's like. 
butterfly too, and then Movie Bob just slowly rises a couple centimeters off the ground and just goes forward. And he's like, you can float. He's like, no, I can fly. And he's like, yeah, that's not really flying, is it? That's more of a float. He's like, no, I can fly. And then they have to, like, submit their powers to be approved of by some kind of agency. One Punch Man style. And they're just like, the judges have to decide whether that counts as flying or floating. What would be the line? How would you guys figure that out? Or is floating a different uh, process? Is that how it's determined? I don't know. Does flying Generally have anything something... to do with aerodynamics? I don't know. Of Does flying have anything well, to do with I aerodynamics? I guess what I'm saying is, does flying, is there a definition of flying that pertains to, you know, like how planes achieve lift and stuff? Like, is that process specifically, like, partially what defines flight versus other things? Because floating, I think birds I would achieve assume... lift, right? If I was going to, um, if, 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 if I was going to make like a legal difference, especially, it would probably be how you, it's flight, as long as you can propel at a certain speed probably, and direction. Yeah. And it's That'd floating probably, yeah. if you just, it, it like, <laughs> it's, if you, ver it's almost like extremely slow flight. Generally. <laughs> okay, so, hovering. Hovering and floating would be synonymous, I think, in legal terms. I think hovering and floating are the same, but I would though both of those would be the, the the different words for the same thing, hovering and floating, which is almost like like flight's little bit sister, know, right? Someone did chat highlight the answer to this. What do I imagine would happen if Movie Bob only got off the floor by like a couple of centimeters? If he was off the floor and then he went over the edge of a cliff, I'm picturing he would immediately plummet. So it must be tied then I, to he's pushing off from the floor rather than only able to. Yeah, you know maybe I mean? it would take it would take him longer to f get to terminal velocity, or maybe it's like a balloon, right? Maybe, yeah. Like if you threw a balloon off a cliff, it's like, well, it's gonna go down all the way. It'll just do it slowly because you're 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 exerting force upwards with your flight power, but you don't have much stamina or strength, so that force is not enough to overcome gravity so you're just falling at a slower speed than you would if you were just following falling normally i would assume is lift if is lift based on forward or upward propulsion i think it is a f i think it is an upward based because thrust so, is your right? forward propulsion thrust is forward lift is up drag is back and gravity is down let me, I think man, I, Wikipedia I think is probably so. the best friend on this. I, I, mean, so I this am not an airplane-o man. Yeah, I never learned about aerodynamics, like, or maybe I did not totally forgot about but it. But I, I think this is why there, this is what the, the altitude limit is for planes. It is set by the air, as far as I know, the atmosphere eventually gets too thin to provide enough lift Sounds about right. for the, for the, for the remember, planes uh, to stay up. It was in that film Everest. Not enough molecules. Um, where, like, the guy who got rescued via helicopter, it was incredibly difficult because the air was so thin that high up in Everest that, like, yeah. helicopters are, uh... Yeah, well, uh, so it's chat. Someone said, uh, there's a never-ending debate on whether our uh, lift is downward or upward. Okay, right. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I can't... Really? I assumed it was upwards. Well, so I've looked up on Wikipedia, aerodynamic force has like a little diagram that has lift as an arrow upward and drag is, yeah, like in the drag, drag is, is back. Yeah. L yeah. Li lift is an upward acting force. That's what, that's what makes the plane, allows the plane to stay in the air because the well, bottom like, of the wings produce. Wiki Wikipedia says lift is the force. <laughs> Wikipedia says lift is the force component perpendicular to the direction of relative motion. Okay. Alrighty. So, yeah. Yeah. How can lift not so, be up again? I don't know. I've. I, I don't know. Lift is totally up. Up. the show for this. Lift. <laughs> I will. Well, I will. We'll, we'll I'm pretty confident lift is an upward so, like, force. I imagine that it makes it's intuitively it makes sense as an upward force. Sure. Lift up, weight down, drag back, thrust forward. If, if thrust is a part of like. Uh, Aero, this, uh, by the way, is aero. the judge's conversation, and Movie Bob's just floating in front of them, waiting to know if he counts <laughs> as a flyer. He just wants to know. 
<laughs> then the judge just pulls up Wikipedia and starts reading it. It's like, but, yes, okay. I, f- uh, I found <laughs> a movie. Robert, do you have uh, Lyft? <laughs> He's like, yeah, no. um, maybe. Do you eat Lyft? Oh, okay. Uh, thrust is also an aerodynamic force. What? Yeah, that makes sense. However, only only two exist in space. Can you guess which two they are? Uh oh! What? Only two of the aerodynamic. Only two of the forces. four. Yes. Um. Well, there wouldn't be drag. Um, gravity there's no still wind exists re- in there's space. There's no air resistance. There's yeah. There's gravity in space. Um, it's just weaker or stronger depending on where you are. Um, and then, when you say it exists, there, do you mean it can or does? If, if you know what I mean, because obviously you can put thrusters in space. Create. Thrust, mm-hmm. correct. If if you have if in the near vacuum of space, can you achieve uh, thrust though, with uh, with an abs- absence of air? Isn't like thrust? Isn't thrust? Uh, yeah, because thrust is created by propellers and jet engines. On which can they do anything? Like in in space. Well, well obviously, we thrust call, can we exist thrust in space in because space, we have though, rockets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. Rockets. Yeah. yeah. I'm idiot. yeah like, this is, <laughs> by the way, this is, this is something. Yeah, we have. Uh, this is something I've seen uh, flat earthers say that space doesn't make sense because you have to be you have to you have to have a medium to push off of in order for thrust to work, which is not at all how physics works. But the the only two forces that act on you in the vacuum of space are going to be uh, weight. And thrust. Wait, sorry, hold on. I thought, isn't the difference between mass and weight that, like, weight is relative? Or am I mixing them up? Weight, weight is the force of gravity on an object. Yeah, but mass is the description of, like, the... Ah, shit. And now How much is actually up. in the thing, essentially. Yeah. How much so stuff the thing you're is. You're saying that the only two things that you have in space are weight and thrust. Yeah, because lift and drag which is going to be created by your movement through air. They're going to be absent in the vacuum of space. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, why was gravity even in the mix then? Because weight. Weight is the oh, force. Oh, right, I see. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. But it's just, yeah. Because there's always gravity. It's just weaker or stronger. Or like basically impercept- imperceivable, but it's always present. So in... in yeah, and, and and chat as I someone had mentioned it, the uh in the vac in the near vacuum of space, right? You will still we call it weightlessness, but I mean there is a force of gravity that will pull you towards the planet. But well, it's it, it's, it's, uh, it's that little fun fact, dude, right? Every single thing in the universe, in every place, in all times, is exerting some level of influence on on yes. you, even the if law it's of like universal gravitation. I'm influencing yeah, even you if guys. it's billions and billions. What's that? Influencing. Yeah, and I'm you influencing are. you. Me. Listen, just because you just because you have a gravitational influence on me from Wales doesn't mean you need to make these five hour long videos on multiverse of madness. Okay. Right. Well I'll have you know I just no made a seven hour long video with you. Oh right, because think about yeah, that. Is, is a video in the same way that a video is edited. I suppose, yeah, I say it made a seven hour. It could, it could end up being an eight hour. I don't even know. I suppose I'll find out by reading the next Super Chat. Sure. That's the end of the physics discussion. It says, Hi guys, you should he knows about the movie Severance with Danny Dyer. I, you have. I'm this Halloween. I am. I remember that one. Uh, I don't remember it being that good, but it might be funny. Um, we'll be busy this Halloween movie watching, but maybe someday. Hi, Rags. Hello. I got a Ruga Max 9 for everyday carry. Do you have a favorite red dot site, or do you prefer iron sites? Um, I don't have a favorite red dot site uh, for... I, I guess I don't have a favorite. I've tried a variety that worked just fine, but I do prefer, um, yeah, I do not prefer iron sights to like red dot sights. Red dot sights are very amazing. Uh, they're, they're, scopes and red dot sights are very amazing. 
Uh, I do not at all prefer iron sights over them. However, shooting with iron sights is a good skill that you should know because it trains your ability to just shoot well in general. Uh, how how you align two different things and keeping your aim steady and just teaching your eyes what to focus on and how to look down, you know, a rifle sights to a target. It's very important and you should know how to shoot with irons, but they are not, irons are not superior at all to, what about you know, modern laser sighting sights. systems. Laser, laser sights. Lasers. I, do, I have a laser sight um, on my, uh, on a Glock of mine. However, I've never actually used it to shoot. Um, because I, I haven't, I haven't used it to shoot. Though it's on one of my Glocks, I haven't used that aspect. Because it was this last time, last couple times I took it to shoot. It was during the day, and I was shooting a fair distance. Uh, however, just you could, it, and it doesn't produce the like in video games. Gen, generally, you're just going to see a dot where you're pointing it. There's not going to be like a red laser going to it, mm -hmm. but. I can see how it can be an incredibly useful thing if you're in a sufficiently dark enough environment for it to actually show up on a target. Uh, they often like that really visual for... movies where they have like a dark place and several soldiers come in with all their laser sighted guns and just kill the. Yeah, like, the they really like that. But of course, there's, there's oh, cool. it, tactically, you obviously don't want to have a big it gives you laser. A way, yeah. Where, yeah, absolutely. Well, in video in, games, um, it's used as a negative to balance things. In, in Predator fact. 2, they're torches that give them away, isn't it? Predator's like, oh, I'm going to get yeah. you. And then he gets them. Look up the Chaos Agent skin in Fortnite. It has a familiar appearance. It's the one that looks like me. Everyone always links. Chaos Agent. Yeah, he's the gas mask wearing, uh, smartly dressed man. Interesting. Complete rip off, of course. Terrible. Terrible. Victory has a thousand fathers because everyone wants the credit. Victory is an orphan because no one wants the blame. There you I go. Said, yeah, yeah. Settled. Just finished Fallout New Vegas for the first time. I'm disappointed I put it off for so long. The game's amazing. But now I have a question. On your first ever playthrough, yep. which faction did you end up siding with in the end, and why? I never. Played I think it, it was. Me either. I think it was Mister House, but I forget what my reasoning was. I think I had a misunderstanding of what you might be able to do after the, uh, you know, after the game was over, or what would happen. But I, I think on my first playthrough, I went with Mister uh, the, the House ending, or or I no, it was the robot, um, the S man. I think, yeah. Hmm. But that was, remember, that was a long time ago, so. In a galaxy far, far away. However, the, I did, and it was one of my, one, a big complaint about Fallout 4 is you get to a certain point and you get to a certain mission and it's settled. Like, you hit that point where you've committed to a faction and, and they're ending and everything. And I don't think there was a sufficient warning before that happened. So on my playthrough of Fallout 4, it's like, oh, you're with the Brotherhood now. I was like, uh, oh, okay. Um, I guess I'm with the Brotherhood now. And then it like ends your thing with all the other factions and stuff. Is it? Mm. Hmm. Wish you would have told me beforehand, but oh well. If the writers of She-Hulk became lawmakers, what laws would they make? They get rid of them all. They'd be like, these get in the way, and then they would be surprised when everything goes to shit. That would go. They would definitely have equal laws for men and women, because that's what the show is. It's very egalitarian and consistent in its... Uh... More like egolitarian. Madness. I talked to my dad about this show, and he said he liked it. I think he's lost. <laughs> 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 when, are you, when, when are you planning on doing the super chat catch up for 200 also high rags we are going to have to find so this is the thing our wednesday slots are supposed to be catching up if we need them but right now we are overflowed with things we need to cover and i don't want to fuck up like like doing half of rings of power and none of the or half of e-hulk or 
uh, you know, Andor's coming up, so what we'll we'll try and figure out is getting a couple of days to record when me, Rags, and Frankie even have a free hour or so, and then I'll edit them all together. But don't worry, that'll be signposted hardcore, the uh, ones. They will be dealt with. Will be addressed. We still got to address uh, portions of Thor and Prey, too. But um, I'm hopeful we will get it all done. As we are getting these done today. You still can't believe you said syndrome is worse than screen slaver. Oh my god. Whoever. Wait, who said that? Nobody. They, they, they're fucking with you. Nobody, hopefully, yeah. I don't even like remember anything about screen slaver. Uh, just that that was the villain? Yeah. I don't remember. Dude, I I'm, the same. I'm actually legit the, the same right now. I, I know the visual too, but I can't remember what their motive was. She hated yeah. superheroes because uh, they made people weak and complacent and reliant on them instead of relying on themselves. Ooh. That feels like it's a it could it's a good idea for a hero. That, that feels pretty poorly. Um, yeah, like that's yeah. an idea that I'm a okay with that as a concept. Because I think a more meaningful way to explore that would be if societally we get complacent because of the existence of superheroes, rather than yeah. individuals who aren't really in a position to protect themselves relying on superheroes to help them in, in times of crisis. Especially like, what if your you... your thing is screen slaver and your your issue is with superheroes. Like it sounds like your issue is just with like modern civilization turning people soft. It's like, yeah. Well, but... I mean if she's using technology to would abet her ends, right? Like that's probably something worth exploring. But I don't know the I I don't know what it is, but Incredibles 2 is like pretty obviously less interesting in terms of what it has to say about superheroes in the first one. Yeah. Like, Syndrome is a great idea for a villain. Screen Slaver is like, I guess it's okay. It could be done really well. Um, but, could be. Yeah. yeah. Spelling the alphabet backwards is a strange power. Yeah, I can't do Yo, that. I've got an aunt who can do that. She could just do it. And I've never been able to. I mean, I, I imagine all of us would be able to do it if we put our minds yeah, to learning practice, it. But, like, I just yeah. don't know why I would. I Uh, um, righty, where? Oh, Fringy is suspiciously quiet during this discussion about the Yaramahu. Yeah. People are theorizing that, that. He, might, he might be a Yaramahu. That could be why. I no, that's not. I've never even heard of of that critter. It, yeah, <laughs> I've never heard of it either. So have I. Rags, had, had you ever heard of this crazy creature before? I'd I'd never heard of it. No, never yeah. heard of the Yara Mayahu. See the rainbow serpent. I'm familiar with with the old rainbow serpent. Mm -hmm. That's a much more uh, well known dream time story. True. Oh, I don't know about the rainbow serpent. Do uh, tell uh, us about the rainbow serpent. So, well, as I believe, as I understand it, I believe the rainbow serpent was essentially responsible for creating the world as he like traversed the land, and by doing that, it created mountains and whatnot. Neat. Um, I can't remember much beyond that, though. It's more the visual, and, and the, a rainbow serpent is, is like a, a nifty little thing. It's like, um, Rainicorn, right? Uh, Adventure Time. Oh, yeah, right. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's, it's similar to that. Um, except, I guess one is a... Well, she's a long unicorn, right? Yeah. Oh, Molly, like you like that. I like long. Uh, consider this. Super speed up to light speed, but you can't instant stop. You slow down by dropping up to half of the current speed per minute. Jesus Christ. That would take forever to get back to normal. Light speed, half of light speed, then half that, half that, half that, half that, once per minute. How long does that take to get back to normal? I, I don't even know. Someone will be able to figure that out though, right? I don't know. I assume any, it probably wouldn't, if it's by minute, I mean, if you cut that in half, I mean, it's like, it gets, hmm, because half light speed, then a quarter, then an eighth, then, yeah, um, I don't know how long that would take, because I assume you'd hit to a, you, you'd get to a point where you could just, like, stop normally and safely, but, I mean, that would, that wouldn't take, like, I don't, would that take that long? I guess it's going to be relative. If you're having how it long every is long minute? to you? I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, so let, let's see. Speed of speed of light. 
All right. So let's take that in meters a second. Let's go to our calculator. Okay. Divided by two. Someone's like, you can't just slow um, down instantly from light speeding. It's like, we also can't travel at light speed as just a human being. We can't travel at light speed. <laughs> but yeah. it's, when they try and pull real physics on me, when it's like a clear fantasy question. <laughs> so in only, I would say in 20 minutes, you will have gone from light speed to 143 meters a second. And that's 20 minutes. So... That is totally doable. I mean, a, pli a, a, a plane flight will begin its descent, so to speak. You know, it, it could be, you know, 30, 25 minutes as it sort of begins its descent stage. Uh, but yeah, if after 20 minutes, you're at, let's, let's just do 10 more minutes, go to 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, in 30 minutes, you're moving at 0.1 four meters a second so yeah absolutely i was I, I had a feeling it wouldn't actually be that bad at all yeah so i'm assuming you're and you're gonna, gonna plan ahead so you're not an airplane i don't understand like how it's gonna function in terms of say i wanted to go from earth to mars i roll yeah. up my lights but i'm already fucked like in terms of trying to nail that because i'm a person if if you travel in a straight line but let me see here. Um, so distance to Mars is 82.1 million miles light speed. So uh, bah, 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 bah. how long does it take? To, let me see. How long Sorry, would it take? What's the question to determine? Give me just a second here. It looks like 250. Damn it, just tell me the question. Here, okay. Closest possible approach. Light travels at approximately... Da, da, da. A, shine, a light shining from the surface of Mars would take the following amount of time to reach Earth. Um, so I the think that's farthest... take 12, uh, 12 minutes from, from uh, Earth to Mars. Uh, so the, on average... It is just minutes. over 12 and a half minutes. Yeah, I remember that so, time doing because Earth is eight minutes or so from uh, from the sun light speed, and then Mars is like 20 minutes from the sun. So if, and, and that's average too, uh, for the uh, a farthest approach is 22 minutes. But let's right. say you take off at light speed and instantly decelerate or very, you know, very quickly start that deceleration process. I assume there is a point in time where you go light speed for X seconds or X minutes. You start the deceleration process and you're at Mars in under half an hour. So that's amazing. Well, no, your light speed is amazing. I'm saying that you got to eyeball all these things. You don't get a computer to work it out. Oh, no? Oh. Um, how the fuck are you going to have it? How is that even going to make sense? Just you controlling it. Oh, I thought it was like you, like like a you as in, not like just your body, but okay. Um, if it was just you, what were you yeah, picturing? Be, like, like a helmet, or like was... some like a computer system or technology that allows you to do this. Like I was a, picturing it as like a the form of flight, like super fast flight. Oh, okay. I yeah, I was picturing it as like a, a like an engine type or or a, a a craft, a vehicle of some sort, and that's how it. Because I I thought this was about like inertial. You know, it, 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 how do you deal with the inertia of moving at light speed? You decelerate or whatever. And even that's whatever, just the, the technology, that's the way that it works. Like if we had a, a universe where that was the like the engines that they used or the spaceships. I assume that was like the and, point of the trade off to, is that we can do it ourselves and instantly. But the, you know, the, the bad side is you're going to have to wait a significant amount of time for it to land. But my problem with that is it should take great significant issues for me to be trying to land in the specific places I want to land. Yeah, it because yeah, the hum I would you the human mind wouldn't be able to to deal with that much like if you take off at the speed of light, you're you're gone. You're just you've left. 
that you you can't i don't think the brain just can't comprehend that kind of like stuff's whizzing past well, even you if, how do you not hit anything Yeah, even if you say go stop you're already way ahead of your target if you're trying to go to mars yeah, because if light travels a uh, light distance per second, so in a second, that's 186,000 miles a second. So, and the, let's see, uh, diameter of the Earth is only 79, 17, 7,918 miles, which means that if you wanted to. Let me take my calculator here. Clear all that. Do do do. And uh, use your vision, of course, that. as well, because you know, spotting Mars when you're now. pretty far away is gonna be tough as well. Let's see, seven nine one eight. So you'd have to like zero point zero four of a second is how long you could go we, you'd have to it would take for you to travel the diameter of the earth i assume in a lot of these questions there's some element of like you like you could deal with it in this like if you could move at the speed of light there's some like it's baked into the question that maybe you, you could just sort of handle it to entertain oh, there, what you would do with it or it's practical there are some people pointing out like use this. it's like a trick question because you'll never stop moving technically and it's like i don't think that was the point of the question that is true yes if you decelerate by half every single time then technically yes, you'd that, never stop moving yeah because when i did to the 30th second there on the calculator the thought i had was oh after or sorry the 30 minute at the 30 minute mark you're you're moving at 0.14 meters per second right eventually when you decelerate to safe levels you could just stop yeah like getting you off know? of the ride or whatever yeah exactly so i can go back to my calculator and go one two three four five six seven. yeah so if you go back to like the 23 minute mark you're going at only you're going at under 18 meters a second which is like you, you that's like where you could come to a sort of a stop you just sort of like you know hit the brakes and really kind of mm. so really yeah if, if if the price of light speed especially in a spaceship if the if the so-called cost of braking safely with the technology or the spaceship engine was that you had to decelerate half speed every minute, that's still amazing, like magic space technology that yeah. would make, you know, like if that's the best that humanity as a civilization ever got to, man, you might want to just take it. Because some of these things might not even be possible with the laws of physics. I hope there's a way. But it's not going to be for our generation to worry about. Uh, we just got to be those giants they stand on later. Dang, still going? I'm finishing up EFAP 150 Part 3. I'll catch up by the best holiday of this year. Take care, you massive. Or the year. Well, yeah, good stuff. Looking forward to... To, to seeing everyone catch right up to the modern time. I contend lift is definitely an upward force. It's not a debate at all. And you have mass, not weight, in space, you Neanderthals. Also... You absolutely have weight in space. What? So... What, what do you think is? I'm pretty or, sure that I'm the. I think I said that there's a difference between mass and weight, and that the weight is relative to gravity, right? Yeah, weight is the force of gravity. Yeah, like in space, you still have weight. That's why things in orbit well, are moving. I think the reason why I said mass instead of weight is I just remember when I did physics, we would refer to mass, not weight. Um, typically, a lot of the times it's more yeah. However, weight is certainly. Like, like the whole point of flying is that you're overcoming that, that, that pull of gravity downwards. Oh, sure. So that's why you're going to be using the sense, uh, That makes more sense when we're talking about stuff that's just on Earth, right? But once we're in space. Once we're in space, yeah, yes. You still have weight, but it is significantly less. Um, you know, that, that's why, like, spaceships yeah, don't, that's what don't I need wings. Mass, yeah. It was said in chat, mass is consistent. That's, yes. I thought that was a difference. Mass is weight consistent. Difference. 
Like, for instance, my mass on Earth is the same as my mass on Mars, but my weight will differ. What if I go to the yeah. I mean, fifth dimension? We could go even further. I don't well, know what, if you... I don't know. I, you, I, what can I do with that, Mole? The fifth well, dimension. Interstellar uh, didn't great band. address this, so I don't... Yeah. <laughs> That's true, yeah. I mean, if you, if you climb Mount Everest, you know, the, the higher you go up, the less you weigh. By, yeah. I guess, a, a negligible degree, though, right? Let me check. I'm pretty sure it'd be negligible, wouldn't it? Like, like nothing. Basically imperceivable. Because you're still, you're still, relatively speaking, incredibly... Like, not much has changed in terms of your distance. Yeah, from, uh, it's very or... tiny. I assume it would be negligible, though it would be measurable. Uh, so... I'm pretty measurable, but yeah, like... Um, like, I, I would be shocked if it was a pound of difference. Well, I don't know, maybe. I, I don't know. I, it's hard for me to visualize this and make a guess, honestly. Um, weight, I have to re, weight difference with height gives me a bunch of, like, health stuff. So let me go weight difference with altitude. Okay. Um, a person who weighs 150 pounds on the surface of the earth would weigh approximately 149.92 pounds at 10,000 feet above sea level. So yes, it is, it is a very small, very, very small difference. I like how However, there's this a is, difference. This is activated chat. Boy, just killed the Wong memes almost. Everyone's just like offering their <laughs> opinions on the space shit now. <laughs> what? Science? It's, it's like, oh, we're talking about science. They've been talking about magic. Boom, they happen, and it's, it's all yeah, it's a... Sorcery, sorry. Uh, the Super Chat continued, also, have you ever fired a staccato rags? What's your favorite pistol? My favorite pistol? Duh. Um, my favorite pistol. I mean, if... If I could take one pistol, it, it'd probably be my uh, Glock 34. I But I, I like many pistols. Um, I, I really like 1911s and I've and oh I uh, one of the guns I shot on Monday was a uh I uh IWI Jericho uh it's I think it was a I forget which version it was but IWI Jericho that was really cool that was I really like that quite a bit um I I tried some others here and there but I I guess yeah I'm a, no amazing answers from me I mean I did shoot both the Deagle and the the uh, Smith and Wesson 500 that I yeah. shot; those were both very unpleasant. Uh, they can go through like anything, uh, Desert Eagle. Yeah, I mean, it's just it was to shoot a Desert Eagle finally in 50 AE. Uh, that is that gun is absurd. All right, a Desert Eagle is very heavy. Um, it was, ugh, it was very. And we're not, I mean, the, I mean, the, the 500 express, yeah, that's, that's, that's a mean gun, but the desert Eagle, like it's, it skirts that upper line of how ridiculous can you get and still technically have some level of practicality. It's like, this is, I mean, I don't, it's why so are you complaining heavy. about the weight of a gun that can literally shoot through the earth? Like what's the, what, what why would you even... shoot through the earth? He can't be trusted with that kind of power. I was going to really. say, I Even can't Jacob they're Kane. fucking legal. How are they legal? We could end the planet at any moment. If someone just shoots the core, because they're, they're bored, it'll fuck everything up. How can you... Yeah, it is one of those. It's What a gun. What a mm. gun. It was, it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. And it was, it was fun to shoot for a bit, but man... Two people have mm. tried to shoot at the sun, um, but they're mostly just off enough that the bullet will just miss. But, yeah, man, that is a very that difficult one day, shot. Holy shit! If you shot, I mean, I guess you would shoot enough bullets, but imagine like how far you'd have to lead the sun. Well, they said on Deagle Day. Um, Deagle Day is going to be Deagle everyone day. shoots once at, at exactly midnight uh, on Deagle Day at the sun. I, I think it's a bad idea because you can't quite see it at midnight, but everyone's going to be told where it is across the world. You know, some people will see it. I don't know what the guys on the other side of the planet are going to do, but. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna figure it out. It'll it'll be like one of the wanted shots where it goes around the uh, the earth before it goes into the sun. But yeah, everyone, um, get ready for Deagle Day. It's gonna be a fun time. 
I mean, one of them's gonna hit, right? Uh, Mola, have you ever been to the Tallinn Railroad? I'm a massive steam rail fan, and it's one of my goals to visit Wales and see this line that inspired Rev W. Audrey. No, I haven't. Oh, in that case, it's probably Tallinn. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I've not, I've, I'm not familiar with this. Sounds neat. Hey. Not the first time Xander Hall's outright lied like he did with you. Did a whole long man video on him and Nick Nick of Less the Oreo? Falsely accusing Gary and a few others of racisms over a lukewarm Spundo man take. A, a lot of the discourse goes to racism these days. It really sucks. It's the, it's the mind of the ideologue. Like, can we just talk about how shitty the writing is? Look at She Hulk's writing. Oh. Thank you. Warhammer fantasy character of the day is Queek Head Taker. He's a big rat warrior that likes beheading his opponents. All right. Queek Head Taker. Oh, this guy's from the the Warhammer game. That makes sense. Yeah. Here I'll get I'll give you a picture of him. He's a Skaven boy. Pretty uh, cool. I'll post a picture of him. Yeah, the Skaven are cool. Oh, a bunch of rat boys. No, look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah like look that. at look at look at old Queek. I do quite like that. He's gonna take your yeah. head, apparently. Out. You know. Like, no, you can't. I need that. I was gonna I, say it's mine. Personally, I do need that. But, you know. If we're talking halving by the minute, it takes ninety-eight minutes to decelerate to walking speed, and by then you would have traveled three Million five hundred ninety-five thousand three hundred twenty-six kilometers, or KMS, kilometers per second. I guess. Yeah, that's kilometers per second. Ready, ho. So by then you would have traveled. If you if you're saying that by then you would have traveled, it wouldn't be in kilometers. Well, it's I guess. Yeah, I was a little bit. Of, I was getting confused by that, but it, that's it doesn't matter anyway. Because you wouldn't have to wait until you're at walking speed. You can, you know, stop it at like jogging speed, presumably. Yeah, and, and the like the computer work would be precise enough to where you would know when to stop, you know, decelerate. There there'd be a pretty pretty darn robust formula for that. I, I that's why I just bake it into um all of the like questions of this nature of like spaceships and stuff that you have a you know, a ship that is intelligent enough to make these calculations. Well, like, if it was a ship, then yeah, I wouldn't take much issue with it. That's why I thought the point of the question was that it's cool you get to personally travel wherever you want at light speed, but you have to suffer the, the slowdown every time, and also the awkwardness of even trying to aim it right to the point where I was just like, I think that just sounds like it'd be too annoying to make work. But if it's like a machine, then it's probably gonna nail it, yeah. Remember how Captain Marvel flew at light speed, like, next to the, the yeah. ship? Yeah, they would, they'll, and, they'll arrive you, at the same place. They'll know to stop uh, at the sure same they'll, time. Yeah, it's not like a um, one degree difference in the direction you're going is going to result in hundreds of millions of It'd just be so funny that they both stop and they're like, hello? <laughs> Why like, would she fly next to the ship instead of just flying in the ship? Does it look cool, Pringy? Don't you understand? It looks cool when she flies next to the ship. What does she breathe? Oxygen, does she not oxygen, need to oxygen, breathe because oxygen, she's in space? space cosmic... Cosmoxygen. Cosmoxygen. <laughs> Digimon of the day is Anjawoman. Anjawoman? Anjawoman. Uh, right, so what's the horrific thing? Like, what? Uh, Alright, Anjawoman. Looks like an angel woman. That's shocking. What the fuck? What a bizarre... Okay, um... What a fucking bizarre... That's what it evolves from. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Okay, we're gonna... Ugh. Okay. So, I th if I have this correct, then th that can't be right. How come I'm getting... Ugh, give me a second. I have to get You're to having a whole train of thoughts there. <laughs> It's, it's, okay, so we have, uh, ba, 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 ba. does it say what it, 
evolves. I guess a Digimon doesn't. It sort of evolves, but it goes back and forth, right? Prior forms are Gatomon. Okay, that's so. It this is what it it's it, it evolves from essentially. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking know either. What? Um. I, okay. <laughs> and then it evolves into something that is completely different in every fucking way. They sort of have white, some white and purple, I guess. Except she's just this six-winged angel creature, and one of her feet is a feather, and she's not really scantily clad, but oddly clad. How do you go from that to there's no unification in the Yeah, like generally the whole here. thing with evolution is that a really minor changes that occur over a great deal of time well, due you, to you can um, see I mean let's look at the, the line, golden yeah. let the golden trio of Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. As they evolve, they are clearly a progression, right? When it when a Charmander becomes a uh don't don't tell me. Charmander evolves into Charmeleon, who becomes Charizard, right? Like, you see the steps, like, oh, okay, this makes sense. And, and this bigger. is just like, no, this cat with gloves transforms <laughs> into this this angel woman creature. What? Makes sense to me. Her glove has wings on it. Why does her glove have wings on it? So that it helps her fly, I guess. <laughs> Digimon's about data, I... not physical evolution. What the fuck is the data yeah, the... here? <laughs> okay, so that's not an excuse because you. Why couldn't they evolve Does digitally? That mean the ev in yeah, a way the evolutions don't like, mean anything. Visual then. sense. Yeah, I mean, and if it's no digital, that's no excuse. Yeah. Like, why? Why would you make them so disconnected and then be like, "Well, it's digital," as if that's. Like, because because my my issue was never that it wasn't biologically possible. <laughs> it was it was it was that there is a complete and total lack of an aesthetic consistency. Feels there is a design failure here of some sort. The holy it's like a lot types of, it's of like, data. I don't even know what to make of that. I believe you. I'll allow it. <laughs> You know, she's got the three little little things on her the sides of her head, and the cat kind of has that on his little ears. Close enough. Um. Hey, long man. Recent watcher. Just heard you on Shad's graphic novel announcement. I appreciate you helping him out. Yeah, no, absolutely no, no problem at all. Good man. Correction. Two one five eight three nine five nine three kilometers per second. Forgot to count seconds. No problem. Traveling at light Wong. Finally, one of the Wong memes made it into the super chats. Yeah, I've been working hard on that, and uh, yeah, barely been recognized. You know, rags. As someone who plays Yu-Gi-Oh currently, I agree it's getting quite ridiculous, but I still like it. My favorite card is Eldil Eldlich. Eld Lich? Not exactly sure. Uh, the Golden Lord. Is he a cool dude? Can you say that one more time? L. I think it's. Yeah, Eld Lich. Eld Lich the Golden Lord. I guess he's like the Lord of Gold or something. Perhaps. Or he, he, well, he is a, a Lord who is golden. That could right? be it too. Eldritch the send, Golden Lord. Send this card, one spell or trap from your hand to the graveyard, then target okay. one card on the field, send it to the graveyard. Okay. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one spell or trap you control to the graveyard, add this card to your hand, and then you can summon, special summon one zombie monster from your hand, and if you do, until the end of your opponent's turn, it gains 1,000 attack and defense, or defense, or at the same time, I guess, and cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can only use each effect of Eldritch the Golden Lord once per turn. Okay. So, alright. I sent it, I, I paid a trap or spell card, the graveyard, put a card of yours into the graveyard. If this card is in your graveyard, okay, so 
if the card you sent to the graveyard is also a card in your graveyard, then you could send one spell or trap I control to the graveyard again, add this card to my hand, which means the card that you sent to the graveyard on the other side, you could put that in your hand instead, and then you get your zombie monster thing. Not bad. Which is, at what point do you say, you know what? We should just do a different card. Because <laughs> it's like a four-step process. And it's like you have to double check. And, and the way that it's worded, too, you have to stop and make sure that you're reading it correctly. Because it refers to, like, this card, that card. But, oh, man, that's... I missed Yu-Gi-Oh! from, like, oh, like early Yu-Gi-Oh! Early Yu-Gi-Oh! was so great. It was like real real slug matches where you're going at the opponent and reducing life points and you're fighting and defending and you have your traps and spells and feel it felt like a real battle. And now it's like these cards feel like you're just you're doing everything you can possible to circumvent actually engaging with your opponent. I just, I, just, I think, you know, when, when, if both people understand the card very well, maybe it plays pretty fast and fun, you know. Yeah, I got you thing or you both agree you know what we're not gonna we're not gonna allow el glitch the golden lord into this game you know just play play your packs have him in it nobody likes uh nobody likes zombies okay anyone else concerned that rags a dog shoots guns you should be concerned about being on my naughty list. Oh God! Not by no, the way. I'm like it's like Jeff Force Gemini. I'm the dog. I got the dog. You know, I got the little gun on my you know, call uh, back. You know, super. Oh my goodness! Oh, there's another. Consider this. No wait. Evening, long man. I heard you're a power metal fan. Have you sampled Sabaton by chance? They're a Swedish band who write about history and war. Uh, also, high rags and fringy scritches for the good froge and doge. Gritches for the good Broge. Broge, yeah. I'm Doge. I'm I'm Broge and Doge. Like getting a little scratch. I guess except for the poison well, maybe the poison dart ones would like it, but <laughs> nobody is brave enough to uh <clears throat> Man, it must be that must be a, a scary a scary life to if anybody touches you, it's, it's poison for them. You're yeah. poison. So anyway, uh, yes, I've listened to a bit of Sabaton. The song's pretty neat. Sabaton. But uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't gone through the whole discography yet. The chatter said, unbearable weight of massive Wong. Good one. Keep it. Oh boy. Um, so many names. Oh, all right. That's that about wraps us up. Is, was there anything you guys wanted to Word. say before we... Off. I really, I enjoyed the the brief discourse we had on uh, science. Yes, that was oh, neat God. to get a little kind of delve into that, especially after we talked about magic for so long. It's nice mm -hmm. to get and law you know, into a good, good science. You know, covered all of the topics. Everyone can learn everything all at once. Everything, every Wong, all at once. Um. She Hulk, what a what a show, good stuff, great time. Beat, Wong. saturation crass, Wong, Wong, <laughs> Wong. <laughs> Wong. Um, yeah, plushies still available. Grab them while you can. Yep. One week left. Another week or so. Yeah, gotta get in there before they flee away. And and. Yeah, there's just more things happening as time goes on. See you guys Saturday for another EFAP episode. Yeah. We're talking about Rings of Power. Oh, whoa, joyous. Two whole Joy episodes. to the world. Yeah, because the next one's out. I'm like excited. Day or so. When are you watching it? I'll uh, I'll join you. Oh, we'll, I'm sure we'll figure something. Fantastic. I'm sure we will. But for now, thank you all so much. Kind donation the interesting backs and forths you have provided the company and for just out with it. Hope you had a good night. Yeah, thanks good... for coming by, everybody. 
full week. Uh... Good pip. Yeah, bye bye. Goodbye, everybody.